Hi guys, welcome back to the world of Kenshi. This should be a small little video compiling all the videos I've ever made from my Van Damme in Kenshi series. A series where I try to not only survive, but also strive and conquer the world of Kenshi as the humble individual called Van Damme. A series with lots of fun moments, exciting and nerve-wracking action that will bring you to the edge. Moments of happiness, accomplishment, new friendships, but also moments that can be very sad and depressing. Join me today in this exciting and quick little adventure that goes on for about 250 in-game days. For your convenience, I did not only compiled, but also enhanced and adjusted some episodes. Mostly audio related stuff, but yeah, this is gonna be good. So get ready to dive deep into a brand new old story. The story of Van Damme and his friends. After the apocalypse and the events of Fallout 1 and 2, our lone wanderer settled down in a city called Stag, where he became a simple citizen of the holy nation, living a peaceful yet boring life. The man of the mans, portrayed by no others but our beloved Jean-Claude Van Damme, decides to leave this boring lifestyle behind, to venture the land and seek for adventure. His hairstylist got his hair perfect up front. <laughs> Unfortunately, forgot to cut the back. So he must live with a simple but fetching ponytail. How come after all this time, the last thing everyone wished for that would survive here in the waste where the whole was witnesses? <laughs> now known under the name the Holy Nation, they're so fanatic about their religion. They insist every citizen has to have the Holy Flame. The religious book of the holy nation. Well, I keep that one for now. Who knows what they will do to me if I lose it. Before we venture out into the wastes, we should prepare sufficiently. <laughs> we are out of cash already. A piece of dry meat ain't cheap today. Holy shit, what the hell is going on here? <laughs> there is but one bandit trying to escape and the holy police like a heap of ants, completely demolishing that hungry lad. One thing one dumb knows for sure, do not mess with the holy nation. So the adventure begins, where the road shall lead, no one knows. But one thing's for sure, if you want to make ants meet and survive out here, you need companions. That's Stack, the city we're coming from. And here are we, just a tiny little dot with no real clue where we shall go. I heard about the holy mines, that's where they keep their slaves to do God's work. Mining iron and copper I guess. I don't want to stay here for too long, but it won't hurt to take a look around. Injured? Non-workers go into the furnace. Ha 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 ha. Hey you little cunt, how about I kick you into the furnace? Thought Van Damme to himself, because he doesn't want to get kicked into the furnace. Blessing upon you, brother. Well, finally. This guy seems like he's up for conversation, but nothing I would have already guessed. He recommends sticking to holy territory and praying to the almighty god, Okran. Or and oh boy, he said one shall never go traveling to the northwest, only the foolish go there, never to return. Van Damme's getting sick of all that Okran talk. I need some other friends. Let's leave that place for good. Those holy brothers ain't helping. Shh! <gasps> Do you hear that, Van Damme? Fast, hide in the bushes. There, can you see it? Those are the commonly known... <laughs> holy shit! <laughs> what even are those creatures? Some kind of... Uh, croco... Croco dogs. They even got some kind of infection on their back. Or whatever that should be. Funny. <laughs> Walking like penguins. Somehow they are really cute. Oh look, I think Van Damme is trying to get to know them better. Astonishing. They completely trust him. As if he is one of them. I really did not expect to find friends out here so fast. Oh man, all that walking made Van Damme pretty sweaty. He needs to swim now. Oh look, we already discovered another city. Even though the graphics aren't the best, the game provides such beautiful and astonishing atmosphere. Sometimes it's just eye candy. Oh no, god damn. We're still on holy territory, and those are no other than the holy bros. This town's called Bad Teeth. Don't ask why, I don't know. There they are again, swarming around, those holy idiots. Oh no, there's blood. What happened? No! This cannot be! You murderer! You freaking holy murderer! You killed my croco friends! Oh 
If you gather the skin, you can sell it later for a good price. It's getting dark now and we should find ourselves a place to rest a bit. This looks like a nice bar. Of course, it's populated with pirates and ninjas. Fantastic. Anyone interested to join my party? No? Well, that's your loss. What is going on out there? One single holy lad is trying to beat a horde of crocodiles. Let's investigate that. We could help him and gather all the croco skins afterwards. Oh shit, a goddamn bone dog is interfering. He bit me in the head. The holy lad's unconscious. That's my sign to run away. Sometimes even the bone dog's too much for Van Damme to handle. Man, so many fights going on. Shouldn't have set the number of nests multiplier to max. <laughs> you can tell Mr. Van Damme feels pain when he has to hold his head with his hand inside his head. I can't leave this poor guy out there. The bone dog's gonna eat his limbs. Let me help you up. Uh, what? Committing crime? No way. I didn't mean to do that. If that's how this works, I'm gonna let you die out here. Sorry, bro. But I don't wanna go to jail. There we go. Crime's gone. Let's head back to the city. Back to the bar. Maybe you wanna join me, young lady. Ooh, scary. What's up with her eyes? She must be possessed or, or she's a demon. You look nervous, young lady. Best that I keep my distance. The pure heart male of Okra need their space after all. <laughs> Guys, fun fact about the holy nation. They don't really like women. And if they see a woman without a male that's the equivalent of a thought. They're legit holy thought hunters. I can't afford you. I'm sorry. I just don't have the money to recruit her. What is going on? Why are they attacking me? Is it because Van Damme talked to a woman? He couldn't help himself. You freaking bastards! I guess it's because I tried to rescue that one guy. I guess they considered it as an evil act. Well, great. Got a bounty of 1,000 cats. Guilty for assault. Nice job. You can suck my balls, holy shitheads. <laughs> I just quietly sneak away while they are sleeping. That's a good idea. Here's my iron club. I'll just take that because it's mine. Oh, what is... Uh, tss, 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 tss. <laughs> Phew, let's try that again. Huh? What? Snore. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. There we go. Now let's get out of here. I think I can hide in this bar. Oh no, there they are. No problem, guys. I can fight them. And again, we got captured. What is this kind of nonsense? That's bullshit. Look how high this prison goes. It's holy bull crap. At least they treat my wounds. That's nice of them. It's funny to watch them outside destroying every crocodile that passes by while Mr. Van Damme is recovering. Ah. <sighs> I'm back guys, cleaned up the kitchen, kicked out the trash and have already done my daily yoga routine. Seems like Van Damme's awake and ready for another outbreak. It's just like nowhere to run all over again. There are some other prisoners, I can try freeing them. So they will provide a good distraction for my escape. <laughs> Where is she running off to? Let's see if we can find something of value around here. A splint kit, holy servant rags, some food, a nice helmet and... Oh no! <gasps> They feared me. Madame is going now into the ultimate Naruto ninja mode. No, 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 no. They are trying to get me. No, no, no. <laughs> you can get me. I'm fast. I'm Be floating formless. like water. Shapeless. Like water and air. I'm like the water. wind. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Guess I'll just try again. I'm trying to escape now for a whole hour. No success. I guess now's my chance. Let's run for it again. We just have to outrun them. Our bounty is at... <laughs> 7,000 already! Wanted for burglary, theft, assault and looting. I hate those lying holy bastards. I didn't do anything of that. I did it! Damn! I'm free! We managed to outrun them. But now they're hungry nomads and dust bandits after our asses. My stomach and my right arm are wounded and I don't have any bandages with me. Look at this. Seems like I found a small village. Looks cozy around here. <laughs> <laughs> they too have a big croco problem around here. This one goddamn dust bandit is still running after me. There's no time to waste. If I can't find some bandages soon, I will bleed out and die. Look at this. We found another city. Oh no. Ah, oh, that stack. We're, we're back. The city where we started our journey. Van Damme's hometown. I can't go back. There are thousands of those holy fart heads. And I have a bounty of 7,000 cats. But if I stay here outside, I'll die eventually. Well, it's worth the risk. We have to simply go inside, get those bandages and get out as fast as we can. <gasps> Divine blessings, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You too. Now give me that sweet heal stuff. We are healing ourselves in front of the shopkeeper. 
He ain't cleaning his shoes. I think I'm going to sell the holy flame. It's bull. I don't need that. Just to get out of the city in one piece. Fantastic. But what's next? The holy nation will kill me if they find out about my bounty. I'm not safe here anymore. Van Damme, the wisest of them all. Where shall we go? Of course. Remember, the one holy guy told us not to go northwest. You guessed it. Let's go northwest. Well, here we go. They call him the wanderer. Oh, the wanderer. See that fog? That's the area we should not go into. It looks like I'm walking on a completely different planet. Look at the area around here. Fascinating. Oh, the fog islands. Oh my god. Could the legends be true? That's one of the famous fog men Van Damme has heard about. Holy shit, I thought it's just one, but that's an army. If they get you, then it's night night time forever. They'd love a piece of Van Damme. Mongrel, that's a city. Now that's our target. Let's go Van Damme, before it gets dark. Those guys look badass. Shinobi guards. That's some next level ninja stuff here. This city looks amazing. And we got here a lot of bars. Time to search for a companion. There must be one guy out here that does not charge a ridiculous amount of money. Just give me one companion, please. <laughs> Who's that dude? Man, dude, what's up with your body? Everything okay with you? Rumble, John. Wait, that's that's Mr. Van Damme Sensei from the movie Kickboxer. What happened, Sensei? Of course you must join me. <laughs> oh my god. Sensei, who stretched you to this extent? Huh? What is going on here? Ke can I help you, my green friend? <laughs> oh man, what is this place here? Mongrel. Everyone around here in this place isn't just looking, but also acting. Very, very strange here. It's like a freak show. I think we should leave. Oh look, that's female Blade. What is going on, my sister? What's poppin'? You wanna join my squad too? Look at us cool dudes. You won't regret it. Amazing. Now shit is getting real. Oh man, this being is giving me the chills. Can't you get lost? Why are you following? <laughs> this guy just won't stay off. I think he wants to eat me or something. Beep? What What does that mean? Well, hi Beep. How do you know my name? You must be some kind of Wandam. Yes, of course I am. Can I join you? I want to become strong, become a swordsman. Okay, do you have any skills? I have nothing. Hmm, okay. Seems like his people exiled him from their tribe just because he's a bit defective. I guess because of the <laughs> beep. But beep doesn't give up. Beep is strong. I think we can take him with us. We can use him as a bait or sacrifice him if we are getting chased by some kind of big monsters, you know. Look at us, a real squad. Here we are, our very first freshly acquired squad. I am so proud. We got female Blade. I'll just call her Blade. Once a very famous vampire hunter, but now only a sad reflection of what she once was. Still a very good addition to our squad. She got cool glasses, a lava lamp and a pole arm. Beep. There is not much known about him, except for that he has been exiled from his tribe for being a bit defective. His personal weapon is his imponderable will of saying beep over and over again. Apart from that, if we are getting chased by whatever creature this world has to offer, we can just let him fall back a bit, sacrifice him for our safe escape. Wandam Sensei, he's over 200 years old. He could kick the bucket anytime, but still, he's the wisest of us all. And lastly, Jean-Claude Van Damme, he's the Napoleon of our time. Our leader and commander. Since we are weak as shit and poor to the bone, we should start to train a little bit and earn some money. If everyone starts to mine iron ore right now, we'll be getting enough money for food and other essentials. Those goddamn fog men, always trying to get into the city. Luckily we are safe out here, near the city. The guards are extremely strong and hate fog men more than anything other. <laughs> Oh man, another swarm of fog men. You know, if you get into the fight siding with the city guards, you can acquire some bonus combat experience. That is very good in the beginning. And sometimes Sensei will say stuff like, This wouldn't have happened back in my youth. They wouldn't have landed a single hit on me. Ah, to be back in my prime again. Do not let yourself get caught by those stupid ass fog men. They will tie you up on a pole and eat you alive. Yep, that's a city guard. 
Whoa, that's the best thing that could have ever happened to me. We found some training dummies. Here we can train our guys in a safe environment without the fear of being kidnapped and eaten alive. One of the most important skills a good fighter has to have is strength achieved by carrying loads of heavy stuff. Or Beep just found himself a good tight ass for those lonely nights out here in the wastes. Making one stronger also helps in carrying even heavier loads and makes it possible to wear heavy armor without the restriction of mobility. Our team labors day and night and it really feels like as if the Fogman's number increases by every minute. What the heck is going on here? I just hope the city guards respawn at some point. If they are getting wiped out then it's good night for Mongrel. Forever. Poor Sensei, look at him. Can't even sleep like a normal human being by this thought. He's all time alert. Like a cat, always cautious of its surroundings. Train my little bees. Train. Become the ultimate weapon. At our current state, we ain't very strong. We barely covered the basics, but it itches Van Damme. Just the thought at staying here at one place bores him to an unhealthy extent. Wise men say that the best experience is gathered by exploring the world and facing the danger. Even though Sensei said it's a bad idea to leave the city and it's an even worse idea to leave the city at night, our group lusts for adventure. The simple idea of finding some treasures out here in the wastes is way more intriguing and interesting than mining iron ore. That's why we are going to leave the city behind. Oh god, there are hundreds of those fog idiots. We should proceed carefully from here on. I thought we'll take the path to the west, see where it goes. If it gets too crazy out here, we can always run back anytime. Mongrel is not far. We just have to be very careful. Look at Sensei's sneaking technique. He knows his shit around this region. He's our survival expert. Right now we are using the night's darkness to our advantage. Advantage. So what, ain't that great, Sensei? Beep doesn't feel so good. Shut up, no one asked you. Greg, sounds brutal. Oh, it started to rain. Well, that's nice. Refreshing, right? Ah, God! Yes, it burns! Maybe we can hide under this blanket. Why is there crap? everywhere. This shit is as big as Beep's head. The blanket covers nothing. Skin's still burning. We have to find shelter somewhere else. Fast. Oh look, we found a small village. Great. Oh no, the doors are closed. It's still night time. Don't worry, Wandam got this. Getting locked up by the holy nation over and over again has its benefits. Now here's our most skilled lock picker. There we go. Now fast. Get inside before we are nothing more but bones. Wow, interesting. It looks cozy in here. Amazing. It seems like Beep Beep didn't receive any damage by the acid rain. Well, we can let him stay outside then. Oh no, there are people inside this house, sleeping tight. If we are getting caught snooping around here, they will kill us, for sure. Best we stay down here. Psst, go out of here, Beep. There's not enough room for us all here. But, but it's cold outside. What did I say? Beep doesn't want to be alone. Go check the other building, maybe you can find something useful. Oh no, shit, there are starving bandits. Run, Beep, run for your life. <laughs> <laughs> no, god damn it, don't come back inside here. What are you doing? Shit, 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 fast, everyone go upstairs to the roof. Oh no, ah, they're awake. No, they want to kill us. Oh, we ain't the bad guys. Guys, no. Now look at this, that's easy. Get them, boys. Oh, no, 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 no. They're f***ing us up and there are the bandits already. It's a standoff. I think now it's the time to get the shit out of here. Fast, guys, heal up. They're distracted. That's our chance. Oh, no, there are more of them. You gotta be kidding me! Our very first fight, fought together. Look at Beep, he's actually doing a really good job. <laughs> Never mind. We got one! We are lucky, they ain't dealing very much damage. But what could you expect from simple farmers? Oh no, they got us at our balls. Van Damme has no blood anymore that will make him unconscious. Well, pff, guys, looks like this will be the end of us. That was quite a short adventure. But look at those two idiots! <laughs> As long as they are distracted, I can heal myself up a bit. Nope, that didn't work. Now we have to wait for a miracle. Oh wait, Blade is still awake, playing dead. She's a smart one. She's fine, look at her. Everything's fine. Bandage yourself up a bit and let's go. And don't distract yourself by this guy over here. It doesn't look good for our teammates. Can't tell if they are going to make it. 
Too much blood loss. Ignore beep. First you gotta go for one dump. Treat his wounds first. Seems like the village people still trying to fight off those bandits. Blade, you can do this. Don't fall unconscious. God damn. Get up and help your comrades. Great job. Van Damme will do just fine. And look at Beep. He's good as dead. Who cares? Van Damme's up again and ready for action. His arm doesn't look so good though. Sensei's fine. Van Damme here. Let's go. Fight that cripple here. He ain't dangerous. <gasps> Oh shit, we are really lucky right now. Some escaped holy servants came by and kicked everyone's butt out there, except ours. <laughs> There's some good loot over here now. Even a backpack that will come in handy. Now we have to wait until everyone's fully recovered. The settler over here seems pissed and wants to kick Blade's ass. But he ain't fast enough. I think it's the best to get everyone inside the building. There we can hide and wait until everyone's recovered. Van Damme's up and feels great again. And that's not how I would have imagined it to be out here. Oh man, look at this. Just a couple of steps further and there is a giant camp full of cannibals. It's horrifying beating up those poor hungry lads. But why would they do that? Oh, oh, I see. Beating the meat makes it more tender, I guess. Those are some gourmet cannibals. We should try to stay away from there. Some time has passed now. We ain't fully recovered, but I guess we gotta go. There are some more villages out here. Maybe we can find some beds to recover faster. Bandan suggested to leave Beep behind. They got him pretty hard. His chest has been nearly fully destroyed. But Blade insists to take him with us. So here we go. A bunch of badly wounded amateurs hoping to find shelter in the nearby village. There's nothing special around here. Just a bunch of animal traders. Hey, this one got a camping bed. Nice. Just what we need right now. Just a little bit offside the village. Here we can build ourselves a small camp for the night. The questions now. What are we going to do now? Where shall we go now? Fuck man. Out here? I thought those guys only live in the fog regions. But it seems like they're everywhere. Come on guys, do your best. Nice. I think we are getting the hang out of it now. We are getting stronger with each encounter. Can say that to every one of us though. Beeps up again. How are you doing? You know, we wanted to abandon... Oh! Holy shit! Run for your lives, you fools! Can I get even a minute without everything and everyone wanting to kill us? Please! That's just insane! We are really lucky that we built our camp near those animal traders. Those animals are helping us now. Good god, I think it was a bad decision to leave Mongrel so early. We are not safe out here. We need better equipment first. I think it would be best if we head back to Mongrel again. There we can fully recover. This place looks amazing. It's really beautiful around here. The perfect place to build a great base. But that would be just another stupid idea of mine. <laughs> That's the first time we're seeing the ocean and beeps asleep. We found another village, but there's also nothing out of interest around here. Just some poor fishermen. We are currently here and there's Mongrel. We are far away from home. Home. <laughs> well, I consider it home because that's the only place I know where people doesn't want to kill us instantly. Come on guys, we have a long way ahead of us. That is just normal rain, don't worry, we're fine. We just have to be very carefully around those cannibals. I don't know what's worse, cannibals or fogmen. It seems like those cannibals kidnapped fogmen for lunch. Maybe they are the worst ones, but I don't want to get involved in any of that. Holy shit, guys, they're onto us now. Those stupid Stupid ass cannibals. Go away, please. Leave me alone. If we can't outrun them, I'll be forced to abandon Beep for the sake of the rest of our group. But uh, I can't do it. Beep's now one of us. Somehow Van Damme likes him. Even though he's annoying as f Sensei's a bull. He got him. We can do it. Oh shit. From cannibals to those idiots. We did it. We reached Mongrel. Finally. It was a long trip, but in the end we somehow did it to come all the way back. Even Beep made it in one piece. Welcome back to Kenshi, everyone's favorite show. The team's here fit and ready to go. Some of you pointed out that it would be more law friendly if Jean-Claude Van Damme changed his fighting style from swords to martial arts. Of course Sensei took this change in consideration, giving his good old trusted G-Pants with a martial arts bonus of plus two to Van Damme. And since Beep wants to become the strongest swords fighter known by man and beast, it makes sense to give him one damn sword. He won't need that now because from now on one damn will fight with his fists and manly legs. Last time we've learned the hard way not to mess with more enemies than our squad can handle. One enemy at a time should do good. Oh shit! 
Fogmen are the worst. It's just that it's a bit unpleasant to fight a bunch of naked dudes, you know? Luckily we are close to the city. The guards can help us here. We also learned from the last episode that we would do ourselves a big favor if we had some decent armor. But we need more money. With money we can buy ourselves some proper equipment too. And the only way to get some right now is by laboring at the mines. It's hard and not very profitable, but it's honest work. <laughs> There's a Fogman attack at the city gates at least every five minutes. That's crazy! And if you get caught by one of them, they immediately tie you up on a pole and eat you alive. Oh, look at this one! This Fogman's still alive! The team's trying to help Wandam and kicking that cripple's ass, but I wanna let Wandam handle this by himself. So, you know, he can uh, get some martial arts skills points, you know, by kicking this cripple. <laughs> Oh no, go away, god damn it, the guard's gonna take him. Or not? Oh, interesting, that's actually a fog prince. All the other fog men are just normal fog men foot soldiers. But this one right here seems to be special. I've got a brilliant idea, let's heal this prince up a bit. Maybe we can do some kind of uh, interrogation. Maybe we can use him as a political prisoner and demand peace between Mongrel and the fog men. Nah, let's use him as a punching bag for Mr. Van Damme. It ain't wrong to use a cannibal as a punching bag, is it? We just have to be very careful with this kind of sports activity. As soon as the prince goes into a critical state of health, we should let him rest until he's fully recovered. So he can receive even more punching. Look at this, I just found another Fogman prince. Huh? What the hell? I can unequip his head directly into my inventory. Amazing! Unfortunately, he is dead now. The average cell value for a Fogman head lies at 6000 cats. That's pff, incredible. That's awesome. That's a lot of money. If I collect a bunch of those heads, we can make some good money out of this. A way more better way of making money in comparison to mining iron. It's a faster way, not safer way of making money. We still have to fight them and lure them back to the city guards so they can help us fight them. <laughs> Look at all this money! Now we can party all night! Yeah! Or even better buy some backpacks for our crew. Since Beep has no armor and no flesh on his bones, I was so kind buying him a very good black plate jacket and shorts. Now he got some decent protection against the horrors of the waste. <laughs> Look at the size in comparison to this dude. Dude, Beep's like a puny little cicada. That's cute. Beep, we are now bounty hunters, searching for heads to make a good profit out of it. And that's what we did for a good whole hour, until we got tired again. Grinding just ain't our style, you know. We need the adventure, we need the adrenaline. Beep does not need more adrenaline. We are lusting for more than just prince heads. We need action! Beep prefers to live. This will be so much fun. Don't worry Beep, there's a cool place I'd like to go to. I've heard that we can find some decent loot somewhere around this area. Let's go guys. Our group got some decent protection now. Therefore the chances of surviving should be very high by my calculations. Two hours later. Oh my! That looks legitimately very spooky. What are those arms? Obedience. That's an interesting name for a location. Hold on a bit. We even got here some iron spiders. Beep does not like skeleton arms or spiders. Don't be such a pussy. We're just taking a look around. If it gets too steamy around here, we can just leave anytime. Wow, that looks amazing. An ancient building. Maybe there's something inside. That door here seems to be locked and from the looks of it, I can tell it's heavily protected. Someone wanted to make sure that unwanted people stay outside. Van Damme's the only person who can unlock this gate with a chance of 20%. <laughs> Peep looks really cool, all in leather <laughs> and his funny bamboo head. He's a real badass now. Here we go, we are inside. Hold on a second, let's see what we got here. Oh no, more of those cyber spiders. Smells like trouble. <laughs> Maybe if we could lure one of them out first, we can kill it with some sneaky tactics. Oh man, 
They're faster than I thought. But if we run away from it after a hit fast enough, we can outsmart it. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! 130 damage! With one single hit, this thing just puts Sensei Beep unconscious. With one single hit? There's no way we can defeat this thing. Run guys, Sensei's awake already. But his leg is in very bad condition. That thing is a killer machine. It attacks so fast. Maybe Blade can distract the spider shit while Van Damme heals our comrades. Oh no, f Holy shit! The thing is a monster. Blade is down. <laughs> Sensei always tries to get up but fails and falls down again. There's no time. Run my people, run. Oh god! <laughs> This is the goddamn end! There's no hope for Sensei. I think he's dead. If Sensei loses all his blood, he will die. There is absolutely no one here that could help him, you know? Help him up again. He needs to get fixed immediately. Oh man. <laughs> Who's that dude? Man, dude! What's up with your body? Everything okay with you? Of course you must join me. <laughs> God, Sensei, who stretched you to this extent? <gasps> oh, beep! <laughs> He's awake! Fast now, rescue your old man friend. Oh man, I can't believe it! Beep, you are a true hero! Ah, this is so beautiful! Our little friend here is our savior, but I think Sensei's arm can't be reattached again so easily. Well, Sensei's just with us to carry a rice bag anyway. Beep, I love you! If it wasn't for Beep, everyone would have died. But not today! What do we say to death? <laughs> Not today. Let's bring them back a bit, away from the spiders. Now we wait until everyone is able to walk again. Let's not forget to put this thing into Sensei's bag. Alright Beep, now we got some time for ourselves. But we have to be very careful. Beep's sneaking skills are not the best. Those spider shitheads are chill as long as we stay outside. I'd love to loot those crates. There must be something very interesting inside. But I can't risk anything while everyone else is down. The design for those spiders look cool though. I assume those are even more spiders, just not activated yet. Scary. The second floor does not look any better. And the third floor... <laughs> Forget it. There are spiders everywhere. We can't even fight against one of them. I don't know what we can do, Beep. Or we could train your sneaking skills. Yeah, we are going to make a real ninja out of you. Or a thief, I don't know. Alright, everyone's up again. Let's head home now. That was enough trouble for a day. That place here is crazy. I think those things in the ground those are robots and you can only see their arms right now imagine deep down somewhere inside the ground there must be the rest of those robots i just hope no one boots them up again this ground is solid metal totally smooth oh this is very interesting i thought the ground's just dirt but that's all metal crazy sensei is such a wise man i'm so glad he didn't die back there but enough of this place let's head home here we are again, back at Mongrel. Luckily there's a shop here in the city, where they sell uh, robotic limbs. Maybe we can steal a nicely looking metal arm for Sensei. There we go, this one will do just fine. It bothers me a bit that I call Sensei and Blade by their given names, but their in-game names do not display accurately. So, since I've got quite a lot of money from all those headhunting, I'm going to change their names at the Thieves Guild. Oh, look at this, we cannot only change their names, but we can also change a little bit their appearance. I think I will straighten out Sensei's back a little bit. You know, just a tiny little bit so he doesn't look like a banana anymore. Everyone's happy now. Blade is Blade, Sensei is Sensei. Everyone's happy, except for Van Damme. His arm stuck in his head again. What's up guys, it's me, Paganaccio. Hope you are doing just fine. I'm doing great, thanks for asking. Today we are back with Kenshi, Van Damme, Blade, Beep and Sensei. They're very euphoric to see you guys. No, actually they're very tired and have just lain down for a nap. So please, please stay really really quiet. They need their sleep to regain their strength for what is about to come. Great, Blade is up and ready for the task I'm going to give her. 
I thought since we have been in Mongrod for such a long time, maybe a little bit too long, we should move on and leave Mongrel behind. There must be way more places to go to and cities to visit than only Mongrel or Stag, you know, the holy nation territory. I've looked at some of your comments and read some tips you guys have given me and some of you pointed out we should head south to the so-called border zone. That's beginner territory. People there should be more friendly and it's overall easier to survive. It will take a while to travel all the way down to the border zone and that's why Blade is going to buy us some food for our long ass journey. Oh, Beep is up too. How are you doing? Did you sleep well? Beep. That is nice to hear Beep. Now come on guys, let's get going. Let's take a moment and think about on which route we are going to take. Think first we'll go straight down here, hold us at the border to drag, heading to the right into the direction of stack. From there we'll see where we head next. Alright, everyone's up and ready to go. <laughs> Goddamn, look at that mess here. I won't miss all the Fogman raids. There's suicide movements against Mongrel. Look at that, that's just madness. Alright, here we go, finally. After such a long time, it almost feels heartbreaking to leave Mongrel. It was just like a home for us. But we must move on. There is some fighting going on. Oh, of course, the Fogman. Naruto running and stressing around those poor peasants as if there's nothing better to do for them. Our team developed such a hate towards the Fogman. Running after one even though both his arms are broken. Determined to kill. Stop right there, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> this one catched himself a prey. I don't think so. <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh look, this one's a fog prince. Their heads mean good money for us. But they're a little bit stronger than the regular ones. But we've become stronger too. Oh god, I'll be so glad if we do not have to mess with those fart mans anymore. Even though we tried to help those poor peasants, they got one anyway. Can't do much now. Have fun. Oh shit, one of them spotted us. It's time to get the freak out of here. I think they can smell our desire to leave the Fog Islands for good. Look how many of them are following. Those guys are crazy. God damn. Luckily the team is moving at the constant speed of 24 miles per hour. Just about fast enough to outrun them. Okay now, we reach the border to drag. It should be not far from here now. Oh look, another peasant. Good day young lady. Oh man, this area looks beautiful. Look at this. You can see the Kenshi team put so much time in the level design. That's amazing. What the hell? <laughs> Where are those coming from again? God damn it. I think we're in luck. Another fog prince. Get his head, guys. Oh no, one dumb fell unconscious. They're pretty strong, but. <laughs> Look at Beep! Oh yes! Yes, Beep wins. Beep is the strongest warrior. Okay, calm down now. You did great, but calm down, please. Beep is the strongest now. There will be changes. <laughs> Even Blade is like, the hell, Beep? Uh, uh Beep? I think Beep is starting to think a little bit too much of himself. We should keep an eye on him. Here we are, Drag, finally. I think we are halfway now. The grass looks cool and stuff, but it makes it hard to tell if enemies are nearby. It's hard to see, you know? Oh shit! <laughs> see, what did I tell you? I couldn't see those goddamn cannibals. Now we run straight into them. Well, there are only two of them, so I think they are easy target practice for our guys. Oh shit, damn it, I forgot Van Damme was a little bit worn out from the last fight. They just take him and run away. What is this bullshit? Now he's tied to a pole. Are you serious? No problem guys, we just untie him really fast. Blade, I said really fast. <laughs> my heart, holy crap, I just shit my pants. That was unexpected. Even Sensei's still lost in a daydream. <laughs> didn't realize what is happening. All right now, get them boys. We're close guys, you can do it. Just a little bit more. Give her a little bit more time. Holy moly, how many of those cannibals are there? I think Blade can't handle this. Way too much distraction. Oh no, she's down. <laughs> Fast sensei, get her before them. Remember your potato sack training. No, <laughs> even Beep got downed. Now over the shoulder and go. Run like the wind old man. <laughs> Every single one is after him. Oh my god. 
Beep is waking up. Great. Now get up fast, please. Help your best friend. Set him free, my boy. What is this freaking lock even made out of? It's, it just won't open. Are you serious? Oh no, they're harassing our good old man. <laughs> Stop it. Beep's under attack. No, my boy. But one dumb's free. Take Beep and run. <laughs> Shit. What the hell is going on, guys? Oh good, Blade can walk on her own again. I think I've got a plan. There is a group of hungry bandits here. We can lure them to the camp and let them fight each other. Van Damme and Beep already managed to unlock their shackles. We just have to wait for the right timing. And here we go. Run my people, run! I just noticed I'm playing a legit running simulator. Running away from all kinds of strange stuff simulated 2019 everything and everyone wants to kill each other simulated 2019 okay i'll stop now we discovered something called a hive village let's take a look it sounds interesting oh there are other beeps <laughs> a lot of beeps i guess those are the guys that exiled beep from the hive because of his defectiveness remember he told us a bit from his past when we first met <laughs> look a no hive a and it seems like they recognize beep oh <laughs> Ignore them beep, they're just fart heads anyway. Look at that, they don't want to trade with us. I'm not quite sure why they are calling us lost ones, but I guess it's because of beep. Well, I don't want to buy anything from you anyway. Let's get out of here before they do something unpleasant. Oh, we're at Vane now. I think some of you guys told me that I should evade this area at all costs. Vane, the hivers may seem harmless enough, but don't let that fool you. Oh, now Sensei is spitting some facts again. And now it started to rain. Looks like blood. I hope it's not acid. I know this is a bad place, a very bad place. But it's faster if we go through here instead of going all around. Ooh, I've heard a lot about those creatures. They're one of the worst you can find in Kenji. And we got a lot of them here. <laughs> Look at the run speed of those freaking giraffes! 31 miles per hour! I could never ever outrun them. Not with me, sorry, I think I'll just take the long route then. Look, we are back at Auckland territory. Amazing. The place where it all began. Got them more of those giraffe shits. If one of them spots us, we are dead for good. And there's so many of them. There! We found it, the hub, the so amazing place people have told me about. We're just about there. Oh look, there's a bar <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. No protection at all. This must be a really friendly area. The group's tired from all that running. I don't care, let's keep going guys. We can take a rest at the hub. Now that Beep is the strongest warrior ever, Beep needs to find a worthy foe. You're not the strongest warrior, Beep. <laughs> And some treasure. You're not even all that strong at all, really. You need to be careful. Your limbs get chopped off too easily. <laughs> and he's got them right. Chop chop, limbs gone. And some beautiful human ladies. Female human ladies. <laughs> yes, I would like to see one of these. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm a beautiful human female lady. Beep. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, those conversations, they are just legendary. Top notch! They contribute so much to the character. Beep, he's a born comedian. <laughs> now finally, we reach the hub. We are going to stay the night here. Oh, maybe someone here in this bar might be willing enough to join our party. You wanna fight? Smug, I'll slit your throat. Well, that was something. Ah, uh, no, sadly, all the people that could follow us demand a lot of money in return. I could pay them, but I think I'm better off if I keep the money. We also found an abandoned house. We can rest here for a while. I think we won't stay here for too long. I mean, at the hub. There's absolutely nothing interesting around here except for destroyed buildings. We could buy a house for ourselves. That's a possibility. We have enough money. But I want to explore a little bit more first, before we settle down somewhere. And I think I don't want to buy a house here at the hub. Everything's just broken here. Tell me in the comments if I miss something out. I checked most of the parts of the hub. Couldn't find anything interesting. 
No, absolutely not. We won't stay here. The team is fit again and ready to go. So let's go. Oh, look, another city already. Squin, that is very interesting. Let's head there. What the hell is that thing? It looks so strange. Oh, it reminds me of that one thing you can find underwater uh, at, at seashores. If you step on one of those things, you're gonna have a great time. Sea urchin. Ah, cool, right. <laughs> Beep, just stay away from that thing, okay? We're already there. I like how they've built the city in some sort of a canyon. That's amazing. Looks like most of the population here are those guys. They're called Shek and they have a barbaric, aggressive fighting nature. Like, like super mutants from Fallout. I've got a feeling they don't really like our presence here. They also called us Flatskins. A little bit like the ghouls from Fallout. Oh no wait, that was smooth skins. <laughs> oh look, this one got no horns. Looking at my horns, flat skin? It seems like this Shaq's name is Ruka and she has fought a battle not long ago and was clearly outnumbered. She lost the fight and with it her horns. The enemies took them and now she feels sad. You know what Ruka, if you want you can come with us. We'd love to have someone with a fighting nature in our team. But stay away from Beep, he's a pervert. Hell yeah, the group is growing. That's amazing. Now we are five. I think next episode we will start to train Ruka and then move on from there. Explore some more of Kenji's world and yeah, that will be amazing. Welcome back to another episode of Kenji. Did you know that Chris Hunt, the developer of Kenshi, is watching our Kenshi series here on YouTube? He tweeted about this a couple of days ago. That is simply amazing. What a great guy. Today is another beautiful day in the world of Kenshi. So many opportunities, so much stuff to do and so many things to achieve. If it wasn't for Ruka, our newest addition to the group since the last episode. I don't mean to be rude, but she's a burden for the team. She has simply not the same experience as the rest of us. All she has done in her life was sitting in this hub and waiting for someone to pick her up. Like us. Look at her, she runs at a lethargic speed of 13 miles per hour. In the world of Kenshi you can compare such speed to a snail with special needs. And that's why we can't just run out into the big wild world and have some fun. <sighs> what do we do now? Maybe there's something on the map. Oh look! <laughs> There's a bandit camp next to the city. Let's take a look. Our group is getting bigger and bigger and that's good. What? Oh no! <laughs> they've already spotted us from this distance. Holy shit! They've got some good eyes. Watch closely guys, I'm going to show you a really cool trick I've learned back at our times when we were at Mongrel. Those city guards are like super strong, just lure those bandit idiots to the gates and let the guards handle this. <laughs> There are quite a lot of them. I think that's a good opportunity for Ruka to gain some skills. Just muscle in and get those experience points, girl. Oh no, what did we do? They were just about having lunch. Now everyone's dropping their spaghetti sauce. Look at that mess. <laughs> that's horrifying. One of them is still alive. Poor man. Just wants to get back to the camp. Not under my watch. Holy shit, they're just lying around. They ain't even dead yet. Oh, ho, ho. no, we chopped his arm off. That was his spaghetti eating arm. <laughs> the city guards are like, fresh meat for ourselves. <laughs> they locked them up one after another. All right, that was fun. We actually got a lot of experience points. Let's get some more of those bandits to the city. Look at this guys, this time around they're sitting there and trying their best to not look us in the eyes. As if we are not even here. They don't want to mess with us again. Not so tough anymore, are we? It's getting dark now and Van Damme needs his beauty sleep. This looks like a nice pub to stay. And while our team is getting ready for the bed, outside right in front of the city guard station, bandits still getting pounded like a piece of schnitzel. Everyone is sleeping like a baby tonight. Everyone except for Ruka. Ruka has to train hard this night. She needs more strength and more speed. If she can't keep up with the rest of the team, she will die in no time. And that is clearly not what we want. Beep found himself a crossbow from the bandits. He wants to get a bit better at ranged weapons from now on. Look at this, this is great. Her run speed's now at 17 miles per hour. That is very nice. 
She's not quite as fast as the rest of the team, but definitely faster than before. I guess we are fit and ready to leave Scrin for now. I've seen something got marked on our map. Seems to be some kind of way station, maybe an outpost of some sort. Let's take a look. Oh, Ruka asks this, what is this? Um, song I was just humming? I do not care for it. <laughs> wow, Ruka, what kind of shit answer is that? You just got picked up into the team and now you come up with this kind of attitude? Oh no, there's one of those dust bandits. What do you want? Surrender yourself or die. How about no? Oh! Hey, that is not a very nice thing to say. People that say such things are getting punished. Oh no, beep. Watch out, where are you shooting? You just shot Blade in the back. I'm sorry. Peep, what the hell? You gotta have to hold that crossbow firmly in your hands. Do you even realize where you are shooting at? You are just blindly shooting into the crowd. Stop it, please. Oh, this dust bandit got a bounty of 2000 cats. Let's heal him up a bit and take him with us. Nice, our very own prisoner. Let's see what's inside this waypoint. <laughs> Look at this dudes chilling on the roof. All right, everyone, don't panic. Beep didn't piss his pants. That's just the way they were made. We are just here to take a look around. There is no need for hostility. <laughs> that woman sure looks like Sonic. Well, except for Sonic, there's nothing really interesting around here. Let's sell our stuff we got from the bandits, get some more food and leave this place for good. I've planned we will go back to the Squin one last time, get our well-deserved bounty from there for this dust bandit and after that we will head to what looks like the swamps. Seems to be an interesting place. <laughs> Ruka, what is it again? I need action. Leader, when is our next battle? <laughs> Look at how no one wants to answer this question. Man, this place looks amazing. What are those wreckages? Some kind of ancient alien ruins here? Here we are, back again at Squid. Let's get our reward. All right, cool. It's not very convenient when you are getting attacked and Beep is shooting you in the back. Maybe I should just give the crossbow to someone with a little bit more physical understanding. If one of our teammates stands right in front of you, you don't shoot. And if there is no one standing in between the enemy and you, you shoot. Simple as that. All right, it looks like as if this could be some kind of swamp or jungle thing. But before we enter, we should rest for a while, regain all our strength. Who knows what awaits, could be anything. We've already got a village of some sort marked on our map. We should definitely check this one out first. All this running around is a pretty new experience for Ruka, but it's okay. Everyone in the team is understanding. Everyone except for Ruka herself. She's eager to kill. She wants to rip those raiders apart and eat their limbs. After this quick nap. Well, pack it all up and get ready. We are about to enter the swamps. Holy shit, you think that you have seen everything. But then comes something like this. This is epic. It looks so beautiful, but at the same time so ominous. Oh, Van Damme has something to say. So how about the trip to the famous dancing skeleton while we are at the swamps? All this travel made me thirsty for a good rum. <laughs> Classic. But the blade's not in with Van Damme's shit. We can celebrate with a rum once we've made it through the swamp ninjas and monsters lurking in the vines. Monsters? It sounds like a challenge. My sword is waiting. Look, we made it. We are at the village. They got pretty good defenses here for a small village. I guess those tales about the monsters and ninjas and monster ninjas ain't just child tales. We should proceed with caution while we are at the swamps. Wow, seems cozy around here. The huts are a little bit small and it's wet wherever you stand, but it got a friendly feeling of home. The huts aren't even that expensive. You know, the swamp is a dangerous place, so I think it wouldn't be a bad idea if we had a personal hut for ourselves. A place where we can leave our items or can heal our wounds if we got hit. You know, I, I just like it here somehow and we got a lot of money, so let's do this. Let's buy a hut. Look at this. Isn't that amazing? Let's furnish this place up a little bit. Alright, we got ourselves a research table, a chest to store items in and a fire <laughs> in our wooden hut. So far that's all I can build right now. We need more of those research books and materials if we want to build more stuff. But for now I think that should do. Let's head out again. We need to go deeper into the swamps. 
I want to see those monsters everyone is talking about. Holy shit! <laughs> These are no monsters. They are the Crocodogs. Van Damme's natural friends. They're pretty harmless. Let's keep going, guys. There is one big advantage at living here in the swamps. You will never need to shower because you're always showering. One thing I do not like about the swamp is that you can't really zoom out very well. You can't see shit up there. Too many trees and a thick fog completely covers the vision. But it's okay. It's realistic. Oh no, I guess we can't cross this part by foot. We have to swim. Let's go, guys. You can do this. With exactly one miles per hour. Think I'll just take a nap in the meantime. Amazing, we got three new locations marked on our map. There's even a city called Shark. Man, I'm so excited. But first, let's try visiting those ruins. It's not far away. <laughs> God damn it, just take a moment and embrace this beautiful view. This looks so goddamn amazing. This building looks like one of those ancient ones. I wonder what's inside. Oh man, that's crazy. There's a bunch of everything lying on the ground. Every single item from the game. But the best part is those research books are pretty rare. We even found a skeleton repair kit for Sensei's arm. Finally, we can repair it. It's getting dark now and I've heard some scary noises in the bushes. We should stay inside this building for the night. Let's see what we can find while we're here. More of those research books and an engineer's map. We got a new location marked on our map by reading it. Wow, another ruin. That's pretty far away. There's a pretty big chest. I guess the loot must be good in this one. Wow, another one of those research books. But it's ancient. This one's even more rare than the other ones. Cool. I'm getting the chills, guys. This is way too spooky. I don't want to be outside anymore. If we run, we can reach Shark in no time at all. Let's go. Oh, I was right, it wasn't that far away at all. Here we are, at the heart of the swamp. Shark, a very interesting looking place. I am very excited to take a look around. Oi, you don't belong here. Who the f are you? So you're gonna show me some respect, twerp? Huh? What are you, some kind of goddamn mute? I don't like you. You're gonna get the butt kicking, just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and with that, welcome back to Kenji. A brand new episode straight out of the swamps. To be more precise, straight out of Shark, the heart of the swamps. A city run by outlaws, ex-slaves, gangs, assassins, criminals and anyone else just trying to make a living. Oh, we will have a lot of fun here. You are balling me, mister. So what? Then let's take this outside, fruit nut. Don't go pussying out on me. <laughs> okay. You're going down. What is going on today? Everyone's so hostile. I love how the guards nearly always immediately attack the person that is threatening us. That's what I call justice. They even kicked this guy's leg into another dimension. Poor guy. But it's his own fault. Shouldn't have attacked us. The bar we are at here right now is okay. Lovely people all around. But that's not the bar I was searching for. I want to see the dancing skeleton. The bar that is so famous around here in the swamps, everyone is talking about. I just want to know why. So let's go guys. This place is astonishing. Shark looks so alive. So many people around here just doing their things. Running around and just straight up being busy. For instance, this guy right here screaming his lungs out. Just so he can sell his valuable wares of good old stinky fish. That's cool and stuff, but my man. Now who the hell wants to buy your stinky hush if you store everything in the same inventory? I've never seen anyone sell hush and old fish at the same time. Now give me that fish. There it is, the bar I was searching for, the dancing skeleton. They've put a robo man with a top hat and cane on a sign. That's amazing. This bar looks identical to the one we have just visited. So what makes this one more special than the other one? I guess it's the sign that does the trick, right? So let's see what we got here. Hey, look at this guy over here. <laughs> He just looks like Beep. It's Beep 2.0. Only thing different about this guy here is his scar. 
or tattoo, whatever this is on his face. I shot the green fruit of a guy's head from half a mile away. <laughs> hey, calm down a little bit. Let's not do that. Hell, you're looking at one of the best shooters in the swamps. It would be amazing to have someone with some decent shooting skills in our team. I once tried giving Beep a crossbow, but that just turned out to be a big mistake. He shot everywhere and everyone except the enemy. So having someone on our side who can actually hit something would be great. Beep 2.0's name is Green. I can live with that. He once worked on a smuggler base until his crew got wiped out by skull collectors. They saw no use for someone whose head is shaped like a cucumber. So they let him go. Since then he's been sitting here drinking his life away. He's not cheap though, but I think he's worth it. 2300 cats. Welcome aboard Beep 2.0, I mean Mr. Green. Here's another one. This guy's name is Hamut and he's willing to join for free. He lost his wife to some slave traders and now seeks for revenge. Reminds me a lot of our old companion Salik from Fallout 2 where he asks us to keep an eye out for his sister who has been kidnapped by slave traders. You know the drill, it's always the same with those slavers. Fine, you can join our party. We will take a look out for your wife if we come across some slavers. Maybe even consider slaughtering someone our way. He looks so sad. It's as if depression's written all over his face. Poor guy. But we ain't done yet. Just as when we thought we were about to leave, this young woman got our attention. Welcome to the swamps, land of the murder, rapist, asshole, land of the giant ugly ass goddamn spider. She seems to be a little bit pissed about her current situation. Well, it seems like she's an ex-slave before that ex-farmer, now a chronic alcoholic. Again, telling us another one of those sad sob stories, just like everybody else here. I thought the city is cool, but everyone's just so depressed or hostile. You know what? Come with me. What is your name? Mew? Alright Mew, come with me and let us flip your life upside down. To the better, we will have so much fun exploring and fighting. Adventures will fill your heart with joy. Believe me, Sensei can approve. Alright, I think our group is now big enough to lose all of our overview we had. I can't control myself when there are so many potential followers around here. For free. Look at the size of our team. We are like a local community by ourselves. We could start building our own base. Nah, not so early. Let's explore a little bit more. First we're gonna split the team into two squads, the nachos and the tacos. This will make it easier to separate the elite from the rookies. I've paid a random guy a couple of thousand of dollars so that we can talk to the leader of one of the biggest gangs around here in the swamps. They call themselves the Hounds and they even got an own faction HQ building. That's so cool. Maybe we can get them on our side, make peace early on so they don't see us as competitors or something like that. There's the leader. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> this girl is buff as hell and her name is Big Grim. If that's not a frightening or authoritative name, I don't know what is. Let's chat with her a bit. New guy, hey, here you got something to say to me. Go. I'm a little bit nervous about this whole thing here, but let's go with it. I wanna join. All right, poop. You wanna join? You gotta work for the hounds. You in or out? <laughs> okay, what's the work? In? or out okay oh <laughs> let's go with it no worries it won't be that bad you gonna take this hush you're gonna dump it into the united cities and you ain't gonna get caught then bring back the profit whoa are you kidding me that goes strictly against Van Damme's principles after all he's coming from a religious household he got a soft spot for that kind of things he's quite sensible on this matter you can't do this to him all right it, let's go. We got a new mission, guys. First off, what the hell are the United Cities? That's a brilliant map I've just found on the internet. Everything marked blue is part of the United Cities. We are somewhere around here, so all we have to do is run straight down to the south. All right, guys, no more lollygagging. Let's go. Holy hell. <laughs> Did I already say that the group looks massive? Starting out with this playthrough, I never thought I'd find seven more people willing to join the party. That's awesome. Oh, that's the guy again from before. I am going to make you pay for disrespecting me. <laughs> Do you really want to fight against eight people? Oh, all right, he means business. Let's go, guys. That's it. <laughs> That was a poor attempt, boy. But he got an enormous large sword. Well, he won't need that anymore since he's just a pile of meat now. 
Hope the food we got with us will be enough for this long ass trip. We have to consider that we are now twice as many as before. But no worries, there's a village on the map. It's on our way. We can take a break there and buy some more supplies. Here we are at the village. The village is called Stone Red Village. The name comes from the gang that resides here, the Stone Reds. That is pretty cool and stuff, but we won't stay here for long. We still have a long way to go, so let's keep going. Oh, Mew has something to say. What the hell? Spiders? Ah, oh, always with the goddamn spiders. What does that mean? Oh, oh! <laughs> I think she means those things. Oh, look at those legs. These are no insect legs. Those legs are as big and chunky like you would find on a well-trained sportsman. People ask me in the comments why I haven't seen one of those spiders so far. I don't know. I'm really honest with you. The swamp is like the safest environment I've ever been. It's just luck, I guess. And this is my very first encounter with something threatening in the swamps. I don't know what's wrong with the spiders, guys. I can just easily outrun them. Seems pretty hard to me oh my what <laughs> this is magnificent this is just simply amazing elephant turtles just taking a stroll or more like an animal migration they just coming out of this canyon and going in, into the sea never thought I'll see something like that in in my life they're so peaceful Beautiful to watch. This game is amazing. Thanks Chris Hunt for such a beautiful game. <laughs> Always here for a surprise. Let's keep going guys. We are currently here in the wetlands. <laughs> when I was like five or six I ate a whole watermelon on my own just before going to bed. That night I woke up to the real wetlands. <laughs> uh, there's a building, maybe an outpost or maybe it's just abandoned. Wait a second, those aren't my guys here. We are a big team, but they are not with us. Oh, swamp ninjas, ninjas? Oh no, Blade told us to watch out for those. They might be dangerous. Let's get out of the water and show them a lesson. Oh, they even are shooting us. Swim faster now, guys. What? They nearly shot Green's leg off. What the hell, guys? I think it's because Green wears no armor of any kind at all. We need to position him a little bit further away from the upcoming fight. All right, guys, get ready to kill. Show them what it means to mess with us. Oh no, they're actually landing a lot of hits on our team. It's not a lot of damage, but every hit counts on them. And they hit a lot. That's not good. Those Swamp Ninjas must have some pretty good stats. Giving our team a lot of trouble. Beep has developed well. He got pretty good with the sword. Actually doing a lot of damage. Oh no, Mew is down. Even though she wasn't really involved in the fight, that doesn't look very good for our team. Everyone is losing a lot of blood. Most of our people's limbs aren't doing very well. Shit, there goes the next one down. They sliced Blade's stomach open. Now she's unconscious. That's just horrible to watch. Beep put an enemy down though. He truly is an animal. Now they got Ruka and Sensei. Beep can't do this any longer. But wait, one time actually put one of those ninjas down too. Maybe there's a chance of winning this fight nonetheless. Oh. Beep's fragile little arms are just about to break. But Green managed to get one with his crossbow. Come on Green, heal your Hamut friend. <sighs> oh, Beep's down and one of the ninjas got up again. Now they are teaming up on Van Damme. Oh no, this is the end. Green, run! Oh, <laughs> nice job. Got one anyway. No, run, let that boy go, please. Oh no, they're f***ing him up. <laughs> Beeps up again, showing us his skills one last time. Why didn't you just stay down and wait until they were gone? Yeah, I guess that's not a good sign. <laughs> his left leg went down the drain. I'm sorry for that. But imagine losing a leg and not only being, but just playing dead. Beep went from a little cicada to such an alpha male. This looks like a hopeless situation right now. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome back guys to the world of Kenshi where everything and everyone tries to kill you Speaking of that our team got spanked half to death by those swamp ninjas and are now lying around spread all over the area But hey while those shit ninjas are looting the bodies of our people some of us start to regain consciousness Sadly, I can tell that for everyone some of us are dying because of blood loss and or severe injuries He's off already. I have to heal my team. They're going to die. What a sad first day for the team. <laughs> oh god. 
<laughs> no green, don't float away. Okay, the team is slowly waking up one after another. Let's go, start to treat those injuries so we can get the hell out of here. <laughs> Beep's so angry, he threw his severed leg in the air. I don't want to do this bullshit anymore, Mr. Van Damme. We have to take care of Ruka and Green or else they're gonna die. They got hit the hardest somehow. <laughs> oh. What? Trash them and strip every last bit of loot from their carcasses. You gotta be kidding. Give us a break. Now the Red Saber Gang. Sensei, you gotta turn into a Super Saiyan right now or else we are all freaking dead. Great. <laughs> Second time this day we got beaten up by a gang from the swamps. Went from mild ninja harassment to excessive Red Saber rape in just about minutes. Maybe it's because we are on a mission for the hounds and the rival gangs try to get rid of potential recruits. What the shit day. Green lost the leg too now. <laughs> the pain was so unbearable it just popped out of his hip. Oh, Van Damme is up again. Fast, heal everyone. Green got so injured he is nothing more but a pile of blood. That's so sad. But Van Damme is doing a really great job healing our little friend. Oh no! A swamp ninja! Again? What the hell is going on? I can't even stay up for like 10 seconds before some idiot comes around trying to kill us. Great shit. I successfully healed up half of the team. That's good, but we still got some people with some deadly injuries. Hamut is about to die. We have to act fast. Sensei, go help him out, please. <laughs> what? How? How is this even possible? They are swimming half a mile away and they spotted Sensei crawling. They got the vision of a eagle. No one escapes. <laughs> Now this is worse than hell. The second we heal up a bit, they come to put us down again. Eternal suffering. I guess it's safe now. Van Damme, fast now. If Hamut's chest reaches less than minus 100, he's dead. Help him, heal him up before he dies. Minus 99. <laughs> fast Van Damme, minus 100. Oh no, I can't look at this. This is too much. <gasps> yeah, cool. <laughs> He did it! Van Damme is like a surgeon. He doesn't even need any kind of surgery equipment for that. Just his bare hands. Today you saved the life's man, my man. I'm proud of you. Everyone is healed up now, but still unconscious. This is our chance. We need to find some kind of shelter for the injured, so they can heal in peace. Maybe this building here we saw in the last episode. We should check it out first. But guys, sneaky beaky like for safety measures. Oh god damn! We are so out of luck today, guys. That's the Swamp Ninja base. Maybe even their HQ. Abort, abort. They haven't spotted us, but that could have turned out pretty bad. That explains why there are so many of those ninjas around. I think it would be the best to take everyone back to the Stone Red Village. I've seen an unconscious Swamp Ninja lying around here somewhere. We can take his clothes for a simple but functioning disguise. This should rise up the chances of not getting caught by those ninja freaks again. Looking good on Van Damme. <laughs> Hello? Let's get the team back to safety. Safe and quiet, one after another. Finally, you can't believe how glad I am to have everyone back in a safe environment. That was the worst idea I've ever had. I think it would be way more smart if I just sent one or two fast people out to get the mission done instead of sending everyone. So let's make a hush team with Van Damme and Blade, the fastest Papinos in our team. Send them out to the south while the rest of our team recovers. That's a brilliant idea. Goodbye. This is way much better and faster than taking the whole team with us. Look how far they've already come, leaving the swamps and entering good old Sandland again. Wow, we discovered the market. That's cool. Gonna take a look at that. This is like a big outpost or a city. Oh, oh, I know what this is. This is no food, no weapon or fish market. That's a slave's market. 
great shit. I don't really like slavers. They ain't hostile right now, but if they find you lying around unconscious, they turn you into a slave instantly. Let's not stay here for too long. Maybe buy some food at the bar and then keep going. Ah, that's it. Just wait till I finish this grog. I'll beat your face blue, slave. What is going on here? Holy shit, this scumbag woman wants to kill this hyper slave of hers and give his meat to the goats to cut her losses of buying him. She states that he is useless since he can't talk. His last owner cut his tongue out. Poor bastard. You know what? I'll buy him off. He deserves better than that. I know we already got plenty of new members in our team, but I can't let this woman kill this poor slave. That's just not right. Yay, look at this, we got a new slave. I mean companion, because he is freeing stuff, you know. His name is Ray, and he can trade, <laughs> obviously, because Ray can talk to people. <coughs> we will get rid of those shackles as soon as we are far away from the slavers. This looks like a good spot. Nice, I think we are safe, no one saw us. Whoa, holy shit, where did this guy come from? Just teleported here, like Son Goku, by the smell of escaped slave. Well, we gotta protect our new boy. Let's strip off all of his clothes and put on the shackles, make him a slave now. <laughs> Now he's an escaped slave, from slaver to slave. If I were you, I wouldn't run back to the slaver's market. They're gonna put you in a cage. It ain't far from here now, just a couple miles more. And while our hush team is on its way to deliver the good all hush, I think it would be wise if we could bring the rest of the team back to Shark. We should definitely buy a house there and settle down for a while, until we can find some robotic legs for Beep and Green. Since Sensei Ruka and Mew can walk again, we can send them out to slowly head towards Shark. Hopefully nothing bad happens on the way. The team's quite slow, still hurt from the recent events. Alright, I guess we found the town of the United Cities, called Clown's Daddy, strange name. We will try our luck there, but we should not take Ray inside with us. He will have to wait outside with Mr. Van Damme. I can't risk him being seen by those slavers. Blade, I need you to sell this hush as fast as you can, so we can get back to the rest of the team. Oh, hold on a second. The guards could check if I have anything illegal on me, like the hush. Should I risk it? Well, we have come so far now, can't go back from here. Let's go. Seems like they are not interested in Blade at all. That's good. Wow, the city looks so cool, so big. And I cannot quite fail to notice how the frame rate slowly starts to drop. There are a lot of people here in this town. I don't know if any of those settings can reduce the workload on my computer without sacrificing too much of the aesthetics, but I think I just need to buy a better computer in the future. One that can handle such amazing cities like this one. Gotta have to do my things fast here in Clown Steady. No time for looking at other possible companions. It seems like that nobody wants to buy our hush. Every time I try to sell it, they say it's an attempted smuggling act. Everyone likes to have it. They want to give you a good price for it, but they don't do it because it's illegal. After searching for quite a while on the internet, I found out that the only vendor that accepts those goods is the one from the Shinobi Thieves Guild. They simply accept everything, from all the stolen goods you can find to the nastiest illegal substances around. So here we go. There they are. Illegal goods? No problem. That's what I was searching for. Nice. But we only made 1400 cats. <laughs> what a bullshit mission. What the heck? That was not very profitable. We lost two legs for the sake of that mission. And we can't even keep the money. We have to give it back to the hounds. Oh man, let's just get back to Shark again and hope the rest of the team is doing fine. They've already bought a house. How convenient. Looks cozy in here, but a little bit dark. Maybe start building things? There we go. <laughs> Beep wasn't fast enough to get into the camping bag first. You gotta be faster than that. Look at those two warming up their legs. Nice. And there's the rest of the team. Back already. Look at how cool it looks around here, Mr. Van Damme. Isn't that great? Let's see what the hounds have to say about our successful mission. Hehehe, <laughs> ain't stuck in a jail cell yet, done me proud so far, pup. You got my profit for me? Oh, to be 4,000 cats. Go. What? But we only made like 1,400 cats. Oh man, 
What the bullshit. Great, the hounds are now our allies. And we got a new mission. We have to build a hemp farm. Well, I don't know about that. Hey guys! Welcome back to Kenshi, the most dangerous and non limb friendly game known to men. Return to the vanished kingdoms of ancient times. And there he is, the man of the mans, the master of all the martial arts. There is no fear in this man's eyes, just strolling around all over the wastes in the world of Kenshi, with a backpack full of hush. Oh. It's no other than our beloved Jean Claude Van Damme, still trying to find a place to sell his hush off to, getting enough money just so he can buy his has two hive friends a fine robotic leg each since both of them lost one last episode speaking of which those two cucumber fart heads are eating all of our hard-earned food rations up while contributing absolutely nothing to the team in the current state all they do is sleep eat and fart all day long in this tiny hut Hamut can't concentrate working on the research table under such conditions. And it doesn't help to leave the door open. Please guys, just pull yourself together already. I've sent the rest of the team, the people who are actually still capable of some labor, out into the wilds to mine some good old iron ore. It's hard work and the pay isn't the best, but it's honest work in a somewhat safe environment. This should be a steady income for now, until Van Damme can find someone to sell his hush to. I don't know what is going on, but my computer is getting slower and slower over time. Even though I've turned down the settings to a bare minimum, the frame rates just don't seem to like me. Well shit, I think it's because of my graphics card. It's not the best anymore. I couldn't find any good sellers around the swamp area, so I think there's no other option than going back to the United Cities and sell it there again. It's not very profitable, but I don't care anymore. I don't want to let the team labor their lives away. We just need enough money for two working legs and then we can go on with our adventures. There we are again. Down steady. The one town that just loves to fuck even the last bits of frames my computer can spare. We don't have to stay here for too long, so let's sell the hush as fast as possible and get the freak out of here. Hey guys, what are you doing in here? Just because it's night time doesn't mean you can stop working. No time for rest, okay guys? So get back to work. <laughs> Look at Beep staring at the floor. <laughs> He's so depressed. We will get you a leg soon, don't worry my friend. And while Van Damme is still on his way back home, we can send Blade out to one of those swamp villages. We need to find one of those robotic guys who can sell robotic limbs and preferably somewhere local. We are now in Mud Town. <laughs> What a clever name. And it seems like there are no robotic sellers around here. Nothing really interesting here except for this bar. Well, let's see what type of people we can find in this bar, which are living in a place called Mud Town. Oh, look at this cool dude, sitting there in the corner of this bar, all by himself. Oh no, his name is Dr. Chung. <laughs> in Japan, how to search number one, steady head. Okay, wow, that's a nice skill to have for One sure. One day Yakuza boss need new head. I do operation. But mistake, Yakuza boss try. Yakuza very mad. Holy shit, are you serious? I hide fishing boat, come to America. No English, no food, no money. Well, that was kinda dumb. My big secret, I kill Yakuza boss on purpose. I could search him. So best. Wow, you're a fucking legend. So, and what else can you do? In Japan, how to search it. Number one. Alright, I get it. Let's get out of here. Hey, Van Damme's back at the hut. And look guys, he brought a lot of meat for you hungry shitheads to eat. They're so happy, they can't even express how happy they are. <laughs> No guys, I'm done with this shit here. I can't take another look at those two poor legless creatures on the floor here. I just can't. So now, Blade and Van Damme are going to travel to the next city on the map to finally find us some working robo-legs. Even if it means to go all the way back to Mongrel. I'm going to get those goddamn legs at all costs. First, let's head to the way station next to Squin. I can't quite remember if there was a robo-limb seller last time we've been there. But it doesn't hurt to take a look again. Nope. Shit. Nothing's here. But I've heard of a city. A large Shek city. Somewhere around this area. So let's go. There we are. The city is called Admak. And just like in Clown Steady, I've got those horrible legs again. I don't know what this shit is all about, guys. But at this point, the game is unplayable for me. You can hear it, but my graphics card is creating a nuclear meltdown right now, here in my room. It's not enjoyable at all. And I think I'm going to quit Kenshi for now. I just can't endure this anymore. 
two weeks later. Hey guys, I'm back. It's been a while since I've played Kenji the last time and I'm very sorry for that. But I'm finally back and we got a new dirty ass graphics card in this baby. Yeah. Look at this. We are in the city called Admech and the game runs as smooth as a baby's ass. Experiencing Kenji on a whole new level. That's so amazing. I can't even describe how smooth everything works now. I've also read some of your comments and you guys told me to go to a way station near the hub. Just a couple of steps away from the swamps. There should be a guy that sells robotic limbs. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Here we are in the border zone and there's the way station. This must be it. Welcome, have a browse. Yeah, shut the fuck up, you tin can. Do you know how long I've been searching for you? I've lost the graphics card because of you. You know what? I won't even pay for those robotic limbs. I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna run away from here as fast as I can. The problem is now I can't come back here for more limps. This robo guy hates me now. He will probably kill me next time he sees one of us. That means we can't afford to lose another limp from now on guys. Hey beep, green, you can't stop crying like little b now. Look who's back. Van Damme and Blade are back from their adventures. And with good news, they got you one right leg and one left leg. Thank you, Mr. Van Damme. You are the best. I love you. Ah, uh, now get back to work. I think it would be the best now for the team to go off and do something that is more interesting than mining iron ore or searching for legs. I've got an idea, but before we go, we are going to let Mew stay put here at the hut. Let her mine some more iron ore or something. We just need the backup if something goes wrong on our adventures. I thought we'll go back to those swamp ninjas, search for them to get some sweet revenge. Revenge, revenge for pounding our asses. <laughs> Green still got nightmares from when they pounded his ass so hard his leg popped out of its socket. Those swamp ninjas think they are so cool stressing and harassing around helpless wanderer. Oh here look that's the place. No we just have to wait for ninjas to pass by. Oh <laughs> never mind they found us before we even could start to search for them. All right you shitheads show me what you got. Oh shit I see red numbers. Don't show me those red numbers. Oh, that looks so bad. No, wait. I think we are lucky that we are more in numbers. They go down one after another. They might be quicker in their attacks, but we do way more damage. Not a good idea to wear towels for protection. Well, look at our attacks. That was a great success. Nice job team. We will go back now to the hut to recover a bit. And after that we are going to check out this place right here. There seems to be an outpost of some kind. And a rune. Looks interesting. Alright, we're done here. Let's go. Oh, elephant turtles again. The majestic creatures of the swamps. What a sight. Here we are, at the outpost. Ugh, stinks like my musty old grandma around here. <laughs> Van Damme, what are you talking about? I've got a bad feeling about this one, guys. We're gonna have to check it out first. Make sure it's safe inside. Go and sneak in, Van Damme. But be careful. Whoa, holy shit! Another base? Are you kidding me? That's the Red Saber gang. That's their base. Those are the guys that pounded our asses too. Just after the Swamp Ninjas were finished with us. How the tables have turned. I've gotta have to take this opportunity for revenge. Revenge! But I'm not quite sure how. I can't just storm in and kill everyone. I have to try and lure a few of those idiots out of there first. So we can take them out one after another. Oh, someone's after us! Fast! Go out! But uh, he ain't hostile? What? Lost sheep in the swamp, eh? Yeah, we are definitely lost here. It seems like this is the Red Saber's leader. Holy moly. Whoa! He suddenly went aggro. Get him, boys. <laughs> Look what a bit of a unit this guy is. He looks massive compared to Van Damme. And he got the bounty of 10,000 cats on his head. I want this man's ass. Get him, boys. <laughs> what the hell? 
Look at how big this guy is. Why would you make a man this big? His arm is as long as Beep himself. My, my. All right. Clown Steady seems to be the nearest city from here right now. So let's head there. With a bit of luck, we might be able to get the bounty for the Red Saber leader. I can't believe it. We are in Clown Steady. And for the first time ever, my frames are as steady as the city's name promises to be. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm actually crying, man. Sensei, go get us our well-earned reward. Nice. 10,000 cats in cash. And we got our revenge. What a great day. Since we're here, we are going to explore a little bit more around here. Going down to the south. I think it would be a great idea to start building our own base. But we need to find a location that is safe and has plenty of resources. The world of Kenshi is way too big to find the perfect place to settle down so easily. So I wrote the developer of Kenshi, Chris Hunt, and asked if he knew a good place to start out. He said the pits or the cannibal plains might be interesting places to build a base in. Well, I hoped he would suggest places like Cuddle Canyon, Rainbow Valley or just peaceful fields. But no, how about cannibal planes? <laughs> I think he just wants to see me suffer. But okay, I'll think about it, but not now. Look, we found the slaver's outpost. Poster! Oh no, Ray is still wearing the slaver's armor and they found out. No, <laughs> fight for your lives. Wow, we're actually pretty strong. Let's head inside. Maybe we can free some slaves here. It's kids play for Van Damme to open these locks. No go guys, you are free. Oh shit, 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 shit. From where did so many slavers got here so fast? What the hell? Run, run you fools. This doesn't look good. Oh no. Those samurai guards are extremely strong. No, I don't stand a chance against them. Blade already got locked up. <laughs> they enslaved every one of us. Well, I guess that was not very smart of me. We should have run. Shit. Now we are locked up and can't get out of here. Ah, goddamn. Hi, this is Jean-Claude Van Damme. And no, I'm not dead yet. Famous. And with that, welcome back to the fascinating world of Kenshi. Last time our group got enslaved by the United City slavers. And now we have to find a way to get out of here. Well, it's not the first time for Van Damme finding himself locked up in a cage. The holy nation already got their time with Van Damme behind bars. And up to this day, I still don't get why they had to lock him up in the first place. But that's not important right now. In addition to the fact that we are prisoners comes that we are also obedient slaves. What means that our people do slavers work fully automatically. I have absolutely no control over that. So if I try to run off or do anything other than the labor they have given, they will immediately run after our asses. And that makes an outbreak a little bit hard, but not impossible. Since Van Damme is an expert in picking locks, he could potentially wait in his cage until it's getting dark, where most of the guards go to sleep to eventually free himself and the other team members. It's a little bit unfortunate that our people got locked up in cages that are spread wide over around the outpost. That makes it a little bit harder to free everyone in one go. But we will try our best here. Oh no, look what they did to our poor Hamut. <laughs> he was so proud of his lush blonde hair and they just shaved it off. You monsters. This black woman is trying to escape right in front of the guard. He doesn't even care at all. Wait, young woman, let me help you out a bit. Oh, she did it! Run! Fast! Oh no, a perfect example on how our escape should not look like. <sighs> it's still a lot of time before it's getting dark. We should check out the surroundings. Get a little bit more familiar with the guard's routes and our possible escape paths. Well, conclusion is... There are a shit ton of guards around here, might have been stocking up since our last attack. And the only escape option are those two gates. That's gonna be an interesting outbreak. From the looks I think our people are in okay condition. Should be able to move fast when the time comes. Except for maybe Blade, she got hit pretty hard. We are gonna have to carry her out I guess. Never thought we'd end up here. Well, it could have been worse. But I'm still got to keep most of his clothes and his sword in his backpack. Well, Hamut didn't even got the chance of keeping his hair. <laughs> I guess they didn't check Van Damme's equipment thoroughly enough. If it wasn't for those samurai shitheads, we'd be running around in the desert with a dozen slaves under our arms. Anyway, let's wait for the night to come. 
Oh, God damn! Those idiots! They took all of Van Damme's clothes and even shaved his hair. They took his trusty good old pants from Sensei with those smelly white stains and the cool black jacket I've paid 10,000 cats for. That is definitely bullshit. Sensei still got his stuff. We gotta move his items into his backpack. Somehow the guard doesn't check what's inside. So that's good. Alright, that's the moment we've been waiting for. Let's see if we can manage to escape. <laughs> what the hell is going on with the guards? Why are they so nervous? Do they sense that we are plotting an escape? Alright, this is my chance. Let's go, Van Damme. Run for your lives! Oh shit, they're on to us! Even the alarm went off! Here goes nothing. Show them your speed, Van Damme. Show them your 20 miles per hour. Wow, it actually works! They can't keep up with Van Damme's powerful running legs. Guys, we actually did it. And it went easier than I thought. That was an amazing escape. Feels just a little bit cold around the head now. But we will survive. Okay, we are out. But what now? Oh, I remember. There must be still a couple of items left lying around spread all over the sand near the slaver's base from the last episode's fight, remember? Right before they caught our asses. This is perfect, an unconscious guard. We can take his clothes to disguise ourselves as slavers. Now we should be able to walk straight into the base without getting recognized. Oh, <laughs> you dump his fart heads. I'm just going right in and they don't even get that I'm a slave. <laughs> All right, let's pick Blade's lock first, fast. Huh, oh shit, how did they saw me? Oh no, I forgot to sneak while picking the lock. Oh, god damn it, I'm so dumb. Gonna have to run again, fast Van Damme. Oh look, there's a bone dog. That comes quite handy. That's my chance, get them doggy. I know this might be a bad idea, but maybe we can knock this guy out just for the fun, you know? Damn it, what the hell? How did Van Damme not block the attacks? I I believed in you, Van Damme. What the hell? Oh, good doggy. You are the best man. Thanks for kicking those slavers' asses. No problem. Now get up, Mr. Van Damme. It's not over yet. Come on, as if you are that old already. Oh God, there are more of those slavers. Run, Mr. Van Damme. Oh no, doggy needs our help. Fast now, Mr. Van Damme. Help your new doggo friend. Shit, goddamn! How did they even hit me? And where did so many slavers come from out of the sudden? No, <laughs> stay away from me. I just broke out. Leave me be. Take the doggy meat and go away from here. <laughs> I don't want to go back to prison. <sighs> ah, luck just ain't on our side, I guess. <gasps> did they? Did, did they not notice? They just dropped me. Run, Mr. Van Damme. This is our chance. What idiots! They didn't even notice. There's our doggo friend. Oh no, he's dying. All right, let's get some distance to the slaver's outpost, regain our strength and plan for the next outbreak. Poor Hamut is getting forced to tend the crops. Well, if you can call that crops, what even is that? He even got his personal motivational coach. I need someone like this in my life. No, Van Damme is not taking a shit in the bushes. He is hiding from the dangerous wildlife out here. Oh, who's that person? Are you okay? Whoa, come here, let me help you out. Must be one of the escaped slaves we freed last episode. We did it. Of course we did it. Now let's move out. I'll be right behind you. Be careful. Seems like he just straight up joined our team. Well, okay, girls. I guess we could use some help, thanks. But you are too weak to be of use right now, so you gotta have to wait here until I freed the rest of our people. Alright, I found some more meat and a second slaver's outfit for guilds. I've also commanded our people to try and pick the locks by themselves, if they can, to get ready for the next outbreak. How come every time I switch to the slaver's outpost, I always see only Hamut doing the hard labor. It's as if everyone else just sleeps in their cells all day long. Well, if it's fair or not, doesn't matter. Van Damme's already here and now it's your time to shine. <gasps> that is our chance. There are no guards around here at the main gate. Must be busy coaching those slaves at the fields. Nice, Blade's outside. Now go Blade and wait in front of the gate for the rest of us. 
We got Ray. Works like clockwork. We're nearly done. There are a couple of guards running around, but somehow aren't able to spot us. That is great. Hamut has no energy left to walk on his own, so Van Damme has to carry him out. All right, beeps the last one. His cage got locked up pretty heavily somehow. I guess they didn't want to lose that cute boy. Can't blame them. There we go. Went easier than I thought. A couple of us were even able to save some of our equipment with the backpack trick. Man, that was an experience. I can't tell you that. Now let's get back to the swamps. To our house, to our home and the rest of the team. Oh, we finally made it back home. Isn't that great to know that we are safe and ain't slaves anymore? That's a brilliant feeling. Always great. Is it just me or does Van Damme without his hair look more like Van Damme than the real Van Damme himself? He looks exactly like you. Look like me? I would never in my life wear gun work. Look at it. Uh, fuck it. Last episode I promised to think about building a base for our people. And since we grew a lot in numbers, we should definitely be more than ready to start building our own base. Chris Hunt told me that the pits and the cannibal planes are places he very much enjoyed building his own base in. Since we ain't that strong enough for the pits, we could check out the cannibal planes first. It's quite a long way to go. The cannibal planes are all the way up to the north. But when the developer of the game you are playing wants you to go there, you go there. So the adventure begins to a new and distant land we never have seen before. What new and interesting things will await us, no one knows. We already managed to reach Ocran's Gulf. We should definitely watch out for the Holy Nation. Who knows how they will react if they see a bunch of escaped slaves running around in their territory. It is quite convenient to sometimes find some bone dogs running around and getting killed by almost anything around here. They provide a lot of good meat for our people to take with. What the hell is that? What are those things in the sky? Wait, those are those spider things that nearly killed Sensei. Those cyber spiders. But, but they are flying. Cyber spiders? They fly now? No. They fly now? That is horrifying, but pretty cool to look at. What an interesting area. Guys, I cannot tell you often enough how much I love this game. Kenshi always gives me those nostalgic feelings. It provides places I've never been or seen before, but somehow feels so familiar. There is some kind of connection, I can tell how. It is very hard to describe. Just look at that view and tell me that that does not look like it's been taken straight up from a movie. It's so beautiful. After a couple of more hours strolling around, we found a village in the hidden forest. The people living around here call themselves the Floatsome Ninjas. Most of them are escaped slaves like ourselves. Maybe we can find some more potential follower around here or make them our allies. Welcome back to the world of Kenshi. Kenshi, a place definitely not suitable for the faint of heart. And a video that will put your pacemaker to the test. A land praying for a hero. Today and only here with the one and only, our beloved Jean-Claude Van Damme. We are currently here at the Floatsome village and have planned on building a base somewhere around this area. We ain't got a pinpoint location as for where to build yet, since we don't know anything about this place, but we got high hopes that this might be a sacred place rich in resources and friendly neighbors. It's essential to have plenty of resources like copper and iron in Kenshi to establish a secure base for our people to live in. Only thing we might come across there are maybe some cannibals, since the place is called the Cannibal Plains. But I don't think they will cause a lot of trouble. They are hungry and weak and dumb and we are strong. But first let's check out what else those floatsome ninja people around here got to offer. All right, we convinced two girls to join our team, Knife and Riva. Knife and Blade already got some things in common. They both tend to have a liking for sharp objects. Riva comes from the farmlands and got some decent skills with all kinds of weapons. She told us she hates the people around here, the holy nation, the god Okran and man. Well, she will be a perfect candidate for the mines later on. I think that's everything we can do here for now. Let's keep on going. The Floatsome Ninjas already got some other visitors here anyway. We don't want to bother them anymore, so let's move on. Oh, that's interesting. A cannibal hunter's camp equipped with some kind of heavy ballistics. That's crazy. Well, good luck with your hunt. See you around. It's not far now. We're getting close. Wow, look at that view. That looks amazing. Oh, some bone dogs Hi, trying doggy. to give us some company. 
I already said it a couple of times when we had like five people in our team. But now look at this, 13 people. We are an army, an actual army. That's amazing. Oh, wait, we discovered the village. Let's check it out. And look at this, we're near the ocean. What a beautiful view. And here's the city, a little bit empty, isn't it? Holy shit, where are all the people? Oh no, we gotta have to go. This is a ghost town. Last time Beef thought we saw a ghost, he shot bricks. So let's get the fuck out of here. Wait, did you see that? Up ahead, I'm sure I saw something. Oh no, now Green is starting to see things. Just calm down and let's move on. It's just the wind, relax. Stay off the hashish a while, eh? <laughs> Listen to the words of Sensei. He already knows what he's talking about. Ugh, a cannibal! What are you doing here, all alone, by yourself? Did you get lost? <sighs> Seems like there are no other cannibals around. Well, <laughs> let's get him, boys. Put him down for, for the experience. Nice. Now, let's move on. We could start prospecting the land to get a feeling for what we are looking for. Seems like we got a lot of water around here. High fertility, but absolutely no stone, iron or copper. So that's a no-go. Oh god damn! I hate those big things. Those crazy ass fast giraffes. It might be a smart decision to head to the waters, to the northern coast. Those big things might be fast on land, but maybe they can't swim as good as they walk. That would be a great advantage. Here, look at this. That looks like a good place to build. Lots of iron around here. We need iron for weapons and stuff, but it seems like there's no copper around here. So, ah, let's move on. We will find a better place. Oh, we got some company. Oh, what the hell? Those cannibals look different from the ones we've seen so far. They got armor, heavy weapons and <laughs> boobs. What the hell? <laughs> I should try to not zoom the camera too much into them. Holy hell, they got some decent speed. Run, my boys, run. Oh no, there are even more of them. Where are they all coming from? This is nuts. Wait, they're actually fighting against each other. I think that's because of a mod I've installed. There are actual different cannibal factions in this game now. I'm not quite sure if that's better or worse for us when we will start to build our base around here. But right now it's kind of like a good ass blessing. This, that's a small copper resource. The thing I was searching for. And that, oh my god, I love it. That's perfect. Just about the right amount of land that goes into the water, but still connected with the mainland. I think that's a very good location for our base. We got everything we need around here. We could ask for a little bit more copper, but I don't want to be too greedy. Those are already very good stats for this area. So let's go guys, get to work. We will build a small shack first, right here. And while everybody starts to work, we will send out beep to some nearby ruins. Oh, it's just one building. Still, there might be some useful stuff here. Let's see. We got here some stone, a skeleton eye, more stone, skeleton muscles, a skeleton repair kit. Okay, that's worth something. Steel bars, fuel. Well, most of the stuff here is junk, but I'm very thankful for everything we can get around here in the wastes. We might need to send some more people out to get us some more resources at some point. I thought about packing up a lot of building materials to start our base, but I've got a feeling we'll need a lot more than that until we are able to provide our own materials through mining and processing. Alright, what the hell, did we really just build our base right next to an cannibal outpost? <laughs> are you shitting me? Well, it looks nice though. And that view, it feels like I'm inside the game. Ah, uh, I just noticed the color of the water, it's all red. As if someone lost a lot of blood out here. Nah, I guess it's just power rate, red flavor. All right, I guess the next step would be a wall. And it has to be built quickly. Since the cannibals reside about a couple of steps ahead, this might be the best idea I had so far. Ah, goddamn. Mew still fits through the wall. My plan is to build the wall this way so that the enemy, if they plan on charging us, they need to swim around first to get to us. So the only possible way to get into our base is through the water. Here we go. That's better already. Perfect. I hope my plan works. 
those cannibals just standing there with some kind of menacing aura. Well, as long as they just stand there, everything's fine. One thing I haven't thought about was that our people need to swim too, if they want to get out or into the base. I don't have enough resources for a gate so far. I think I don't have any resources at all now. <sighs> That's a problem. Beeps at the ruins again, trying to get some iron plates for the manual iron refinery. Holy shit, Beep swims with a speed of 5 miles per hour. That's as fast as the fastest human swimmer ever. Well, we need more iron plates, so we gotta have to send Beep out again. Don't tell him, he has to go back to the ghost town from before. He will get the spooks. <laughs> well, at least he will have a good shit before coming back to the base. On a patrol with Green, we found a city called Death Cat. We should definitely check it out in the future. There might be some seller or more follower to get, but we will check it out later, I guess. There are too many big things around here. Man, that's so beautiful. Seeing the sun rise is fantastic, man. We already managed to get the manual iron refinery to work. Now for the next step, we can build a stone processing machine. Wow, shit starts to work out pretty good in our base. I like it here. I like it a lot. And we even had no problems with the cannibals so far. What can I say? I'm absolutely fine with that. Although I'm a little bit concerned about the amount of cannibals there. Is it just me or are there more of them than before? Nah, I'm just hallucinating. Look at this, Van Damme got his hair back. It got so long since he had to cut it. Unfortunately forgot to cut the back. Now Van Damme has to live with his fetching ponytail all over again. Whoa, a materials trader is on his way to our base. Fantastic. Now, who the hell stacked all the raw stone to a tower here? Must have been Beep, that piece of a... I've just found out there is even a second cannibals outpost next to our base. And the cannibals there are so hungry, they started to kill each other. What a lovely neighborhood. But they don't scare me as much as those guys do. It's been a while now since we settled and the food is starting to run out. Unfortunately, we don't have any space for crops or any seeds to plant anything. Worst case would be we have to send some people out back to the Floatsome village or Death Cat to get some seeds. Although I don't want to send anyone out to Death Cat since there are somehow a lot a lot of big things all around there. So that's a no-go for now. Alright Beep, it's your turn to go back to the float zone village and get us some seeds. Goodbye. Okay guys, we got a big problem. There are a lot of cannibals on their way to our base. And with a lot, I mean a lot. That must be like a hundred of them against our 12 people. What the hell? God. <laughs> Please have mercy on us, they will wipe us out like an ass with a piece of toilet paper. And when they are done with us, they will eat us. That's horrifying. But Van Damme got an idea. Since they are from another faction, they might be aggressive towards those other cannibals. Let's try it out. Here they come. Let's lure them a little bit away from here. Oh, oh no. God damn. Nothing at all. This is the end. We're fucked. They are already in the water. Fast guys, get to the edge of the land. Green, get ready to shoot. Blast everything you got on sight. Oh wait, they're irritated. They're retreating. Oh yes, I think they're going to attack the other cannibals now. What? Are you serious? I don't know how I should feel about that. But we are safe for now. And that's good. I can't wait until we get some heavy ballistics for our base so we can snipe every single one of them out of existence one by one from a safe distance. That would be awesome. Welcome back to the world of Kenshi. An ongoing battle for survival in a world with no boundaries. And an ongoing war between a small group of survivors and a bunch of cannibals. What seems to be a hopeless situation might actually be the end for our beloved hero of the story, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Failed, right? And the water came, you know, my, my, my swimming suit was like, <laughs> like a G-string. Could this really be the end for the group? 
No, actually we're pretty lucky right now. The cannibals have become completely disorientated by their own attack last episode. Their brains couldn't handle the stress that came from swimming through 5 feet high water. And now they're just standing there, a couple of steps away from our base. As long as they just stand there, that's okay with me. That will give us some more time to buckle up our defenses. It was an excellent idea to build a wall around the outpost. Otherwise they would have wiped us out in an instant. Wow, what a beautiful small research bench we got here in our shack. Here we can research for upgrades and new buildings. Unfortunately we need a bigger research bench if we want to unlock the high tier stuff. The problem is the research bench can only be built inside of a building and the shack is definitely too small for a bigger research bench. So we have to expand our base. Oh look at this! Perfect timing. The materials trader came to visit our base. We brought you wares, no hive? Excellent, we could use some building materials. Thank you very much. Holy shit, they got no time to waste. As fast as they came, they went off. Well, till next time. Oh, seems like the sun is rising. Are you shitting me? It wasn't even half a day since the last cannibals raid. And now the next one? Give us a break, goddamn. Well, no worries. They still got a long way to go. That should be enough time to prepare. And maybe it will be only a fraction of the amount of cannibals that tried to attack us last time. That would be a blessing. If there will be, let's say, maybe 15 of them, we definitely have a chance of winning. Anything over that's just pain in the ass. Okay, <laughs> they are moving faster than I thought. Well, I don't even know how to prepare for an attack anyway, to be honest. So let them come. There they are. Well, at least there aren't too many of them. But why they so big? That makes me anxious. I've got a feeling we can't take them. Van Damme, get out. Let's give it another go. And aggro them with the other group one more time. It's always worth a try. Yes! God damn it, it works! They hate each other, even though they all look the same. What idiots! Great job, Mr. Van Damme. You did great. Now get back to safety. Let those cannibals do their thing. That's crazy as brutal. As soon as one of them cannibals gets unconscious or dies, and cannibal from the other faction comes to pick them up quickly just so they can eat them up later. Holy shit, what the hell? The cannibals from the second base just decided to attack our base now. I just noticed. They are already swimming towards our base. But they are slow as shit. <laughs> With one miles per hour, it would take them a long ass time. At this rate, Green got all the time in the world. He can easily snipe them one by one with his toothpick. Uh, what? Cannibal Raid has arrived at our base. Meat. 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 They look so funny floating in the water like that. Meat. Negotiating with those meatheads won't be possible, I guess. Alright, Green. Get them. <laughs> That's a pretty good tactic. Right, guys? Maybe morally it ain't that good, but those guys are cannibals. So any question about morality doesn't matter. Wow, one reached the ramp. Fast, get them boys! Ugh, where are you running off to, little one? Seems like they're backing off. Must have been realizing their attack was bullshit. <laughs> Even the cannibal standoff seems to be over. Nice, I think we are safe now again. Only a couple of cannibals left, getting a snack for later. Now let's see, how can we expand our base? We need to build a storm house. It will provide a lot of space and it will give us an option to put some mountable crossbows on the roof, which we can use to snipe down those enemies. Alright, I think I got it. First off, we will need to build a second wall around our base. That shouldn't be that hard, since we got now plenty of building materials in stock. Then we will just dismantle the inner walls and finally we will have enough space to build the storm house. Oh, what do we got here? Tech hunters. Some friendly visitors want to check out our base. That's cool. Nope, you guys gotta have to use the water. This is no entryway. And we are done. Looks great. So much space now. Oh, I think the tech hunters aggroed the cannibals. That's not good. But holy shit, those tech hunter guys are really strong. 
must be some kind of elite unit. Still, I don't think they got the chance against so many of them. Well, I mean, if they're confident in their skills, they can try to get rid of them. I'm absolutely fine with that. It's so mesmerizing watching them pounding their way through the masses of cannibals. Whoa, they're getting all in now. The cannibals didn't even want it to fight. The tech hunters just want to kill every single one of them. You know, shit is getting real when the cannibals start wearing other cannibals as helmets. Oh no, one of them got downed. Maybe we should go and help them out a bit. Ah uh, no, I don't want to risk getting killed. Oh look, the one tech hunter is up again. But the other ones got downed now. They're trying to kidnap the downed tech hunter with not much success. That's the biggest spaghetti mess I've ever seen here in Kenshi. I think now it's safe for Van Damme to go in and help those tech hunters in their battle for glory. Oh shit! That guy's so strong. He just split Van Damme's stomach in half with just one attack. That's, that's crazy. I think what they're trying to do is to roast those unconscious tech hunters before they wake up again. Well, not under my watch. Hold on a second, those tech hunters got some crazy good equipment. Maybe we could borrow some of it out for a group for an unspecified period of time. Alright Mr. Van Damme, show those cannibals your crazy martial arts skills. Whoa, well, Dr. Chang, where did you came from? You scared the shit out of me. Look Van Damme, everyone's coming to help you out. Isn't that sincere? Nice job guys. Now go back home and let Van Damme do his job. He knows what he's doing. Let's see if we can actually heal that tech hunter up a bit. I'm getting pissed off! Ooh, sorry Paul, I, I just have absolutely no clue which of those damn cannibals just stole your clothes and weapon. But here, let me patch you up again so you can get some revenge, you know? Hey, <sighs> I don't like people touching me. Okay. Nice, we freed every last one of those tech hunters. That's the least we can do, but who? Those two cannibals here are way too strong. Their stats must be incredible. Must be some kind of cannibal leaders. Well, I guess that's our sign for us to get the shit out of here. Luckily, as if we don't know already, those cannibals hate water more than anything else. So they won't follow us. Nice. Everything's fine again. It's, it's good to have them tech guys as our allies. They are strong as shit. I hope they will stay for a long time. To protect us, of course. Hey guys. I think it's time. We can get rid of the inner walls now. Oh, look at that space. Wow. Now we can build ourselves a big ass storm house. Ah, finally, we got some time for ourselves. You know, we could get our wounds treated, could plan on how to upgrade our outposts even more, or just enjoy the peaceful silence for for once. Shit. Shit! Please, tell me guys, what the hell is that shit? I think... I think it's a bug one raid after another. I, I, I can barely breathe up here. But hell yeah, we can build the advanced version of that research bench now. Soon we can call ourselves proud owners of some big ass ballistics. Finally be able to shove those harpoons up those cannibals asses. Okay now, can I help you guys? Some uh, escaped servants strolling around in our base. <laughs> They got some nerves. Get the hell out of here. Holy shit, dude. There, there's even acid rain here in, in the cannibal plains, in the desert. Th this place is total piece of shit. Who thought it was a good idea coming here? Everyone, get into the house. Away from the rain. <sighs> also, our food resources seem to shrink pretty fast. We need to think about a way on how to get food before everyone starves to death. We could start planting some crops. How about a nice little vegetable farm? That would be nice. But goddamn, we, we are missing the vegetables, the seeds, you know, to actually plant those vegetables. Shit. Well, I guess we have to send some guys out to get us some more food. Look at this, guys. Uh, <laughs> that's a joke, right? All those red dots here on this map are cannibals. Cannibal raids moving towards our base. They, they are even in the water. <laughs> 
well, that's dedication. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Kenshi. Fasten your seatbelts, there's gonna be breathtaking action in this episode involving Beep, the funny sounding twig. Our beloved sensei, as old as the world, Blade, with a mind as sharp as a katana, Van Damme, the muscles from Brussels, and of course all the rest of the team, will we prevail against those stupid ass cannibals once again in this episode? Find out now. I've sent out B back to the hidden forest, to the one special town, the ghost town. Since there are absolutely no residents here, but a lot of useful items, we can loot without any bad conscience of being caught. Our people are starving back at our base, so we need food and maybe some vegetable seeds, so we can plant our own stuff in the future. The thought of being independent would be soothing. So let's see, Beep, how about you gonna check out that bar? I feel scared. Stop being such a pussy and grab us some food already. Here, check out what's inside those barrels. Oh, see, that's a jackpot. Holy shit, so much food. There is at least a couple of food pieces in every single one of those containers. That's amazing. But what the hell, Beep? Why did you take so much food with you for this little expedition? There is now absolutely no room for the stuff you just found. I, I just don't want to starve. That explains why we have a food shortage at our base. And why did you take the iron plates with you? Uh... <laughs> I'm done with you. Get the grog and the meat wraps and let's just move on. Oh, there, there's another village on the map right here, that's not very far from where we're at right now. Beep, there might be some merchants, we could sell off the grog and the iron plates, for a, for a little bit of cash, you know? Oh, it would be nice to be able to afford some mercenaries, some buff dudes, you know, that can protect our base, so I don't have to worry about coming up with all those crazy ass tactics to keep them cannibals from killing us up again. You know, Beep, don't take it too serious. I really like you. I do, but not because of your brains, but way more because of your crazy ass running speed of 33 miles per hour. Boy, you're as fast as an African wild dog. Guys, look at this. This place is freaking amazing. Three iron resources and a copper one all nearby. That's simply a perfect spot for an outpost. And down here are even more. Holy shit, dude. <gasps> oh, beep. What the hell is this place? Where are we? The, that must be the village. Oh god, that's a freaking cannibal's village. Are you shitting me? They have cages and shit and we run straight into them. Oh man, well, they look chill for now and beeps faster anyway. But holy hell, why would you put the cannibal's village into this game? That makes no sense. Are they developing a kind of society here? What the hell? But hey, whoa, they have some chests here. Must be the loot from the victims, the ones they've killed and eaten. Oh no. Let's see if we can sneak Beep in there for a peek. Oh no, they noticed. Fast now. Okay, we got some time. They got a Cappy. <gasps> a Cappy that looks just like the one Van Damme lost during the Great Slavery. We will take that. And this big as sword. Oh, some cats here. Always handy. And some <laughs> cargo pants for Beep. <laughs> now get the shit out of here, Beep. Fast, run. Run, my little African wild dog. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Now it's marked as a cannibal village. That's great. Let's get back home. Check out what the other guys are doing. Uh, why are you guys swimming? Did I miss something? Come on now. Out of the water, guys. Oh, God. Hmm. The map indicates that there are enemies at our base. That's strange. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit, that must be those amphibian cannibals I've heard of. Alright, green, fast, get into position, shoot everything you got. Nice, they're getting scared, idiots. They're spreading all over the place. Oh, I feel bad for them now, they aren't even trying. Guys, come on now, at least give us some action. I think they're drained from the half day swim trip they just did, that made them lose all the will for a fight. Oh no. I see what they are after. The cannibals are getting a snack for later. Okay. It feels so awkward seeing them all around the place. Like like little ants 
giving me like an itchy feel. Finally, they started fighting. Oh yeah, with each other of course. Oh, Beep's back and everyone's so happy to see him. Mr. Van Damme, I've got something for you. Wow, looking good. That brings back some memories, right Mr. Van Damme? Thank you, Beep. Look at all the food, guys. That will give a nice big feast for maybe a couple of seconds. Then it's all gone again. Beep, sorry, but you gotta have to visit the ghost town once more again, soon. It seems like the fighting is finally over. Shit. <laughs> now they have to swim all the way back from where they came from. Have a nice trip. How about we will start to furnish things up a bit here at our newly built storm house. I know, our people need some beds to sleep in. They are also pretty useful when someone got injured. They will heal up way faster while resting in a bed. Maybe some interior walls for some privacy. A nice looking table. And a shelf. Of course, we couldn't live without a cooking stove. Perfect. They will start building as soon as there is enough materials available. I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to have the iron resources somewhere inside of our base. You know, if the walls would go around it somehow. So our people don't have to swim all the time only for some raw iron. Let's see. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That looks perfect. I've also decided to build a gate here. So it'll be easier for us to go in and out. Or if there are merchants visiting, they won't need to swim anymore. Look at Beep, he got a lot of grog from all the ghost town visits. I think it's time now for him to visit the floatsome village. I know for sure there are some merchants there. We can sell all the grog we found for a good price. And with a little bit of luck they will also have some plant seeds to sell. Guys, I won't lie, I love this place. Even though there are cannibals banging their heads against our walls 24-7, it feels super cozy around here. And I think we got just the right amount of people here. I mean the right amount for all the things that need to be done for a base to grow and flourish. Am I right guys? God damn, finally! Hamut researched the knowledge of the mountable crossbows. The ultimate instrument needed to convince those stupid ass cannibals of the existence of a harpoon up their asses. I hope that will teach them a lesson. You guys think three mountable crossbows here are enough? For now? No, I think we'll need some up here too. Look at that! Who needs a car if you can have a beep? He's already at the Floatsome Village. Man, you're fast. Hi brother. Need something? Whoa! <laughs> Since when is beep your brother? Did I miss something? I can't recall ever doing anything for those Floatsome ass faces. Alright, show me what you got brother. But first let's sell all the grog we found from the ghost village. Holy shit! We just made like 10,000 cats. That's what I call business. Oh, and this guy's selling green fruits. But hey, why they so big? What the hell? That green fruit's as big as a quarter of beep. Chillax, man. I hope 10 of them are enough for now. Enough to get the farm going. Yep. 10 are enough. Great. Now we can finally produce our own shit here at our base. That's the first step into independence. Hey, is that a cannibal inside of our base? What the hell? And where is he running off to? <laughs> oh, I get it. He's after Green. Green is sniping all those cannibals passing by at our base. He's just doing it for the fun, you know. And this one cannibal got a little bit angry about it. Guys, stop him. Nice green. I don't know how you just shot behind yourself, but great job. Oh, I see now. This cannibal belongs to the Blood Reavers clan. I should remember to take a look at that piece of information more often. This might give us a tactical advantage someday. Some of you guys mentioned in the comments, the stuff at the armory ruins is pretty worthy. I must have overlooked it or thought it was just junk. I will try selling those next time we'd be visiting the Floatsome village. Thanks for the tip guys. Another tech hunter outside of our base, fisting those cannibals a good night's sleep. Come on guys. The world's so big, why of all the places right in front of our base? Oh, the tech hunter got downed. 
fast war da. Get his gear. Wow, look at that crossbow. Holy shit, what is that? A rare, extreme long <laughs> range weapon for snipers. That's some next level shit right here. Thanks for everything, man. Whoa! What in the name of God? How are the big things out here in the middle of nowhere? Right near our base? Come on, guys. This is not right. This is not cool. This is freaking bullshit, man. Yo! Chill with the cannibals, man! Why so many of them out of the sudden? Welcome back to another exciting episode of hey, Kenshi. Right away. There's my jab, yeah. Whoa, there's my number one. Today we got some interesting visitors at our base. A naked skelly man walking under the water while getting chased by a big thing. I know we've seen a lot of things out here already, but that, that is absolutely insane. I mean, look at that menacing approach coming from that thing. Green is already working his ass off trying to get that shit's health down as low as possible with his mounted crossbow. He's not even shaking, his hands are steady and his aim is fixed. For sure his survival instincts are currently taking over like 100% of his mental capacity. I bet after that, after his mind turns back to normal, he will shit the living hell out of his body. Great job, that was easy. It almost feels kinda unfair, forcing the enemy's way to our base through the water. Even a 100 horsepower big thing cannot swim fast enough to reach our base in time. But on the other hand, the thought of a big thing, or maybe let's say 100 cannibals raiding our base at once, is very frightening. Don't tell me no one is noticing that cannibal crawling through our base. Guys, what the hell? Everyone's just so fixated at their work, driving up those economics, even our vegetable farm is growing. Soon to be able to provide food to all the hungry bellies at our base. That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> oh man, look at those stupid ass cannibals fighting against each other next to our base. You could put a two-sided mirror in between of them, they would still try to fight it, even if it's their own reflection. They just wouldn't realize what's going on. Idiots! I don't understand what's going on in their heads. Man. Okay now, since our base is becoming insanely independent and secure, we could start exploring a little bit more. Explore the cannibal plains or even just check out along the shore if we can find something interesting there. Hell yeah! Check this shit out! Mew's farming the green fruits. They're ready and juicy. That will make a big feast. And we're gonna start upgrading the farm with the leftovers. So nothing goes to waste. Look here, that's what I'm dealing with on a daily basis. Those cannibals strolling around at the main gate of our base, making it impossible for our group to even use it. Because of that, they still have to swim through the water if they want to leave the base. The gate's not usable at all. All because of that goddamn cannibals. Sometimes it feels like our base is like a magnetic pole and everything that is capable of moving in the cannibal planes gets attracted to it. <sighs> well, let's send out beep somewhere far off so I don't have to mess around with those brain dead cannibals anymore. For a while at least. Why only beep you are asking? Well, I don't want to send a bunch of people at once away from our base. We're still vulnerable. Somehow those cannibals still find a way into our base sometimes. I just don't want to risk anything. And that's why I need every single one of my good men at our base. And also, for now, beep is the only one that can outrun a big thing. If we should ever cross paths with one of those. Alright, I think we're going to explore alongside the northern coast. If we can find some more of those ruins, that would be amazing. Or maybe another settlement. Well, anything but cannibals is fine. Wow, look at this! We found a village right next to the ghost town. Oh nice, it got walls, it got energy, what means there must be civilization too. Hello everyone. Hi, we're slow fish. He's right, we love fish. Buy my fish, fish. Hmm, I don't know, the fish doesn't look very fresh to me, my dude. Maybe next time. Engineer looking for work. 
Amazing, we already found some potential recruits here at this village. We can definitely come here more often for trading and stuff in the future. I'm just a little bit mad I haven't found this village earlier on when we started out building our base. You know, that would have made things a little bit easier for us. Alright, first off, let's sell all the rest of our grog we got from the ghost town. That gives us so much money. I don't know, but I think we can actually brew our own grog somehow. We, you know, with the right knowledge, with the right tools and the right plants, we could make our own grog and sell it for a good price. We'll be millionaires in no time. This dude's also selling fish. What the hell? Is this like a fisherman's village? Or are they just obsessed with the smell of fish? Wow, they even got an own bar here. Let's see what's inside. Cannibals ain't gonna stop me from getting my catch. My pa and my grandpa before him done just fine fishing out here before me. Congratulations. I guess taking from this conversation, we are not the only one dealing with those meatheads. Even those poor ass fishermen are getting their ass kicked by those idiots. I tell you, they're spreading out. It ain't what it used to be. Just look what happened at the hidden forest. Get complacent and guess where you end up? In the belly of a stinking tribalist where. Oh my god, they're really into that cannibal problem. Ever see a cannibal swim? No, because they are too bloated to float in water. Fact! Man, this guy must have never seen one of those amphibian cannibals. They're maybe slow, but determined, and that can make them dangerous as hell. Yeah, so amazing conversation guys, but I'm a little bit in a hurry. We could talk about those meatheads all day long, but talking won't get them killed for us. We have to fight them, eradicate every single one of them. Guys, I need men for our outpost. Who is willing to join? Well, there are a couple of people around here willing to join our group, but they all want something in return. Who do they think they are? You know, I don't know if they're worth the money. I worked so hard for it to get. I want to save up my money for essential stuff like upgrades for our base and those fisher people do not seem very talented anyway. Well, unless you're here to talk fish, I ain't interested. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. They're fish heads. They got nothing to think about but fish. That's right. Come sit with me. Have a drink. Have you ever heard the story of the Wailing Banshee? No, and I really don't want to know, dude. Well, legend has it that it dwells in a sunken cave. Droop like smooth potato butter. Some even say that it has the snoot of foundlet truffle. You must take me with you. Call it an old dying man's last wish. Alright, if you are willing to join for free, then... Come along. An old dying extremely large fish stinking man just the type of companion i was looking for i think you will go along with sensei just fine oh is that what i think it is hemp is that the kush is that the blazing daisin the dagamaganja just raw it might be just the thing i have in mind what's the use for something like that all right guys Let's head back, I guess. Beep looks so small in comparison to our new companion, Hops. You know what, Beep? Since you are always on the run, how about we let Hops do all the carrying today? Here we go. <laughs> this way he's not only training his athletic skills, but also his strength. All this while Beep whispers some crazy ass stories into Hops' ears as a little extra. So let's see what's going on at our base. Everything's alright here? Handling the cannibals infestation without any problems? Good. Oh no, seems like Hobbs decided to take the direct way back home. Not only training his strength, but also his swimming skills. He'll be massive when he comes back home. <laughs> Just outside our base, the tech hunters are back again at pounding those cannibals' asses. Whoa, what the hell? Is that a joke? Shrieking bandits? The heck? There are two ladies with big ass swords also pounding those cannibals asses naked while it rains acid. 
I I'm losing my mind here. Holy shit! Stop screaming! Ah. What's wrong with those people around here? Are they, are they all just brain dead? I'm sorry, but I don't want to risk anything here. Ah. Who knows what happens if my people come in contact with a sh shrieking bandit? Now, what is that? Who are those people? I've never heard of naked bandits. Is that some kind of a joke faction? Well, you can definitely try getting inside our base, but I can assure you, you won't come far. Whoa! Holy shit! They even brought two big things with them. Everything is just killing everything. That's not even survival of the fittest anymore, but simply a massacre. A fight until no one's alive anymore. Just senseless. Oh no, holy shit! That one big thing is fast as hell and got way too much health to simply shoot it down. Must be some of those alpha big things, the strong ones. Oh man, it's it runs straight into our base. That's not good. You goddammit, what the hell, are you blind? You nearly shot Green's arm off. Fast Dr. Chang, get us a medipack. No, guys, stop working for a second please. We got visitors. Dude, can't you see? He's right here. Oh my god, this is way too intense, man. Back into the building, guys. That little shit seems to be irritated. Not long before it bleeds to death. <laughs> nice. But the second one is on its way. That's absolutely bullshit. Who's gonna clean this mess up? My base is ruined. No, at least the threat is over. Guys, my heart is racing. You know, one wrong move and the big thing could bite the head off of one of our people. Hi guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Kenshi. Look at that beautiful sunrise. What an amazing view. A great way to start out this new day, isn't it? Whoa, yo, Van Damme, what happened to your shoes? How and when did you lose them? Seems like it doesn't hurt walking through the desert like that. He doesn't even care. Alright. I thought since we got now such a great and independent base regarding our defenses and the food production, we might be ready to let some of our people go out on an adventure. And who might be more fitting for this task than our dream team from the first couple episodes? Van Damme, Beep, Sensei and Blade. The guys with not only the best stats, but also with a past that made them inseparable. Let's see what everyone's doing around here at the base. Oh right, I made Sensei the cook, creating some delicious cooked vegetables from those green fruits we got last episode. That's an essential task here for our food production. We will need to find someone else as a replacement for Sensei when he's off. Oh no! <gasps> You're under attack? What's up with that tutorial message? <laughs> Kenshi thinks I'm a newbie just because I haven't played like in, in years. Okay, Green, what are you seeing that you have to alarm us? <laughs> Wait a second, how do you even see her wearing those goggles like that? <laughs> oh my god. And you are our best mounted crossbow marksman? <laughs> are you kidding? Wait. Okay, I won't judge. He saw those four cannibals crawling their way through the desert at least a mile away from our base. That's impressive. My respect, Mr. Green. Master Beep is training like every day to become even stronger than he already is. Dedicated to become the best swordsman in the world of Kenshi. Doesn't even need his sword to train his sword skills. Like a true master. And there is Blade operating some kind of machinery. All right, gather together, guys. The time has come. Pack everything up we could need for a long ass adventure. Food, bandages and stuff like that. Oh my, that's a great thumbnail for this video right here. I know it's been a while since you guys went out for a trip, but this will be fun, just like the old days. Trust me, and don't distract yourself by the fact that the big thing is eating some kind of human remains a couple of steps away from our base. So let's see here, where do you guys want to go? The world is so big, so much to see. I still don't get it how the Kenshi team managed to create the world this big while filling it up with all kinds of interesting stuff to discover. My respect. Oh, of course, we haven't been to Dead Cat yet. The problem with Dead Cat is, I've already tried getting in there 
but there are so many big things all around that place, I couldn't reach it. Even though it's not far away from our base, it was not worth the risk of getting eaten by those frick things. And this time, it could actually work. I mean, we got a pretty decent team. Oh, I just noticed we can upgrade our walls. Hamut must have researched this and I didn't even notice. That's amazing. <laughs> Those cannibals seem always so busy, wandering from place to place. It's insanely mesmerizing watching them in front of our base go complete apeshit sometimes. They always find something to do here in this, in this no man's land. I've also let some of our guys plant some hemp here at our base. Now we can produce hemp based fiber, which we can use to make clothing. There it is, defensive gate 2, a new gate for our base. I already forgot how the old one looked like. <laughs> Shit, did it actually change? Anyway, let's rebuild the rest of our wall. Wow, some new tech hunters coming to visit our base. That's pretty neat. They are always ready to help us out defending the base. I love them. We can actually hire them for them to protect our base up to 8 days. And it costs us only like 8000 cats. I think that's not even a bad idea. The base could use some additional protection while the team's out. We'll accept. Look at this. The new walls are up and look pretty damn nice. We can even put some ramps next to the walls for our people to be able to go up there. Installing some mountable crossbows on there for additional ass pounding power. Alright guys, are you ready? Here we go. Well, we are not even a second outside the base and there are big things all over this place already. <laughs> it's quite a pleasant thing seeing those tech hunters having absolutely no problem with those big things. Amazing. Skeleton, hi. Uh, hi? Beep, what the hell? I think Beep became a secret Skelly Man fanboy since he got the skeleton leg as a replacement on his own. He thinks he's one of them now. Well, let him think what he wants, as long as it makes him happy. I thought we'll take another visit at the ancient ruins next to our base. Pick up some more stuff so we can sell it at that cat. But it seems like those big things spawned with a whole big thing nest, making it impossible for me to get there now. They even got baby beak shits, holy hell, calm down man. Ah, you know what, forget it, didn't want to visit the ruins anyway. It's not a far way to Dead Cat, but we have to be very careful. We'd be better off if we not get caught by those big things. They're all over this place. And sometimes, as you can see, it's quite hard to spot them, since they have the same color as the ground they're walking on. Hmm, we got a little bit off from our route, but this mountain looks quite interesting. Maybe we'll take a quick look at the top. Wow, the view is simply beautiful. And that moon looks super interesting. Well, maybe it's no moon, but another planet. But this is the plan. Get your ass to Mars. A planet with maybe life form and vegetation. You know, in the world of Kenshi, everything could be possible. It seems like I was right. There is something up here. Another ruin. Not the best loot around, but those books are the main thing we are looking for right now. We need them so Hamut can research more shit on his research bench. Also, we found another skeleton repair kit, some electrical components and a power core. The hell? Some kind of ancient tech. Possibly a skeleton heart or liver or something. Even the game itself doesn't really know what this shit is. We'll take it with us. That's interesting. I don't know if it's a different angle now or because it's nighttime. We are running a straight line to Dead Cat. And there are absolutely no enemies ahead. I don't know feels scary, but it shouldn't be far now. Wait a second, are you shitting me? Cannibals? I should have known. I had the feeling this might be a trap. I mean, dead cat. What kind of a name is that for a city? But I had hopes. I really thought there might be something here. But this shithole is a goddamn cannibal city. Those cannibals are living here. They got food, they got walls, houses, and a goddamn hybrid stone mine. What the hell are we even looking at? That's a cannibal society. Do you guys have elections and stuff? Now it's marked as a cannibal capital. And only red outposts around our base. We picked the worst possible location for an outpost. 
I think there's nothing out of interest here for us, so we'll go on. Let's head north to the Leva Lev Leviathan. Leviathan coast. Maybe we can find something interesting there. Now shit is cooking. The sun's coming out and everything and everyone just goes apeshit. I should keep my distance. Those cannibals are actually pretty strong. Those who wear armor are a little bit special. Special unit. They have incredible good stats. Hmm, okay, maybe even five big things are a little bit too much for those incredible stats cannibals. Guys, can you believe this? How many big things there are? I can't even move. We are trapped. We have to fight our way out. One big thing and it's hurt. I think we can take it. God damn it guys, watch out. Nice, here we go. Beep. I'm always getting those messages that the cannibal camp has been wiped out. And what does that mean? Cannibals camp number 2070 has been wiped out. You serious? Don't you think you might have generated a little bit too many of those cannibal camps into my game? No? We got here what seems to be a bunch of dead uh, berserkers. Interesting. I think a fragment axe is better than a plank? I am not quite sure. The fragment axe is worth more. So yeah, we'll leave the plank and take the axe with us. I mean for our sensei, since he is our heavy weapon class guy. Yep. The 200 years old grandpa with a sword that weighs more than himself. Sounds just about right. <laughs> Whoa, the Leviathan coast, we made it. The only difference I'm noticing so far is that the ground seems to be a little bit more purple. Interesting. Oh man, are you kidding me? Another beak thing nest. I feel like they're expanding, multiplying, reproducing like rabbits. Absolutely no one asked for that. Okay, one of them wants to play again. Here's a pro tip. Don't let all of your guys attack a big thing at once. Only the one getting attacked by the big thing will try to block the big thing's attacks. Everyone else will just stand there in shock receiving enormous aerial damage. That's not so nice. A maximum of two people at the same time going against the big thing is okay. And if there are like three of them, try getting the shit out of here. Oh my god. What the hell is that? What? Is this real? Holy shit! What the hell is that? Why is that thing so big? I mean, look, that's a big thing. No, compared to that. The hell? What went wrong? We should not mess around with those guys. Or else we're pancakes. Well guys, I definitely recommend visiting the Leviathan Coast. It's a great place for sure. Oh, hey wait, they're actually friendly. That's nice. Still, I don't want to pet it. And no beep, don't think about riding one of those. Just let them be. Seems like those big ass creatures killed all the big things. Now the nest is completely empty. No one's here to protect the loot. How convenient. Let's see what we got here. A big thing egg? Is this for real? Nobles pay a lot of money for this rare de delicacy. Many die trying to steal them. Holy shit. That's a jackpot. Man, if we sell those eggs, we could make a lot of good money. Or maybe we'll take them back home and let Sensei prepare us a good ass damn omelette. Hmm, that sounds amazing. We should head home right now. Our backpacks are full. We cannot loot any further anyway. So let's go. Those higher tech hunters are handling those raids at our base pretty well. I'm always getting greeted with puddles of blood when I switch back to the base. They were definitely worth the 8000 cats. Oh shit, get distracted for like a second and there are already three big things after our team's asses. I can't lose them. Shit, there is no other way but to fight. So let's go guys. Actual Samurai. Beep managed to do most of the damage and was able to block most of the attacks. He's becoming better and better. My respect. Now head home guys. That was enough of a journey for today. Everyone's drained. They need a break. Yeah, getting chased by big things two days straight is tiring. Back home. Sweet home. Have a good night's sleep guys. Tomorrow we're gonna do another adventure. We need to find the buyer for those eggs so we can pay the tech hunters to stay at our base even longer. Their presence here is a blessing. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Kenshi. Hope you're all having a great day. Me, 
I don't have a great day. I'm having a blast. Being back again in a world of pain, suffering and starvation feels amazing. As you can see, I've extended the walls at our base a bit. I mean, I wanted a compact like base, true. But I've noticed while we are researching and building more and more interesting stuff out here, the space at our base keeps getting smaller and smaller. And that's not good. We need more space to build more stuff, right? I mean, look at the space now. We can build 10 houses here. That doesn't seem quite right. Gotta have to replace this one bit. Now we are talking. We don't want to make things too easy for those cannibal shitheads. They gotta have to swim all the way around the walls if they want to reach our base. That's the rule. Alright, today we want to find some traders. Some sort of traders who might be interested in buying off our eggs. Our big thing eggs to be more specific. Those rare eggs we found should make some good money. But before we head out again, one fellow YouTube commenter messaged me and said, Sensei ain't strong enough. He's too weak to handle that fragment eggs we found last episode. Well, okay. I always thought Sensei's the strongest out of all of us. It turns out he can't even lift a ton of feathers without collapsing. That ain't right. That's why I put him under a strict regime where he has to carry a load of 100 kilos of raw iron ore while dragging a big thing through the desert. That won't help him get his back straightened out, but it definitely will make him stronger. And eventually he'll be able to carry that heavy weapon without any penalties. I hope those eggs won't hatch in our backpack soon, or else we're gonna have a big problem here. They seem quite small on display, but they are actually 6 feet long. So stay alert guys, those big babies eat everything smaller than themselves. Alright, I think Sensei's ready, he mastered his training and became a better version of himself. Great job, we'll leave as soon as we're done fighting that cannibal raid off. I've spotted the place on our map that got marked, called the World's End. I mean sure, must be definitely a place where we can expect a warm welcoming. We'll check it out. Oh no! Those doggos are getting their ass kicked by some stupid ass cannibals. You can treat the dog like that. Let's help them out. Guys, show them what it means to mess with us. <laughs> the bone dogs are giving them a hard time already. Oh no! Blade, what are you doing? You were supposed to help them, not to kill them. Now they are angry. Run guys, run! We are now at the Arm of Ocran and it seems like our way leads us straight up some mountain. A huge ass mountain. I can't even identify any kind of path here. Yet our squad runs with an unstoppable pace straight into <laughs> somewhere. As if they knew where to go. My guess is, since Sensei is running up in front of everyone else, he already must have been here, back in a time before we even picked him up into our squad. That must be it. Here we are. Yep, that's the world's end everyone was talking about. And surprise, it's those tech hunters. Believe it or not, they got themselves an own city. That's pretty cool. We already got some good relations with them. At first glance, I couldn't quite tell. But this place is huge. Amazing. Van Damme, what do you say? Isn't that great? We managed to find a city that ain't hostile. What a relief. Let's get inside. Oh no, what the hell is that? They got statues of the holy moly god Okran. Is this place legit? Or is that some sort of stupid mistake? I hope there are no holy nation guys lurking somewhere around here. Whoa, armor. This guy's selling armor. Maybe he'll buy off our eggs. Yes! He does! <laughs> He's willing to buy everything. Even all the junk we found at those ruins. What a great guy. We made like more than 45,000 cats. That's a lot of money. Let's try to save that money. There's no need to start any kind of unreasonable spending now. Whoa, look at that. This guy's also setting some masterwork great samurai pants. The perfect fit for Mr. Van Damme. <laughs> oh, whoa. Beautiful. Now you can get rid of your old pants. Let's take a look at the bars around the world's end. I'm interested if we can also find some new recruits here. 
Oh man, there are only tech hunters at this bar. And everyone's willing to protect our base for a small fee. Thanks guys, but I've already commissioned some of you to protect my base. Very thoughtful of you, but I have to decline. Whoa, what the hell? Ugh, so many books? Is this even legal? I need those books, Hamut needs them, to study the depths of hush production. How many can I buy? Or better yet, how many of them books can I carry? <laughs> I'm joking, I just bought a few. We don't want to overdo it. I think that should do for a while. I mean, we can come here anytime. Whenever there's need for more books, we know a place now to go to. <laughs> what is that building? It's huge! Looks like the one where we met those damn cyber spiders. Sensei remembers. Hard times. Those are definitely some interesting birds flying around here. Let's see what's inside. Okay, interesting. Oh, there's a guy researching. This place gives me some vibes of a science laboratory or something like that. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Sorry, but did we wake you? Interrupting my thought process. This better be important. Always thought I'd find my peace and quiet working here, but nope, I just get noisy adventures asking too many questions. Whoa, hey, sorry about that. I didn't even ask anything yet. So anyway, what's this place? Well, why not just take a look around, genius? It's a university. All right, a university? What means there must be a lot of books around? Oh, that explains all the books that are getting sold by all the traders around town. Seems like Finch is the master of this university. They are researching all kinds of old tech. That's pretty awesome. He also told me those Ocran statues right outside their base stand there to keep them holy shitheads pleased. So they won't ask too many questions about this place and what they are doing here. It's nice to get a little bit of background information about places like this one. I guess we'll come back here more often in the future, but for now, let's head back to the base. Hamut, we're back, we got you a little present. A lot of cool books for you to read. Nice, isn't it? Now, get back to work. I want you to research medium building shells and a new tech level. That should do for now. And in the meantime, we can send Sensei out to train some more. He's already pretty strong, but there's always room for improvements. Okay guys, the research is done. We got new buildings to build. So what do you think? What type of building fits best here in this area? Okay, no, this this doesn't look good. Few moments later. Yeah, that looks that that looks good. I think we'll stick with a simple L house. <laughs> That looks sick and there's so much space inside. We could definitely start out creating our own clothes, armor and maybe some weapons. I guess, then it's settled. This will be our manufacturing house. Beep, what's up? You wanna go out on another adventure again? No. Great, get ready for another run. This time we'll go along the coast up to the north, into the direction of the Leviathan coast. That's an area we haven't been yet. Oh man, there are big things at almost every single possible location you can think of. This is... This is madness. Whoa, look at this. We found another ancient ruin. Let's see what's inside. Whoa, what the hell? Oh God, please no, not the cyber spiders again. Get the hell out of here, guys. Run. Shit. We didn't even have time to react. They immediately attacked us. Sensei, poor guy just has no luck with those damn cyber spiders. His leg already became a piece of ground beef. He can't run anymore. This is bad. No beep! How is that even a thing? Why do they have such an unreal attack speed? This is absolutely not fair. Okay, they won't go any further. It seems like they're bound to this ruin. As soon as we are out of range, they stop moving. Okay, we, we need a plan. We have to get Van Damme and Sensei out of there. Sensei is bleeding out already. Look at this. Th this is bullshit. It doesn't even matter if we are sneaking. They will still hunt us down. No goddamn chance. This, this is heartbreaking. Hi guys, welcome back into the world of Kenshi. 
Last episode our group got into some trouble with those goddamn cyber spiders again. They pounded our asses so bad, Sensei is about to lose his head now. Well, quite close. The problem is those cyber spiders won't let us pass them and I can't get around to help Sensei up again. Time's running out and the longer we wait the closer he comes to his death. That's a pretty damn shit situation. Whoa, wait, I think Van Damme just woke up from his little slumber. Fast now, pick up that old man or drop him and treat his wounds first. Holy shit, that was pretty close. But what now? We can't just run off. Those cyber things would jump all over us if we try. I guess while we wait we can go inside that ruin and explore it a little bit. I mean, it should be spider free now since they went all out when we tried to enter last episode. Whoa! Look at those masterwork great samurai pants! That's a jackpot! God damn! That is so good, we'll definitely take them with us. A desert saber, my man! So much good loot! That ruin is amazing! Come to think of, it's right next to our base! Look at this, plus 100 damage against spiders. I can sense it already. Sensei is so eager he wants to take that saber and shove it up those cyber spiders asses as deep as he can as an act of revenge. Revenge. Well, as soon as when he's up again at least. Oh, uh, Naginata. That, that's a good weapon for blade. I think model MK2, that's the highest weapon rating possible. Or maybe at least one of the best ones. That is so awesome. What the hell is happening out here? Seems like there came some wild animals across and it ended up in a slaughter between them and those cyber spiders. Well, that's actually quite convenient. That helped us with our problem. Thank you guys, your deaths will not be forgotten. Alright, let's see what else we got here. No way, more specialist great armor. This place is... Amazing! I guess this place must have been some kind of armory. Now I can finally grant every one of our people some fine protection with all that armor. Van Damme's inventory reached its limits already. But there is still so much stuff around here guys. We have to come here again for a second run later on. Just to be sure to get every single bit of loot from that armory. I think that's the very first time we actually found some decent equipment from those ruin explorations. All the other ruins only had those stinky books. I mean they're useful, but weapons are useful too. Blade and Beep would love to help carry all that loot from the ruin, but their backpacks are already full with those electric components they got from those dead spiders. That's also worth some money. Guys, <laughs> I decided to swim through the water to not get confronted with all those big things lurking on the mainland. And what do I see? More big things, a goddamn big thing army just chilling in the water. What the hell is this? That's not even funny anymore. Alright, back at the base. The team deserves some time to rest before we head out again. And it seems like there have been some attacks going on at our base while we were gone. Those goddamn cannibals. How are there so many of them? I don't get it. They're always getting their ass wiped by our higher tech hunters. Still, they always try to find a way inside our base. Maybe we should go to the cannibals capital and get rid of them cannibals for good. Wait a second, is it true that if we get their cannibal leader, their cannibal king, imprison him or just kill him, all the cannibals in the cannibal plains will be gone for good? Like all of them. Is that possible? That would be so awesome. I think we should try to assemble a team, send them to check the cannibal's capital out again, get the son of a gun and wipe every single cannibal from that place too while we're on it. That sounds like a plan, doesn't it? But for now let's get the last piece of loot from that ruin first. Yo, dude, <laughs> what happened to you little one? Is this the doing of your cannibal friends, your truly trustworthy cannibal companions? See, it's not as fun as you thought it would be being a cannibal. You know what, I'll set you free little one. Go and enjoy your freedom. You know what, nah, let's punch that punk's ass wound. What the hell, Mr. Van Damme, can't you land the hit, my dude? Come on, don't, 
don't embarrass me. Fine. Guys, help Mr. Van Damme getting the damn cannibal killed. <laughs> Guys, what the hell is your problem? Kick that goddamn cannibal's ass into Nirvana already, man. Okay? Fine. Have it your way then. We'll let you live. Let's keep on going. And while we are still on the way to the ruins, Beep already managed to visit the world's end to sell all the electrical components he gathered from those spiders. Getting like 10,000 cats for that. Good job, Beep. Okay, we got everything we need. Now let's get back home so we can start to plan for our big attack on those cannibal shitheads. Oh, a big thing. I guess it won't hurt to kill it. Since it's all alone, Van Damme can warm up his fists on that thing before the big fight. Guys, stay out of this. This one is for Van Damme only. Go Van Damme, go, go, go Van Damme, go. <laughs> God damn, you're embarrassing me the whole day already. Haven't you fought like against three big things at the same time before? Maybe we're just a little bit overconfident. There we go, easy as that. Now let's go, we don't have the whole day to stroll around here in the waste. Oh shit, no way, two more big things? No, 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 no. Since Van Damme's still unconscious, we gotta have to fight. Guys, you can do this. Each one of you fights one big thing. This should work. Oh no, God, what is happening? Where are all these big things coming from? God damn it, we're right next to a big thing nest. This is not good. Van Damme is awake again and Sensei got one down. But Blade's now down. Guys, concentrate. You can do this. Oh no. This cannot end like this. We came so far. I don't want to lose you guys. You're like my family. Please, don't die on me. There's nothing much left, Sensei. Get into block position. We gotta have to wait for a miracle. The last thing that will die today is our hope. Oh! Beep! Where the hell did you come from? I thought you were still at the world's end. Beep cannot let his friends die out here. Beep came to help. Alright Beep, show those fart things who's the boss out here. Give them hell! Beep, concentrate, please! Wow. <laughs> That's my boy. Beep just single-handedly killed like three big things one after another. Man, you're a true hero, Beep. Yay! But next time try getting here faster, okay? You took way too long. Blade, <laughs> does it hurt? <laughs> Do you think your arm's gonna be alright tomorrow for the big fight? We'll infiltrate the cannibal's capital and I wanna see you all fit and ready by then. I also told Hamut to start researching those jail cells. With them we might be able to capture us some cannibals, maybe even the cannibal's leader. That would be fun. <laughs> to be honest guys, I don't know if this is even gonna work. What if there are over maybe like 100, 200 cannibals? They won't just let us walk through their base so easily. They will rip us apart with ease. We will send out the squad first, let them scout the area, get an overview and then we'll see what we're gonna do next. Okay, here we are. That's the cannibals capital. Hmm, <laughs> holy. Looks like uh, 100 cannibals to me. Whoa, that must be the cannibal's leader. Holy shit, that dude looks scary. He's so big, massive. He even got his own personal royal cannibal guards. I don't think we stand a chance at all. We should just head back and... Whoa, no way, he got a bounty of 80,000 cats on his head. Guys, how are we gonna do this? Maybe we can lure him out of there somehow. <gasps> oh god. We got spotted, <laughs> but only by two of them idiots. <laughs> the squad is so strong, they stand no chance at all. Maybe, maybe we can take them one by one until there is no one left anymore. That could work. Oh shit, <laughs> it seems like some of those cannibals are stronger than the others. Oh no, what? They are instantly taking my people hostage as soon as they get unconscious. I should have known. This is not good. Let them go, you shitheads. Damn it. They got Sensei, Blade and Beep. This is not good. This is absolutely not good. They will take off their skin and eat them alive. Oh God. What have I done? 
Hi guys, welcome back to the world of Kenshi. Today is a sad day. Three of our people got locked up in cages by those goddamn cannibals. Sensei, Blade and Beep. It all happened so fast they took them as soon as they got unconscious. All we wanted here was to get a piece of that cannibal's leader's ass. The plan was to kidnap him and after that maybe sell him, get some good cash out of his head. Somehow those cannibals didn't really like our plan at all and now we are left here with only Van Damme. But don't worry guys, he got this. He already broke out of imprisonment like several times. So this will be easy. We got a great advantage with Van Damme. He's way faster than any of those cannibals here. It's no problem for him evading all those hits. And if it gets too complicated we can outrun them quite easily. Still we need time to unlock those cages. And there is no time window great enough to get the job done. They are always up our asses. But if we don't act fast enough those cannibals will cook and eat our people. And that process can happen like in a blink of an eye. <gasps> Beep and Sensei are awake. They can already start picking those locks. That could take a while. Soon it should be getting dark. Then we can sneak in without any problems. Whoa, wait, the hell? There is a massacre going on right next to the cannibal's capital. And I didn't even notice. Holy shit, those big things are getting those cannibals full attention. This is our chance. Get in there Van Damme, while those idiots are distracted. Let's go Van Damme, treat Blade's wounds. She's still unconscious and needs medical help. After that get that lock open. The cannibal's leader doesn't even flinch. Every single cannibal ran out of the base as soon as the big things came. Except for him. He seems pretty chill for a raging monster. Alright, the locks are open and we are ready to head out anytime. We also managed to free a cannibal hunter who is now following us until we successfully managed to escape the cannibal's capital. Beep, stay put, we're gonna leave soon. The cannibal's leader is currently all on his own. His personal guards are busy being spread all over the area. This could be our chance to maybe knock him out and take him with us. Van Damme, let's sneak in, sneaky beaky like. Oh shit! He... he sees us. Still no reaction. That's strange. Maybe he can't see much through that strange helmet. He doesn't even care when I use his bat. I guess he has extremely good hearing, like a bat or something like that. I cannot knock him out that way. I can't get behind him. I guess we gotta have to make him unconscious the old fashioned way. With brute force. But first let's get everyone out of here. I don't want to get that poor cannibals hunter involved in any kind of slaughter. Come on old man, I got you. Okay, we got everyone out of the shithole. Maybe we'll just go back home where we are safe again. Still, I don't want to go back empty handed. I think I'll send Van Damme back into the capital again for a last try. Now, since they are greatly weakened, we can't just let that opportunity slip. Van Damme, a last try for Mama back in Belgium. Here we are. We have to stay very quiet or else they're gonna kill us for good this time. Damn, his royal guards are back again watching his ass. Ugh. Where did he go? Oh my god, he's sleeping. <laughs> He didn't do shit back when the big things attacked and now he lies there taking a little sleepy from that tiring day. What a guy. Wait a second. That could be a one time chance. Can't I just kidnap him while he sleeps? I have to try it. I just have to get in there fast enough so the guards won't notice me. Then we can pick him up and run away. Okay, that's the plan. Let's go. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It actually works. <laughs> no freaking way. <laughs> he just goes on sleeping. Must be hell of a dream. Now we just walk out or what? <laughs> as easy as that. Madame looks like as if he has done that kind of action several times already. He's such a pro. I still can't believe we just walked out of the cannibal's base with one of the deadliest cannibals that the world of Kenshi has ever seen. <laughs> All that while he's doing a sleepy. That's amazing. Now let's hope he doesn't wake up on our way back home. Sensei, do you know any good songs you could sing for our giant baby so he won't wake up too soon? 
Hey cannibal shithead, wake up already. Welcome to your new home, behind bars. <laughs> uh, he doesn't look like he's impressed or sad or anything. He just stands there like he already did at the cannibal's capital. Well, I think we should strip him off of his armor, see what he really looks like underneath and maybe take that big ass heavy sword away from him so he won't be able to do anything stupid later on. Holy shit, that thing is heavy. 42 kilograms? What the hell is that thing made out of? I'm going to give that sword to Ruka. She loves big swords and with that she'll also train her strength. But damn! Butcher's masterwork. I don't know what that means, but that must be good, I guess. Pride of the old dead cat butchers. These once humble tools now serve a dark purpose. All right, man. A humble tool with a humble weight, I guess. The Grand Wizard's plate armor looks pretty overpowered, but there's no use giving any of that armor to one of my main characters. The weight is way too high on those pieces. Wearing that armor makes moving around nearly impossible. But damn, the armor looks pretty cool. Now let's take a look at our cannibal friend here. What? <laughs> That's the face of a monster people would pay 80,000 cats for? Looks more like a guy that fell onto a freshly painted Pollock painting. Well, we're gonna pretend as if he's scary and threatening for the sake of the series. <laughs> Ruka just went into the water with a total weight load of 250 kilos. All right, that takes courage. Our team is tired from that trip to the cannibal's capital and now needs some time to rest. But our Mr. Van Damme here has other ideas. Let's try to talk to that beefy meathead. Maybe he's an actual intellectual. Ka Lek? All right, he's an idiot. Delicious. Her, her is funny? I think he means hurting. Well, that guy is brain dead and hopeless. We're gonna let him rot here in those cages for now until I've decided what we're gonna do with him next. See this? This is what I mean. This is absolutely crazy. I feel like with every day that goes by, there are more and more big things spawning around our base. They're reproducing at an extreme high speed level. We were getting attacked by those things on a daily basis. That's... It, it just has become a normal thing around here. Ruka can't keep up with all that corpse disposal. I'm wondering now, what's going to happen with all those cannibals since we got their leader behind bars? Maybe... nothing. <laughs> I mean, he's still alive. We gotta have to kill him first or maybe sell him for some effects to take place first. But the thought of it, I mean, it would be great if those cannibals attacks would just stop all together. That would be so cool. Well, we'll see. Oh man, there are some unconscious berserkers lying in front of our base. I guess they got shot by our turrets. They will make some good prisoners too. Let's get them, Sensei. Oh no, look at this. Our cannibal friend just took that sword from that unconscious prisoner. What the hell, dude? That's not cool. Prisoners that do not behave properly have to get punished. Get him out, boys. Show him a lesson. Holy shit, man. That guy can take a lot of beating. What the hell? He's like a massive piece of meat. God damn. But not even his size alone will help him against our squad. There you go. Now don't try this again. Okay, I think my theory was right. Those cannibals are still attacking. Nothing has changed. Or maybe they just know we've kidnapped their leader and are seeking for revenge now. They're trying to free him. Nah, I don't think so. Those idiots can't even make out the difference between friends and foes. They ain't that smart. But what if those cannibal shitheads already found another leader? Could that even be possible? Oh man, I hate those damn little shitheads, but we gotta have to find out. I think I have to send out our squad back again to the cannibals capital for last time. To see how things are working out for those cannibals since our last visit. I have to make sure every single one of them cannibals is dead for good. I want my peace already. I wanna go to bed at night knowing there won't be any of those cannibal shitheads banging their heads against our walls anymore.
Is that so much to ask for? You know, you walk into any kind of direction and all you can see are those freaking big things just walking, minding their own business and sometimes eating a couple of cannibals or maybe even us. I don't get it. Sometimes they are so aggro, they, they are running after you at any chance and other times, just like now, they are just chilling. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> I didn't even notice this one right here. But our team is quite good with beating those big things. He did it in one hit. Well, anyway, there's a little bit of a change in our plan. Originally, we wanted to invade the cannibals' capital again to see if they got a new leader. But Beep came up with a really great idea this morning. He wanted to see more of this world. He wanted to see more of the world of Kenji. Because all we are doing right now is wasting our time at the Cannibal Plains. I mean, it's a great time. <laughs> I, I don't mean we're wasting it. We have built a great fortress here, great base right next to the water. And it's flourishing. It's amazing, an amazing base with a good defense. We got some turrets going on here. But, you know, Kenshi is not all about the cannibal planes. Whoa, we shouldn't go this way. And Beep, he wanted to see more of the world of Kenshi. So that's what we are going to do now. Oh, it looks like we already managed to reach the fishing village. It's not far away from our base. But I don't know, do we need something to really get in there, stay here? I think we will move on. Holy shit, this guy is selling some goats and there's shit lying around all over this place. Yo, dude, how about you clean this up a little bit? Man, I don't know, do we need a goat? Got any goats for sale? I don't think we need a goat. And what does that mean? Adult, 88. Does that mean this goat is 88 years old? Holy shit, those goats are pretty damn old. It's very interesting how they managed to create such, such a smooth transitioning between those two different uh, geological environments. Pretty awesome. Oh, oh no, we discovered a ravaged... Ravaged hamlet. Ravaged hamlet. Okay, it sounds like a dish or something like that. Don't get distracted on the path. Whoa, who are those dudes? Outlaw farmer. Some simple farmers with <laughs> straw hats and goddamn crossbows. Who are those dudes? Never seen those type of enemies before. We're here to discover some new stuff and we're only going to fight if it's really necessary. So guys, don't get bothered by those idiots. All right, what is this place? This type of dish ravaged hamlet. Looks like a piece of trash. Every single one of those buildings is just simply destroyed. There's no loot, nothing around here. So, great. We're gonna move on, I guess. It keeps on saying that we found some other ravaged hamlets. Look how many of them there are. And some guard outposts. What the hell? <laughs> They're running after us. Holy shit, and they are fast. Holy shit, what is their problem? Stop following me, please. Okay, what the hell, dude? Forget them. Return to base. <laughs> they just followed us to double check if we're a threat or something like that. Now they're walking away as if nothing happened. Great dudes. Oh, those are United City Samurai Guards. I think they still have a grudge against us, but seems like they're pretty chill for now. I guess uh, those guard outposts, they belong to the United Cities. I don't know if we should go near those guys. They can get pissed really easily. So we are going to evade them. But interesting. It seems like this is United Cities territory. But why are there so many of those ravaged hamlet? I don't get it. I think it would be interesting going to the east to show Bataille. We have never been there, but it sounds like a very interesting city to visit. Maybe we are going to find some new followers or just other types of adventure. Holy shit, what the hell is that? Are you kidding? First the big things and now this type of shit? What, what the hell is that? A skimmer. It seems friendly. Whoa! Okay, 
it's not friendly at all. But luckily it's not as fast as those freaking big things. His run speed is only at 14 miles per hour. We can outrun that shit quite easily, so no worries. But look at this guys. <laughs> The cannibals, the cannibal can head exiles, those stupid ass can heads, they're also here at bust. I think those cannibals are everywhere. And what happened here? Oh no, they killed the doggies. Let's take the meat for, for some time later. Goodbye. Holy shit, my dudes. What the hell are you guys doing up here? That's a whole samurai army. They're just patrolling around the desert, patrolling the wastes. But they're but they seem pretty cool and friendly for now. Yo, that that's a whole city. And just like the other parts of this area, it seems to be also very uh, destructed, scarred by the war. There's absolutely no one around here, not a single soul. Let's take a look inside this building. Yo, finally some loot, but pff, nothing useful. There's absolutely nothing out of interest here. Just a bunch of crap. Maybe something's up here? They even got a couple of cages here. I guess from the looks of it, Bust once was a slaver's outpost. There's so many prisoner cages just standing around here. Empty, of course. What? Yo, what the hell? There's some guys chilling in here. <laughs> Yo, dude, look at this guy. He looks so old and his eyes pretty scary. Exile, just like that. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Okay, those dudes must be some kind of outcast, starving vagrant. Well, okay, you can chill around here. Seems like you guys are having a good time. So I'll head off. I won't interrupt you anymore. Goodbye, guys. Oh, damn it. It seems like it's getting dark, but I don't want to stay here, guys. <laughs> I want to find an inn or something like that, an actual place where we can stay at. So let's head to Shao Batai. Yo, look at this. Even the dust is moving quite interesting. It flies all around. Sadly, I forgot to bring some face protection, some dust protection with us. I hope the sand won't hurt us too much. Oh, there are some lights in the distance. Maybe we're gonna check that one out. Peasants. <laughs> Empire peasants. Okay. And they're starving. They're very hungry. If the Empire won't take us, then we look after each other. So, it seems like we found some more outcasts. But they seem friendly. Can we use their beds? <laughs> Let's try it out. Whoa, we can actually use their beds. Alright, guys. We're gonna stay here this night with those friendly fellows. I hope you don't mind that I'm using your bed. <laughs> Good night, guys. Sleep tight. Okay, the sun's rising. Looks pretty awesome. <laughs> Actually, I can't see anything. But now, look at this. The sun's rising on the horizon. Looks beautiful. Get up, guys. You're done sleeping around all day. Did you sleep well, Beep? Yeah. <laughs> now let's move on. Should be not far now to show Batai. Who are those guys? Bounty, Jürgen and Horsweed. Holy shit. Let's get those guys. God damn it. We can earn some money here. <laughs> There's no one here to help you guys. Guards. They're screaming for the guards. What guards? Make sure they won't bleed out. Give them some first aid. And now over the shoulder and let's go. Whoa! And this dude's also standing up. Just have to pound their asses once more, I guess. Sorry guys, but we need the money. We're short on money lately. Whoa! Holy shit! Where'd this guy go? He just went off. <gasps> Blade kid. Get this son of a gun. Holy shit. Trying to fly away, right? Not under my watch. I know the United Cities, they love those slaves. And we can get a lot of bounty here. Maybe we'll start doing some bounty hunting missions. What the hell? Another one? Look at this guy. He's wearing a basket as a helmet. This character is wanted by the authorities, by the United Cities. I guess we can get him too. He looks pretty strong though. And he's one of the sand ninjas. 
Don't look behind you. Holy shit, this dude's extremely aggressive. Watch out, guys. He's pretty strong. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. We got him. <laughs> now we got three bounties. That's amazing. I'm going to keep my eyes open for some more bounties. Okay, that's it. That must be Shao Batai. And don't worry about the tacos. We got a pretty good defense at home. So they can defend themselves pretty well. I trust them. Okay, our first city here in the great desert, Shao Batai. Now let's take a look inside. Oh no, more of those samurai guards. I hope they let us in. Ooh, stop right there. Bex, I need to inspect them. I don't think we have any type of illegal drugs on us. Okay, looks clean. Move along. Great. Cool, cool area here. Is there somewhere a place where I can get my bounty? Let's take a look. Oh, there actually is a police station. How convenient. Let's see if we can sell them off. Hello, I've got some slaves. Looks like you've caught the bounty. Want a reward, I suppose? Take him. Where are you running off to? I still got some left. Now we're talking. Making some good money out here. Holy shit, what's happening outside here? There's a freaking skimmer inside this base. But those samurai guards, holy shit, they're pretty strong. That skimmer does absolutely no damage to them. They have incredible armor. The United Cities again, always with their goddamn slaves. They cut a lot of slaves out here. We could buy some off, but I don't want to buy a slave. What? What the hell? No freaking way. They're immediately attacking us. The slaver's boss and the slaver's guard. That's right. Those slavers are in complete another faction. Let's see. The slave traders. Yeah, we're not very good with them. Okay, how do we proceed from here. We're gonna fight them. Blade is going to lock the door. We're currently committing some dangerous crimes out here. Goddamn slavers. I hate those guys. Okay, we got the slavers boss down. We're gonna take his stuff so when he awakes he won't be any kind of threat to us. Keep on going guys. You can do this. Nice. I think we can actually win this. <laughs> There's only one guy left. You know what we are going to do? Pick this guy up and put him in the cages. That's the best we can do. And we are going to take their weapons. So if they wake up, they won't have any type of weapons. Oh no. How did this happen? The samurai guards, they saw us. <laughs> hmm? Oh no, we have to run. We have to escape from here. Damn, I thought we found a peaceful environment once. But no, nothing like that. We already got a bounty, I guess. Guys, run, run. Yeah, we actually managed to escape. <laughs> Those goddamn idiots. <laughs> but damn, why must that always happen to us? No, Van Damme, please, keep on going. Van Damme's arm doesn't look pretty good. What the hell? Oh, man. Those guys, they're really getting our asses. Holy shit, Van Damme, why are you so slow? Oh no, I still got the weapons from the guards. I totally forgot. Now he can run. Those freaking samurai guards. They won't leave us be. How long do we have to run away from those guys? Okay, you know what? We are going to fight. There's no way we can outrun them. <laughs> All right, Van Damme. Van Damme decided to take a little sleepy out here in the great desert. Good night, boys. I'm out for today. Holy shit, I just noticed our accuracy is getting punished by this dust storm pretty hard. Holy shit, those dudes are way too strong. Okay, Van Damme's not doing very great. I think I have to run away from here. Goodbye. Beep's out here. Go, Beep. You can outrun them. Van Damme's bleeding very, very heavily. If I don't act quickly, he's going to die. Yo, how long is this guy trying to run after us? Dude, let us be. Okay, I think Sensei is waking up. Sensei, treat your wounds, please. Get your wounds treated. I don't have a medikit. As if. Then get a goddamn medikit from Blade. What the hell is your problem? 
Okay, I think we managed to outrun that one guy. So now please put Van Damme down and treat his wounds fast. I don't want to lose the arm on Van Damme. Damn it, guys. How did we end up in this kind of situation again? It's always the same. Please be put Van Damme down normally. You don't have to throw him around. It will take a lot of time before Van Damme regains consciousness, I guess. <laughs> Van Damme's wanted in the United Cities and has a bounty of 18,000 cats on his head. He did absolutely nothing. He was just laying around, playing unconscious. Wanted for theft, assault and kidnapping. And what's with Beep? P burglary, assault, terrorism and looting. Beep's always getting the highest bounty, always. Sensei and Blade are in no condition to survive out here in the wastes for long. They need a safe place where they can rest, a place where they can regain their strength. Here's the plan. Since Sensei and Blade's bounty ain't that high, we're gonna let those two hand themselves into the samurai guards. Although we're then in jail, we'll be safe from the outside world. And after a couple of days, we're free to go. It's like a free little healthcare program. Van Damme and Beep on the other hand can turn themselves in. They'd be sitting in those jail cells for years with that highest bounty. They have to find a way on their own. But Beep's in good condition. They will manage. Okay, that's how we are going to do it. Sensei, get in there. <laughs> I know it's going to hurt, but it's the only option. It's just that Sensei can't outrun any kind of threat out here in the desert with 13 miles per hour. It's the only option. I know it's a hard burden, but you gotta have to do it. Okay, Sensei. Do it. Whoa! Holy shit! What the hell just happened? They shot us with their harpoons. What the hell are those things? Harpoon turret mark II. Holy shit. The samurai police actually managed to get us up. Well, there's still a chance to survive this. Yeah, they got us. I didn't expect a harpoon to pierce through our asses. Everything's going to be okay. Just as I expected. They're getting us in some cages up here. And now we just have to wait. They can recover and we'll wait out until they are going to be released again. But Beep and Sensei, they're going on an own path. From here on, our ways will separate. Each one of us has to go his own way now. I'm sorry, Sensei. I'm sorry, Blade. Beep, get Van Damme out of here. Van Damme hasn't noticed a thing yet. <laughs> He's still unconscious. And he will stay unconscious for a long time. I don't know how long it has been since Beep started running. I don't even know why the hell he's running in the first place. Is it because Sensei and Blade got their asses impaled by a harpoon last episode? Or is it just protective instincts towards Van Damme? What drives him to run like the wind? Either way, we need to stop him before this gets out of hand. Wait, <gasps> heft? What's that? Looks like a city of some sort. We're gonna check that one out for sure. Even though there was a harpoon sticking out of their body like half a day ago, Sensei and Blade are doing pretty well now. They're enjoying their stay at this beautiful establishment. No, their imprisonment only lasts for a day or so. Then they're free to go again. Beep, where the hell are you taking our beloved Van Damme? Man, he has already been saved. Just find him a bed or something like that. All he needs is some rest. So that's heft. It's also controlled by the United Cities. Hope word hasn't spread of our bounty from Shao Batai to Heft yet. If they start running after us, we're done. Well, beeps fast, but I don't think he can outrun harpoons or shit like that. Wow, what's that building? Let's check it out. Looks very interesting in here. No way, is that the Iron Throne from Game of Thrones? You know? <laughs> That one series with those dragons, swords and naked women everyone already has forgotten about? You don't mind if I sit here for a while, do you? Oh, oh no, the seat's still warm. Let's hit the road, beep. Let's get the hell out of here. Heft seems like a pretty cool city, but uh, beep doesn't want to stop right now. He's still got some ants up his pants. That must explain his current running spree. I know, Beep, those were some shocking images last episode, but how about you slow down for just a minute? 
Whoa, some manhunters. They definitely recognized us, but they can't match Beep's running speed. You guys are way too slow for Beep. Sometimes it's so hard to see anything through those thick dust storms. What the hell? Beep, what the hell is this place? Do you even know where we are? Howler Maze. You know, Beep, you ain't got the best orientation, you know that. So a place that has the word maze in it ain't the best location to take a trip to. So please calm down a minute. He doesn't even care. He's just running and running and not listening. Don't go into the water, Beep. What the hell? At least hold one dumb in a way so his head's not under the water, dude. <laughs> well, at least the view around here is pretty nice. I wonder what Van Damme's going to think when he's awake again. I bet he was just regaining consciousness before B put his head under the water for like 5 minutes. So what is this place? The Howler Maze. Looks like a... Uh, what's the English word for that? Peninsula? Peninsula. Whoa, what the hell is that shit? Are those the mud crabs from Morrowind? Why are there so many of them around here? They seem highly aggressive. <laughs> Aren't crabs like supposed to walk sideways? Anyway, we are in luck. They ain't as fast as Beep. Oh, will you look at this? Sensei already served his time. He has been released from prison early. Blade's not free yet. Maybe it's because she's still unconscious from that harpoon shot. Well, Sensei's gonna wait for her release. Whoa, Beep! What the hell did you found? A whole city! Amazing, but it looks a little bit deserted. Those buildings definitely have seen some better days. Oh, oh, the hell? Beep, what's that smell? Oh shit, man, that's acid rain. Van Damme's health is going down the drain. Beep, do something. We have to find some shelter. Fast, before there's nothing more left of Van Damme but bones. It even says on the map those are some ruins. So it should not be inhabited. Let's go, Beep. Fast, get your beloved Van Damme to a safe place as fast as you can. Damn, the locks of that door are way too hard for Beep to pick. I guess we'll let Van Damme try his luck, since he couldn't sleep anymore anyway, with half of his skin already gone from that acid rain. No, that lock is way too hard to pick. Let's try another building. What the hell in God's name is that thing? Are you kidding me? A uh, mega crab. Damn, this place is weird. Beep, <laughs> that's all your fault. Oh, look at this. That building ain't locked. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh no, there are some baby crabs living inside this building. At least we're safe from the rain. Beep, show those crabs what you are made out of. Damn, Beep. Don't disappoint me now, you've got us into this mess, now get us out of it. Van Damme, please stay back, you can't fight with a broken arm like that. Let's Beep handle this, he already got one down. Oh, oh no, Beep, don't do this to me, stand up, stand up and fight like a man. Van Damme, let's go, oh damn, come on Beep, stand up again. Him. He just opened his eyes, saw the crabs are still there and fell unconscious again. Stand up, Beep! You can do this! I believe in you! <gasps> he did it! And the crabs just tearing at him in shock. They can't believe he just stood up after that beating. Now show them your strength, Beep! Get their asses! Beep wins! <laughs> Beep! <laughs> Beep? Are you alright? What the hell is happening to you? Did you fall on your head too much? I think he finally lost it. Beep, no. <laughs> Don't do it. Beep, stop. You can't beat a mega crab on your own. <laughs> Holy shit. What the hell, man? I did not expect for Beep to lose his leg with one hit. <laughs> no, that's a pretty damn shit situation we're in right now. <gasps> Beep. What the hell are you doing, boy? Don't get too close to that thing again. For God's sake. I believe you're strong. You don't have to prove it. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I feel pretty bad. I think I've actually overdone it. 
It looks like he's about to die if I don't do anything, but Van Damme can't carry anyone at his current state. Well, he could try to tend his wounds at least, give him some needed first aid. But well, maybe uh, when the crap's not looking. Van Damme, do it sneaky beaky like. There we go. Van Damme's an expert when it comes to hiding from mega crabs. Now there's a chance for Beep to actually survive this. This doesn't look good. Nope, it doesn't. The crab's about to slap your ass, so get the hell out of here. Look at that poor Beep, he's just a pile of blood. And it still says he's about to die. Uh, that must be a bug or something. He's doing fine. Just give him some time. Back at the Great Desert, at the Shao Batais police station, Blade and Sensei are finally free to go. That is our stuff right here in that barrel. That's Blade's Naginata. But taking it counts as an act of stealing. Well, shit, there are guards everywhere. But Sensei's big ass sword ain't in here. Let's take a look outside where they shot our asses with those harpoons. Oh, there it is, Sensei's fragment axe. I guess it was way too heavy for the guards to carry around. Good for us, at least Sensei got a weapon now. But I really want to have my Naginata back. Damn, they won't let me have it. Isn't that the Sand Ninja we managed to kidnap? And get the bounty for, for from last episode? What are you doing here, dude? Are you okay? Hey, get me out! What? Are you crazy? I just got out of jail myself. I can't just unlock your cage and get you out of here. But well, I could try. Sensei's not the best at picking locks, so this will take a while. And here we go, my dude. Just watch out for the guards. Oh no, they're plunging at him right away. But it's just one guard. As a trained sand ninja, you can do some crazy jujutsus, right? Or maybe not. <laughs> they put him in a cage again, next to another dude. How is that even possible? New plan, we'll unlock those cages again. And now we'll take him over the shoulders and out of here. That actually worked. That was so easy. And no one even cared. Let's take this dude outside of the city. Okay, seems like they knocked him out pretty bad. It will take a while until he's up and ready again. I want to know if he can show us his secret sand ninja outpost. Or at least teach us some cool ninjutsus. Damn! Again another sandstorm. Blade got some good protection against it with those goggles. But Sensei can't see shit with all that sand in his eyes. Yo! What the hell? He just took off <laughs> like ground control. Why is everyone taking off like that when I try to put him on the ground? Great. And now it seems like he's lost in space and time. Damn guys, what a night. Sensei couldn't sleep a second with all that wind and sand constantly slapping his face. But the ninja dude seems to be good again. Let's see if he's up for a talk. What? No way! Where the hell are you running off to? Guys after him. Don't lose him. I guess he's running back to his secret sand village. Don't let him run away. I want my ninjutsus. Well, at least our guys can keep up with him. Oh, stowed. We found a new city just by running after that monkey. Forget about him. He's running in circles anyway. Let's check out stowed. <laughs> Who's that guy? <laughs> he looks massive. What the hell? Okay guys, we need some food, some new headwear for Sensei and a weapon for Blade. Who are those guys? A city hero from the United Heroes League and a hero boss walking around with wooden sticks? Sound like some self-proclaimed heroes. Cringe. Here, that looks like a weapon shop. This rusty old Naginata ain't as good as the last one, but it's better than nothing right now. We'll find some better stuff later on. Guys, don't laugh. That's the only headpiece they have right now that helps with dust storms. It does not look as cool as the metal straw hat, but it will do just fine for now. Good night, guys. Sleep well. And we're gonna take a look at Van Damme and Beep, how they're doing right now. Hmm, Van Damme's doing fine. Still wounded from the last fight. And it looks like he ate all the crabs. And how's Beep? Wow, he's actually about to wake up again. What timing. <laughs>
Good morning, sunshine. How are you feeling? Beep? What the hell are you doing? No, Beep. Haven't you learned your lesson? B, what the hell is your problem? Damn, see what you've done to yourself now? You can't even swing a sword now. You're done, dude. Go back to Van Damme so he can treat your wounds. Damn, Beep, what were you thinking, my little friend? Have you at least got your normal mind back again? You nearly lost all your limbs. You're so lucky you still got your sword arm left. What a relief, right? B Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Kenshi and please don't hate me too much for letting Beep lose all his limbs. God damn it, I'm so sorry for this Mr. Beep. Welcome back to the world of Kenshi, where absolutely anything could happen at any given time. Maybe one day you decide, you take a nap, cover yourself in a quite cozy blanket, sleep in, dream about something very nice and comforting. And upon awakening, all you notice is you lost all your limbs <laughs> and you are getting carried by a jacked ass man. The Jack Des men you guys so much love and adore, our beloved Jean-Claude Van Damme. Well, that's the beauty of Kenshi, where absolutely anything could happen. Poor Beep lost all his limbs. <laughs> what are we going to do with you now? He was once known as one of the best katana users that has ever lived in the world of Kenshi. Oh, those goddamn crabs. It's all your fault, you goddamn crabs. We're gonna get you some new limbs, my little Beep. We're gonna fix you up in no time. But where do we get some new limbs? I guess we'll just start to run around. Eventually we, we should find some dudes that could sell us some robotic limbs. Yo, what the hell is going on here at our base? What? How many of those big things do you want to send to my base? Dude, Dr. Chang nearly died. Are you guys crazy? Holy shit. Those big things are spread all over our base. They're terrorizing every single one of our people. Oh no, they got Ruka. Our last hope. Holy shit, there's blood everywhere. Guys, you can't do this to me. And I don't have a medikit. Am I running low on medikits? Oh no, Ruka. What are you doing? Don't give up. You're our last hope. You're the strongest of us here. Damn it, guys. Shoot those goddamn big things already. This is a very tight situation right now. Oh, there goes Ray. He is quite strong. Maybe he can do something about his big thing infestation. Get them, boy. Guys, heal yourself, please. There are people out here losing their limbs. Guys, you can't do this to me. Don't send me a whole family of big things with, with 20 relatives into my base. Look at this, this is absolutely crazy. There are even more of those big things outside of our base, eating all kind of shit that lies around there. How is it possible that there are so many of them? At least we're safe now. Everyone's recovering. I just left Beep and Van Damme out here for just like a second and it started to rain acid rain again. This game just hates me. Oh, we discovered some ruins. I hope there won't be any more of those mega crabs around here at those, at those ruins. But there are some normal crabs. Well, we can sneak around them. Can definitely find some shelter in these buildings. Oh, there's a crab in here. One single crab. Sleeping, it's sleeping on ground. <gasps> as long as the crab's only sleeping here and it's not doing anything stupid, maybe it won't notice us. We can go up. Okay, stay here for the night, Van Damme. Or at least until it stops raining. I have to check back at the home base. That's not normal, guys. There are so many big things here. God damn it, look at this. There are another swarm of big things coming already. And they are so fast. Wait, have they always been so fast? I think Chris Hunt patched the game to make those big things way much faster when they're walking in water. Or am I just hallucinating? <laughs> Back then I always thought they would take longer to walk through the water. Look at this, they're quite fast. Do you guys want to hear a funny story? <laughs> Look at this, this spaghetti mess over here. 
that was once a raid attack that was originally planned to uh, move to our base. And those big things, they just annihilated every single one of those poor ass cannibals. They had no chance. And those uh, big things, they're eating up every single one of those cannibals. Those tech hunters, I paid those tech hunters to protect my base. I paid them a whole salary to protect my base for a whole week. And look at this, they are dying. They're laying around all around my base. They're suffering. Those big things have so much food out there. There are hundreds of those cannibals lying around all over the place outside our base. And those big things are still trying to go inside of our base. They ain't hungry. They just want to kill us. Look at this, there's another one. They just want to kill us. It's an amusement for those big things to kill us. You know what, guys? I think we need more people at our base. We need more protection. More guys that can mount those crossbows. That shit ain't funny anymore. Leko has been eaten alive. Who the fuck is Leko? Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, six big things li lying around there in the water. Dead. I already ordered Raid to get rid of some of those big things. There's another one laying around. I ordered him to put those big things in the furnace. And still there's so many corpses left around here. That just shows us how many of those big things here are. It's daytime. The crabs are awake, running around. Whoa, a crab egg. That must be worth something, right? <laughs> Wait, can we actually get that crab egg? and hatch it so we can get our own crabs, a crab pet? Well, no way, we won't risk anything with Van Damme and Beep at this current state. Beep, what is going on? Oh, he's crying. <laughs> Beep, don't do this to me. Stop crying. We're gonna find you some limbs soon. I know, Beep. You always said you are such a big fan of cyberpunk. So don't worry, you will love it. You will love it to have all kind of robotic limbs on you. Those are some stupid ass ruins. There's nothing around here. Well, guys, <laughs> I know I'm stupid as shit. I risked a lot with Beep last episode. But we're not gonna stop here. Wandam, grab those eggs. I want those goddamn eggs. Do it, Wandam, do it. Do it, you can do it. Run, run for your life. <laughs> We got the goddamn crab egg. Run for your life, Mr. Van Damme. <laughs> a live crab egg worth a little bit of money. That's absolutely nothing. We can buy ourselves a piece of meat from that money. Oh, God damn it! Okay, now, while Beep and Van Damme are on their way to find some new limbs, we're gonna check out this area here. We're gonna check out how Sensei and Blade are doing. Look at this tiny ass bone dog. Holy shit. It looks like those little chihuahua dogs. I always find it so amazing. There's so much happening in a city like that. Look at this. That's crazy. There's no other game out there that has so many NPCs ju just walking around. Oh, look at this. And all those random encounters. It's so lifelike. I love it. Who's that dude? Holy shit, this dude is massive. <laughs> is that a joke character? Look at his face. Lord Inaba, but he is actually very strong, so we should watch out. Oh, we can talk to him. Keep your rotten eye off the nobility dregs. Look at this guy. He's buying everything out. This dude got money. No room for that item. Dude, <laughs> you just bought everything out of the store. Oh, you stink of poor. <laughs> Kneel before me, peasant girl. Who the hell is that dude? Okay, let Sensei talk a little bit. You're spoiling my walk with your horrid stench, peasant boy. <laughs> I'm offended. Kneel for my forgiveness. Should we kneel? Or should we say I bow before nobody? Or slug him in the guts? <laughs> Let's deny his request. No, I won't be treated that way. What? Whoa! Guards turn them down. Make them no real pain. Okay, let's get the shit out of here. What the hell? 
Yo, come on guys, that's absolutely not fair. There are like 30 dudes after our asses. It was a joke, come on. It was just a joke. Can't you stupid ass guys don't get a joke? This guy's actually so close to Sensei, he's whispering into his ear. Whoa! Ah, oh, Sensei, come on, stop stalling. It was just a simple little joke. Don't you get a joke? How can someone be so pissed about a joke? Running after our asses for now like 10 minutes. Oh, Sensei. Whoa. Oh no, Blade already got her ass kicked. Come on, Sensei. I know you are strong. Those guys are just a bunch of highly trained samurai ninja assassins. You can get them down with a couple of swings of your fragment axe. Uh, this doesn't look good. And they're down. They're just leaving us in the sand, walking it off as if nothing just happened right now. Okay, we managed to survive this shit attack. God damn it, it was just but a simple joke. <laughs> Will you give me a massage? I feel incredibly stiff. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hang. What the hell is Hang? We discovered a new city. Sounds like an interesting place. Let's check it out. I just hope it's not the United Cities again. Maybe we can get some robotic limbs for Beep there. That would be awesome. Here we are. So, this is Hang. Very interesting architecture. But first, let's check out who those guys are. Ah, oh, god damn it, those are the United City Samurai Guards. Well, we could try to get inside of the city anyway. Maybe they won't notice we are a high threat to the United Cities. Okay, let's check this place out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, I think this guy should sell some robotic limbs. There we go, this is a skeleton doctor. He could sell us some robotic limbs for beep. Need a new arm or something? Whoa! He got a lot of stuff on stock. We can definitely find something here for Beep. But guys, those limbs are way too expensive. I can't afford that. Oh, look at this, a shinobi thief's tower. We are allied with those guys. They are our best friends. I will let Beep stay around here for now. Put him in a bed or he can recover a little bit. Beep, don't worry. You're gonna have to stay here for a while. Just chill. Uh, think about something funny or stuff like that. Wandam will be back in no time. This will be a little bit unethical, but we're gonna have to steal ourselves some robotic limbs here. We have to do this sneaky beaky like. <gasps> oh no, I think someone recognized us. A samurai guard. Oh god damn it. Please don't. Please, please, please. Oh, oh no, what have I done? <laughs> the ninjas are fighting against the samurais. What the hell? <laughs> What the hell is going on? All the ninjas and all the samurais in this town are fighting against each other. Our ninja friends are under attack. We have to protect them at all cost. They're our friends. Come on, Van Damme. Show them your strength. Ah, oh, god damn it. Those ninjas ain't strong enough. Look at this. That looks very, very bad. Those ninjas are not trained enough to fight against samurais in full armor. Those poor ninjas, they stand no chance. We're gonna have to get out of here before it's too late. But they're creating some good distraction for our escape. I'm sorry, Beep. I wanted to get you some robotic limbs. But now we are on the run again. We have to get the shit out of here. Holy shit, no. We got away. Those outlaw farmers, they came at the perfect time. They created another great distraction for us to escape. Still, one police guard is still after our asses. And he's very fast. There's a bone dog. Maybe we can also use him as a distraction. Yes! <laughs> nice. Doggy, you are the best. Get his ass. Oh, god damn it. Van Damme, watch out. Oh no, that's not gonna work. We have to get the shit out of here. Goodbye. I'm sorry, doggy. But we have to run away. I'm so sorry, Beep. <laughs> Please don't cry again. I wanted to get you some nice looking robotic arms and a really cool ass leg. But it didn't work out today. But I've got a surprise for you, Beep. Look who there is. Terror Blade and Sensei. <laughs> Long time no see, guys. <laughs> Reunited at last. Isn't that beautiful? Let's get the shit out of here. I don't want to be in United Cities territory anymore. 
Whoa, what is this place? Look at the difference in the environment from red desert to pitch black ground. The black desert. What's with those guys? They're all coughing. Are you all right? What's the matter? My lungs. <laughs> okay, cloud ninja. Black desert ninjas. Oh god. Whoa, they look quite scary. Looks like characters straight out of the cyberpunk universe. I think they're coughing and heavy breathing is an indication for that there might be uh, bad air at the black desert. Oh god, they're already coughing. That's poison gas. Those clouds are poisonous. We should stay away from those. Oh, look at this. There are some cloud ninjas. And they look very aggressive. They're trying to get us. Damn it, that's a bad time. I think we can beat those guys. Even Beep can do something. Oh no. <laughs> Beep can't do shit. How did I forget? He has no arms. Yo, look at those guys. They're getting annihilated. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, where did you get those moves, Van Damme? Straight out the Matrix. <laughs> those stupid ass cloud ninjas. They had absolutely no chance against the massive destructive power of Van Damme, Blade and Sensei. Oh, there's a city. Black Desert City. <gasps> Looks awesome. Let's check it out. Oh no, there's acid rain dropping upon us. Oh shit, we are already low on health. That's not good. Guys, fast. The city is our last hope. Quick before there's nothing left but bones. Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Those are those cyber spiders. God damn. Not those things again. Oh, please. But they are quite slow. So, no worries. We can outrun them. I hate those things. They're so aggressive. They can literally one hit us with their stupid ass claws. Holy shit, what are those? What is going on around here? Is that like endgame area? <laughs> what the hell is that? That's a robot. He looks like the Terminator. That's awesome. And there's a bar. We're gonna check that one out. Whoo, guys, we did it. <laughs> Oh, we are safe. We found a very interesting bar. What the hell is that? It's a mini security spider. This one actually looks quite cute. Look, it's walking. Finally, we can relax for a bit. After a long ass fight through the poisonous clouds and the acid rain last episode, our group managed to find shelter in a village inhabited by some bootleg terminators. We cut ourselves some lost limbs here, some broken bones and burnt skin. The best medicine we need right now is sleep. And maybe privacy. Who the hell is that guy? Whoa, that outlaw Hiver got a pretty good bounty on his head. He's wanted by the United Cities. Well, cool, but no. The United Cities want us dead. He got a pretty good bounty, but our own bounty is way much higher. No, the group needs rest. Van Damme needs his beauty sleep. We need to regain our strength back first. Good night, Beep, my sweet little prince. Sensei, keep your legs still, please. <laughs> Van Damme. Van Damme practiced long and hard throughout his entire life to find the most comfortable sleeping position a human being can possibly achieve. There is that thing again. I can't get over it. How adorable the security spider looks. I need one of those as a pet. It's like one of those vacuum cleaning robots. But this one can actually kill you. <laughs> oh, there's a robot coming up the stairs. Who the hell is Sad Nail? Sad Nail? Sad Nail? And why can't we get some privacy up here? Beep is also a skeleton like you. Peep, did you jump out the bed just to tell this dude that you got a robo leg? Okay, let's try talking. Another organic one. Whoa, that must hurt. Poor Beep. Beep actually thinks he's also a robot now, since we gave him that one robo leg. But he's at most a cyborg, I think. Not a fully robot. So that comment from Sad Neil was pretty savage. I'll join you, but only because I'm weak and give in easily to peer pressure. <laughs> I hate my life. What the hell? Did we really just recruit a depressed robot? What the hell? 
Okay, since Beep has no injuries and, and does not need any kind of treatment and any kind of sleep, we're gonna go out with Sad Neil and explore the city for a bit. So let's see if we can actually find some robotic limb seller out here. Good thing is Acid Rain does absolutely no damage to Sad Neil and Beep, so we can roam around the city freely. That must be it, there he is, the robotic limb seller. They all look the same, but this is the dude we are looking for. Holy shit, look at this, there are lots of different robo limbs. This is it, this is the shit, this dude got specialist great scout legs. That would be perfect for Beep, but those limbs are hella expensive. No way we can afford that right now. And don't even think about stealing anything without Mr. Van Damme. Our new robotic team member had probably not seen WD-40 in like 200 years. You can hear that pile of scrap coming from 6 miles away. There's a big ass building in this town. I really wanna check this out. <laughs> Look at this, this building is huge. What the hell? Oh, there are robots inside of here. Amazing, feels like I'm in a Star Wars like battleship, space star, spaceship hunger. The first Robocop that looks a little bit different than the other ones. Let's talk to this guy. Dude, <laughs> this guy's selling hell a lot of different weapons and shit, especially crossbows. Oh man, we definitely need a guy in our team that specializes in ranged combat, but not Beep. Beep stump. We need someone who can actually hit a target. I should keep in mind that there is good equipment around this area for the future. Oh man, and there are also hoarding cyber spiders up here. I hope they know what they are doing. Oh, there's even a flying spider up here in the sky. <laughs> Van Damme, are you awake? Did you really not move an inch since you got into this bed? Seems like the team is up and ready to go again. You know, buying stuff is cool and nice, but today we're gonna make an exception for this. Today we're gonna steal stuff. Because today stealing is cool. Today we are going to loot the shit out of this place. Beep needs his limbs. Without them he's nothing but a sad papino. Yo, that's a jackpot. Those skeleton repair kits are worth like a lot and there are so many of them. Holy shit, but I don't need that right now. We need those limbs, so let's go. Guys, you know how I talked about that one thing last episode? That Chris Hunt might have updated the game concerning that one mechanic where the NPCs start to get bucked when they were trying to swim to our base. You know, remember, I could just snipe them one by one while they were struggling to reach the shore to our base. So tell me, am I hallucinating? Or are those goddamn stupid ass cannibals actually able to get inside of our base now? Holy shit, what the hell is going on? I think they're here for that cannibal grand wizard we kidnapped. Wait, <laughs> it looks like that wizard guy is starving. Shit, I didn't know we had to feed him. He's, he, he's in that cage for a couple of weeks I guess. But uh, we got a whole nother problem at hand right now. Those cannibals are easy to beat since they are small and weak, but their strength comes from their numbers. There are way too many of them. Killing every single one of them is a pain in the ass. They're like flies, stupid ass bugs. You kill one and 10 more spawn. Someone in the comments said I need some bone dogs. They'd be able to eat all those corpses lying around at our base. Corpses attract big things, so that would be a brilliant option. But I haven't come around to find someone that can sell me some bone dogs so far. Until then, we gotta have to live with those troublemakers near our base, I guess. Alright, we managed to get rid of those cannibals, but I swear to god. I had cannibal raids like these before, like for at least 100 times and they never ended up being that bloody. I don't know man, I'm just saying, it's quite strange. Something in the system has changed. Okay now boys, this is going to be a very interesting stealth operation now. There are only approximately 30 Robocop guards around here guarding every inch of this goddamn shop. First we gotta have to find out where the loot is at. You know, the storage. And here it is, there we go. That's just the thing we need, a right scout leg. Okay now, that position is shit. Those guys are watching every single step I make. 
We need some sort of distraction. Sensei, get the hell up here, man. Start doing some throat singing or shit like that. Get their robotic attention. Nice, this is it. Now is the best time to grab those legs. And there we go. Easy as that. Beep. <laughs> Come here, beep. Look at this. We got you some crazy ass limbs, my little friend. A right leg, a right arm, and the left arm. Beep. Beep has officially become a fully cyber beep. Congratulations. Just don't lose your head next time. That's the one thing that cannot be replaced that easily. So watch out. Holy shit. <laughs> His run speed is now at 48 miles per hour. What is that? Like 80 uh, kilometers per hour? That is crazy. Beep has become car. Look at that running speed. Normal human eyes ain't even capable to see his legs swing at that speed. That damn ass cannibal leader is giving me a headache. I don't want him to die. Just because we weren't able to feed him properly. He still got that crazy amount of bounty on his head. I guess we have to sell him off to the police forces as fast as possible to collect our well-deserved bounty. I think Ruka would be perfect for this job. She got that crazy ass armor from the cannibal wizard and a big ass sword. No one will be able to take her down. Okay, let's go Ruka. Make us proud. Take some food with you and off you go. I guess our best guess would be the United Cities. It's a long way, but still better than getting ass pounded by the holy nation. It's time for some exploring. Said Neil, put Beep down. He's no baby no more. Let him run wild. For he is now the perfect scout. God damn. He's so fast. It actually hurts him to slow down, to come to a halt once he builds up that speed. What's that building? Looks interesting. Oh, there are even more robo dudes living here. Is this some kind of robo outpost? Ah! They shot Beep in, in the head! How dare they shoot Beep? He is one of their own! He is also a robo man! Can't they see Beep's half robot himself? Damn, those dudes are some bullies. I guess they are different from the robo guys from the city. Well, let's keep on moving. There, another ruin. Let's check that one out too. More of those broken ass robots. They must be guarding some good ass loot, if there are so many of them. Oh, another ruin. And for the first time it actually looks decent. Could be promising. Let's see. <laughs> what the heck? Is that for real? Defend the master? Beep, what the hell did you just do, dude? Error. Why are they all saying error? Are those robo dudes broken? Well, I don't know who the hell those guys are, but it seems like those broken robo guys see Beep as some kind of savior. They see him as some kind of robotic Jesus. I don't know why anyone would want to serve Beep in any kind of way, but I guess we'll take it. Those guys are quite strong, man. They literally represent the whole as Beep fan community on Reddit. He has done it. That son of a gun. He got his own personal fan club before Van Damme even did. <laughs> oh, another ruin. Maybe we'll find some more of those broken robots inside here. Oh, ah. oh no. They down Beep. Help, guys. <laughs> Protect Master. Defend Master. Those guys are risking their lives for a beep. Imagine risking your life for a leak. Thanks guys, I guess. They hit beep right in the head again. What the hell? Beep, please watch out. If you lose your head beep, you're done for good. Man, those guys are actually pretty awesome. Maybe I could use them to raid one of those outposts where they try to shoot me with those harpoons. That's a brilliant idea. Let's do it. Meanwhile, in the middle of the desert, Ruka is destroying some starving vagrants on her way to Shao Batai. Look at that damage! And look how much damage Ruka can take! Those guys are just scratching her. Oh my god! That one dude's crawling, drawing circles with his stomp. <laughs> Stop it! What are you doing? Okay now, how are we going to do that? Are we just gonna rush in? 
and use our robo friends as cover from those harpoon shots, and they are already getting alarmed, running around panicking from the side of that army. Get them boys! They are doing an amazing job, Beep even doesn't have to do anything, he can just stand there and watch. This is our chance Beep, get that harpoon shooting robo, kick his ass. Ok let's, let's get back to Ruka. Ruka actually managed to reach Shao Batai. And all that while we were busy trying to eradicate that ancient robo base. No way, the ninjas are still fighting the samurai guards. Are you for real? Just because we angered them last episode a little bit. Here you go Mr. Police Chief, the world's most dangerous cannibal for you. Holy shit, that's a lot of money now. I've never had so much money before in Kenshi, that's amazing. We should be having no problems from now on, dealing with all sorts of expenses in the future. I don't know if there's anything else to do here for you Ruka, but until I've got any new plans, you're gonna have to stay here at Chao Batai for a while. Back to business. The robots have cleared out the whole base and the operation went easier than I thought. There's so much good loot around here. Gonna have to send Zedniel out here to pick up all that crazy ass good loot, so he can sell it off at the Robo City again. Guys, this whole episode was quite lucrative. We made so much money, it's crazy. Hold up, what the heck is going on back home? No freaking way. The cannibals have found their way back into our base again. And there are at least 100 of those stupid ass cannibals. Oh my god. Those cannibals are trying to kidnap our people. They're picking them up as soon as they're getting unconscious. It feels like it's getting more and more of them with each and every second. <laughs> Something happened in the meta of this game. Guys, I know for a fact. Chris Hunt, the developer of Kenshi, watched some of my Kenshi videos in the past. Maybe he saw how those cannibals struggled to get into my base and maybe updated their path findings. If that's true, that would be awesome. Look at that massacre! There are so many cannibal corpses spread all over our base. We definitely need to get us some bone dogs soon. Keep on fighting guys, you can do it. It was a hard fight. But we managed to kill every single one of those dump ass cannibals. So no worries. <laughs> what worries me more right now is this shit here. What the actual f***? I think we had enough fun in the black desert. It's a shame we can't explore more with the whole team. Maybe we'll come back in the future with some sort of acid rain protective outfits or stuff like that. So we can explore a little bit more. But for now we will try heading back to the cannibal plains with... <laughs> This small little army. I hope those guys can handle a couple of big things. Hey guys, welcome back to the beautiful world of Kenshi. Back again with those robotic robots. Back again with the robotic fan club of Beep. Those guys are looking kind of funny. I mean, the attention to detail. That's crazy. Look, you can clearly see those guys are some sort of robots. Today is going to be a very special episode. I've decided since our base got attacked by those stupid ass cannibals very very hard and since those cannibals actually managed to get inside of our base since they actually learned how to swim through the knee high water surrounding our base it's time to upgrade our defenses. Look at that mess around here. But first we gotta have to lead our group with that robo army back home again. Who are those guys? Wild bull. <laughs> Interesting creatures. Very majestic. Okay, we found the holy mine. Oh yeah, right. We are roaming through holy nation territory. That might end uh, in a disaster. Holy shit. And there we go already. Our robo friends already found some prey. Some poor ass doggies. Ok guys, stop jerking around here. Let's keep on moving. It's still a long way to go. Holy shit, what, what is going on around? What is going on up here? I can't see shit. Holy shit, that's a big ass cloud. Some sort of dust storm where you can see absolutely nothing. And there's... What is that? Holy mine. That is an actual holy mine. But it seems to be uh, abandoned. Well, good for us. There are some holy books we can take with us. So we're gonna keep on moving guys. Keep on moving guys. Let's go. Those robo guys are 
totally crazy. They're attacking everything that is capable of moving. Guys, chill out for a second. Those dogs didn't do anything. God damn it, I can't move an inch. There are already those dogs waiting at the next corner. And I can't outrun them because our robo friends, they want to kill everything. They just want to attack everything that runs around here in the desert. Man, I got the feeling at the time we managed to reach our base, we kind of lose every single one of those robots on the way. So I'll be glad if we manage to get at least three, four of those guys back home. <laughs> That would be awesome, because they're quite strong and those guys can protect our base really good. I read in the comments of the last video, there is a, a little trick. We can pick up those robo guys, put them in a prison cell and then we might be able to talk to them. And through a little bit of conversation, we might also be able to convince them to join our party. And the best thing about robo dudes is you never have to feed them. That's the amazing thing about robo guys in this game. You only gotta have to repair them. They don't need sleep, they don't need food. All they need is oil and some WD-40. And maybe a wrench to tighten up those loose bolts. Man, the view around here is quite amazing. Look at this. That bridge looks very interesting. And that river. Alright guys, it shouldn't be far from here. There's already the world's end. Let's keep on going, guys. Move on. <laughs> Look at Ruka. She's way ahead of us. She she started to run from Shao Batai all the way back home in this short amount of time. Let's take a look how she's doing. Nice. Swimming through the Atlantic Ocean. I hope everyone's doing fine around here at the base, but you never know. The next cannibal attack could be right around the corner. So guys, please watch out, stay alert. I think we gotta have to position those turrets a little bit in a different way. Cause sometimes when the enemies swim through the water and manage to reach the shore right here, Hamut and Green start to blast those mounted crossbow bolts into the direction where the enemies are. That's all cool and stuff, but also in this direction stands Ray. <laughs> all open. And most of the time Ray's the first one that gets unconscious because of that. Because Green shot him in the head or in the arm. So if we could put up some walls between them, that would be awesome. But I don't know. Maybe we are gonna do something completely different around here with the walls. We'll see. Oh, and there we go already. <laughs> There they are, goddamn shrieking bandits. Look how fast they are swimming. They developed some amphibian swimming arms. Those guys are evolving. They've never been able to swim so far. They're halfway there. There, the shrieking bandit already managed to get on shore. Look at this. So uh, now what? Who's gonna protect Riva? Yo, get that shrieking bandit's ass. Come on. You can handle this, dude. Whoa, another one. Holy shit. I told you guys, we need better defenses around here. Yo, and hops and knife, they're just chilling around here. Come on, guys, get to work. Kick those guys' asses. Those naked dudes should stand no chance. Yo, green. Look at this. This is what I've said. Green's leg got somehow hurt. I bet that was Hamut. He was shooting green in the leg. That is actually absolutely fucking trash. <laughs> Riva, no! She passed out. She's done for today. <sighs> I trust you guys can handle this situation. Let's go back to the robo army and Van Damme. Whoa, who are those dudes? They seem friendly. I hope we can just walk past them. Some roaming skeletons! Of course! Guys, is that a joke? Why are you guys attacking those dudes? They absolutely did nothing. They're attacking everyone. God damn it, now we have to fight those dudes. And those dudes ain't weak. They're actually quite strong. But what the hell, we got an army. And maybe those dudes got some good equipment. Bombing ham. <laughs> what the hell is that name? Uh, wait, no, Dachi. Katana class. That looks like a good sword. I'm gonna give this one Van Damme. I mean, he can't do anything with that, but at least he can carry it. Let's take a look at this dude. 
Those guys got some good skeleton repair kits. Whoa, model MK3. That thing is worth a lot. Holy shit. Those dudes got some crazy swords. Yeah, we gotta have to repair those skeletons or else they just fall down, get unconscious and we lose them on the way. It would be sad. I think we can't actually make a quick stop at some of those friendly villages. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No fucking way, guys. Exactly because of that. Now this one dude is running into this friendly village and is trying to attack everyone inside there. Look at this. There he goes. Well, we lost one. And another one just runs off. You guys are crazy. Got a feeling we won't make it back home. Holy shit, guys. Why? Why do you have to send me all those big things over and over again? Dr. Chang, what are you doing? Tell me one good reason why you have to stick your cleaver into that big thing. Dr. Chang, everything alright with you? Please leave that big thing in peace. Oh, Ruka is back. That's so great. At least we got someone back at home that can handle those big things. Let's see. Come on, Ruka. Alright. I take everything back. Mew, what the f***? Guys, are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? Let's see. We still got an army around here. That's good. But they're f***ing stuff up all the time. Dude, leave those dogs in peace. <laughs> Wolf then. 1178 has been wiped out. I hope it's not my fault. <laughs> and we're getting attacked again. Holy shit, cannibals. Okay, at least we're getting near home. And another wolf attack, guys. Stop screwing around. No way. A nomad trying to sell off his sheep. I hope those robo guys won't hurt him. Please spare this dude. Crisis resolved. What crisis? We could have just moved on. Yeah. That's bullshit. That's absolutely bullshit. They're attacking that poor nomad. They're killing off all the sheep. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mr. Nomad. <laughs> I don't have those dudes under control. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Only thing we can do is repair those robots again so they can finish off what they've started. Well, pff, this is life. That's how things work, I guess. Poor nomad. Please stay unconscious. Nope. He doesn't want to stay unconscious. Gotta have to stay away from those big things around here <laughs> at the cannibal, cannibal plains as good as we can. We're so close to getting back home. That's crazy. We actually managed to reach home again. Holy shit, and there is a big thing nest. We're gonna lose every single one. One of, every single one of those robots if they... Oh no. I think they saw those big things. Please don't. Our base is right around the corner. Guys, no. Are you really gonna run into a freaking big thing nest? You know what guys, I'm gonna pick up, I'm trying to pick up four of those robo guys and bring them back home. I don't think we can manage to kill every single one of those big things down there. Look how many of them there are. We're gonna pick us four of those robo guys or five. And we're just gonna run home. Okay, back home. Let's go guys. They can do whatever they want to do. I don't care. But we got us five of those robo guys. At least some of those. Let's get back home. <laughs> and try not to attract more of those big things down there. I don't get it. How do those shrieking bandits survive out here in the waste? How do those guys survive out here in the desert? I don't get it. They're naked. They have absolutely nothing. Just running around screaming. One thing I've learned. And can she don't ask too many questions? All right, but we managed to get five, five of those uh, robo guys back home. But we only got four cages. We're gonna have to build another one. 
Okay, let's see. We can we can talk to those skeletons. As you reach in to touch the skeleton's arms, jerkly jump to life and rapid beeps come from its chest and the waving of its arms and weapon means you can't get close. Maybe you should disarm it first. Ah, okay. Maybe we should uh, take the weapons away first. Let's talk to it again. Error. Hmm. That's a little bit disappointing. I thought we could uh, manage to talk to them so they would join us. But it seems like they can't join us. They're giving me the error code. What? It worked? Holy shit! Uh, I just talked to that robot like 15 times and it worked suddenly. The skeleton seems silent, its eyes are dim and it shows no signs of recognition. You hear a bus click, a whir and a beep <gasps> before a panel seamlessly opens on its chest, revealing a screen with three options. Holy shit. <laughs> Ninon Go. Common English or something really strange. Let's try common English. Language selected. Enter access code in sequence. Holy shit, are you kidding me, guys? What the hell is that shit? I don't know. Uh, access code? Incorrect code. Resetting. Holy shit, are you kidding me? Well, looks like we're gonna have to find out what that code is. <laughs> we are trial and error, I guess. Hey guys, welcome back to the magnificent world of Kenji. Last episode we managed to get five of those robo guys back home to our base. And now they are stuffed up in those cages. But that's good, we are trying to convince them to join our group. Because otherwise we wouldn't be able to talk to them. Because, you know, they got some loose screws or they are giving us the error code over and over again. Stupid ass robots. No, I mean, robots are brilliant. They don't need food, they don't need anything. We can place them behind those crossbow turrets and they will be trying to snipe every single person that crosses the path before our base. Or those big things. They're like in one man army. And we got five of those. But convincing them to join us is a little bit tricky. You see, they're giving us the error code and I have to try to talk to them over and over again until we are getting a dialogue option here. But that's not it. We, they need some sort of access code sequence so we can reactivate them. And I have absolutely no clue what's the code, but we're gonna get there. Don't worry guys, we can just try over and over again. And I thought maybe in the meantime we can upgrade our base. Because enemies are coming into our base through the water. We already got one iron resource inside of our base. But there's another one right here. Also we got a copper resource up to the north. But it would be of course a little bit more convenient if we got the resources all inside of our base. So maybe we are going to build another wall around our currently existing wall so we get more space for our base to expand more opportunities to build more buildings and after we are done with the second wall we just can simply destroy the current wall this path right here looks like it's some sort of road so we're gonna build up our wall something like this let's see well i don't know how we are going to proceed from here <laughs> Because there's all the water, we gonna have to think about that later on, I guess. But for now, this looks fine. I'm gonna stay with that. So in my imagination, the wall looks perfect. <laughs> I can't quite explain how it's going to work out. But you see, I want to build up those walls from the left side and the right side. So enemies coming from the north of this path they have to go in between of those walls a long ass way until they reach the entrance to the base and while they are walking to our base or swimming we're gonna snipe them from left and right we're gonna put up a lot of turrets on those walls and we're gonna snipe down all those enemies while they are on their way to our base's entrance <laughs> i think this looks all right so we're gonna place this I just put down the outlines of the map of Texas. What the hell did I just do here? But this is fine. This is going to work excellent. But of course for this to work, I think I gotta have to get rid of all those constructions I've built here on the shore. There are a lot of storage boxes laying around here inside of our base. 
Maybe we're gonna put up another storm house somewhere around here where we can put all those storage boxes in. So the inside of our base is going to look a little bit more clean. Yeah, let's put this one right here. This should be perfect. Nice. Okay, guys, let's get to work. Beep, you gotta have to convince those robots to join us. You found them, it's your responsibility to watch over them. It's a little bit tricky, we gotta have to tell them the right sequence. They're asking us questions and we have to hit the right dialogue options all the time. I know you guys posted comments about this last episode telling me the sequence, but I wanna try finding it out by myself. After I talk to one of those robo guys and put in the wrong sequence, we have to wait at least for one minute until we can try again. <sighs> this is going to be a pain in the ass, but I'm just uh, playing around here. If nothing works, I'm just gonna put in the sequence provided from the comments. Yo, what the hell happened here? Beep? <laughs> what the hell? What are you doing on the wall? What the hell are you doing on top of the wall? <laughs> oh no, I think he can't get down. I think he was inside of that outlining blueprint or of, the, of that wall. And by finishing up building that wall, he just warped up on, the, on top of the wall. Now he can't go down anymore. Beep, there's water all around you. Just jump. <gasps> or maybe he's scared. His robotic components could get wet. Well, we just gonna have to wait until the others finish those walls up. Then we can build a ramp and he can go down again. <laughs> oh no, Sensei, you too now? God damn it, guys, what the hell is wrong with you? Why did you start building the end of the wall first? God damn it, guys. <laughs> okay, the new storm house is built. Let's put up some storage boxes inside. This looks great. The base is going to be very, very big. But it looks like as if we're getting somewhere. In my imagination, the base looks very cool. This will be the most defensive base you will ever see, guys. The enemies are coming from top, from the north, on this road right here. And they have to go in between of those walls while they're getting their ass pounded by all those harpoons and those turrets. At the beginning there might be a little bit faster on the ground, but then they have to swim through the water. And that's the part where most of them are getting desperate. And somewhere around here there will be the entrance for all of us to go inside of our base. Finally, at least Beep and Sensei are reunited <laughs> back together. Now they can talk a little bit about the old times. I feared a little bit that we might not be able to walk over the wall because of the curvature of those walls. Sometimes it can get a little bit buggy. Holy shit, there are enemies coming. Those screaming assholes are back. Guys, get to position. Show them how it's done. Glad we are having Van Damme, Blade and Ruka back at our base. They are the best units we have. Wow, this didn't take any time at all. We fenced them off quite easily. I think we're gonna assign Ruka to carry all those stones back to the newly built storm house. We're gonna have to keep things going here, cause the next cannibal attack is right around the corner. We gotta have to finish those walls as fast as possible. <laughs> there they are already. But those are two different cannibal factions. They're kicking each other's asses. So dumb, oh my god. Okay Van Damme, let's do this. Remember the sequence. One, three, uh, two, th one. Now what? Holy shit, I forgot already. Uh, three. Ah, oh, god damn it. There they are. Those stupid ass cannibals strolling through our unfinished base. I can't finish up the walls this way. Okay, here we go again. Two, one, three. Two, one, four, two, ah, oh, god damn it. Two, one, three, two, one, four, god damn it. I don't know what's going on at our base, but there are so many red dots around here. I think those are just the remains of the last cannibal raid. <laughs> Look at that mess. Ruka and Zedniel are so busy now getting rid of all those corpses. <laughs> Look how sad they are looking at the corpses getting burned down to ashes. But that's just how life is. Someone has to get rid of all those corpses or otherwise those big things will find their way to our base again. 
Okay, we are done. The walls are finished. Now let me think, how are we going to proceed from here? I think now it's time to build up that entrance. First off, let's get rid of those walls peeking into the water. I thought uh, something like this, where we got that entrance right here and built another wall connecting that little piece so we can cover up a lot of space for our turrets to snipe down all those enemies that are trying to swim through the water. I think that will do just fine. I just hope our people will be able to walk on those walls. Okay guys, this must be it. One, three, two, one, four, one, two, four, one, one, two, one, one, one. Oh, we did it! I think we actually managed to get him. The skeleton gives the soft hum of life. I, me, I'm me again. Me, I'm back. Oh, it was dark for so long. There were paladins and then a workshop. They must have been mechanics. They were going around in my head, rooting about. I wasn't even me. I thank you, you've brought me back from a never-ending hell. <laughs> Holy shit. As if those guys know what hell is like. There we go. We can even customize him now. Damn, dude, looking really good. How about we name you Duffy? That sounds like a fitting name for you, doesn't it? Thank you. <laughs> so grateful. Well, little one, come out of your cage. Embrace the world with a new consciousness. I'm going to assign you the task of standing behind that crossbow turret for eternity. Sounds like fun, doesn't it? <laughs> Holy shit! Whoa, 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 whoa! Those stupid ass naked dudes again. Those screaming assholes. But where are those guys running off to? <laughs> they they're just strolling through our base. As it seems like. Screaming like as if they're burning on a stick. <laughs> First thing he sees after gaining consciousness are a bunch of screaming naked dudes nearly shitting his own pants. Yeah, that's just how life is around here, Duffy. Don't worry, you're getting used to it. Gonna get you some decent looking clothes. Look at those little busy bees. running around from one place to another. Those guys are such workaholics. There's our new recruit, Mr. Duffy, getting acquainted with his new task to watch over the base with the harpoon. Oh, there's a little bit of blood here on the ground. Maybe Duffy already managed to kill someone or something. <laughs> Good job, Duffy. Keep on doing what you're doing best. Soon the walls should be finished. There is not much left. Why are the people not building? There is already some outsider coming into our base. Shish, shish. Get the hell away from here. Well, it's a tech hunter. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? He just warped up the wall. Just like a real shinobi thief. Maybe he's undercover and wants to steal our precious food. At least that's the one thing we got plenty of here. There's nothing else much of value around here at our base. Except maybe some monk pants and dirty old rags. Let's see, where's Beep? Guys, what what the hell are you doing inside of here? Just chilling around, are we? Guys, you gotta have to do some work around here. Nice. Finally, at least the inner walls are finished up. <laughs> Holy shit, that was one piece of wall. All right, let's go, guys. Deconstruct everything around here. Okay, let's build up those walls. That looks nice, right? <laughs> that looks so cringe, holy shit. This looks perfect, nice. I like it. Uh, I like it. Oh no! There are some... Yo guys, we need help here. How's everyone coming? <laughs> everyone wants to help, even Beep. Beep, the fastest of them all. Kill it, Beep. Show those big things, there's no mercy for them. This place is ours. There we go. Get rid of the meat here. Take out the meat, so it's instantly dead. Put up some turrets here. 
perfect. Uh oh. Screaming bandits, they're coming right into our base. Oh no. God damn it. I hope they're just coming to visit and they turned hostile. Holy shit. All right, this is a fight to the death. Yo, tech hunters, please help us. That is absolutely not good. Oh, holy shit. They're taking Ruka out, even though she's one of our strongest team members. Yo, what the hell is going on here? They already took out Ruka. That's a joke, right? Guys, please concentrate. Oh no, Duffy. Van Damme, please do something. Nice, Van Damme is taking them out. I think we, we did it. I think we managed to fence them off. I hope everyone's going to survive here. The biggest disappointment about those shrieking bandits is those guys got nothing on them. Nothing that's valuable at all. They're like nerve-wracking meatbags just running around and screaming. They can't do anything else but scream around. Duffy is getting the treatment from Sad Neil. Do I send some robotic friendship here? As soon as we finish up building that wall, we're gonna go out on an adventure again. I promise you guys, don't worry. I hate looking at our base if there's so much blood around here. And oil. Or what the hell is that? Oil from our robotic friends. So what is going on with our guys down here? With the broken ones. Some of them are actually losing some health. Why is that? Some of them are even stronger than the others. So let's see. Uh, somewhere I've wrote down what the code was to reprogram the robots. Let's see where it is few moments later there it is i found it that's perfect now let's try to convince those robo friends to join our team but we also need some sick ass names right some crazy cool ass names for our robo friends okay i guess we successfully reprogrammed that unit and now we can give this little dude a cool ass name okay this uh sentry bot's name is going to be jubby Jabe. That's a really cool robotic name, isn't it? Okay, get out of here, Jabe. Welcome to the family, Mr. Jabe. <laughs> Riva's still lying around here. <laughs> there are no empty beds. Or there is. Jabe just ran off to. He just ran off to, to sit down and relax for a little bit. That's the spirit. So Jabe is going to be a more relaxed type of guy. But sorry, dude, but you also gotta have to guard the turret. You also gotta have to take position at the turret, main the turret, my friend. From now on, this will be your task for your lifetime. I hope you're going to be happy. Happy busy bee. <laughs> just pushes away green. All right, up to the next one. We're gonna call this dude right here, Barrett. That's a pretty coolest name. Thank you, says Barrett. Welcome to the team. Come out of here. Embrace uh, the world as it is. Gain consciousness. Gain the ability to love the world. You oh, know what the hell are you doing? It looks like Barrett didn't really enjoy being captive <laughs> in the prisoner cage here. So he tried to dismantle it right away. Or it was just misclicked by myself. Who knows? But anyway, welcome to the team, Barrett. They're finishing up those walls uh, down here for first. That's absolutely not what I want. This is exactly the moment you'd always knew if kids were playing at the pool. Just uh, like crazy a moment ago and suddenly they just swimming. Just like those guys in the water just idly sitting there you know they're taking a leak <laughs> maybe those guys are also taking a leak right now <laughs> together as bros you know what that takes way too long building up finishing up those walls i know it's not the greatest idea i've ever had but i think i'm gonna send out a small team just to roam around a little bit so we're gonna let Barrett here, we're gonna let Sad Neil here. I don't know, do we take Sensei with us? I think we let Sensei uh, back at the base, give him some rest. He's already quite old, you know. His bones ain't the best anymore. 
I don't know man, there's no plan or anything like that. I'm just gonna send them out. See what they're going to find. We're gonna send out Van Damme, Blade and Beep. Well, there's a village. I think it was a cannibal's village last time we've been there. But we can go there again. <gasps> Stay on your toes! Holy shit, what the hell is going on around here? <laughs> Look at this! What the hell? Why are there so many cannibals just standing around there menacing? They, uh, that looks so... That looks so gory. Holy shit. Who the hell implemented that type of stuff into this game? So many cages. I think last time we've been here there weren't so many cages around here. And they even got a, another cannibal in those cages. Great. Maybe we could sneak in? Look at the, into the chests? Maybe there's some valuable loot around there. There's some fighting going on. <laughs> Holy shit! Those cannibals got no chill at all. Just running around and killing off everything. <laughs> let's go. Let's go inside there. Gonna mess around with them a little bit. Or maybe not. They look quite strong. Look at that hammer. Holy shit. We can lure a couple of them out here. Are there some chests around here? And it will work. Yo, beep! It didn't work. He just don't want to go up the stairs. Get the hell out of here. There are too many enemies around here. Back then it was always such a pain in the ass to get away from those cannibals, run away from the cannibals. But nowadays we can just easily outrun them. I hope this works. Boxes. Okay, we got some cats here. <laughs> some iron plates I don't need. Okay, we got some armored hood. Well, we need some of those electrical components. A uh, high-grade rusty chain shirt. Gonna take that with us. I think that helmet looks good. All right. <laughs> now, there is another problem around here. <laughs> we got a lot of dudes at our ass. What? Oh, that, that cannibal chief got a bounty of 30,000 cats on his head. Holy shit. He does look a little bit like the cannibal, cannibal's wizard. Alright, Beep. Let's get the shit out of here. <laughs> Please, Beep. Yo, Beep, Beep, Beep. Go, 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 go. Stop. Stop screwing around, dude. Let's check that loot box. Okay, we got some more cats. We got a topper. Some sort of a katana. That looks pretty valuable. Gonna take that with us. Mercenary plates. Gonna take some more of those electrical components because we need them. Maybe we can run out of here. Uh, meet up with the dudes. <laughs> it's so funny how Beep just runs through the masses. Oh god damn it. Oh dudes! Please no! Do we need those dust coats, long coats? I mean, they look pretty decent, but do we really need them? Maybe for the robots. Just gonna take it with us. Look at that. Oh no, no, no! They, they did a lot of damage to Beep. I don't know if I want to go into the last space there with half the chest just popped away. Okay, guys, come on. No, 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 no! What the hell is going on? Beep, what the hell are you doing? Holy shit! Stop playing around. Let's go back to the base. I think that's enough loot for now. Welcome back into the world of Kenshi. Today the squad is out again in a search for some more books, maybe ancient relics and other valuable stuff. You know, without those special research books, we aren't able to upgrade our base any further. And we need it, because those cannibal raids attacks are getting bigger and more frequent. So a better base with better defenses is a necessity right now. We can find those books at ancient ruins and those ruins should be scattered all around the Leviathan's coast. That's why we are here right now, at the Leviathan's coast. Last time we've been here B pooped his pants. The sight of those gigantic Leviathans was way too much for him to handle. But don't worry Beep, those Leviathans are peaceful. As long as we keep our distance and don't disturb them. They'd confuse you for a twig anyway, so calm down dude. <laughs> Here we go. We already managed to find some books, 
It's very nice of the game to do that. You know, those books are getting highlighted just for us, so you can easily tell them apart from all the scrap that is laying around the area. Even though that's not scrap, I mean, those skeleton repair kits are quite valuable too. So I guess we're gonna take that with us too. It looks like that two of those three buildings around here in the water are completely demolished, except for this single one over here. Let's check out if we can open it up and see inside. Whoa! Oh no! Security cyber spiders! What the hell, man? Whoa, dude! You gotta be kidding me! First door we open up here on this run. And we are getting jumped at with 60 to 70 damage by those spiders. My guys can't run any faster in water. That's total bullshit. Those spiders can simply walk on the ground beneath the water. I mean, all robots in Kenji can walk on the ground. Damn, you guys could have made this game realistic, but not so far realistic. Let them swim too. Damn it, this whole operation went ugly pretty fast. Even those big things are not getting spared by those cyber assholes. Nice, a horde of cattle are coming to our rescue. They are the best medicine against those cyber spiders. Just like that one time we got harassed by those spiders. <laughs> Dude, even Leviathans don't want to be left out of this massacre. Okay now, let's check if it's clear now. Ugh, no, there's still some spiders left inside. I wonder if there's a mod out here that lets you tame those Leviathans. So you might keep them as pets. They can fight for you, they could carry a lot of uh, stuff around. That would be way too OP. Or otherwise, no, I think that would be a bad idea. I think those creatures need to be fed at least four adult big things as for one meal. I think we'd constantly be out there feeding those dipshits. Dude, I love this place. Everything just fights everything around here. Most creatures around here don't even kill for food. They just do it because they can. It's just a free for all. Okay now, that ruin should be spider free now. Let's check it out. Of course, some dried meat now soaking wet in Beep's pocket. That's gonna taste good. Tasty. I guess that piece of dried meat was the most valuable thing we just found here. There is nothing here. Those barrels and chests are all empty. Damn it. All right, where are we gonna head off next? To the north, I guess. The hell are those two Leviathans doing over there? What a strange place. Holy hell, what the hell is that? That looks like a whole ancient ruined city. Damn, dude, look at all those items around here. So much stuff and at least five books. Wow, just for protocol, we need at least 100 of those books. A power core that's valuable, right? Must be. That's like the heart of one of those super robots or the main power unit of one of those security spiders. Some kind of ancient tech, possibly a skeleton's heart or liver or something. <laughs> Wasn't too far off. It's the same as before again. Some destroyed buildings except for one. All right, we're gonna check it out, I guess. Of course. It just had to be another one of those cyber-infested ancient ruins. God, I hate those shitheads. I think I've seen some of those two-legged crocodile guys lurking somewhere around here. Just gotta have to lure those spiders out to them, so they can kill them off for me. There, there we go. Even some Garros came to help. Very beautiful. Holy hell, those crocodile dudes just kicked that spider's ass up that ramp. But don't worry, those crocodile guys are Van Damme's best friends. Okay, let's see what's inside that ruin. Damn, dude, you gotta be kidding me. There's nothing out of value around here either, except for some steel plates and a dusty old piece of bread. Damn, those ruins were pretty disappointing so far. Ah, okay, let's keep on going. I got a feeling we gotta find something eventually. What the hell is going on now? I think I know why Beep fears those Leviathan things now. They're pretty scary. There we go, another ruin. Let's check it out. <gasps> this looks promising. 
This looks like an ancient library. Vanam's opening the door for us, while the rest of the team keeps kicking that big thing's ass. Alright, we're in. Damn dude, what the hell is going on in here? There's like million books around here. Can see anything but books? Oh yeah baby, that's what I'm talking about. An ancient science book. One of the more valuable books out here. And we also found some treasure maps, giving us a hint where we can find some more of those ancient ruins. Great. More books! Finally, a ruin with some good stuff in it. I told you guys, the that's uh, ancient library. There should be some books around here, right? That was pretty good, let's move on. The Leviathan Coast reminds me a little bit of the game Spore. You know, everything around here looks so alien compared to the rest of the world of Kenshi. The strangest looking trees, the purple soil, red water, it's... it's different. There's another rune. Let's check it out. Wait a second, how are we supposed to get in there? What the hell is that? It seems like we're getting attacked by some starving cannibals again. Holy hell, what the? That's like 1000 of those cannibals. Chill guys, a couple of them okay, but 1000, look at those. But they got no chance at all. They can't swim fast enough. I mean, there are some of my people out here swimming towards them already for corpse collection and disposal. You should know you got no chance invading a place when there are people already coming for you with bored faces waiting for you to just die so they can dispose your corpse. I still don't get what's up with that tilted building halfway in the ground. Fallen tower. Okay, it's some sort of fallen tower. <laughs> Interesting. How about we gonna head for the Iron Trail? Sounds like a promising area to explore. This looks very interesting around here. There is some stuff. Oh hell no, more of those iron spiders. But it seems like they're all shut down. Or maybe just in standby mode. That's pretty scary. There are hell a lot of those iron spiders around here. There we go, two of them just woke up from their pretty slumber. Get the hell out of here. I guess we gotta have to cross that bit of water here to get to the other side of this piece of land, to that island. I got a strange feeling there's gonna be a lot of more iron spiders around that area. Oh, hence the name Iron Trail. It's just a bunch of iron spiders making it look like a trail if viewed from above. Guys, I solved it. Or maybe it's just an area rich in iron resources. Whoa! And spider! It just emerged from the ground. Holy shit! Look at that destructive power! Okay, we did it. We killed it. But at what cost, goddammit? The boys are now heavily injured. I'll try sneaking my way deeper into the iron trail. Maybe there's some sort of shelter around there. No, no. There are just hundreds of those iron spiders scattered around here, all on standby. I hope they won't get activated all at once out of the sudden at some point. Yes, another ancient ruin and one of those big ones. I bet there are like another 100 spiders inside waiting for us. I guess we could try to sneak in, just look around, steal the loot as fast as possible and then just get the hell out of there. We could try. Wow, with the sun rising and all, this view is simply beautiful. Okay, Van Damme, get this gate open. I remember last time we tried to explore a ruin like this one, Sensei lost an arm. But that was a long time ago. Since then we've learned, became stronger and more vigilant. So this should be easy now. Let's go, Beep, check it out. Looks exactly the same from the inside as the last big ruin we've been at. Oh no, the spider! It could sense the fear on Beep. Maybe we can take it on, kill it. Let's, let's try this. Beep first. Oh shit, damn dude, get up, get out dude! It's still coming after us. Maybe if we gonna try and surround it, attack from all sides. <gasps> what the f mate? No freaking chance. That thing is a monster. Holy hell. There's no way we can beat that thing at close range. It attacks way too fast. 
Let's get the boys out of here first. I guess we need a new plan. If we're gonna try that again, gonna lose some limbs here for sure. Ugh! Look at this! The hell is going on? It looks like the iron spiders out here are different from the ones inside that ruin. They just killed that one off for me. That, that's brilliant! That's perfect! That means we can just simply lure them out one by one and let them kill each other. That solves our problem. It will take a while for Van Damme and Beep to regain their consciousness, so it's up to Blade and Sensei to handle that spider problem now. Okay, let's see. How many spiders do we got here? Mm, okay. Who the hell is that? A skelly man? A broken skelly man. What the hell are you doing in here? Just standing there, minding his own business, I guess. Very interesting. Come out. Nah, come out, you little shit. I think the smaller ones are actually stronger than the bigger ones. They attack way much faster. Or maybe they're just harder to hit or whatever, I don't know. Who knows? Alright, I think we mostly managed to clear the first floor. Now we should be able to... Holy shit! That one robo guy! And he got a massive fragment axe in his hand. Run guys, run! Shit, he one-shotted Blade! And now he's fighting against that cyber spider. Maybe we can help out a bit here. Nope. <laughs> as long as he's not all alone by himself, I'm not gonna face him. There's still a spider with him, so gotta have to back off for now. Alright, the first floor seems clear now. Let's check out those barrels. Not much loot inside here. Maybe the good stuff's somewhere upstairs. Okay now. That robo dude is just standing there. Maybe we can sneak past him. <laughs> oh no! He's after us. Okay, now it's on. Get this guy's ass. That's what you get for messing with us, mate. Idiot. I guess slavery would be an option. Let's take him with us for now. Now we should be able to loot the second floor. Nothing? What the hell is that game's problem? There is not even a little bit of loot in here. Damn it. Last floor got a has to offer something, right? Only one more spider to go. Okay, that thing's now gone for good. This is the moment we've been waiting for, for so long. An electrical component? Yes. Advanced first aid kit. That's good. Another one? Yes! Two ancient research books. Nice. Junk? More junk? Oh, a splint kit. I'll take that one. Another one? Junk? Nothing? Nothing? Whoa! What the hell is that? Never seen anything like that before. An AI core. A rare piece of ancient technology. Anyone capable of researching it could unlock the most advanced technology out of the modern age. That sounds awesome. I guess that's valuable. <laughs> Alright, that was definitely worth the effort. With all those spiders, getting rid of all the spider idiots around here. Yo dude, in our box of cool shit. The hell is even that? Generator core. The vital core of an electricity generating machine. It weights a ton. Oh shit! <laughs> it definitely does. That would be pretty useful for someone to carry who's training strength. Look at how many ancient books we got. That's crazy. I can't carry that much. <laughs> Gotta have to give the other something to carry too. Alright, Beep's up again. Go get Mr. Van Damme for us. I love it how fast Beep can be sometimes. He's just like Flash. Okay now, last box, then we're done here. Okay, what the hell? CPU units? And six one of them? Six stars hold! I don't know anymore what's worth something and what's not. There's just so much stuff around here. I gotta have to make some more room for everything around here, somehow. Alright, we're fully packed and should be ready to head home again. That was definitely a good idea to get here. Except for a couple of bruises and a bunch of broken bones, we got away pretty good. Hey guys, for today's episode I thought we'll do something a little bit different. Like most of you guys already know, our main squad consists of those four beautiful people. And one of them is our beloved Sensei. You know, Sensei got a little bit sad the last couple of episodes. 
We haven't spent as much time with him as we did with the others out of the squad. We spent so much time looking after Jean-Claude Van Damme. Spent so much time looking after our beloved Beep. But where's the love for Sensei? He wants some action too, some change. So in today's episode we're gonna try and make Sensei, the old fart man, the strongest of the squad. He always dreamed of becoming the strongest member of the squad. It was one of his biggest dreams since he was like a little boy. Roughly 300 years ago. Then there was that other little incident where he lost an arm, a beautiful looking juicy ass arm and he still keeps it with him after all this time. Sometimes occasionally he picks it out of his backpack to remind himself what it really was like to have like two functioning arms. You see life just isn't fair for Mr. Sensei. And this is why we are going to transform this old fart into a superhuman this episode. Let's take a look at his attributes. His strength is at 59, that's already pretty damn ass strong. But we want to make him even stronger. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm gonna give him all the generator cores we found last episode. We got about 5 of them and they weighed 20 kilograms each. Also he's still carrying that fragment axe with a weight of 40 kilos. <laughs> I gave him a large ass backpack and put in a bunch of raw iron chunks. Whereas each of those chunks weighs 9 kilos. But guys this still isn't quite enough to maximize our strength experience gain. We need to find Sensei in body. A heavy as body from a creature or a dude like a cannibal it doesn't even matter if it's a dead dude or just unconscious person we just need to throw that body over our shoulders like a sack of potatoes and we are good to go we maximized our strength experience gain so let's go mr sensei get yourself a nice freshly looking body or maybe look at this <laughs> satnil just carried the big thing and it's dead. Let's take the big thing. There we go. We got the full ass strength experience gain. He's getting now the full strength experience. Damn, Mr. Sensei, I'm so proud of you. Now all we need is some time. I'm gonna let him run around for a couple of days, maybe weeks, and we'll see what happens after that. In the meantime, I'm going to upgrade the base, research some more stuff. Okay, we are currently researching a lot of stuff. So I think all we are gonna have to do is to wait now. Okay, we've been walking around for like, I don't know, long ass time. Let's see how much progress we made. Yo, we got the only one level up. Holy shit, that's like nothing. Yo, dude, that takes way too long. I guess we need to find another solution for this. Maybe instead of running around town, we could let Sensei run somewhere out into the world of Kenshi. That's a great idea. We're gonna send Sensei out into the world of Kenshi just by himself. He got a lot of food with him and he can run around the wastes and gain a lot of strength uh, experience points. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. I don't know when. Where shall the road lead? We need to mark a point where he has to go. Maybe the Ashlands, maybe the pits. <laughs> he would have to go through the whole map of Kenshi to reach the Ashlands. That's a long ass way. I've never been there and I've heard bad thing about that place. But that should make him strong, right? I know this whole operation should be a treat for Sensei, but thinking about everything again, it feels more like a punishment. But don't worry, what doesn't kill you? just makes you stronger and you want to be stronger and this is the way this is the only way if you die then it's okay we just find another old man out there in the ways but thinking about it maybe we should send beep after him i mean he could get attacked by some big things right away and he's dead in an instant beep could rescue him he could just take the legs of sensei in his hands and run as fast as possible away from danger that's our beep and I think that's a cool idea. Yo sensei, where the hell do you think you're going? Those are cannibals and a bunch of those really really strong ones. Holy shit, they're attacking poor ass sensei. They're beating his ass wound. Where the hell is beep? Come on dude, he's not even on his way. What the hell? Damn dude. <laughs> Alright, that's it. This is where our story ends. 
poor ass sensei got kidnapped by some stupid ass cannibals. At least they are treating him. Don't worry, we gonna send Beep out to save him again. Yo, dude, <laughs> they are even carrying that Beep thing sensei brought with him. That's so nice of them. Alright, here we go. Beep, let's go. Pick that stupid ass lock and free our poor ass sensei. Let's go before they come. Oh, we got to take. Run free, my little one. <laughs> Holy shit. Beep is running with a constant speed of 44 miles per hour, still having a sword out, running around like crazy. And just imagine, Sensei got all that stuff in his backpack, those approximately 300 kilos. And Beep just puts Sensei with those 300 kilos over his shoulders and runs at god speed. Alright, we I think we outrun them. And from now on I'm gonna let Sensei carry uh, Beep so he can gain his strength again. And if there's danger ahead, they just switch and Beep can run away as fast as possible. This is incredible smart, right? Yo, who the hell is that? No freaking way! <laughs> this is one of the broken ones. This is one of the many broken skeletons we rescued. They are still following Beep. They think Beep is some sort of savior to them. This is incredible. How did we find one of them out here? Out in the nowhere after such a long time. How did they survive out here? You know what? I think I'm gonna pick him up and Beep is gonna bring him back to the base. It should take a couple of minutes then he's back again. I don't wanna lose that broken skeleton again. This is incredible potential for new recruits. Mm, Alright, what the hell is that green dot? Maybe that's another one of those broken skeletons. Holy shit! <laughs> it's another one of those broken ones. And he's limping a little bit. Oh no freaking way. Th three of those. Holy shit. And they're running off to, to fight something again. That's the thing with those broken ones. They fight everything they see. Alright, we brought back those robotic dudes. Now let the journey begin. I guess it won't hurt to stock up on some food at the world's end. Cause this is going to be a very long trip. Maybe buy Sensei some new clothes. Some heavier ones. Some good armor protection. Alright. I guess that's it, let's move on. Oh no, some vagrant bandits or Outlaw farmers? Get them, Sensei! Holy shit, look at that swipe! That's some decent damage. Even though Sensei is a little bit handicapped, he's still wiping the floor with their asses. Nice job, guys. I think there's a city on the map. Let's check it out. So many destroyed buildings. What the hell is going on here? Oh, I get it. It's where the peasants are living. Look at this. That's a noble one. High society. Wait a second. <laughs> Lady? <laughs> What the hell? Holy shit. I really don't want to mess around with the United Cities, but I think we're gonna stay here for the night to regain some energy. All right, we got a good night's sleep. Let's move on. We've come pretty far. We are nearly there. We are nearly at the Ashlands or the pits. I'm very excited what we're gonna find. Who the hell are those guys? Are you kidding? They want me to hire them. And if I don't hire them, they just kill me. That's like fair trade. All right, I hired them. Well, look at this, another one, another city. And it's a city from the tech hunters. That's convenient. I like those tech hunters. Looks very beautiful around here. Nice architectural structure around here. Cool stuff. And there's even a library around here. An ancient library. So many books, look at this shit. <laughs> what the hell? That's a cool place around here and I'd like to stay a little bit longer, but we gotta have to move on. It's not far to the Ashlands from here. Just a couple more steps. Holy shit, what the hell are those creatures? Look at that nose. Damn dude, are those bats? Those guys look so weird. I don't wanna mess around with those dudes. Those are land bats. <laughs> What the hell? Look at this, we found an outpost called the Ark. Very interesting. Let's check it out. There's just one reaver around here. 
a faction I haven't heard about so far. But it's just one dude. What the hell? Oh, looks like he's going up a ramp. So there must be more floors. Holy shit, what the hell is going on over here? There are a lot of dudes around here. That's in Reaver Outpost. Holy shit. Oh no! <laughs> they turned hostile all at once. Damn dude, what the hell? Where the hell did we end up here? Sensei, run, run! I gotta have to switch places with Beep and Sensei. Let's go Beep, get that old man and run the hell out of here. Holy shit. There are like 100 Reavers after our asses now. But dude, they ain't fast enough. Goodbye. Man, <laughs> this is incredible. Every single environment looks different from the last one. Look at this, another bunch of misfits. And they are also extremely hostile. Those are skeleton bandits. But they are definitely human. Do they think they are a skeleton or what? Dude, five steps further and there are other types of strange as looking sons of guns. Look at those wearing some stupid ass mushroom heads. Holy shit, they are also hostile. Some stupid ass crap raiders. This place is so weird man. But we are finally here, we are at the pits. There we go, we are at the pits. And there is a ruin, let's check it out. Alright, looks promising. Let's take a look inside. Dude, what the hell? They're hostile broken robots screaming police. Dude, what the hell? Chill guys. <laughs> now they're running after us. They're saying police. Oh, there are tech hunters, I think. They can help us out. Maybe they can protect us from the... Oh, no. <laughs> Dude, where the hell did we end up? Everything and everyone is hostile around here. They're like 10 different factions and everything is hostile here. But dude, this place looks beautiful. That's the second region Chris Hunt told us, the developer of Kenshi. He told us to go to if we want to build a base, a starting base at the pits with nothing but hostile factions. And there's the Chinese wall. There's literally the Chinese wall. And of course it started to rain acid. Zonoro's dark. Let's try and swim around those walls. Who are those dudes? Just sitting in the tower with harpoons. <gasps> Oh shit! <laughs> no freaking way! They shot Beep! And he's unconscious. Like in an instant. Holy shit. That was a close one. Dude, you know what? We gotta have to get out of here. This place is haunted. This place is not good at all. And there is that police guy coming. <laughs> Dude, we gotta have to get the hell out of here. No way I'm gonna stay here any longer. I really thought we outrun them. And they got after us all the way. Let me go. And they're still screaming police. Look at those guys. This place is so weird. Beep, get that old man on your back and get the hell out of here. I'm done here. <laughs> I guess we're gonna go back to that one city to get some rest, to find some shelter, to just get the hell out of here. Black Scratch, that's the place we wanna go to. At least the tech hunters are nice to us. Here we go, we are back. Finally. Damn dude, that was some nerve-wracking action down there. I guess maybe we just gonna buy that old shack, that small house here. It's just 4000 cats. We gonna build ourselves a bed here, maybe some lights and create a small little outpost down here. I mean someday we gotta have to get into the Ashlands. Alright, that was a very interesting episode. Now let's take a look guys. Did Sensei actually gain some strength from this small little trip? A trip straight from hell? Let's see. Yeah, he's on level 75. Well, it's not level 100, but reaching 100 is a pain in the ass. And I think 75 is good for now. For Sensei's age, he's looking pretty damn lean and got some crazy ass muscles. I mean, he's 300 years old, so give him that, guys. He's just a poor old ass fart. Hey, guys. Welcome, welcome back into the world of Kenshi. Kenshi, where everything could be possible at any given time. You know, Kenshi is about exploring your deepest and darkest desires. And sometimes it pushes you to your limit and shows you what you might be capable of doing in a world where you have some sort of power. I'm not talking about violence in specific. I'm not talking about slavery or killing off a bunch of cannibals. No, I'm talking about picking up some of those green leaves and converting them into some sort of 
substance. A substance that could be highly illegal in some provinces of Kenji, but also very profitable. Of course, I'm talking about making our own Dagamaganja, our own hush. The idea of making a lot of money by selling off highly illegal but very euphoric making substances came from no other but our beloved Jean-Claude Van Damme. Hi, soon to be Jean-Claude Van Damme and I love TikTok. Yeah! Even though he comes from a religious household and still prays to someone right before bed, his curiosity took over. And now we got a new goal. To make a lot of money with Hush. Maybe one time was just bored and needed to start something new and exciting. But I'm in. This is a great idea. As you guys can see, I already did some preparations around here at the base. I've built up those uh, nearly finished hemp processor. It seems like we need some alloy plates. We need some sort of copper alloy plates. Some type of material we haven't researched yet at our base. Before we can process our hemp, we need to finish up those hemp processors first. Look at this guys. Like I've already said, life is getting a little bit boring at our base. Knife and gills are just sitting around. Okay, Van Damme, let's check out the research bench. How the hell do we get those copper alloy plates? There it is, copper alloys. Let's see, what do we need? We need one engineering research. Well, we don't have one at our base, but that should be no problem. We can just send out Van Damme to the world's end and he's gonna get us one engineering research. That's not far, it should take about five minutes and we are good to go. We already got a couple of hemp plants at our base. It's not much, so we should try to collect those hemp plants and plant some more. Oh no! Gills, what the hell are you doing, man? Damn, dude, no! Don't put it into the biofuel distillery. Who told you to do that, man? Make some biofuel out of the green fruits we have, not the hemp. Hemp is going to be extremely valuable this episode. Don't waste it, dude. Yo, dude, stop that shit. He's still putting it into the machine. You know what? I'm going to dismantle that thing. Well, I don't blame him. Up to this point, we only used the hemp to create some biofuel or hemp-based fabrics. But this has to stop. We want to make the kush now, you know? All right, six hemp storage barrels should be enough, right? Gonna let the guys fill those things up over time. Guys, don't tell this anyone out there, but this is going to be a highly Christian Kush farm. I think six of those hemp farms should be enough. Also, did you notice my gym? I built a gym at our base. A real damn ass bench press bell and dumbbells. This is the real stuff. The day when Sensei comes back home, he can muscle up even more at our base. All right, Jean-Claude Van Damme, we are at the world's end. Today is a special day. We're gonna shop for some more research books. Uh, what did we need? Did we need engineering research? That costs a lot, holy shit. Well, we're gonna buy two. Damn dude, there goes our money. Well, I hope this whole hushish operation will work out just fine. I hope we're gonna make some decent money out of that. Like million dollars. That would be a, an appropriate start. I don't know, and after we got our money, we, I guess we just gonna start and take over the world. That would be the next step, right? <laughs> we gonna have to make someone a dedicated hemp farmer. I mean, Mew is already looking over all the other stuff, like the crops, the green fruits and stuff like that. I think maybe Hops, he's just standing around doing absolutely nothing. And he's already a little bit looking like a crackhead already. So I think the task of overlooking all that hemp production and stuff will be a fine job for him. Damn dude, why are you so slow? He got absolutely no strength. Holy shit dude, he's so slow. He's walking like a pothead already. Well that just shows he's the perfect fit for this job. There we go. Our Mr. Jean-Claude Van Damme is back again at our base. So let's see if we got enough research books now. This should do. Now we just need to do some research. Then we can finally craft our first hemp processor. That is so exciting, holy shit. Damn dude, look at those damn ass cannibals. Doing all sorts of acrobatic stuff around our base. They just got no chill, like ever. 
All right, the research is complete. Nice job. Copper alloy bench? Oh, God damn it. I guess I put that thing in the copper room. Damn dude, Hobbs is farming his first ever crop yield of hemp. Bruh. Oh no, he failed one. Dude, well, he's actually getting some hemp out of there. That's fine. Dude, you're doing a great job. It's like you've been you you've been born to do that. He's like in his own element right now. All right, here we go. The hemp processes are ready and set to go. We harvested so much hemp the last couple of days. The barrels we've built can't keep up with all the hemp getting stuffed into it. There's already a hemp overflow at our base. We need to start processing right away now. All we need for that is a bit of hemp and water. Let's give Van Damme the honor of making the first ever self-made hush. We got our water, we got our hemp, the processing begins. The hashish is coming, holy shit! It just uh, takes a while. Let's speed it up a bit. There it is! Our very first piece of hashish. That's amazing. A narcotic product that can ruin your life by getting you arrested. <laughs> Effects include foolish giggling, increased sense of humor and enjoyment of food. That sounds like something that won't ruin your life, but instead make it more joyful. What the hell? There must be a city called the Flats Lagoon, somewhere around this area right here. I've heard we can sell our hush there for a good price. It's a long ass trip, but it should be worth it. Damn dude, look at this, look at all the hush we got here. The boys are extremely hard working, processing batch after batch. We could try selling at Blister Hill or Bad Teeth, since it's a lot more closer than Flats Lagoon. But that's holy nation territory. They're going to crucify me and stick that hashish up my butt if I try. I'm just a little bit disappointed. I can't stack the hashish in my inventory. Maybe it would be a good idea to find me some sort of package animal like that Garu. There should be an animal trader somewhere at Black Scratch. Exactly the place where Beep and Sensei currently reside. Look at those two gathering some raw iron. Making it actually possible for us having a small little income on the side. Let's get ourselves an actual Garu. I wonder how much one costs. Okay, that dude got two Garus to sale. They're both adults and cost around 10,000 cats each. Well, let's buy one. We need a cool ass name for this one. How about this? Yo, look at this unit. We got our first Garu and his name is Paul. I also bought him a nicely looking backpack so he can store a lot of hush. Now all we have to do is let Beep carry that Garu all the way back home. Since that's way faster than just letting it walk on its own. And also we should hurry. <laughs> that Garu, I mean Paul, is getting hungry really fast. And there he goes, our small little Beep with Paul on his back running a constant speed of 48 miles per hour. All right, Beep's back home, finally. It was a long trip, but Beep ran through it with lightning speed. Take a good look around, Paul. This will be your new home from now on. You can sleep wherever you want. There's plenty of food around here. You can eat from those animal feeders. Just get yourself acquainted, all right? Look at this. <laughs> There's so much hashish, but we could fit even more into Paul's backpack. I think I'm going to wait until we get even more. Then we'll head out and try selling that shit. 12 seconds later. I don't know how much hashish that is, but that's a lot. Pack up some food into your backpack so you won't starve on the way and then we should be good to go. First stop's gonna be at the world's end. I just wanna check it out. If the prices are too low we're gonna continue until we reach the flat lagoon. Beeps so fast man, the Garu on his shoulders can't even keep up. Not even Beep's own shadow can keep up with him. Alright, there's absolutely no price markup on those prices. That's not cool. 
I guess we're just gonna go and try to find that flat lagoon. Here we are, the flat lagoon. And there's the town I was talking about. The town where we can sell all of our good ass hashish. If the rumors are true, this trip should make us absolutely rich. And it's the tech hunters. Nice. I love me those tech hunters. Now this is the city of the Flat Lagoon. Looks very interesting around here. It seems like the city stands on some type of platform. This is very creative. Yo, what the hell? There's a price markup of plus 400%. We can sell off that hush for 730 cats each. Damn dude, that's crazy. We made like 140,000 cats. Just with that one little trip. That's absolutely insane. Holy shit. We just can let the guys at our base do their thing. Let them make even more hushish. And when we get an overflow of hush again, just send Paul down here and let him handle the business. Hey guys, what could be even more intriguing than stilling your lust and hunger for blood and battle? You guessed right. Stilling your lust and hunger for blood and battle with political intent. Similar to our world, the world of Kenshi has also problems and disputes between its nations. If it's because of religious differences, racial ethnic inequality or sometimes without any reason at all, war finds its way. And I guess it's about time we're getting ourselves involved in all that ass pounding action happening all across the world of Kenshi. That's such an exciting thought. I'm not that good acquainted with what's happening outside of the Cannibal Plains at all, since I've been stuck here for at least half of my playthrough. But I've got a good glimpse at what would be a nice first step towards world domination from my tier list video I've posted earlier. I've heard having good relations with the Shek Kingdom will give us a strategic backbone if we ever wanted to invade the holy nation. It also gives us a beautiful Shek waifu. Seto, the Shek Kingdom's princess. I don't know about the war, dude, but if that doesn't work out, we'll be having a nicely looking Shek waifu in our ranks. So we just can't lose in this scenario. This time, our squad will consist out of more than just Van Damme, Beep and Blade. Sensei is currently unavailable. Besides Van Damme, Mr. Beep and the beautiful Blade, we're gonna take with us <laughs> Mr. Green. You wanna buy a cigar? He's the perfect candidate for using crossbows for ranged attacks. We need that in our team. There were so many times back in the days where we just couldn't kill a quite simple couple of animals because their attacks can be blocked sometimes and overall fighting against animals is pretty damn as weird. So someone with a crossbow would be a good addition to our squad and green just to be happen to be our best crossbow user. I also gave him a cool ass looking fedora. In combination with those glasses he looks straight. He looks like he's been ripped out straight up of a steampunk world. So green you're gonna come with us. Enough guarding the entrance to our base. Of course we're gonna take Paul with us. Paul is going to carry all that huge as heavy load. Maybe we're even gonna pack uh, in some hush. A little bit of a snack for on the way. We're also gonna take Ruka with us into the team. She got the Cannibal Leader's Grand Wizard's plate armor. So she's pretty damn as good equipped. And she has been training her strength for a good ass time. She's at level 62 strength running around all day with a heavy ass load. Holy shit dude, that big thing she's carrying around is alive <laughs> damn dude it's under critical conditions bleeding out little by little but still if you drop that big thing Ruka it's gonna run around and try to kill everyone so watch out also we're gonna take a man with us a lonely old ass robot draining every last bit of time he has at our base in pure ass solitude look at this dude he looks quite buff even though he's a skeleton he got pretty damn as good attributes. I think we recruited him with all the soldier bots back then. I don't know where he's coming from. I'm not quite sure. Oh, maybe he even was one of those tech hunters roaming around my base. And he got just downed by those cannibals one day. And I picked him up. 
put him in a cage and recruited him. So that's a pretty damn ass good addition to our squad. But also I'm a little bit concerned that he might be way too OP already. Nah, we are gonna go on a very long trip on a highly dangerous mission. So we're gonna take only the best of the best from our base. That's the squad, man. <laughs> Holy shit, those dudes are looking damn as good. Someone's missing. Where is Ruka? There she is. Holy shit, Ruka. <laughs> all right, I think we are ready to go. We're gonna head south all the way down until we reach, I think it's Drake, wasn't it? Or, ah, there we go. Stan Desert. We need to reach Admark. That's the Sheikh Kingdom. There we should meet the queen of the Sheikh Kingdom. And there should also be the queen's princess. Damn, dude, I'm so excited, guys. Let's go. Our first destination is gonna be the world's end. I'm gonna have to buy some more stuff. We need some better equipment. Gotta have to watch out so we're not running straight into the big thing nest. Or we are dead right away. It's only one. I guess we can take it. Green is taking his first shot. Nice dude. Look at the damage. I guess the big thing's stuck. It just doesn't want to move. And there it goes. I can't believe it. I just wanted to go into the headgear shop and it's still too early for the shops to open and the doors are still closed and my guys immediately try to break in. Why is this a feature? I don't understand. Now they raised the alarm and everyone's attacking me. No, thank you. I'm gonna head out of here. They gotta have to calm down first. Just give them a couple of days and they won't remember anything. I also think we should try to evade holy nation territory as good as possible. They'd kill us on sight because we got all kinds of different races in our team. We got people whose limbs were replaced with robotic body parts. So the holy nation's a natural enemy to us. The floodlands. We never really tried to explore the floodlands. Maybe there are some kind of interesting places around here. But first, we gotta have to rescue the princess. Oh damn dude, a bunch of bone dogs laying in their own shit. Look at that piece of shit. Holy shit, how can a bone dog shit that big of a shit? It's so great not being constantly followed by some big things. Only those bone dogs and they can't keep up with us with only 14 miles per hour. It's been so long, holy shit, look at those. Those are the fog men. <laughs> the fog islands and mongrel. I think we've only been here the first couple of episodes. That was a great time. We had so much fun around here. But today we're not here to stay for too long. We are just gonna check out what's new and then we are gonna move on. And here we are back at mongrel. That revokes some nostalgic memories. They're all still alive. Oh, I guess we could buy some good armor around here. We bought a little bit of new equipment for our dudes. I didn't even notice how buff Van Damme has become over time. Look at his arms. Dude, look at this massive unit. Hello. All right, we bought some decent stuff for our guys. Some new weapons, some new armor. Now we should be ready for the big task. There it is, Admak. So this must be their faction HQ building. Let's take a look inside. Damn dude, that's a huge ass door. Hello? Where is my queen? Where is she? I can't find her. <gasps> look at this, this is her. This is Seto, the princess. She uh, looks kind of normal. I thought she'd be... I don't know. Oh, nah, she's good looking. Uh, uh. <laughs> Let's find the queen. She's not here. Only this strange ass looking dude over here. Bayan. The stone golem saves her energies for the art of combat. Not the art of gum flapping, as my lady <laughs> describes it. And that's why I'm here. What do you want, outsider? And make it quick, I'm a busy man. Dude, so he's just like, uh, he speaks for the queen. Can I speak with the stone golem? Patience. I already told you, outsider. No, what business can a stranger wielding a rusted sword possibly have with my mighty Shaq Empress? Dude. 
Dude, it's a literal sim. I wanted to propose an alliance. So it looks like we can either kill Lord Phoenix or kill the Buckmaster. And if we manage to kill one of them, they are willing to go into an alliance with us. So the Holy Lord Phoenix is the main guy, the boss of all the Holy Nation territory. So that's a absolutely no go. I can't just run in and get Lord Phoenix. That's impossible. That would be a suicide mission. I don't know about the Buckmaster. Uh, I guess that's just a guy living on a mountain with some bucks. So I think that dude should be way much more easier to kill. So I think we're gonna try killing the Buckmaster. That's our only chance. So as long as we are not in an alliance, we can't speak to the queen. We can't flirt with the princess. So that means we're gonna keep on moving. Must be living at a, a rock. It's also quite close. So let's keep on going, guys. Damn, dude. The Buckmaster. I don't know, man. This could be a really easy mission. Or this could be absolutely catastrophic. But we'll never know if we don't try to find out. All right, we are at the border between Shack Kingdom and Watcher's Rim. So many spiky rocks. Who the hell are those guys? Bounty hunters. Maybe we can recruit them to fight for us. That would be awesome. <laughs> Is there something wrong? Something wrong? How about everything between you and me, Romer? I'm starting to freak the hell out over here. I mean, what did I get myself into? Taking the Buckmaster's bounty seems like a good idea after a few grogs, but now I'm sobering up. The grog eyes have gone away. It's just looking like suicide. Damn, dude. Those guys are also here for the Buckmaster. Why the hell are you here, guys? Or just go home if you can't handle a few bucks. Dude, what the hell is going on over here? <gasps> no way. <laughs> Skin spiders. I can't, dude. I can't. No way. This is not real. Look at how many of those skin spiders there are. I did not pack enough bolts to shoot every one of those spiders. Maybe this is an actual suicide mission. All right, we discovered an outpost. Seems like that must be the outpost of the Buckmaster. Can we actually swim through the water here? Well, the bucks don't seem hostile towards us. Seems like there are just some friendly fellows. <laughs> I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna try to swim through the water. I just hope the bucks can't swim. Holy shit, what the hell are they doing? They're after our asses. No way, man. Stop! They're attacking us. This is absolute bullshit. I will never ever go into the water again. Get those stupid bitch ass spiders. Oh god. Dude. <laughs> uh, what the hell is going on? Holy shit. He got teleported into the air. Dude, I've never seen anything like this before. Beep, what the hell is your problem, man? Why did you do this? Could you not just stay on the ground? I hope he's getting a soft landing. I don't think we are going to survive this. And since Beep got teleported outside of the map, I'm gonna reload the safe state. Dude, did you see that? Holy shit, they just spawned out of nowhere. This is a joke. And the closer we get to the outpost, the more spiders there are. But I guess here we are. This is the outpost. What the hell is going on over here? There are two bounty hunters getting attacked by spiders. So let's check out the area. I don't know, man. Maybe we should sneak in. I don't know if we can just waltz in with brute force. I can't fight all those spiders. Dude, there are even more bounty hunters. But they are a good distraction against those spiders. All right, guys, we're going in. Tell mama I loved her. Yo, what the hell is that? A blood spider. A mini spider. Nope. The problem with those spiders is they're so unpredictable. Their attacks are so strange. Nice, we got one down. There are even more spiders, dude. All right, we're gonna send Beep in. He's gonna check out... No, Beep still got Paul on his back. Well, anyway, we're gonna send him in. Shit, there are spiders. All right, here it is. There are spiders everywhere on the first floor. And there he is. That must be him. The Buckmaster. <laughs> Holy shit, this dude is buff as hell. Look at those abs. Damn dude. But his eyes look very strange. He has seen some shit. And it seems like he's guarding a chest. 
and he got one green fruit on the table. Well, props to him. He is a vegetarian. He even got some cages up here. Alright, maybe we could assassinate him. But I guess it would be better if we first cleared out all the spiders from the first floor. So we're gonna do it this way. We're gonna let Ruka, Amen, and Blade fight against all the spiders. Green's gonna shoot from behind. Van Damme and Beep are gonna stay passive because Ruka, Amen, and Blade they got pretty damage good protection. See how much damage got blocked by their armor. Still, they do a lot of damage. Let's go, dude! Kill those idiots! Whoa! I didn't expect for it to go that easy. That was pretty damn as good. Nice job, guys. All right, I think we're gonna send in Van Damme first. All right, Van Damme. <laughs> Do your worst. Dude! He saw me. I'm still... Yo! I'm dead. No way, dude. This dude is way too strong. Holy shit. He's behind my ass. <laughs> guys. Dude's way too strong, man. Dude, Beep, please. Next attack gonna blow Beep's head off. Oh, I, I feel it. Don't mess with the bad guy. Dude. Oh, nice. That is way too much damage. Come on, guys. Get this dude. <laughs> Holy shit, we did it! The Buckmaster, we got him! <laughs> we got the Buckmaster, dude! I can't believe it. Great job, guys. Let's check out what loot he got here. Are you for real? What the hell? His storage box is full with human teeth. Buckmaster's map. Right click to learn new map locations. It's a map pointing to a certain location in the Ashlands. It's covered in gibberish writing and pictograms. Though the Buckmaster was obviously insane, yeah, he seemed to have lived long and knew a lot of the world's secret. You can piece together enough scraps of information to understand that the Buckmaster was training himself in preparation to go here and kill someone. It seems to have been his obsession. Catlon, that, that's one of the strongest skeletons in Kenji, right? I'm gonna learn the map. Where is the Ashlands? There it is. Ominous place. That's the place where Catlon lives, I guess. Very cool. So, is there any more loot around here? No? Damn, dude. That's it. That's all we got here. So, we got our job done here. <laughs> Great job, guys. Let's head back to the Shack Kingdom. Alright, guys. Watch out. Buckmasters incoming. Clap, clap, clap. Take him to the stone golem. They're praising us. He walks the warrior of warriors. Is that the Buckmaster? Hundreds of years and he's finally been slain. Well, he's not dead yet. Relations with the holy nation decreased by 10. You go down in history for this as a true ally of the Sheikh. It was nothing. I enjoyed the challenge. Relation with the holy nation decreased by minus 70. We are doomed. Holy shit. To be honest, I'm just here for Seto. There she is, waiting for us. <laughs> Speak with me, Beep. Oh, that's the that's the queen. She's buff as hell. Beep, you did what no shake ever could. The Buckmaster is finally defeated by your sword. You are no longer an outsider. You are our kin. This day I name you a warrior of Kral, an honorary invincible. Beep the Battleborn! <laughs> whoa, 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 what the hell is going on? Whoa, 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 whoa. Take my daughter, my blood is hers. She will prove her worth to you. Thanks, dude. There we go. Seto. Oh, she's looking just like every other shack. Very beautiful. <laughs> I'm proud of you, Mr. Beep. You are a true battleborn. Hey guys, after declaring our alliance with the Shack Kingdom and taking the daughter, the daughter of the Queen, into our special operations forces assault team, we now stand before a tough decision on how we could take over the holy nation without getting completely obliterated in the process of doing so. Since there is no hope in getting on their good side again anyway, with a devastating relationship of minus 80, we are going to exterminate every single one of them holy shitheads. They were the first to get on Van Damme's nerves back in the days anyways. First, 
killing our beloved animal friends and then putting Van Damme into jail for gazing on a woman. Sometimes he just can't help himself, guys. Also, I've noticed you guys got really nervous in the comment section on the last video about me not getting the sword from the Buckmaster. <laughs> Let's see, where is this guy? There he sits all alone in his cage now. Turns out it's one of the best swords out there in the world of Kenshi. I'm sorry, okay? I absolutely have no clue what got into me at that moment. Not looting the Buckmaster after being victorious. Maybe I was just so overwhelmed we actually managed to beat him. Who knows? Anyway, there's no reason for concern. I got it, here it is. We were still able to loot him after he got imprisoned, so no worries guys. Okay, that looks quite decent. Holy shit, a value of 62,000. Oh, sell value of 15,000. It's a Meitu Great Saber. Very interesting. Seems to be a very good defensive weapon. I'm not really sure who should wield that weapon since no one leveled their Saber skills. Except for Hamut, but he's at our base. I think I'm gonna give that thing to Sato, since she's quite good with everything. Alright, and the Buckmaster just picked up the pole arm we just dropped on the ground. Well, let's go guys. We might not be able to destroy the holy nation in its whole might, but we could at least do some damage to them, right? So let's head there and check out what's going on. Alright, we are now at the hub. This is like the last safe spot for us before we enter holy nation territory. Well, the biggest holy nation cities are Stag, Bad Thief and Blister Hill. I guess the holy lord Phoenix, the main guy of the holy nation, he resides somewhere around Blister Hill. But that would be a suicide mission, going directly into Blister Hill. Alright, we are here. That over there, that stack. That's the place where Van Damme is from, where our entire playthrough started out. One of the biggest holy nation cities. Stack, damn dude. Van Damme, that's your hometown. Maybe you still got some friends over there. I can't even tell if Van Damme's happy or not. He's all covered up by Paul. <sighs> well, I think fighting against the holy nation won't be extremely terrible. The one thing that really concerns me are those turrets. Look at those dudes, damn it. So many turrets. One, two, three, four, five turrets on one side. And one, two, three and three on the other side. That makes like eight turrets. That's a no-go. <coughs> Holy shit, what the hell is happening at our base? Damn dude, we're actually getting attacked by the holy nation at our base. How is that even possible? No freaking way. They really came all the way up to the cannibal plains just so they can harass us at our own base. Damn dude, holy hell. Get the hell out of here. They're pretty damn as fast. Fast, close the gates. No, one came through. All right, guys, we gotta have to fight this one. Guys, you can do it. I believe in you. Hamut, where are you running off to? Get this, dude. Okay, looks like we successfully fenced them off. They were quite hard to beat. But don't worry, we got a pretty damn as good defense. I'm gonna make those holy shitheads my slaves. All right, what's the plan, boys? How are we gonna proceed from here? How are we going to take over Stack? Stack's not even that big. I mean, there are just a couple of buildings around here. Not much. I think I gotta have to lure them out one by one first, so we can easily overcome them one by one. Ocranite dogs. Ocranites. Today it will rain blood. <laughs> battle loops. Seto and Ruka are ready for battle. Well, this is Ted says Van Damme. I guess everyone's ready. I'm gonna send out Van Damme. Holy shit, they already spotted me. Well, at least uh, four of them. They're coming straight our way. Perfect. Let's go, guys. Get them. Nice job, guys. That was quite easy. Holy shit, we completely annihilated this one. Look at this. There is no chance those guys can recover from that. So don't worry guys, upon awakening, they are gonna bleed out anyway. Okay, Van Damme, please go on, get the next wave.
Okay, there's only one more left at the entrance. The rest of the paladins are guarding those walls. With those goddamn turrets. Damn dude, how can we get them to dismount those crossbow turrets? Yo, what the hell? That's crazy. Let them come. A little bit late, but thanks for coming anyways, guys. Today we crushed the spines of the Ocranid dogs. Yeah, well guys, nice for coming here, guys. But the war is not here at the Cannibal Plates. You guys gotta have to go to the Holy Nation territory, not here. For you, I gladly fight Battleborn. Are they just strolling around my base or what? Can I command them? Can I do anything with them? Well, I guess they're protecting my base. Actually, that's fine. They can do that. So I can concentrate more on what we are doing here right now. This is a stealthy mission, you know, guys. We don't need any type of Shek army. All right. Green is attacking something. I don't know what. And he hits. He is attacking the turret guards. Holy shit. I can't believe it. He actually can't reach so far. That's brilliant. <laughs> Your green is a unit, dude. <laughs> he shoots everyone. Ah! Even, the, even the guys coming out from the gates and they got no chance at reaching him. This is my green. What a massive unit. Get him, boy. <laughs> and he already got one down. Nice job, man. You know what? It actually seems like as if on the other side there are no guards on those turrets. Maybe we should try attacking them from the other side. That would make way much more sense. I just gotta have to go around this rock formation. And as easy as that, we are on the other side. Alright, attack guys. Let's go and get some. We are inside the city, guys. <laughs> what do we do? What do we do now? This is the place where it all started. There, <laughs> there is a shop guard. He got some good equipment. Maybe we can give something to Sato. Because she wears nothing. All right, how are we going to do this? Are we gonna go inside those buildings and rampage? Kill everyone on site? Oh, here, the police station drone. And there, over there is an inquisitor. Maybe we gotta have to kill this dude. Let's check it out. I guess this is the main building of the city. Okay, beep. Let's go and take a look inside. Oh, dude, look at this. Hi, Inquisitor Seta. I guess this is the dude. We gotta have to kill this dude here. I guess we gotta kill him or imprison him. Beep, I've come to deliver Ocran's retribution. Okay, let's do this, boys. Holy shit, how many of those Inquisitors are there? I guess we gotta have to retreat for now. There are way too many Inquisitors. Fall back a little bit, just a little bit. Here, he's coming. Watch out, guys. There he is. Hi, Inquisitor Seta. He sounds a little bit like Seto. Maybe Seto will do a good replacement for him. Alright, Beep, show him what you got. He already got an arrow stuck in his head and he's not bothered by it at any means. Okay, this dude means business. Holy shit! He does a lot of damage. Guys, watch out. Come on, guys, concentrate, please. He's already looking like a needle cushion. Come on, dude, how much more can this guy endure? Dude, come on! Oh, I can't believe it! <laughs> Stop shooting our own people! This dude can take way too much damage! This isn't right, look at this dude! There's blood everywhere splattered around the area from this guy. Like, and his body got more than 100 holes now! He's pierced all over. How is he still standing? Oh. Nice! We got him. <laughs> we got the dude. We got the High Inquisitor. Holy shit, dude. That was way too hard, man. But I guess we did it. <laughs> and without any type of help. We did it all by ourselves. We got the High Inquisitor. Now I guess we just gotta have to go back to the Shack Kingdom and deliver him back to the Queen. And after that, Stack should be Holy Nation territory no more. Holy shit, look at our guys. They are injured, they are completely exhausted, but they did a great job. Nice job, guys. Nice, here we are, back again at Admak, at the Shack Kingdom. 
Seta of the South. Received 40,000 cats. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> I should have expected no less of the famous Battleborn. Damn right, son. Beep our Battleborn. There he is. <laughs> Looking so sad, man. Well, she got uh, pretty damn as good armor, but I don't want to wear Holy Nation Faction's uniform. So, I won't bother with that. Let's see if the Queen has something to say to us. She's still lying in her bed. Are you sick? What is going on? The Ocranite cattle are so weak and cowardly when they have no leader. Taking Stag and Bad Teeth was easy with Seta of Stag defeated. My warriors continued their war with the surviving Ocranite dogs of the south. Alright. I guess we did it. We took over Stag. I think it will take a while until it turns green or something. And maybe next time we are gonna start taking over Bad Teeth then. This will be so much fun. Hi guys, welcome. It has been exactly 100 days. Or has it been a year already? So much time. Actually, it has been like a couple of days. But it feels like an eternity for Sensei. All he did while we had our fun messing around with the holy nation was grinding on that piece of iron right next to Black Scratch. I wanna have Sensei back on the team. I wanna see how powerful he actually became with a strength of 81. <laughs> Holy shit. Grinding all day on that iron resource while carrying a large ass backpack filled with generator cores and a lot of raw iron really paid off. This episode is going to be all about Sensei again. The old ass fart man. I have a big surprise for you. But for this later on. I think we gotta have to buy ourselves another backpack. Cause this one has way too many penalties. I think a thief's backpack would be fine. We should be able to buy one of these around here somewhere. It doesn't have to be that big. A small one should be enough I guess. Guys tell me please. In Black Scratch there is a big ass thingy in the middle of the town. What the hell is that supposed to be? I mean it's, it's kind of a interesting structure like some sort of uh, building but i just can't make out what uh, what's the meaning of this thing is that like an arm from from a skeleton is that like a body is that a piece of a mountain uh, like what are those spikes i mean from a distance it looks quite interesting but what the hell is that supposed to be maybe it has some kind of purpose i am not smart enough to comprehend. Well anyway, Sensei, get ready, pack your bag. We don't need to take everything with us, just uh, essentials, like some bandages, our <laughs> arm. I really need to know if it's still fresh. It looks fresh. Holy shit, every time I look back at our base, it's something like this. Those cannibals come in numbers like in over hundreds and they are clipping through the walls. They stack at exactly this point around here. A couple of them always come through this way. Look at this massacre. I've seen them killing each other 10,000 times already. But I just can't get enough of it. It's always so satisfying seeing them kicking each other's asses. I mean, they're literally brothers. They look exactly the same. Each one of them looks no different from the other one. But still, somehow they manage to differentiate who is who. This is pure chaos, but very entertaining. All right, Sensei, you ready? Whoa, he's pretty damn as fast. So we gotta wait for a couple more hours. I don't want to go around at night time. All right, Mr. Sensei, let's go. Let's get the hell out of here, Black Scratch. We wasted way too much time here. Huh? Who the hell are those guys? The Brotherhood fights for freedom. Either you fight with us or fight against us. Dude! As if those are the Reavers again. Do we fight them? I don't know. We just started out getting out of Black Scratch. But I really want to see how Sensei can fend off a couple of those idiots. Let's try it out. Oh, what? Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? He just shot uh, Sensei in the head. I can't believe it, man. Alright, get him first. 
Damn dude, we got one down. Go on, keep on going. Sensei, you can do this. You got the goddamn fragment axe. He, he does so much damage. This is incredible. And he can take a lot of damage. But his blocking skills ain't the best. They give him absolutely... No Whoa! <laughs> Amazing, dude. All right, what the hell? In, in Sensei's uh, defense, those guys are actually pretty damn as hard to beat. They got high attack. They got pretty damn as good defense. Yo, what the hell? They're enslaving Sensei? He just took my fragment eggs. This is a joke, right? He, he just took my fragment eggs. That idiot. I can't believe it. He took my fragment eggs and now he just runs away. This is uh, bullshit. Please, Sensei, stand up. What the hell are they doing? They're enslaving me. Damn dude, what? They even took my stuff. Are you for real, guys? <laughs> they took everything Sensei had. And Sensei had pretty damn as good stuff. I am the one who will transform you into a warrior from a coward. Sensei never has been a coward. He nearly clapped all of your asses. But now this is your chance to change. To be a hero and shed your shameful past. Okay. The unwanted zone. Uh, okay. Where the hell are we? I think I've never been here. And why do you guys uh, walk like in slow motion? Whoa! Where the hell are you guys running off to? Dude, what the hell? They're fighting a bunch of big things! What? <laughs> That's a whole damn ass big thing nest with shit all over this place. Mm. And that's the dude that got my stuff. No, I'm not gonna fight those idiots. I'm not an obedient slave. I mean, I'm not an idiot slave. Look at those dudes. They're getting completely annihilated. And in between of those guys, the, somewhere there's my fragment eggs. Dude, what the hell was the thought process of this uh, expedition? Guys, uh, can, can you explain to me what the hell was the pro thought process of doing this? Well, a very interesting situation. I'm not gonna go and intervene. <laughs> Since I don't even have a weapon on me, I'm just gonna go. And I'm gonna wait until the situation has cleared. Maybe we'll be even able to get our stuff back. Alright, seems like they have been completely uh, annihilated. A couple of them survived getting eaten alive. Very interesting situation here. Maybe we can get our stuff back now. Let's try and take a look. Well, the big things are gone. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna walk over there and take a look. Well... What the hell is that? I can't make out any of those bodies. Did they, did they really eat all of them in one go? I think they ate all the reavers. There's nothing left here. Maybe they just despawned. I don't know. This is bullshit, man. Oh, man. I just lost my fragment eggs and a bunch of really good equipment. Ah. Well, gotta have to live with that. Damn, dude, I couldn't even manage to get away from Black Scratch even a mile or so. That's quite embarrassing. Guys, I think I gotta have to show you what's the surprise. We got a companion that has been waiting for us here. Look at this, it's Chad. I just recently recruited him a while ago and he was just staying at the Flats Lagoon for a couple of months already. <laughs> Maybe you've seen him in the last couple of videos I made. He was already there in our squad. What a nice surprise, isn't it? It's nice having someone that can actually help us out if things should get a little bit more complicated. I gave Chad a really cool ass bow. Look at this. Old World Bow MK2. Masterwork. A really goddamn ass good bow. I think it's the same crossbow, just like the one Green has. And they're pretty damn ass good. All right. We need some equipment for Sensei. He can't just run around naked. It's pretty damn as cold up around his head. But since he's an escaped slave now, 
we can't just waltz into Brink. This is United City territory. You know how they handle escaped slaves. This would be a suicide mission. Well, we're gonna send in just Chad by himself on his own. And he gonna get us some equipment for Sensei. Maybe a sword, that would be cool. Preferably a fragment axe or anything that comes close to a heavy weapon. All right, they're selling just normal equipment, like no heavy armor. Well, I guess that's fine. I'm gonna get myself a fragment axe. It's not the best stuff around here, but that's better than nothing, I guess. Well, the city is poor as shit. They have nothing valuable around here. No good armor, no good weapon, and they got no shoes. Well, the equipment we got is not the best. I've seen better, but since this is United City territory, there are a lot of samurai guards around here. And the samurai guard armor from the United Cities is the best for Sensei. It's heavy, it serves good protection. He ain't as fast as with light armor, but it just fits him quite good. We could go in there and try to steal from the nobles. But I think if we really want to steal from the nobles at Brink, look at the loot they got. We should really wait for night time when it's getting dark and stuff, so we won't get spotted as easily. All right, chat, give Sensei the goods. Nice, at least we got our fragment eggs back. Sensei looks quite strange without his hair and without his straw hat. And dude, you really need some boots. Those feet look hideous. Okay, Sensei is the one with the best sneaking skills. So I'm gonna send in Sensei and let him take a look around. Alright, it seems to be getting dark now. Let's get in there and steal some shit. No one has spotted Sensei yet. Can Sensei pass all the guards at the entrance? Is this even possible? Find out now. Holy shit, they didn't spot him. <laughs> no freaking way. They just closed the door. No way. I wanted to go into this house right here. The noble house. Maybe we can pick the lock here with a 5% chance. That should be enough, right? Uh, who the hell is that? Yo! What the hell? He spotted me. You'll be in big trouble if the guard sees you here. Yeah, no shit. Just... Don't say anything, man. All right, I have been discovered. I need to wait for 225 seconds until my disguise is back on again. The goat, please, little goat. Let me be, little goat. Don't expose me here. <laughs> this goat got some nerves. Whoa, I successfully peeked the lock. Holy shit. <laughs> Dude, those empire peasants. Why are they strolling and intervening with my business here? All right, we opened the door, get inside. Hopefully there are no more guards around here. Close the door. <laughs> we are in the noble's house. Let's see where he is. There he lies. Oh, she's actually a uh, she. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lady Tsugi from the United Cities. She, she looks well fed, you know. All the Empire City peasants walking around here are starving outside of the town. The buildings are in extremely bad conditions. And the one noble, Lady Tsugi, <laughs> well fed, even, even a little bit too much, just laying around here, chilling, having more than enough food. Well, I guess the good loot should be around here somewhere on this floor, where all the guards are. Look at this, pearl sword holder. A fancy decorative thing used by extremely rich people to clutter up their houses. <laughs> we could even steal the fancy rock. <laughs> I just stole a rock. What the hell? Let's get up and check what's around here. I think there should be something valuable in this chest. Oh, <gasps> we got some research books. We can even search Lady Tsugi herself. Holy shit, long cleaver. Hacker class, model edge type two. That seems like a unique sword. Oh, she got masterwork great iron head. 
This is all the stuff I need. I need that iron head. I don't really need the long cleaver, but I need that iron head. The thing is, I've got a stealing chance of 4%. It's really low. So I don't really think uh, this is gonna work out. There's a guard standing right here. Dude, do you even blink? Just don't look behind you, man. <laughs> Just don't look behind you. <laughs> Sensei ain't even trying to be quiet. He's rumbling around right behind the guard. Just doing his thing. Yeah, we picked the lock. Let's check what's inside. Whoa, there's all the food. There's all the food with which they could be able to feed all the poor. Damn dude, those assholes. Give the poor something to eat too, man. They got so much to eat, so much to drink. Look at this. They got all the sake. They got rum. They got water. What a cruel world. So far, I couldn't steal anything because my stealing skill is very low but i really want that iron head and i really want to clap lady tsugi's ass i mean in a sense of justice you know for what she did to the poor ass people out there all right let's just see what happens if we just take the iron head ah. got caught stealing let's try this again ah. we can just try over and over again and it worked dude <laughs> As long as we just pause the game, we can do whatever we want. This is amazing. We got the long cleaver. <laughs> Bleh! <laughs> Alright, I really want those boots. Give me those boots, man. <laughs> nice. We got the boots. Finally, we got our iron head back. Now give me all your cats. Also. Uh, I really want that advanced first aid kit. I need those research books. I unpaused the game and she's still lying around there doing absolutely nothing. Just like bleh. <laughs> if this is what it is. Now I'm gonna steal all the food. Do you think I'm thick? Why? Because I'm stealing your food? Of course you're thick. I'm gonna take all your food cubes. Maybe some meat wraps. Oh, I'm getting hungry over here. Nice. I think that's enough food for us. <laughs> I'm also gonna take one bottle of sake with us. Nice. Yo! And they spotted me. <laughs> Let's get the hell out of here. Yo, open the door, dude. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> no freaking way. Tear all up my ass. I hope they got no turrets. I just love how Lady Tsugi is running <laughs> behind me with nothing else on her left. Not even her shoes. <laughs> I even stole her shoes. <laughs> so bad. Chat, we gotta have to get out of here. Run. Run for it. Oh god. You're under arrest. Alright, I think we managed to get away from there. Damn, dude. An ex-slave just robbed your ass. That's what you get, lady. Down with the nobles. That's how we do it. Well, I could give the food back to the poor, but I'm gonna use it for my own adventure. We still got a lot of stuff to do on our own. So let's head back to our team. It's time now. That was actually quite fun. <laughs> Holy shit, where the hell did we end up here? <sighs> what? We are at Venge. Oh no. Ah, Venge, this is where the gutters come to hunt for spiders. What's a gutter? Big things. Oh, okay. There are big things around here? Oh, damn, dude. There are those big ass lasers coming from the sky. Very dangerous place to be at. So we should not stay here for too long. Well, I guess Sensei made a new best friend. And it's Chad. Friendship's over with Jean-Claude Van Damme. New best friend is Chad. Can you guys run a little bit faster? I don't feel so good seeing you guys run around here while lasers popping out of the sky all around you. Nice. We are here. Back again. <laughs> Look at those two. They've been running around for days now. We're back at Squin. I know Squin, that is Shack territory, 
nothing special. But you know what? At Squin, there are the boys. The whole squad is here, waiting for the return of Sensei and Chad. So we can have an even bigger squad. Sensei, Van Damme, back together. The broskis, it has been so long. And look who's also here. Beep, say something. Welcome back, old fart. Nice. Hi guys, today is the day. Today we're gonna bring down the Holy Nation Empire. Capture Lord Phoenix and make him Beep's little bitch. You know, free all the slaves from captivity, cleanse the land from Ocran's belief, stuff like that. Well, at least that's the plan. We'll see when we get there if we can actually take over the entire Holy Nation Empire. But it would be cool. I would not have to worry about them trying to run over my base anymore. And the Shek Kingdom's queen will fall in love for me even more. Alright, let's head out and just go and take over a Holy Nation Empire. You guys mentioned in the last episode there is a possibility to find some roaming Shek warriors somewhere around the Shek Kingdom and we could ask them to follow us. That would be pretty damn as awesome. We could definitely use some additional fighting power but I've never seen any roaming Shek warriors somewhere around here in the Shek Kingdom like ever. I tried asking if some of those Shek warriors are willing to follow me inside the Shek Kingdom's towns like Admak or Squin, but they won't leave their posts. They are stationed there and they won't budge. So I need to, I definitely need to find some roaming warriors. Mm, we found some roaming goats. <laughs> Maybe they can help us out. Well, I've been walking around for a while now and I couldn't find any Shek warriors. But it doesn't matter, guys. I can do it on my own. I just sent in Beep and he's gonna carry out Lord Phoenix on his back. So, no problem. Also, did you already notice the hub is green now and it belongs to the Shek kingdom? It's not an independent town anymore. Well, it never was. There were only like some a couple of ninjas around here. But now look at this. There are only shacks. The problem is they somehow uh, just killed off the bartender. There's no bartender anymore. Now I can't trade here anymore. That's a little bit strange. Why would you do this? Well, anyway, we don't want to hang out around here for too long anyway. Let's keep on moving. I think next we're gonna take a look at Stag. That's the town we attacked last time. It states here that Stag still belongs to the Holy Nation, but I thought we managed to kidnap the town's leader. So what the hell is going on? Ocran's Gulf. Oh, look at this. <laughs> as soon as we enter Ocran's Gulf, the town turned green and, it's, and it belongs to Shek Kingdom now. There we go. Shek Kingdom. This is awesome. Yo, dude, that's amazing. <laughs> Look at this stack and there are the shacks. Maybe there are some roaming shack warriors somewhere around here too now. Look at this. Some buildings are destroyed now. Most of them. Let's see who's the new ruler of this town now. <coughs> don't close the gates, dude. Mandam. Well, I don't see anyone new around here. Maybe he or she is somewhere else. Who knows? Great job. We did our deed. Well, next one should be Bad Thief then, right? It states here that it still belongs to the Holy Nation. So maybe there's also a town ruler we could uh, kidnap. Let's just head there and find out. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> the Croco dogs or whatever. They're still here roaming around. Van Damme's old friends. I haven't been here at this place since the first episode. And this has been a while now. Like... A couple of years. I never thought I'll be coming back here with the intention of taking over the town. Bad thief. They uh, they did it first. They kidnapped Van Damme, tortured him. All right, there they are. They are still residing here. So the Sheks haven't managed to take over this town yet. Well, their defenses don't look that impressive. I think we can take them out. We can try at least. They got no turrets around here at the front. Like they got the turret guy right outside town. A couple of meters away from the gates. I don't know what he's doing out here. But they also got some turret guards right here. At the entrance. 
Well, this could get pretty tricky, but if we are fast enough, we can take them out before they can even realize we are coming. But I'm gonna wait a little while longer until the sun is coming out so we can see a little bit more. Paul seems a little bit nervous. He cannot wait until we start finishing off those holy shitheads. All right, the sun is coming out. Uh, we are ready to go. There are some croco dogs helping us out, storming the guard. <laughs> so he's a little bit distracted, so we can take him out with ease. The light spared you last time we fought. He remembers Van Damme. <laughs> Let's get him, boys. Get this idiot down. Yo, the, the croco dogs, they're storming the front already. <laughs> Distracting the guards. All right, this is it. Let's go, guys. <laughs> they're possessed by robots. Damn right, son. Oh shit, I forgot to buy some more bolts for green. So we won't have any type of ranged support. Or wait a second. I think Chad got some bolts. Here you go, green. Got some bolts for you. That looks pretty decent, man. We're doing so much damage. Whoa, there is... Holy shit, there is one guard at the top of the mountain shooting down with his crossbow through the ground. He, he is shooting straight through the mountain. But we took them down pretty easily. Sensei got hit with an arrow right into the liver. Damn, Sensei. Right, guys, let's go. Let's go inside. Storm the front. Oh shit, they got Sensei down. What the hell? Guys, please concentrate. Get them, boys. Damn, dude, some of them are getting up and shooting us from the behind. Dude, where the hell are is everyone running off to, man? And they're even getting attacked on the other side of the town, at the other gate, by a horde of croco dogs. This is the moment we've been waiting for, for a long time. We got together. Croco dogs and Van Damme, we united back together to fight against those stupid ass religious idiots. Well, otherwise they're pretty strong. <laughs> they're beating our asses, but we are also quite strong. You can tell who is winning. Both sides are pretty damn as equal. Holy shit, where are those guys coming from? They came from behind. Dude, what the hell? Help them out, guys. They got Chad and Green. They're attacking Paul. No, poor ass Paul. Get away from Paul, you f***ing idiots. Fast, I think we gotta have to retreat for a little bit here. They're doing way too much damage. It's so hard controlling Beep, goddammit. He's always on the run and he's so goddamn fast. Damn Van Damme, show them who's boss. Yeah, man. Oh no, they imprisoned Chad. <laughs> Dude, what the hell? And they only gave him like a bounty of 500 cats. What the hell is going on? Poor Chad. <laughs> As croco dogs and robots and men, we can get them. Holy shit. Ruka with the cleaver. That's massive damage. All right. What the hell is going on over here? Where are all those holy paladins coming from? God damn it. No freaking way. Dude, where the hell are they all coming from suddenly? We nearly had them. Like, we killed 100 of them. And suddenly, just uh, thousands more are coming out of nowhere. Well, of course, they are gonna be able to wipe us all out. If they are endlessly spawning out of nowhere. That's bullshit. They're gonna imprison us all in one place. Well, we just gotta have to recover fast and then get out of here. We still got the chance. Okay, we are all outside. All right, there is someone coming up here. That's... Uh, how about... <laughs> how about you just turn around and do as if you've never seen anything up here. I mean, there's still a chance, right? He hasn't seen us yet. So there is still a chance we could hide here. What are you doing? Leave, you're not allowed here. Okay, go get him, boys. All right, let's also try to uh, unlock the cages for the escaped servants. They can be a good distraction. Oh no, they're coming. Dude, Van Damme, what are you doing? <laughs> Dude, this paladin can take a lot of damage. Holy shit. What the hell are those guys made out of? Put them all into prison. 
where they belong. And look outside. Holy shit. What the hell happened here? Did we? Did we do this? That's a bluff bad. This is absolutely insane. I still firmly believe we can take over this town. And here is another katana. Stolen from Beep. That's my katana. For that I'm gonna put you on a pole. Look at this. All those men in those cages are holy shitheads. We all managed to capture them. Damn dude, there are not enough cages and not enough poles to put all the holy paladins inside or bind them on. Okay, this is looking great. We're fighting against the holy nation with their own weapons. This is so good. <laughs> dude, Van Damme, what are you doing? Van Damme just detached that guy's leg. How did Chad end up there? What the hell just happened? Alright, I think we got them this time. There are no more paladins left. And the crocodogs are roaming wild through the city. Dude, look at this. The crocodogs are eating up the corpses. But they are still not completely wiped out. I don't understand. Maybe we really gotta have to find Lord Phoenix first. And he's not around here. This attack was pretty devastating on this city. I guess, but we actually gotta have to get uh, Lord Phoenix. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on going until we reach Blister Hill. So I brought the team back to stack. Let them recover a little bit. So they regained their strength. They're ready to fight to go head to head with the Phoenix at Blister Hill. And look at this right outside of the town. I found some Shack warriors fighting against some bone dogs. As soon as they're done uh, doing what, they, what they're doing, we can ask them out to help us. Help us with the fight against the holy nation. All right, let's ask them out if they want to help us. I need some extra manpower. Can you help me? At last, combat. I'm ready for battle. Just point me to your enemies. Nice. Let's go, dude. Dude, can you stop? Dude, can you stop attacking every single bone dog you come across? They do absolutely no good. Damn guys, look at this game. This looks so beautiful. Holy shit, I always love watching sunrise in this game. This is so good. Also, we managed to reach Blister Hill. There it is. So let's go and check it out. Say hello. Send them our regards. There they are. No way, damn it. Looks like their defense is pretty damn as good around here. All right, guys, here's the plan. Beep got us some bolts, a couple of bolts, and we got a couple more crossbows. We're gonna lure out the Holy Lord Phoenix out of his uh, city, out of the safety of his walls. He's too proud. He's gonna go after us. Beep is gonna uh, throw a couple of bad words at him. He's gonna say something mean about his mother, and then he's gonna come out, run after Beep, and then we're gonna snipe him from all sides. And this is a legit tactic. All right, Beep, do us uh, the honor, get in there and get the Phoenix out of there. Quite literally one of the strongest uh, dudes out there in the world of Kenshi. Just try not to get caught too early. Best would be doing it sneaky beaky like or not. Let's try to find him. Where is this dude? Oh, he's sitting on his throne. Come on. Follow Beep, the leader. The true holy leader. And he stopped following. He, he got no interest in fighting against Beep. This is so lame. Come on, dude. <laughs> that could have worked. <laughs> you attacked the Lord Phoenix? <laughs> Come on already. Take the bait. Oh no, he got... <laughs> like 30 more holy sentinels with him dude what the hell and paladins i can't take them all out at once can you guys split up a little bit at least or get distracted by some crocodiles man all right i think this is a good spot let's try attacking this dude all right here we go try shooting at him try shooting at him shoot the dude nice <laughs> get this idiot man <laughs> shoot the hell out of him damn dude yo what the hell he does so much damage it's incredible 
How can someone do so much damage? Poor Beep got his leg shredded. Okay, Sensei is doing some distraction while the others try to shoot him. Pin him down. He already looks like a needle cushion. But he, he's chill. The dude's chill. He's content. The dude's chill and content. Even though he got a, a couple of bowls sticking through his head. He knows the holy Lord Ocran is on his side. So he feels no pain. Yo, we cut him. <laughs> we got a lot of headshots and that took him down. That took him finally down. Nice. <laughs> Immediately we had to pick him up. Look at this sword. Damn, dude, this looks like a good sword. I'm gonna give this one to Sensei. He also got some crazy armor, but it's faction uniform, so I cannot wear it. All right, we're done here. We did what we had to do. <laughs> we got the Holy Lord Phoenix. Let's get this son of a gun caged up in some Shaq's prison. All right, here we are, back again in Admak. Nice. With the Lord Phoenix on our back, tomorrow we can sleep in peace again. What the hell is going on over here? There is a High Inquisitor. The, the High Inquisitor Seta? Did he just broke out? They are fighting against him. Who let him out of his cage? There is another paladin here. Did they really try to rescue him? There is another paladin here. Just running away. And with one arm. I don't understand. The hell is going on here? What? Uh, the hell is going on over here? Can someone explain to me what the hell is that supposed to mean over here? Are they just celebrating an orgy with the holy nation? I don't understand. Is that the last holy nation standoff since they knew I got the Lord Phoenix? Do you guys even have enough prisons for all of those Paladins, you know, that's what what happens when I'm gone for like a couple of days. So now where can I uh, get my reward? All right, where is that Bayan guy? There he is. Yo, what's poppin' dude? Is that the Phoenix Mutt? More like the Phoenix Butt. Yes, the one and only hand him over to Bayan. Hmm, it really is. I should have expected no less from the famous Battleborn. Yes, of course. But dude, what the hell are you doing? No! <laughs> he just dropped him outside. Why? I guess there are no more empty cages left. So they have no possibility to put him into a cage now. I can just let him here, you know. You know what? Actually, I'm gonna take him with me. I'm gonna put him in a cage at my base. He will fit in there just fine. I mean, the Sheikhs got their hands full with enough paladins already over here. So we're gonna take him with us to our base. Enough war mongling. We gotta have to go back to our base. It's time. The group needs a little bit of rest. Also, we didn't completely wipe out the holy nation yet. There is still one leader left. Valenta or something like that. I don't know where this Valenta person is, but we are gonna find out soon. So for now, first let's head back and let the team have some rest. Damn, look at this. Our people freezing their asses off. It seems to be already winter at our base. Look at this. There has been like a snowstorm at our base. Guys, how are you doing? It's a little bit cold, isn't it? A little bit freezing. Well, I don't have any type of indoor cages, so we're gonna put uh, the High Inquisitor outside in a cage. There you go, my friend. Hope you're gonna enjoy your time over here in our base. It's gonna be fun. Don't worry, we only torture prisoners once a week, so you're good to go. By Ocran's frozen balls. This goddamn, it is cold. <laughs> It is what it is. I mean, it's winter. It's it's Christmas. Hey guys, we've done it. We successfully captured the Holy Lord. The Holy Lord Phoenix. He was a really hard nut to crack. But you know how it is. In the end, eventually, they will all have to go down. Down on their knees before the might of Beep. Since there were so many outbreaks in the past, since all my prisoners just devolved into nothingness for whatever reason, I thought it would be a neat idea to upgrade our prison system by building up a large ass wall around the prison cells that is located inside of our base, which is also surrounded by big ass walls. 
a highly secure prison for very important character and maybe even future potential candidates. Try raising from the ashes now, dipshit. Now with the leader captured there should be only remnants left of the former holy nation. But that also means no more harassing those Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> what a bugger. So what are we gonna do now? Well, how about we'll go all the way down to the Ashlands and capture the end boss next. What, are, what was his name? Catalon? I mean we got his pinpoint location from the Buckmaster, like in the form of a map. Or we could take a visit to the Great Desert and take a look at the United Cities. Poke some fat nobles or just make some funny sand sculptures while we were at the beach. Well, that sounds like a plan. Get the boys together, we're going on a journey. First, let's head to the world's end. Maybe they got some new weapons or more cool ass looking armor for our team. To be honest, I don't know what else to do with all that money we got now. I feel like I have to spend it, you know, since money's bad and stuff. Society, dangerous. By the way, that's like a good theme for this episode, since we're visiting the United Cities. Those noble bastards, greedy and obsessed with, with eating and taking from the poor. You know, they can't do that. Th that's not right. And that's where we come in. We're gonna steal from the nobles and give it back to... Uh, we're gonna steal from the nobles and bring the loot back home. All right, here we are. Is there anything useful around here? Oh yeah, look at this. Seto only got a shoddy great helmet. Let's try to find something better for her. Hi, great. Mmm, okay. That's good. Better than shoddy, definitely. Okay, cool shit. Let's head out. What's our first destination? Stoat? Alright, let's go guys. Oh, right, take a look. I wanted to show you something amazing. I found this mod on the Nexus. Well, technically it's not a mod, it's more like an optimization. Optimization for NVIDIA GPUs in Kenshi. I highly recommend going through this guide on how to optimize your NVIDIA settings, specifically for Kenshi. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, of course, and a shitty computer like me, and have to deal with a lot of loading time while traveling, this is for you. Look, I'm currently traveling with the team at high speed, max speed, and the game loads those chunks in so fast. I remember the game would just stop at parts while traveling, just to load in the terrain. And now it's so fluent. It's as if I'm playing a whole new game. It feels so much better now. Shout out to my boy Skara. If you're interested, I'll put the link into the description. Hmm? What's this? Auckland's Valley? This is like a tower. A watchtower. Let's check it out. What? It's the holy nation! Maybe the news of the downfall of their beloved leader didn't reach them yet here. Darkness! <laughs> Get those shitheads! Show them what we do with Ocran fanboys! Damn dude, how many more of them are there inside this tower? It's like we poked a whole hornet's nest. What the hell were you guys doing in there? I love how Beep fights. He fends off those idiots with grace while holding Paul on his shoulders. You, you can't even see him. Well, that was easy. Let's check out what kind of loot they got inside. Some tasty food cubes. I'll take that, thanks. More food cubes. And some dirty ass worn out pants. <laughs> What's this? The Guiding Light 1. The first in a series of Holy Nation self-help hunt books. <laughs> what? How to tell if your loved ones are skeletons. <laughs> what the heck? Perhaps their skin feels cold to the touch? They take a sudden interest in mechanics, make clinking sounds and stop blinking, or they have a sudden knowledge of world history. They question the word of Ocran or lose their appetites. Obscure speech, displaying humor and joke making can be a sure fire sign of possession. Read on for our proven testing methods and common warning signs. <laughs> Very interesting. Didn't know displaying humor and making jokes is considered as an indication for being a skeleton? But yeah, very nice book indeed. Oh look at this, another one. Man was created in the human image of Ocran, Lord of Light. Woman was created in the image of Narco, Demoness of Darkness. <laughs> an unrestrained woman is an idle one. She must be subdued, lest she seduce and tempt the purity of man into the darkness with her. 
those holy brothers actually spitting some straight facts. 101 tips and tricks that skeleton don't want you to know. Okay, I'm done here. <laughs> what the hell are those books? Bes beside those books, they also got a lot of food here. That's pretty good since we're going on a long trip. You know what? Let's give those guys the last honor by placing every single one of them in their own cages. I'm just noticing we became some sort of wasteland bullies. Just running around harassing all type of people left and right. But you know, if we're not gonna do it, then probably they would be just doing it. So it is good how it is. Okay, Stoat should be not that far away now. Just a couple more steps through uh, Bust. I'm really curious about the Ashlands. We've just been there like once, I think. I think I'll put up like a base near the Ashlands for further investigations of that area in the future. So we can check everything out there in peace. But that's that's for another time. First we gotta have to deal with the nobles. Damn dude, look at how buff Van Damme has become. He's looking more like a Schwarzenegger than a Van Damme. Okay, we are here at Stout. Those people are still harassing those poor ass ninjas up to this day. I can't believe it. I should probably let Van Damme and Beep wait on the outside. Outside of town. Since they still got a high bounty from the United Cities. I I heard stories of the weak desert kings. But never before I witnessed such bulbous, useless looking beings. Bulbous? <laughs> that's not... Uh, do people in the US say bulbous? I think that's more like a word you would hear in the UK. But correct me if I'm wrong, I just think if Ruka would came from the US, she'd be saying THICK, right? <laughs> they look almost half asleep, slumped in their stands, devoid of all enthusiasm. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, I need to check your stuff, spot check rules, yada yada, you get the picture. What the, what the hell is going on with the guards around here? Why so unenergetic? Well, get on with it. Ugh. Why do you have to have so many bags? Well, we gotta need a lot of room to store all the good stuff we're gonna steal from you guys. Hmm? So much blood around this place. What happened here? Guess we'll wait the night out until morning when the shops open up again. We'll also be able to see much better at daytime. So, have a good rest, guys. Alright, let's stock up on some better equipment. An old world bow, Mark II. Specialist grade, very nice. I'll get that. Engineering research, uh, I'll need that too, of course. Thanks. Oh, look, guys! <laughs> That's the guy. Your dirty rags offend my nose, commoner girl. <laughs> That's the fat ass noble I was talking about. Your face offends the nobility. <laughs> this guy is responsible for everything around here. I mean, this town some sort of belongs to him, I guess. He just runs around from one shop to another, buying everything out they got in stock, while also being guarded by a bunch of personal samurai guards. He's keeping the whole ass town's economy running. Last time we spoke to him, Sensei just couldn't hold back, I remember, and slapped his ass. And we got chased out of town afterwards. So I won't do that again. But I really want to grab that bulbous ass of his and kidnap him. Bring him out of town and put him inside one of my cages. I know that's a stupid idea, considering he's surrounded by guards 24-7. But we do some good to the town, to the poorest townspeople, I guess. If we could just get rid of him. I guess the best approach for that would be if we just wait out for night time. Let Beep or Van Damme rush inside, find the noble's house, get inside and kidnap that son of a gun while he's asleep. That should work, right? So let's wait for night time again. Hey guys, welcome to Kenshi. Do you guys hate getting your food taken away by some fat, narcissistic and incompetent noble? Okay. Do you guys hate getting harassed or even killed if unlucky enough to mistakenly block a noble's path? And do you love seeing the same as nobles getting their ass kicked and kidnapped just for the price of terrorism? 
that look no further than because this is what we're planning to do in this episode. Getting the nobles out of their secure space environment and putting them into a cage at our base for good. So let's wait for the night to come. Should be where we left off last episode. What the hell is going on over here? Bunch of samurai guards harassing a poor ass dude again. That's a city hero from the United Heroes Leech? What? Who the hell are those people? <laughs> Sounds like a bunch of tryhards. Watched a lot of Avengers and stuff like that. United Heroes Leech got clapped in one hit by the guards. Okay now, it's midnight. Let's get Van Damme inside. <gasps> what the hell? Oh, just some random ass bandits. No worries. Van Damme is not the fastest or the strongest out of our team, but he's uh, the best at picking locks and the most experienced with taking out people. Okay, we're in. Let's see where's that noble. Looks exactly like the other noble's house we've been in. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Sleeping peacefully in his bed with his eyes open, of course. That's just how people in the world of Kenshi sleep. Damn, dude. His sword looks powerful. A model edge type 1. Bakisashi! <gasps> Lord Inaba. That's his name? You wouldn't mind me taking that thing, would you? Teddy? Teddy? No, Teddy. <laughs> I don't have your teddy mate. Now give me that thing. Dude, come on. As if it's so hard to get that sword from that fatso. Okay, got it. First try. Now how are we gonna do this? How are we gonna get this guy out, since there is no chance of kidnapping him? I I can't kidnap and I cannot stealth KO him. Wah! <coughs> Rebel, I'll make you pay. Dude, you didn't saw me. <laughs> Stop it. He still got the eye boogers in his eyes. Couldn't make out Van Damme. Wait, how is he seeing me? I'm literally in the shadows. You will rue this day, drag. The guards just don't give a shit. They woke up and just went to bed again. Wait, what? No way. Run, Mr. Van Damme. Get out of here. He's following. Actually, that's nice. Maybe we can lure him out of town. Let's go. Come on. But there are also a bunch of guards following. This is the plan. We're gonna lure them out to this bandit camp. So they gonna aggro each other. Oh shit, what the hell? This camp is empty. <gasps> He's running back again. No! <laughs> what the hell are you doing? What are you, a pussy? Come back and fight. Oh shit, what the hell am I doing? Even more samurai guards. Oh, he stopped. Let's go, Van Damme. Lure those idiots away. Let's bring in Beep so he can deal with that noble. Okay, I can't attack him. Why? I can only talk. Well, let's see what this guy has to say. Of course he's gonna insult us. <laughs> Do it, beep. Smash him in the guts. Oh! United cities are now hostile towards us. Oh no. <laughs> well, anyway, get his ass now. Oh. There we go. Now we can kidnap with 100% chance. Nice. Damn dude, it seems we are now at war with the United Cities. We, we did nothing wrong, man. Nobles wrath in two days and three hours. <gasps> that sounds bad. Well, we'll be home by that time for sure. All right, we got the fat lord Inaba. Now let's take a look at Shao Shou Batai, the next big United Cities city in the Great Desert. There should be another lord we can kidnap. Look at this, a lonesome samurai guard, just wandering around. Let's get his ass. Dude, I tell you, this samurai armor is way too OP. It can tank so much damage. Since we're now officially in war with the United Cities, we can't just run into any city now as we please. They will shoot us on sight. So beating up that samurai was actually not a bad idea. This is quite convenient. You know, we can take his armor, put it on one of our guys, then we should be uh, disguised. With that armor, they won't be able to tell us apart and we can check out the city in peace. All right, beep. Listen, we'll handle this from here. You can go home for now. Put that fat ass into a cage, lock him up tight and, and 
Stay safe, little one. Don't die. What? Who are those guys? Oh, just some manhunters. Get them, boys. Ah! Oh no, the samurai guard is trying to escape completely naked now since we got his armor. Good target practice. Okay, Ruka, let's go. Let's check out if there is, are any recruits or if there's even a noble in town. Whoa, hold on, man. What does that mean? M minus 40% same faction. We we're only 60% disguised? Uh, okay. We should not waste too much time strolling around here. Let's do this fast. Well, there aren't any special recruits around here, but I found a noble residing in this house. Mr. Lord Nagata. Nice to see you. We'll wait till midnight, then your ass will be mine. This is the police station. And they got all the shinobi thieves locked up in cages. Damn you. Good to know the cannibal grand wizard is also here, safe and sound. What a lad, still looking like a chat. Okay, that should do for now, let's wait for midnight. Beep, what the hell man? <laughs> Did you really take the direct way straight through the ocean? Couldn't you just... Couldn't you have just walked on land? You'd be at the base by now. Hope he won't go under by the sheer weight of this fat ass on his shoulders and those four mechanical limbs. I bet those limbs weigh half a ton each. It would be tragic if Beat would just die here. So can I finally take a stroll through the grasslands without holier than holy paladins breathing down my neck? <laughs> Van Damme already missing those fun fights with the holy nation. The Ocranite mud is gone, and by my own blade too, but frustration. <laughs> With him and the Buckmaster gone, who is left to battle? Damn right, who's left now? There are too many left to battle, there always will be. Well, yeah, he's right, we still got the job to do, you know. There's still Catelyn and all the nobles we have to capture. So. There are still a bunch of bosses and leaders left to catch. Alright Van Damme, get inside, show them how sneaky you can be. We just have to evade running through the lights. Well, ah, <laughs> nice, as easy as that. Okay, here we go. Hope the guards are all asleep. Damn nice, look. We can just kidnap him, just like that. Oh no! Oh, holy shit, I just shit my pants. I thought he saw me. God. Easy now, let's head out of here. Yo! Alarm raised. No way, how did they spot me? There is no way. Yo! Get the hell out of here, Van Damme, fast. Maybe we could outmaneuver them. No, they're still after us. Well, <laughs> goodbye. Run, Van Damme, run! Lord Naginata also got a cool ass looking sword. Isn't that the same as the one from Inaba? Or whatever his name was. Well guys, you did great. Let's head back home and put those lords in their place. Yo, Lord Phoenix, what happened? <laughs> Where did all your big ass muscles go? Oh my god, I totally forgot to feed him. <laughs> Poor guy. Well, don't worry, you got no some company in here. I feared you guys got some stories to tell to each other. How exciting, isn't it? Don't worry, Mr. Inaba, that new diet plan we sorted out for you will work wonders on you. Just ask yourself, neighbor. You will love it in here. Hey guys, welcome back to Kenshi. Coming soon to a cinema near you. I think we got a problem. Look at this. The United Cities seem to be a little bit angered. Nobles wrath in three hours. Holy shit. They're about to attack our base. They're about to send the whole legion. 
They're sending all the samurai guards to our base. Might be because we captured two of their high-ranking nobles from the noble circle and put them inside cages. Inside cages at our base. Look at them. But I don't know. I don't know why that bothers them so much. We also might be in war with them now because of that. It seems that way. Just because of a little incident. Well, to hell with that. If they really want to try and beat our ass, just let them come. Maybe we'll even need a couple more cells for the rest of the noble pack then. Alright, Van Damme. Sensei, what are you guys doing over here? Just looking at the storage. Okay, we prepared our base. Uh, the defenses are looking quite alright. Oh no, look at this. <laughs> I think that that's them. A couple more steps and they're here. Get ready, guys. Maybe we can see them from here already. Should be right around the corner. <laughs> that's not a noble's ref. Those are just a bunch of dead cannibals getting eaten by big things. That's what you get for trying to attack my base. So, just false alarm. Oh, there they are. That must be them. They're coming from the United Cities direction. They're heading towards our base. Let's check on the prisoners. Yo, dude, how are you doing, guys? Everything all right? Are you living your life? Yo, how are you doing, Inaba? I'll give you money. I'll give you damn city. <laughs> Let me out. Let me go. Damn. Poor dude. I... Oh, no. Look at this. The Holy Lord Phoenix is still starving. Let's give him something to eat. I want to keep him as a prisoner. I don't want to let him... I just don't want to let him die. Dude, he's so thin. Poor as man. Let's prepare ourselves for impact with the noble's wrath. I ordered Hamud to install a couple more harpoon turrets around our base. That should keep the cannibals and the damaged nobles out of our town. Alright, let's get all the people that are able to fight together. Good thing the main team's still in town. I think the United Cities soldiers are about to come. There they are. Oh, what the hell? It's just five guys. <laughs> are you guys really want to attack our base with just five people? Well, let's see how it turns out. Since they got the best armor in the game. Samurai armor. The best armor in the game that protects from all kinds of impacts. They're completely disorientated. They have absolutely no clue what to do. As soon as they are getting shot while they're inside the water, they're trying to retreat for self-preservation. And they are doing it for about two seconds and then they're trying to attack again and, you know, this is the result. One, one got a little bit further, but he's also getting shot from all directions. Yeah, well, that's it. We fended them off. Well, I guess those nobles we captured weren't worth <laughs> sending out more troops. What a bugger. I prepared my defenses so much in advance. We won't stop here, guys. I'm not satisfied with only two captured nobles. I need more nobles in cages. I know there are dozens of them around the United Cities. But we should be able to end it all if we just capture the headmaster. The highest noble of them all. The leader of the United Cities. It must be Lord Tengu or just Tengu, I don't know. If we capture him, there should be absolutely no threat in the world of Kenshi anymore. Except for maybe Catalan. But he's just chilling down there somewhere in the Ashlands. Oh guys, look at this. We've been here. That's the Holy Nation Tower. That one watchtower we attacked. I'm curious. Let's take another look inside. I wonder if the guards are still trapped inside those cages. Hmm, seems to be empty. No one's around. And the cages are all empty. Someone must have come and just released them, I guess. Or maybe they have been kidnapped by some slave traders. Who knows? No more residents around here. Damn stupid ass bandits. Just let me travel in peace. Holy hell, what the hell is that? That looks like a robotic starfish. I don't know man, that looks really weird. And futuristic, but interesting. That, that stoat. Look at this, that stoat. Seems like the United City's troops are still residing here. But look at this. There is a war going on over here. What the hell? And the buildings are completely destroyed. Well, not all of them, but a couple. They're the shinobi thieves. 
vagrants, some bandits, everyone is fighting against each other. This is absolutely insane. Well, that's not my fault, is it? <laughs> Damn. So it should be not far until we reach Heft. Heft should be the main United Cities city. And that should also be the place where Lord Tengu resides. If we are lucky, we can just kidnap him like we did with all the other nobles before. Alright, we can't just waltz in there like that. We need a plan. They will take us apart in an instant if they spot us. So the best approach would be to just wait for nighttime again. Send Van Damme in and get that Tengu dude out of there. This shit worked countless times already. So why shouldn't it work again? I feel so bad for those poor as shinobi thieves. Since I've involved them in a fight between me and the United Cities, they're getting their ass beaten on a daily basis now. I feel so sorry for them. Oh shit, who are those guys? Well, well, well. What a well, well, well. Leave us alone, man. Looks like I finally tracked down the famous Van Damme. <gasps> All right, guess he just wants an autograph from Mr. Famous. Yo, what the hell? Say goodbye to your freedom, Van Damme. Today you're going to jail. <laughs> we'll see about that, man. Let's get him, boys. Damn, as bounty hunters. Got nothing else to do, man. Oh, here they come. The rest of the stupid bounty hunters gang. All right, seems like it's getting dark. Let's go, Van Damme. Just remember to stay out of the light. As long as we got the dark sun, we're good. That must be it. Faction throne. This city is huge. I'm definitely impressed. Soon, this will all crumble without the leading hand of Lord Tengu. Okay, we're in. Seems to be heavily guarded and extremely well lit. Damn, that's not good. But I see a pattern here. Let's go, Van Damme. Just stay in the dark. Oh, okay. Who the hell is that dude? Coin. Diplomatic status. Hello there. There is no one sitting on the throne. Guess that Tango dude must be asleep already. Let's check the next floor. Okay, that's the floor where everyone sleeps. That explains why it's so badly lit up here. There he is. Van Damme has done that a dozen times before already. So this should be child's play. Over the shoulders like a sack of potatoes and out we go. Oh shit. It's the, it's that coin dude again. What does that mean? Diplomatic status. This is a special person with diplomatic importance. Anyone who attacks this guy will be in serious trouble. Okay, sadly I can only kidnap one person at a time, so maybe next time I'll get you too. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh shit, how? I got spotted again. Maybe it's the loud snoring coming from Lord Tango on my shoulders. Doesn't matter, we're faster anyway. Just have to hope they'll not shoot us in the back while we're escaping through the gates. Okay, we're good. Well. That's it guys, we beat the United Cities, just like that. We got Lord Tengu and it couldn't have been easier. That's one more on the bucket list. Let's, let's head home. Okay guys, I don't want to spoil our victory, but this looks like trouble. The United Cities are very angry with us and I fear the worst. They're planning an elite hunter assault on our base this time. They're about to send the whole S battalion our way. I guess we're screwed. Okay, first things first, we need a cell for Mr. Tengu here. Maybe Van Damme can help out a bit. And here we go. Make yourself at home. Oh shit, I built that cell facing the wrong direction. I'm sorry, Mr. Tengu. All he'll see for the rest of his time will be that wall. Or maybe it's his own fault, you know, he's just too stubborn to face any other direction. Especially since the Holy Lord Phoenix is right there. They have a quite difficult relationship with each other. You got something to say, Mr. Tengu? <coughs> He's crying. What a poor dude. Igor will hunt you to the edge of the land. Holy shit. That must be the strongest commander of the United Cities. I guess he is the one leading the army to our base. They're the ones coming to wipe us all out. Well, let them come. 
here they come. I think that must be them. Well, <laughs> at that pace it will take a while. Okay, there they are. Prepare yourselves, guys. They're coming. This will be one of the hardest fights we have to face like ever. What? What's this? They just sent like five guys to our base again. Are you kidding? I thought we we're gonna have some fun out here. Did the rest get lost or something? Well, that's a bit disappointing. The fight of the century, guys. Right here. Wait a second. What? What's this? Oh my god! That's them! That's Igor! And he brought the whole ass army with him! Holy shit! Oh, there are even more of them! Currently busy beating some big things. I don't know if we can win this fight, man. That's way too many heavy samurai guards. We're really screwed this time. The fight of the century is about to take place right before our very eyes. In the most anticipated game of its time, Kenshi. The United Cities are about to strike back after finding out their lord and leader, Emperor Tengu, went missing. His bed sheets completely empty and his glass of morning milk still full, kidnapped by Jean-Claude Van Damme. Now he's residing at our base in a very comfy cell. There they are, approaching with high speed, storming our base. Their eyes scream of revenge. revenge. Get ready guys, get ready for impact. Don't let them have their emperor back. They're heading straight for the gates. Unbeknown to them, this is exactly how you trigger my defensive anti-base entering system. First shots are fired and they're going from jogging into sprinting mode, readying up their weapons. One Sheik's head got impaled by a crossbow bolt and is trying to run back to safety. <laughs> Only to come back two seconds later. The United Cities are getting completely disorientated by the sheer amount of water they have to pass through to reach the entrance to our base. Some of them running back and forth without real plan. Others actually make it quite far. What makes this uh, very frightening. Oh shit! I didn't even notice people already fighting inside the walls. And they are only now realizing how much illegal hemp here is inside our walls. It's for medical use only, believe me. Now that just made them even more angry. Dude, since when did Van Damme get so massive? He's kicking ass left and right. This man's a legend. Beep, watch out! Oh, he's so chill. How did they get inside so fast? I thought I closed the gates. Oh no, oh, I forgot to close the gates. But no worries, we already managed to take out most of the United City's forces. I'm going to give Jabe some armor and a katana so he can participate in fanning off those idiots. Holy, where did those guys come from? Probably reinforcements. There are so many of them. <laughs> but Igor is still struggling to enter our base. He's tanking those harpoon shots like a goddamn rock. Those guys ain't going down so easily. Always getting up again. Must be their pride that keeps them from staying down. <laughs> Look at this, why in God's name is that tech hunter not wearing any pants? Hired sex offender tech hunter. Alright, I think we got most of them. Only a couple left now to take care of. Dude, why are you shooting green man? Poor guy. Agor is just floating in the waters. Let's put him in the cage too. That must have been at least 100 United City Samurai Guards. They probably won't be getting on our nerves from now on in the future. That's good. Wait, we even had Shaq warriors besides the tech hunters defending our base? Neat. Oh man, Agor looking like he's been beaten to a literal pulp. Get this man some first aid beep. We don't want to lose him. He's a valuable trophy for Mr. Van Damme. <sighs> Why can't I treat his wounds anymore? There's, there's no option. Holy shit, what the hell? This dude's brain's fried. Can we actually recruit this dude? That would be hilarious. Agor seems to listen to you for a moment before letting out a grunt that almost sounds like a sigh. So what do you say, big guy? Join us and you can have all the fight and battle you could ever wish for. Okay, maybe not. We'll keep him in cages for now then. Dude, what a bloodbath. And they're still keep getting up. 
We should incinerate them quickly. So, Mr. Tengu, that was your last way out. And you're stuck here forever now. We got your best warrior in a cage. Even his broad smile, his constant grinding faded away now. Freaking finally. Probably after he saw Agor lying next to him. A cage next to him now. Now we just gotta have to tidy up a bit and the base will look as good as new. So originally my next plan was to go to the Ashlands to confront the strongest warrior in all of Kenshi. To finally meet the endgame and bring this long running series to an end. But I've read some comments and a lot of you guys are against me ending the series so quick. Listen. Since you guys asked so nicely, I'll squeeze in a couple more episodes just for you guys. I've heard the Hivers got the queen, a juiced up queen that might be interesting to interact with. So how about we'll take another visit to the Hivers then and check out what's popping with that lady. Check out Beep's relatives, relatives that kicked him out of their high family. So here's the plan, we are going to create two groups. They will split up, one heading directly to the western hive that should be located somewhere around here at Drek. And after that, walking all the way down here to the south on a route like that, straight down. And after that, we're gonna head straight to the Royal Valley. I think there should be another hive. The other group is going to go east, walking all the way east to the east coast until they reach the great desert again and from there they will go south again along the east coast up until they reach the pits. Maybe we'll find some interesting stuff on the way, some interesting areas to visit. And ultimately those two groups should end up uh, getting reunited down here somewhere in the Ashlands for where we will confront the mighty Catelyn for our last fight, to end it all. So what I came up with for the team that goes along the west coast line was this constellation right here. I thought we'll take Van Damme, Beep, Seto, Amen, Chad and Paul. We'll take those guys for us, for the first team, the guys that are going to make some trouble for those Hivers. Yes, I'm going to take a Beep with us, because I'm curious how this will turn out. What Beep is gonna say to the Queen. Will he just spit in her face or will he praise her? For Team 2, I thought we're gonna take Sensei, Blade, Ruka, Ray, and Green. Ray hasn't been outside the walls once since we built that base. So this will be interesting. His time to shine has come. God damn it! Our own turret guards shot Chad and Paul. Now they are floating in the water. Just because of that one stupid ass samurai trying to flee. I'll just take them with me. They'll recover on the way. Alright, this will be the last time you guys gonna see each other for a while now. Wish each other a farewell and let's go. Where do we wanna go first? No, not the cannibal's capital. But maybe one of those villages we haven't visited yet. There are a bunch of areas we haven't visited yet. What the hell is a berserker country? Shout out to the black swordsman. Oh no, the other team already run into a fight against the beak thing. <laughs> Should be no problem at all. But we will see a couple more of those beak things up until we manage to leave the cannibal plains at least. There it is, an old village. It's completely destroyed. Cool. Oh shit, not even one but the whole ass beak thing family. Mama, daddy and their little baby pooper. They're dead. It's getting dark now. But there's the second village. And of course it's full of cannibals. Uh, there are some huts. Let's send Beep in for some chest looting. Oh, wow. 920 cats. Some more cats. The rest is trash. 520 cats. Are we gonna be able to run through the masses? <laughs> oh god. Nice job Beep. Let's keep on moving. How about we'll take the road that leads to the purple sands area. Sounds like a cozy place. Oh shit, I totally forgot about the iron spiders. They're still around here. Deactivated. Just chill. <sighs> Stupid ass cannibals. You know what? I'll beat your asses. I'm gonna use you as target practice. Practice dummies. It's so goddamn dark. I can't make out shit. And the sun is shining through my window directly on my screen. That does not make it better. Sometimes I get scared by the dirt on my screen. <laughs> Thinking there are enemies in the distance. Whoa, we found a ruin. Look in post ancient workshop. 
I hope there are no robo dudes around here. Okay, seems to be clear. Let's check it out. Cool, engineering research. That's of value. Okay, besides that engineering research, there's nothing out of interest around here. Uh, yeah, let's keep on going. How about we head to the floodlands now? We've only been passing by that area, but never really went deeper inside. Maybe we'll find something interesting in there. Look at this. The sunrise looks so beautiful. Holy shit, and this area. This is amazing. Always giving me those nostalgic vibes. Even though I've never visited an area like this before. Well, maybe from another life. We're here, the floodlands. This place is a relic of the old world. Wonders of technology were produced here in staggering quantities. Machines building more machines to build more machines with. In the end, they couldn't keep up with its hunger. This is where I was born. <gasps> Damn. Eamon giving us some background lore of this place and its origins. Sounds kinda depressing. Discovered unknown tower. Let's check it out. There's a skeleton standing right in front of the tower. Burns Tower. We could talk to him. Beep is also a skeleton. What will this little fella tell us about this place? Will we solve the mystery of Burns Tower and the Floodlands? What's the purpose of being a skeleton? Where the hell did the skeletons came from? And why are those skeletons here in the world of Kenshi where people with straw hats and samurai swords are fighting against each other? This and more. Are we able to solve this question in today's episode? Are we gonna finally find out where all those skeletons are coming from? From the floodlands? Is this their origin? And what the hell is Burn gonna tell us now? Burn at Burn's tower. So who's gonna talk to Burn? Do we wanna let Eamon talk to Burn? I mean, since he's a skeleton too. Maybe he's gonna tell him stuff. He won't tell any, like, human. Holy shit, what the hell? There's just a spider patrolling like 10 feet to the left of us. Just strolling, minding his own business. This place is nuts. All right, Van Damme, just do it by yourself. Talk to Burn. Let me guess, another adventurer. You certainly don't look like the scavenger type or the bandit type, either of that metal. How did you know? The floodlands mostly attract the adventuring type. It's full of lost treasures, of course. So why wouldn't it? Holy shit, treasures. Anybody else of sane mind wouldn't risk the spider bots. They keep most of the more hostile trespassers at bay at least. But life holed up in this tower can get dull. So it's always good to share shelter and exchange stories with fellow adventurers. Yes, please, Mr. Byrne, tell us some of your stories. Used to be. Skeletons aren't as perishable as humans like yourself. But we still have a limit to our existence. <gasps> We start to seize up over time. Or we stop working suddenly, without warning. They get robo-cancer. My time is near, my parts are wearing, and I'm not as fit for exploration as I used to be. So here I am, retired in the solitude of the floodlands. Damn, every skeleton in this freaking game is depressed or shares a depressing story or something like that. A shame. Do you miss traveling? At times I've traveled the eastern ashlands to the southern swamps. Recovering lost relics and lost pieces of history is something that has always satisfied me. And of course watching human behavior as the world evolves and falls. You could probably teach me a thing or two about the world's history. <gasps> Let's go baby! I wouldn't even know where to start, but I enjoy nothing more than swapping notes and imparting knowledge of the world. Can you spare a few months? <laughs> what? Months? Dude, how about you come with me? You can impart all the knowledge you want. <gasps> if I have the company of a fellow adventurer, I suppose that wouldn't be too much for me to handle. And I always enjoy the study of human companionship. I'd enjoy nothing more than a last adventure. Let's go. <gasps> no way! Is this... Ugh! It's like... <gasps> Isn't that like a unique recruit? Wait, I gotta have to look it up. It seems like I talked about him in my... Uh, Kenshi unique recruitment tier list. And I forgot about him already. <laughs> I put him in C tier. Damn it. Alright. Well, we got him now. Uh, we're gonna take a look at him. He's gonna be a cool dude, I guess. I'm not gonna change anything. Let's go, dude. 
Welcome to the team, Burn. Uh, I hope you're gonna tell us some stories on the way. Tell us a little bit about the history of the Floodlands. But first, before we go even further, we're gonna check out the tower. His home, Burn's tower. Let's check it out if we can find some useful stuff. Whoa, look at this. Some specialist grade samurai boots. That's cool. Let's take that with us. Some skeleton repair kit. I guess we just gonna give that shit to Burn. Let's see his stats. Is he good at anything? Uh, I guess that explains why I put him in C tier. Oh shit, I forgot he can't wear boots. Well, at least he can carry those repair kits. We only got like buff dudes in our team. Look at the strength attributes. Everyone's strong in our team. Even Paul, even Paul got like nearly 40 points in strength. Dude, burn. You gotta have to buff up if you want to keep up with Paul. All right, guys, let's head out. Let's check uh, the surroundings. Maybe we can find something interesting around here. Oh, we found the ruin. Let's check out the ruin. Look at this guys, this looks absolutely insane. We found like a lost ruin, a suspicious lab. Look at those cyber spiders just floating around in the air. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Are they like drones that built all those skeletons? Like building drones? So many questions, we gotta have to find out. Let's check out those ancient ruins, this ancient laboratory. We're gonna send in beep like always, cause he is quite sneaky. Oh. oh, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? There, look at this, dried meat, bread, advanced first aid kit. It looks like it has been laid out like, you know, breadcrumbs to lure in some prey. What the hell? Let's go to the next floor. Damn, dude, they're luring us in. Th this is a whole uh, cannibals camping spot. They got like camping beds all around this place. Got their meat cooking on the fireplace. They got it all over here. And the last floor, it seems like it's stacked with spiked cages, but no prisoners. They weren't as lucky to find some prisoners. Those stupid cannibals thinking they can lure us in with some advanced first aid kits and some dried meat and a motor. All right, I think we're gonna wipe them all out. We got the power. We got, we got all the fighting power. Chad's still in a recovery coma. He slept all the way from, from our home base through the post-ancient workshop we've visited. We've been at Burns Tower, now we're at this lab and he still sleeps. I guess he's gonna finally wake up when we reach the Ashlands. What a life. All right, guys, let's show those stupid ass cannibals who's the real boss in this wasteland. <laughs> there we go, just attack them. Now they're coming down. Paul, you gonna stay passive. Go back a little bit. Holy shit. <laughs> Those are a couple more cannibals than I have anticipated. Damn. Let's see how this will work out. All right, we have, we're have. gonna have to spread them out a little bit. Damn, dude, they're kicking our asses. Actually quite strong. And Burn is getting his ass kicked his first day on the team. <laughs> and he's getting his ass pounded. Van Damme, come on, do some damage. Let's go. Dude, he's just tanking those shots. What the hell is wrong with you? Madame, kick some ass. Damn. Yo! Come on, this was goddamn disappointment from Van Damme. Let's go, amen. <laughs> Wipe them out. <laughs> Give them hell. Nice job, man. We got the cannibal punisher. Dude, guys, Van Damme's somewhere up there. Please help get Van Damme before they cook him. My queen, rescue Van Damme, rescue Van Damme. Well, actually give him some first aid so he can rescue himself. He's way better at picking locks. Man, those cannibals stood no chance, especially against Amen. He He's one of the best team members we have. He is quite strong. <laughs> What the hell are those stats? <laughs> I guess he's one of the ex tech hunters we recruited. It's legit guys, it's legit. We need some strong rem members in our team. If we wanna kick some ass in the Ashlands. Look at Beep, he, his katana 
uh, skills are 50. This is insane. You think Amen is strong? Look at Beep. Well, he's only specialized at one thing, but at one thing pretty damn is good. That's way much better. All right, let's take a look around. Maybe they got some good stuff around here. I mean, there are a lot of loot boxes just laying around. Holy shit! I can't believe it. Look at this. A specialist scout leg. A robo leg. Holy shit. I mean, I already got one for Beep. But maybe someone's gonna lose a leg in the future. This is so good. I'm gonna take this with us. Oh my god, another scout leg. Now we got the right one and the left one. Look at all that good stuff. Masterwork great armored wreck skirt. Holy hell. I'm gonna give that shit to burn. Now he got some good pants. This gives martial arts bonus. Maybe that would be something for Vanda. All right, we wiped out all the cannibals and we got quite a decent loot over here. <laughs> Look at that cannibal. He just can't believe that they got wiped out so easily. There's some more boxes around here, but seem to be just there for aesthetics. Cool. Hey guys, welcome back to Kenji. Last time we managed to clear out this cannibal infested ruin. Found some cool loot. This time we're gonna check out the rest of the floodlands. Find out what more secrets there might be. Let's keep on moving guys. We got no time to lose. We got the ruin already marked on our map. Let's head there. There has been some kind of little bit of a debate between our uh, folks here. We were wondering who is more hot. What? Who is the more hotter skeleton? Is it Amen? He looks buff, he looks swole. His head shape is kind of peculiar. Or is it Burn? He looks completely different. He's not as swole and buff as Amen is, not as strong, but he got the knowledge. So, what do you guys think? Who is the more sexy skeleton in our team? Is it Amen or Burn? Hmm. What the hell is going on? There's a skeleton fighting uh, Robo Iron Spider. The hell is going on? Who are you? He beat that Iron Spider all by himself. Hot Longs. He belongs to the Skeletons faction. Very interesting. Sadly, I cannot talk with him. He prefers to stay silent. A lone wanderer walking his way in the floodlands. Here we go. Another ruin. And we discovered an unknown object. It's a little bit further to the south. But first, let's check out this ruin. What's going on over here? Well, it's just a destroyed watchtower. Interesting, interesting. Holy shit, what the hell is that? Uh, the, is that a mushroom? Okay, what's this all about with this mysterious object? Seems like it's just a tower, a fallen tower. We can't even enter it. Can I, can I take a sneak peek inside? Wow. So we discovered two more ruins. Let's check them out. I swear to God, this looks so crazy. What the hell is that? Everything looks so alien. As if it's not man-made, you know? Except for the towers, of course. Leaning tower. <laughs> Come on. It's a leaning tower. The leaning tower of Pisa. And up on the roof, there is one single old stool. Let's check it out. We got some gears here, some empty bottles. Oh, some ration food packs. That's good. That's a whole ass kitchen up here with a bread oven. Ancient book. Wakisashi. Oh, oh, spring bed. Specialist crossbow. Uh, I think I'm gonna take that one with me. And a CPU unit. Well, we found a little bit of loot, but besides that, nothing extremely spectacular inside this tower. Next ruin. No, f off. Got them iron spiders. They piss me off so much. This looks interesting. It's like in a dome. This ruin lies inside the dome. Guys, don't tell me this is not alien made. Look at this. It's straight up from the movie Prometheus. Let's just send in beep, just like always. Let him check out what's going on inside. Okay. Some deactivated broken drones. Some non-functional spiders and a security spider okay one security spider we can take this should be easy on the next floor two more security spiders no three three security spiders and on the last floor another batch of security spiders four more that's gonna be tough holy shit the security spider is already after beep no he's catching up shoot that shithead oh holy shit 
Chill out! Oh, God damn it! Okay. <laughs> With no casualties, we took out the very first Iron Spider. Easy! Okay, let's go guys. Let's get in there. Just let Paul outside inhale some fresh air. Why is Beep so slow? I don't get it. Why is he sneaking so slow? Come on, dude! Oh, I guess it's because we're still underwater. Okay, those barrels on the first floor are all completely empty inside. Let's check out the next floor. Notice me. They are so freaking fast, I don't get it. Oh! Dude, who the hell thought it was a good idea to make those stupid iron spiders? Dude! Come on! Look at this shit! Ugh. Hey man, did a really good job, man. But, but those iron spiders, I just can't. I cannot comprehend why the hell are they so aggressive. This attack speed is just from another world. All right, sneaky beaky like. We're gonna catch the last iron spider for the second floor. Just shoot it. Just shoot it. Dude, come on. What the hell is that? He, 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 with his attack speed, he punched Amen into the ground to the first, from the second to the first floor again. This shit is just game breaking. Okay, four spiders left. Four spiders. I'm gonna lure down one more. Dude, Beep didn't even stood near and he got attacked. Amen. Eamon is just blocking now, glitched through the floor, but this seems to work. If those if those iron spiders are so much overpowered, it's just fair to use game-breaking mechanics like this one. Just block those attacks, Eamon. <laughs> this works. This works perfect. Look at this. He's just chilling, man. <laughs> you can't touch me. <laughs> Whoa! What the hell? He used another form of blocking mechanic. One hit got through, but nonetheless, he blocked the other 125 attacks. Come on, next one. Dude, guys, stop running around like idiots. Just let him come. <laughs> Dude, whoa! Those iron spiders are so unpredictable sometimes. Come on, beep. Dude, those shitheads are doing so much damage. I can't, I can't. But we did it. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> Burn managed to take one hit and he's down. My people over here taking several hits, like 100 at times. And Burn can't handle even one hit. This just shows how aggressively those iron spiders are. Sensei lost the arm because of them once. You cannot underestimate those shitheads. Whew. Okay, let's go beep. Let's check out this floor. We got some splint kits here, some materials, some more splint kits, <laughs> more splint kits. Dude, what am I uh, gonna do with all those splint kits? Yo, holy shit, so much stuff. Skeleton repair kits are always welcome. Ancient science books, guess they're good. I don't know if we really need more, any more science books, but hell with it. We're gonna take them with us. I don't know, man. So far, there's nothing interesting here. It was not worth it at all. Man. God damn it. There is another iron spider. It just woke up from slumber, I guess. Of course it had to attack Chad. Now he is unconscious again or what? All right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool ruin. I guess we're gonna just move on to the next ruin. <laughs> Let's go to the next ruin. This whole ruin exploration trip is ruining my life, man. It has no value. Most of those ruins are just uh, destroyed towers, destroyed watchtowers. And there's another ruin. I I'm just going from ruin to ruin and each ruin is just ruined. So far we found uh, fallen tower, we found leaning tower, we found ruin tower, empty ruins. Very creative. I guess there's nothing else in here. I guess that's it with the floodlands. I thought we're gonna find some more interesting uh, areas, maybe 
some ancient ruins with with some history some books maybe we could read you know to find out a little bit more about the robots and where they came from but at least we found another companion burn burn is a really uh, valuable addition to our squad who needs those books if we got someone with the knowledge with all the knowledge we need in his brain Maybe someday, at some point, he's gonna tell us a little bit more about it, about about himself and his origins, about the stories of the skeletons we are starving for. Those interesting stories. We will now head to a place called Obedience. We have been there once, very very early in the game, just about when we started out playing the game. The place where <laughs> Sensei lost his arm. I don't know if it's smart to check out this place a second time. So I guess we'll just kind of run through it and head to Raptor Island. What the hell is Raptor Island? Now we're gonna head to Mongrel again, check out Mongrel again, and then we're gonna head to Drag. Drag or Vane. There's a ruin up there. Dude, can you, can you stick together, man? Don't leave Paul behind. Always the same. Guess people's just gonna pick up Paul again. This place always gives me the chills. Look at this. God damn it. Holy shit. Discovered. Oh! Question mark, question mark, question mark. What the hell is that? <laughs> I mean, I think I've been here before, but I don't know. There is no uh, discovered outpost. So something indicating that we have been here already. Maybe something changed with some updates or, or some mods. I don't know. But I guess we're gonna have to check out those question marks. Looks very interesting. Look at this mega robots. To think about it, the skeletons we know now, they're just babies. They're little babies, mini robots. Those are the original robots lying here from a long forgotten time. Guys, th this is kind of scary, man. Look at this. This looks absolutely insane. I mean, we've been here already, but still, this place gives me the chills. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell is that? Who the hell are you, man? <laughs> what? what the hell is that? That's not original. I think that must be a mod or something. I don't even remember having a mod like this. Whoa! Dude, the strong. <laughs> Or Seto just weak. That dude scared the shit out of me, man. What the hell is that place? What the hell is that mod? Playing dead. Come on, stand up. I want to beat your ass, man. Don't play dead. What an idiot. Oh, there it is. Guys, we've been here already. I don't know if something changed or not. But okay, for, for all times, we're gonna check out this place one more time. Tower of Mist. Let's get up there and check the situation out. We're gonna send in beep like always. It's full of iron spiders again. No, thank you. I don't wanna mess with that shit again. I guess they just respawned at some point or whatever. I guess uh, there should be something here with a mod I installed, but it's not. Whatever, dude. Let's just keep on moving to Mongra. Oh, and there we are. We're here at Mongra. Those were some good times back in the days. I just know there is an, uh, there's a unique recruit at this bar here. Infinite Wing Wang. Well, I don't know if we need another person in our team. I'm gonna end this episode here and let you guys decide what you think about this. If we should <laughs> recruit Infinite Wing Wang, take him with us on our adventure down to the, to the drag to Wayne to the hive villages, to the hive land, to the hive queen. Should we take him with us and sacrifice him to the hive queen? Maybe she's gonna act in our favor if we do so. Hey guys, so welcome back to Kenshi, the greatest game of all time. Last episode, we managed to fight our way through the floodlands, found a new companion and are now at Mongrel. At Mongrel with team one, led by the unbeatable piece of unit, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Your friend. Jean-Claude Van Damme. From Mongrel, it won't take us long to reach Vane, the homelands of the Hivers, where the Hivers Queen is eagerly waiting for our arrival. But we can't just forget about Team 2. What is going on with Team 2? Are they still alive? 
Well, today we're gonna find out what happened to Sensei and his group. Well, Team One did their thing in the last couple of episodes. <laughs> there they are, just sitting here at this bar, chilling. Do you guys even have some food left? Whoa. We're currently not that far away from our home base. We're at the northern coast, at a humble little fishing village. But enough waiting, guys. Enough just sitting around and farting your asses off on those benches and those cushions. Today we're gonna travel uh, to the east, to the great desert, to United Cities territory again. So are you ready, guys? Wait a second. Who the hell is that? Zoman. Wasn't that like a unique character? I forgot already. And horse! Holy shit, that horse guy! I remember, this one's a unique character. Horse. I think Zoman and horse, they're unique characters. But <laughs> I don't know, man. We're pretty stacked already. I mean, what we can... We can recruit one. But first, let me check if Zoman is also a unique character. Okay, I just checked. Uh, Zoman and Horus, they're both unique characters. <laughs> I don't remember where I put them in my tier list, but Zoman, her stats are mostly uh, laboring stats. She, she's a good labor. She can go to the base and work her ass off, like, like just like that. But Horus, Horus got some skill, a little bit of experience in handling weapons. And we need more fighters, of course. We don't need a laborer when we when we go to the Ashlands to confront the end boss. No, we need more fighters. So maybe we, we're gonna take Horus with us. But I just looked on the Kenshi Wiki, he is, has a traitorous personality. He... Well, the hell with it. Let's talk to him a little bit. Here's the deal, Outlander. I'm a treasure hunter and I got a real juicy tip. What? On a, ah, he got the juicy tip on a valuable looting spot. Thing is, my squad got killed off by those blasted cannibals. So here I'm recuperating in this dusty old snorefest of a village. Now you look like the adventuring type, correct me if I'm wrong. So how about you pay me off, pay off my bill at the flop house, we join up and we finish what, what my squad started. We'll be rich traveler, you and me. 4,500 cats, oh, okay, let's do it. So he knows of some kind of treasure. Did he mark it on my map? Does he have something in his inventory? Can we talk to him again? I don't think so. So where is this treasure he was talking about? What? Ah, the hell with it. I don't really care about this shit. Man, we got all the money in the world. We got treasures. Let's just head out of here. Let's check if we can find ourselves a backpack for a horse. What the hell is that? It's got no freaking head. This must be the headless ancient I've heard about back at world's end. Hmm? What the hell is he talking about? Who is he talking to? Great companion. Already smoking crack Mariana. Alright, so what the hell are those backpacks? Freaking basket. I don't need the basket. Do you guys uh, have nothing else to sell? They got no good running shoes, no backpacks, nothing. Those people at this village got nothing. <laughs> they got fish at least. Let's head to the east. Man, horses bringing our speed down quite a bit. He only got a freaking running speed of 12. 12 miles per hour. That's, that's nothing. I guess we gotta have to go with the method we always use. Sensei, you're the strongest out of everyone. Pick him up. Alright. Bust. I feared of this place, a whole city wiped out in a single day by the holy nation. They roasted the head noble alive in the name of Ogren and carted the youngsters off to rebirth. Yeesh, I mean, I hate nobles as much as the next guy, but <laughs> the holy nation just tops everything. Well, luckily we got rid of both of them. What the hell is the bastion? Isn't that like an Overwatch character? Sinkun? I've never been in Sinkun. Very interesting. Hmm? I was expecting something a little bit more dramatic following the death of the Emperor. Yeah, well, me too. Nothing really changed that much. The United Cities are still attacking our base. Not a lot has changed since. I'm disappointed. Yeah, I guess it's because, you know, we, we killed one head noble of the United Cities and there are 10 more suddenly, you know. 
you 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 strike one head you know and they're popping out three more well what is this place right here cannibal hunters wow this is like a cannibal hunters outpost they kill you slowly keep your flesh fresh <laughs> poor as cannibal hunters they i guess those guys have seen some shit man just contemplating randomly stay away from the cannibal camps drifter Look at how many cannibal hunters there are. This is insane. Do they have some sort of leader or something? Maybe we can talk to someone. Oh, we actually can. Cannibal hunters captain. Who are you? My friend's been captured by cannibals. Dude, if I would have known that earlier, our people got captured by cannibals so often in the past. Can those guys actually help you out? All right, should be able to help if they're still alive. 3000 cats per day. All right, those, they're like mercenaries. Cool. I thought they would uh, do that for free. All right, nothing here. Let's go. Keep on moving. Discovered outpost. Hmm, interesting. Let's check it out. Outlaw farmer. Rebel farmer. Looks like a peaceful village. Peaceful small little village. Uncle Simeon. He got a mouth of dirt. But you got the heart of gold deep down. <laughs> you just have to dig really deep. Who the hell is Simeon? Never heard of that one. Let's check out this place. Do they got? Uh, do they have anything useful? Boss Simeon. There he is. Well, if it ain't green. <gasps> Don't think I ain't heard of you before. Okay. <laughs> Brother, steering the gutter nest of the United Cities. Welcome to the home of the rebel farmers. Pleasure to have you. What the hell is that accent? Make yourself at home. Relation with United Cities decreased. In relation with rebel swordsmen improved. Oh, I understand. They're now my allies because we are we are at war with the United Cities. Makes sense. Of course. Make yourself at home. An enemy of the Empire is a friend of the rebels. Okay. S since we are enemies of the Empire, they're our allies automatically. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, or something like that. They got the poor as tiny little outpost. <laughs> they don't even have like turrets, no defenses. Like that gate, makeshift gate. This gate is gonna hold maybe two or three hits from uh, one single United Cities uh, samurai guard. I bet with you guys, two samurai guards, they would wipe out this <laughs> little tiny outpost in no time. Well, I guess we could go up a little bit more to the north, check out what's on top of the world, check out this area. This area is quite peaceful. They got a lot of outlaw farmers, nomads, like they got cannibal hunters around here. Actually a quite a good place to build up your base probably in Sinkun, but might be boring. Discovered distant hive outpost. Holy shit, no freaking way. It didn't lie. Look at this. Those are hivers. Those are those are hivers uh, huts. You know those living spaces where the hivers live inside. Holy shit! Look at that. Look how many of them there are. Ten thousand little beeps. I guess we can trade here. Nothing is stolen. <laughs> if a trader comes up to you and he says he has goods and nothing is stolen, holy shit! You can trust him. Oh, look at this blackened chain hive shirt. Ah, uh, I was searching for some hive equipment. Maybe can we can buy something for ray and green, but there's nothing else here. Lost one hiveless, get out. <laughs> they don't really like our hive people. Okay, let's see what else do we got here. <laughs> we can buy some limbs. The best uh, limbs replacement in all of Kenshi. My freaking game crashed. Oh no. Kenshi just crashed. All right, we're back. Well, I won't go back to the Hivers village again. Something in there made my game crash. You know, the Hivers, they're bugged. They bugged my game. Discovered distant Hive village. Another Hive village. Well, I'm gonna buy the armor again. They don't have the good armor. They only got like rusted hive shirt look at this ah uh, absolutely beautiful man this game it's always like that when i enter kenshi back again when i get into the game back again it's so good it looks so good 
so nice just strolling around the desert. Discovered Port North. What? This is like a mining facility. Is this like for slaves? Mining facility for slaves? The hell is that? Yeah, the, the, there are slavers around here. Freaking slavers. Rot in the sand. Renegades. We, we've already been spotted. Spit. Freaking idiots. Let's check out Show Batai again. Let's go there and take a visit. Maybe the, the cannibal's grand wizard is still somewhere around there. Even though they don't have a leading political position anymore. Discovered Fort Mirage. Cool places around here. I guess that's like just another uh, fort with slaves. The hell? The city heroes! <laughs> no way! That's the city heroes outpost. No way! <laughs> What the hell are those guys doing in here? United Heroes Leech. Damn. Those are the cringe cringe guys. What the bloody hell? Get what? They are aggressive. Why the hell are they aggressive? This is like this is Lord Mirage. This is like their leader. Let's kick his ass. Dude. It only took one hit for Ruka. <laughs> those guys got nothing. Man. They're poor, shoddy great armor. They got like rusted junk Nodashi. How do those guys survive here, up here in the desert? Uh oh. <laughs> Screw off. They got no chance. Look at this. Holy shit. Look at Green going. He didn't even drop a sweat, man. Take. All they got in this locked up chest, highly secure locked up chest, is a piece of bread, man. I, I kind of feel pity for them, man. And those guys call themselves heroes, you know? What the hell? Here we are. Shobatai. And it seems like the faction, it belongs now to Empire Peasants. Let's go, guys. Rebel Swordsman Veteran. They're just like rebels now. The rebels took over. Whoa, look at this. The people are indebted to you. I can now just recruit those rebels and they're gonna fight for me. This is crazy. And for free. Damn, dude. Those houses are all completely destroyed. We could buy them and rebuild it. That's interesting. That's cool. I like that. What the hell is the problem, man? The shinobi thieves are fighting the outlaw farmers. What the hell are they doing? There he is. Look. <laughs> Look, guys. There he is. The cannibal grand wizard. <laughs> because I remember this building has been uh, like uh, a police station. And up here there were only cells. And in one of those cells there was the cannibal grand wizard. Because we handed him over back then to the United Cities. Dude, what the hell? Why are they picking him up? Yo, why are they picking him up? Are they gonna like escort him to another cell? <laughs> Probably. Well, anyway, I don't want to mess around with the cannibal grand wizard anyway. So let's just keep on going. But still, cool touch. I, I really like that the city now belongs to the rebels. Really cool. Let's keep on moving. Let's let's go Heft next. All right, here we are at Heft. This was like the main capital city of the United Cities. That's where the emperor lived. So let's check out what happened over here. Empire peasants. It also got taken over by the peasants, by the rebels. Look at this drip man. I can't. This guy is dripped out. Amazing. We are rebuilding the pieces of our nation slowly. Cool. Look at this, it's completely destroyed, completely demolished. They just put one simple campfire in the middle of a destroyed building, just because they can. Let's check out the throne room. I kind of want to see what this looks like now. Imagine the peasants just sitting there on the throne, just chilling, vibing, enjoying the moment. But those guys did absolutely nothing to contribute to the downfall of the United Cities. Dude, I don't get it. Everything is destroyed. Everything's demolished. Every single city in the Great Desert is completely destroyed. Maybe except for this one. I think there might be still a city somewhere around there. We can check it out. 
but I still don't get it why they're still attacking my base. They're still sending United Cities Samurai Guards to my base to just simply arouse me. Everything's just like destroyed. Even the chest, they just hit the chest with a sledgehammer, man. Look at this. And they looted everything. Those rebels had some a big grudge against the United Cities, I guess. Holy shit, I kind of feel bad. It's all because of me. I, I did this. Well, let's head uh, up there, check out the area around there and then keep on moving, I guess. Discovered old village. Wow, it's it's an old village. Maybe this village also once was a part of the United Cities. Discovered Bark. Yes, this must be the city. Bark. Who does Bark belong to? Let's check it out. Maybe we need to get a little bit more closer. Yes, look at this. United Cities. United City Samurai Guards. They're still here. They're still residing at this place. We left out one city and the shinobi thieves are also around here already fighting against the samurai guards. Yeah, I think we're gonna do it. We're gonna kidnap the final and last leader of the United Cities. The final noble. And I guess this is this gonna be child's play because look at this. We got the ocean. We got good swimmers. Our people are brilliant swimmers since our base is surrounded with water. And they had to swim all day in a, all day out so we can just swim inside their base and this might be oh what the hell are you doing we're just simply going to swim around their defensive structure around their walls and straight up to the noble's house we're just simply swim to the noble's house and then we can kidnap him or even better just uh, kill him straight away Let's bring ruin to the very last city of the United Cities. <laughs> there are guards just swimming around the water. <laughs> Where the hell are you going? He's, just, he's swimming away from the land, straight towards nothingness. Like there's just the open sea. There won't be anything out there for you. I guess he is out of breath. He's swimming back. They can't really attack us while we are in the water. Let's get to land on here. Kill some guards and kidnap the noble. All right, let's get inside. Let's check out this place. Ah, there is no one in here. Damn, dude. I guess since it's still uh, daytime, the noble is somewhere walking around the base. There are some empire guards, some samurai guards, but I don't see any nobles. I don't even know who the hell are we looking for exactly. <laughs> if they can beat Agor, they can beat an Empire soldier. Fight with caution, man. I guess they're talking about us. Oh, rebel captain. They're already fighting. The, those are the hired captains. The guys we hired to fight for us. Holy shit, there are a lot of guards. Please, Ruka, watch out. Damn, dude, they got such crazy armor. Look at this. They're just tanking every hit. They're tanking so much damage. This is uh, normal. <laughs> I think I'm gonna equip the armor for horse. Oh no, it's faction uniform. I can't just equip that armor. But for now, for the battle, we can equip it. <gasps> what the hell is the shinobi guard doing? Why is he attacking us? <gasps> I don't understand. Why is the shinobi guard attacking us? Stop. Oh, I get it. It's because of the armor. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Dude, calm down. I don't mean no harm. Damn. Guys, we're on the same team. Oh, look at this. I guess that must be her. That's the noble of the city, right? Lady Zanda. But there are so many freaking guards. I can't just waltz in like that and kill everyone. I mean, our people are quite strong, but I can't, I can't mess around with so many samurai guards. I guess we gotta have to wait for nighttime or wait for an opening or something like that. Yeah, let's just wait around here. Let's just wait for nighttime. They can't reach us in the water anyway. All right, I didn't really see if she got inside the noble's house again, but I just assume she's inside already. Maybe I just missed it. Maybe she got ported, whatever. I'm going inside. 
All right, this is not the first time we're doing something like that. So let's go, Sensei. Pick the lock open. Oh, look at this. We could even use strength, brute force to slash through that door. But we want to be sneaky beaky like. So gotta have to lock pick the lock. All right. Pick successful. There she is. There she lies. She looks so tiny. Kind of harmless compared to the other nobles that were fat and well fed. <laughs> shoo shoo, rotten peasant. Come on, sensei. You can do it. Kick her ass. I hope there are no guards coming. Somehow they went all outside. Holy shit. I can't handle that alone. Sensei, what the hell is wrong with you? How is she so strong, man? What the actual hell? Help, sensei. Dude, kick her ass, man. She downed Sensei. No way. But we downed her too. Let's freaking go, guys. Treat Sensei's wounds. Someone ha has to pick him up. All right. Now let's get the hell out of here. Ugh! What the hell did they do to uh, Green? Holy shit. They're coming. Ugh! Get into the water again. <gasps> Holy shit. That was close. <laughs> There's so many of them around here. It takes a monster to defeat another monster. Well said. But you won't get me. Not without uh, crossbows, at least. Shit, goddammit. We are swimming so slow. Because green hurt his leg. Everyone's a little bit hurt. Well, I guess we just gotta have to wait until the coast is clear again. So we can treat green's wounds. And eventually swim a little bit more faster again. But guys, you're not serious, right? Come on. Repair your goddamn robo leg. Everyone, heal up. All right, nice. Now let's get the hell out of here. And we got the last noble. Well, actually, the last noble of the Great Desert. I think there's one more city. Hang. That must be. That must be probably uh, the the last noble. Must be somewhere around Hang. We're gonna get there soon. After that, everything should belong to either to the rebels or the tech hunters. Look at this. There she is. <laughs> <laughs> she was kind of strong. Lady Zander. Every other noble was kind of okay. They didn't really put up a fight that much as like she did. Well, maybe it was because we kidnapped everyone else. Hi guys, welcome back to Kenshi. The beautiful world of Kenshi. Ah, I missed it so much. Last time we left off escaping the one United City city near the coast. East Coast, I think it was Bark. Sensei got heavily injured fighting its city noble and needs some well-deserved rest now. On the strong back of one of our companions. That's fine with me. We'll have to walk a long way anyway until we reach our next destination. I'm not sure where we're heading next now, but since we already visited Howler's Maze in the past, you know that one place where Beep lost all of his limbs to a giant freaking crab. How about we'll just ignore this place for now <laughs> and head to this interesting piece of environment. Gut or good or whatever. It looks like a swamp. Looks like swamp area to me. Could be interesting. Let's go. Oh right, I almost forgot. We also managed to capture that one dump ass noble from Bark. She gave us quite a fight and she's getting carried now by Blade. Honestly, I'm not quite sure what we should do with her now. I mean, we'll not be heading back home in the near future. And the only ones who'd be willing to take her from us and put her in a cage are the Sheks. But Czech Kingdom is way too far away from here. And it would make a way too long detour from our original destination. I could just kill her and we're good. But damn, otherwise she's a trophy. We'll just let her stick around for now. That's a slave farm. <sighs> I don't want to mess around with that. Can we actually free the slaves and get something from it? I feel like I freed slaves in the past, but they just vanish after running into the endless desert, never to be seen again. I mean, after we free them, they run away and that's it. So I don't know. So far, wasn't worth it, I guess. Whoa, look at this. Blue sand. It's like a whole new biome. This looks so cool, man. That's where the Smurfs are from. Oh no, a whole ass big thing nest. Look at all the piles of shit. No shit freaking climate change is a thing from all that poop pollution in this poor ass desert. 
What the hell is that? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Look at all those big thing nests. Game, are you okay, man? Can you like stop putting so many big thing nests into my freaking game? I'm not even kidding. Look, what the hell is that? Big thing nest freaking number 1076. Can you like stop this shit? This ain't funny anymore. I don't think we can enter this area here. We gotta have to find another way around. It's actually quite easy for our guys to handle those shitheads. The only thing is we either have to fight them one on one or I gotta have to do some micromanagement in between. Somehow the AI is a little bit bugged at this point. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? Only the guy getting targeted by the big thing is actually going to block its attacks. And you know, a big thing's attack uh, does aerial damage. So everyone else standing close to the person that is blocking is getting damage from the big thing attacks. I don't know, they're just not blocking. If I'm not always sending them away in time, they're getting damage. Oh! <laughs> Oh shit, those were actually the guys I hired as bodyguards. Sorry for letting you guys fight those big things all alone. Okay, let's help them out a bit. Alright, we wiped out this nest quite alright. Only like 9986 big thing nests to go. Wow, look at this. This tree is actually not a real tree. It's an iron resource. How? I mean, it got leaves and twigs on it, but I could just send someone in and get iron from it. Oh, that reminds me of that one Pokemon. Do you know what I mean, guys? What was his name? In German, it's called Mogelbaum. You know the tree like Pokemon in gold and silver. You had to pour some water on it with a watering can. Otherwise, you couldn't progress. I remember I got stuck at this part of the game as a kid for a long ass time. I didn't read any dialogue in the game as a kid, so I never knew how that I had to use the watering can. But yeah. The tree in the game was actually not a plant type Pokemon, but a metal or stone type, I think. Yeah, well, anyway. If you ignore the fact that there are like hundreds of big things roaming around this area, this place actually looks kinda cozy. I, uh, I like it. Don't know what those spiky things are though, might be grass. Oversized grass and probably also made out of steel. I thought like we could go into the middle of this region, might be able to find some ruins or stuff like that to explore. But I, d I think that won't be possible. There are big things up our asses non-stop. There's not even time for us to t even take a breath, man. Look! What the hell is that? There are five camps around my position. We gotta have to get out of here, man. This is not normal. Thanks, guys, but no thanks. Also, the mercenaries we hired are gone. <laughs> They're just gone. Probably in some big thing stomach already. Oh, a market. Let's check it out. Rot in the sand. <laughs> Renegades. Oh man, it's the slave traders again. There are slaves here. Look, this is just another slave's market, man. Don't lure me in with that market shit on the map. Why can't that be like a fish market or fruit market or something like that? Alright, we're close to Black Scratch now. That's Tech Hunter territory. There we can take a well-deserved rest. After that, uh, how about we'll go to the Storm Gap coast. Through that, maybe, and then to the Forbidden Isle. Oh, that looks interesting. Why is it forbidden though? Out of all places, this place must be so crazy, so deviant, that people just said, let's make this place illegal. Alright, we're black. What? <laughs> I mean, we're back at black scratch. The hell is wrong with you, man? As you guys might remember, I still got a small shack in here, inside the city. Wow, it's been so long, man. Looks just like how I left it. Nice. I don't want to bring that stupid noble with us on our little trip to the illegal isle. So we're gonna put her in a cage. Let's build up a small little cage in this corner. Also, let's take a look around town. Maybe we can find some good equipment for horse. He's still wearing shoddy great armor. Oh, look at this. This is Bo. That's a unique character. As far as I remember, she got some really good stats. She would be a great addition to the team and would provide a lot of fighting power against Catalan in the final fight. 
But why can't I recruit her? I can't even talk to her. What the hell? Maybe it's because I didn't fulfill all the necessary conditions yet. I think she had a couple of them. Damn, what a bugger. Well, anyway, we'll get back here later on. Then I'll just try again. Alright, I think we're good to go. I bought a helmet and a backpack for horse, got some more food and I also gave horse two generator cores and let him pick up green for some strength training on the way, since he's pretty weak right now. That slows us down a little bit, but we'll get faster on the way. The longer we walk, the more buff horse gets. And I also hired two tech hunters, just for fun. We got the money. Wow, farming village. Let's check it out. Who the hell are those guys? Moon Garden. Preacher cult. Holy. I think we just found a real cult. Those guys look kind of funny, man. I don't know if they belong to the United Cities, though. Let's send in Sensei first. Let him check out if they're friendly or not. Moon's almighty make it rain. <laughs> nope. They ain't friendly, and I don't think they belong to any faction. I couldn't even talk to them. They're just brain fried culties. No chance here. Let's keep on moving. Okay, now we're getting close to the Forbidden Isle. The terrain doesn't load in so fast, so we can't really make out uh, much of that isle yet. We gotta have to go deeper. Oh, look, some caravan trader. Uh, got nothing out of value. Get lost. So far, so good. Looks... <laughs> Looks somehow just like the area around the hidden forest at the world's end. Lots of trees, peaceful. Whoa! What the? No freaking way! That's a whole ass iron spider patrol group! And here I thought fighting against one of them at the time is already stressful enough. This game, man, this game is freaking crazy. But I guess this is just how it works. The closer we get to the actual ashlands, the crazier the environment and its inhabitants get. There is a factory, probably where those iron spiders are coming from. I think I won't risk going in there with the whole group. I'll just send in Sensei and have him take a look at the building. Dude, this factory is huge. Is this like an actual iron spider factory? I think I've seen buildings like these before. There should be some kind of ramp somewhere around here. There we go. Let's go upstairs and check out the inside. Just no sudden movements, Sensei, and try to stay hidden. Wow, look at this. It is an iron spider factory. There are tons of spiders around this place. This looks kind of scary. And who the hell is that? One single robot in the middle of this place. Spider Foreman. That's like the iron spider factory supervisor. That's just a robot. But <laughs> look at this dude. That's just a robot with a stick man. 84 attack damage. Holy shit. He's hella strong. Skeleton Shredder? Like the thing they show us in some of those YouTube videos. Just it's for robots. That's kind of brutal. Do we really want to go upstairs, Sensei? One wrong move and we're dead. I think there's like one valuable looking treasure box or container way in the back. We might be able to sneak past all those spiders, get the loot and get out. Just have to be slow and steady, Sensei. Oh no, what are you doing? What the hell is this guy doing? Home territory aggression. <laughs> but Sensei is still sneaking, he's hidden. How did they find out? Maybe, maybe it's just false alarm. Nope, they got us. Run, Sensei. Try to get to the container. Are you kidding? Of course, it's locked. No shot we can open this shit up on the fly. Maybe that wasn't a good idea after all. Oh man. You know what? Screw this. Get the hell out of here, Sensei. It's not worth it. Look at this robot. He, he has nothing on him except for this long ass stick. He is as fast as Sensei, but his damage is just from another world. He already lost interest. Okay, let's fight this dude, Sensei. Let's try to bring him down. Yo, what the hell? He just one hit at me with that stupid stick. Sensei, are you good? He's good. He's just playing dead. The robot doesn't know. Help us on the way, Sensei. We'll get you out of there. Whoa, what is going on, man? What's he doing with Sensei? He just picked him up, man. Where are you heading? Great. And now there's also acid rain pouring all over him. <laughs> Everyone's burning from the rain. We gotta have to get Sensei out of there. 
Yo, stop it, man. It just beat him up again. Look at those stats, man. This robot does 98 damage out here in the open. He's capable of beating off some limps with one or two hits. Hell no, nah. I'm not gonna mess with that, man. Let's get out of here, guys. This place sucks. Our guys nearly lost half of their health due to skin burns. How do you even recover from that? Probably never. Okay, well, we're back at Black Scratch. I'm gonna let our guys rest again for a while and see where we can head next. Hi guys, it's me again, yours truly, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Look at him, just look at this guy. That's what eating cooked vegetables over a span of months will make you look like. A freaking unit. We are currently at Mongrel and are preparing to head to Vein now. We want to do some meet and greet with the Hive Queen. She should have her throne somewhere around this area, I think. Or at least on one of those small islands. I've got the ruin already marked on my map. Maybe that's where she resides. Well, we're gonna find out in this episode, probably. But before we go, we got some unfinished business here in this bar at Mongrel. Remember this guy? He claims to be the biggest chat or the hardest Sigma male in all of Kenshi. Infinite Wing Wang. What a strange ass name. Dare you engage the might of Infinite Wing Wang. He thinks very highly of himself. But we need guys like him for our fight. Guys that think they could beat Catlon in one hit. He'll be a good distraction for Catlon to focus on. If we ever need to escape our first like failed attack. What? How much does he want us to pay for his services? One hundred thousand dollar. Is this guy insane? That's like half of my budget. No way. I'll give you four thousand and I'm changing your name. Are you mad? You can't just change Infinite Wing Wing's name. Just like some kind of Van Damme. What about five thousand then? <laughs> Deal. <laughs> Whoa, wait a second. This guy actually looks kind of sick. He got the leather armor drip, a Mongolian looking ass beard and a receding hairline. I must admit, that's cool. For that, you can keep your dumb ass Wing Wang name. Since we're still here at Mongrel, let's use this opportunity and buy us some good armor for Burn and Wing Wang. Okay, here we go. What do you guys think about Wing Wang's new drip? Look at him, looking fine and at the same time, he's super protected now. I think we're good to go now. We'll let Burn and Wing Wang carry some of the other folks to let them train some strength on the way. So when the Hive Queen will see us, she will fall for our muscles for sure. Look, after all this time, the Fogmen are still out here fighting. They still got their camps all around this place. And they're still eating some helpless poor ass lost vagabonds on a stick. Some things just won't change. Yo, what's this? It looks like we gained the Fogmen's respect. They're, they're not attacking. Maybe they fear our strength. Oh no, they were just blind. Here they come. But they're no problem for us now. Not anymore. They're just stick men to us now. Look at Amen plowing through them with his fragment axe. Don't bother yourself with those stick men. Just keep on moving forward, guys. <gasps> There's a hive village. We can ask around if they know where their queen is at. They must know something, since they're all connected like, like a hive mind. Here we go. The most beautiful looking ass hive village I've ever seen. Where most of their houses are made out of mud and feces. A sight to behold for sure. Let's go Van Damme. Do what you can do best. Ask the shop owner for the outhouse keys. Beep needs to take a big one. He's been holding on for too long. Whoa! Look, they got a skeleton repair bed. That's awesome. Our guys are in some dire need of some repairs. Let's get our limbs repaired. <gasps> What's going on? Oh, they're just fending off some cannibals out here. Just the usual, I believe. Let's put Beep on the bed while they're busy protecting their feces houses. Alright, we couldn't really find out where the Queen's palace is at. But for what I know, it should be somewhere out here on one of those islands. We are at Vane now, which means we're close. Let's start, let's start swimming to this island right here. It's the closest one. Holy shit! I totally forgot the water around Vein burns down human skin. It's like acid water. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, the moment we reach that island, we're nothing but bones. I think, I think hive people are immune to it. Skeletons too. Maybe we let the hive and the robot people carry the other ones. Maybe if we carry them, the water won't have any effect. Let's try. Nope, it still burns. You know what? I'm confident we can do it. Just swim fast, guys. Believe me, the more it burns, the faster those guys are going to swim. Let's go. God, I don't know if that was a good idea letting Amen carry Paul. Poor as Paul. Is he even gonna be able to breathe? <laughs> okay, it seems like the water is just acidic at shore. We're good out here. Look, there's no acid around here. Nice, we made it. The skins only burned off halfway. So we're good. Okay, first island, there's nothing interesting around here. Let's head to the next one. There, Western Hive discovered. I freaking knew it. I bet that's the queen's residence. Who needs sleep, guys? Just swim through the night. Look, you can actually make out their shit huts from here already. We're so close. Oh no, the water's acidic again. Why is there always acid water near those hive villages? Do those hivers piss in the water or what? So far? It does not look that much different around here. The same dump as huts. No one wants to really talk to us. They're just standing there. They're, they're just existing. Hmm. Okay. This one hut looks kind of suspicious. It's on top of this hill. Let's get inside, Wanda. Wow! <laughs> I think we found her. Look, that's her. The mighty Hiver Queen. Oh, what's that around her stomach? Is that like a tank? Is that like a breeding tank? Oh god, no thanks. I thought the queen would look like a little bit more <laughs> beautiful. But this this thing looks looks kind of ugly, man. Uh, I'm sorry. I guess from a hiver's perspective, she looks absolutely like a snake. Maybe that explains everyone simping. Look at this. Go away. No hive. Protect the queen. We can actually talk to her. Whoa. Yo, what does that mean? Why is she screaming? Why do you scream? Are you okay? I am not going to hurt you, for sure. I just want to talk. She flails wildly and brights in her seat. What is happening, man? Am I picking the wrong answers or what? No, I think I just f***ed up, man. Forgive us, queen. We are sorry, queen. <laughs> Damn, let's get out of here. I fear they will get hostile if I stay here for too long. But maybe Beep can speak to the queen since he's a cutie. I mean, he he's he's also a hiver. Beep, just say something nice, will you? <laughs> nah, man. I totally screwed up here. She doesn't want to talk to us anymore. What the hell is that shit, man? I lost half of my skin traveling to this place. Swimming back to mainland will leave me with... No, no skin on our bones at all anymore. The whole team will be skeletons. Literally. This, this was the worst trip ever. <laughs> I didn't know she's gonna be such a big man. Okay, Beep, stop it. Stop sitting in front of the Hive Queen. She's not going to stop screaming. And will eventually, she will eventually die from all that stress. If we are not gonna stop harassing her. Damn, what a bugger. I see, I think I've seen enough here. There's a ruin down there. Maybe we will find some interesting stuff over there. So the trip hopefully wasn't all that of a waste of a time. You know? Let's go. Okay, let's see. It would be so crazy building a base on one of those islands. Enemies would burn their skin off before even reaching the base. Looks like an ancient workshop. Hope there are no brain dead robots trying to attack us. Okay, it seems, seems safe around here. Let's see if those chests hold anything of value. Whoa! A skeleton masterwork leg! Common leg from one of the general purpose labor services. It's it's good, but nothing special. We'll take that one with us, in case someone loses a leg. Anything else around here? An old world bow specialist grade. That's good. Th that's good. Engineering research. A stealth leg specialist grade. Nice. More engineering research. And I guess that's it. Pretty decent loot around here. 
but nothing spectacular. Well, I guess we're gonna swim back to mainland and from there try to reach the Shack Kingdom from one queen to another. I just wanna take another visit one last time before heading further to the south, before going into that suicide attack against Catalan. Oh damn! <laughs> Looks like our main base is still getting attacked by the United Cities. Even though we destroyed most of their cities and kidnapped their emperor, they're still loyal to their emperor. That's, that's sick. And they're so goddamn strong. Look at this. Why does it take like one harpoon shot to take out Sensei for good and one billion to take out this one United Cities guard? What is that? What is that? Okay, the team's back at Admak, main capital city of the Shek Kingdom. What the hell is going on over here? Didn't that happen before already? It's the holy nation again and they're trying to rescue their general. That's not even the holy lord, just some kind of general. Let's help them out a bit. Oh my god, this is absolutely crazy man. It's, it's a massacre. One Dumb's just jump kicking the hell out of those poor lads. Hi, welcome back to Kenshi. Today, Beep will be attempting the impossible. He's going to stick his cucumber head inside the sleeping Big Thing's mouth. Whilst at the same time, Van Damme be roundhouse kicking the same Big Thing's big ass balls off. Mm. Will Beep be able to beat today's challenge? Find out now in this episode. Actually, let's just skip that. We still want to reach the Ashlands in time. So where do we want to go next? We could take the long route and walk all the way down right next to the sea. All the way south along the shore. Through the Buckmaster's former territory and the United Cities. Up until we reach the bone fields. That would be a pain in the ass for sure. Or better yet, we could just take the direct route through the swamps. Up until we reach the Flats Lagoon. Uh, we already finished off the Buckmaster and the United Cities are way too much a pain in the ass to handle right now. So it's settled. We, let's just take the way through the swamps. I don't want to mess around with that shit. And if I recall correctly, we should still have some friends over there in the swamps. So let's go guys. Oh look, an outpost. Guess this is going to be the last outpost we're gonna see for the Sten Desert and the border zone. After that we'll be entering the swamps, swamp area. But for now let's rest up a little bit, get some rest through the night and with sunrise we'll be heading out again. Good night my little king, sweet dreams big boy. Alright enough, let's go. Whoa, what the heck, freaking dust bandits. Those guys got absolutely no chill at all. Look at Van Damme drop kicking the living shit out of those guys. Doing massive 100 damage with each kick. This lad is insane. Van Damme, let him live. Let him keep his arm at least. And there goes the dust bandits boss. Van Damme didn't even break a sweat. Here we are, the border to the swamp area. How long has it been? How many graphics cards did I burn through to get through this area back in the days? There's a swamp village, so cool. Let's check it out. This place seems oddly familiar. Wait a second, what is that? No way, that, that's our house right here. <laughs> this was our very first house we ever bought. This is insane. There's nothing inside the chest, but we got a bed, a research table and a campfire that is still burning after all this time. Cool shit. Okay, next stop uh, is gonna be Shark, the main city of the swamps. Some of those areas, some of those surroundings seem quite familiar, even though it's just puddles of mud and oddly shaped trees. It still feels like, it still gives me the vibes I've been here before. That's so interesting. Look, we're here. It's shark. It must have been it must have been at least two years since last time I've been here. It still looks so lively and and wet. And there, look, the fish guy is still selling his fish. Fish and hashish. <laughs> and they found a new hive guy as a replacement for green to sit at the exact same spot again. So he can be mobbed again by all the drifters in this bar. I love it. Just like the old days. Infinite Wing Wing, where the hell are you? Wow, 
Infinite Wing Rank just found our old base. The house we bought here at Shark. Dude, you, you've never been here. How did you know? It looks just like we left it back then. And there is still that weird smell in the air. Lovely. Those were some memories. But there's nothing else around here to do. <laughs> so let's just keep on going. We gotta have to reach the Flat Lagoon in time. We are about to enter a region we've never been in before, I think. The Burning Forest. Is that just a name or does it really burn in the Burning Forest? I hired some guards again, just in case. Whoa! Big thing attack! Watch out, guys! Okay, we went through that forest without any complications. There is even a road here, how convenient. Curiosity, the forbidden zone lies beyond, the way to the ashlands. Legend says nobody returns from the ash, that's not what I've heard. They find skinless corpses in the pits, say there's mist ghouls that fly and eat you. Mist ghouls don't exist. I think I've got a mod for that, so they actually do exist. How do you know? I know a guy who knew another guy that knew this woman. <laughs> Whose second uncle saw one while he was selling cactus rum outside Crab Town. Wow, Crab Town. I think we've never visited Crab Town. We once saw a town full of crabs, but we never saw Crab Town. We should at least once uh, in this playthrough should go there and take a visit. And here we are, the Flats Lagoon. Sadly, we do not have any hush on us. Damn, could have made some money. We should have bought some hush from Shark, right? We've just been there. Oh man, I think we're gonna stay here for the night again. And I'll take a look around so we can catch up on some rumors around here. All right, guys, there is nothing really interesting going on around here. But look at this. I look on the map again and found this interesting looking spot not far off from Flats Lagoon. It's a freaking secret drug farm. <laughs> what? How can it be secret if it's marked on my map? Let's let's just head there and check this place out. Gonna be interesting. I also hired some more guards. Now we got a whole S army protecting our butts. Maybe I really should watch out for my money. Somehow this expedition is quite costly. Maybe I should just stop spending money on every small little thing I come across. <laughs> oh look, we're already here. This is that supposed secret drug farm. Those buildings look very interesting. Those are normal storm houses, but with some sort of additional metal framework. Very cool. Looks very neat. Come on, beep. Open that door. I want to see what's inside. What is that? <laughs> a miniature of an iron spider. You gotta be kidding me. Now they come in all shapes and sizes. W what's up with the developers? They're spiders, man. Kill it, guys. Just kill it. Damn, e even though it's so small, it does so much damage. Look, this actually is a goddamn secret drug farm, man. <laughs> I mean, now it's just a drug farm, but there you go. There's so much hem. And there's hashish. <gasps> yeah, baby. The source of life. The brown gold. <laughs> Let's put it all into Paul's backpack. Paul is our mobile hashish storage box. There are like six storm houses around here. We can sell all that hash at Flats Lagoon. We gonna be rich again. Provided those storm houses all have as much hashish inside as this one. Is that ashes flying in front of my screen or is it just dusty in my room? There's so much hush around here. <laughs> it's unbelievable. If that really works, if we can sell all that hush at the Flats Lagoon, then this shit right here is such a game-breaking early money hack. This is the best way to make good money early on when starting out a new game. Very cool. Oh my god, what in god's name is that? I've never seen anything like this before in all my life. It's a black gorilla! This shit can tank so much damage, this is unreal. Yo! Oh my god! What the hell is that place? Now there are giant albino rats coming at us. Or are those bats? I don't even know. Holy hell! Why are there so many of them? I'm so glad I bought a bunch of hired guards with us. Or else this would have been a pain in the ass, man. 
Oh no, the black gorilla is back. All right, guys, we got like 30 stacks of hush in Paul's backpack. This is a lot of good loot, a lot of good money. If we can sell that off at the Flats Lagoon, we gonna be rich again, for sure. Let's leave this place before more of those monsters come and try to get us. Yo, what the hell is that now? Are those bandits? They're wearing like robot masks. Oh my, what? Those guys are hella strong. Van Damme, what are you doing? Oh, he already got hurt from the last fight against those animals. This is so unfair. There are so many of them. Skeleton bandit. Our hired mercenaries are doing a shit job. They're all unconscious already. They got... They got beat up so quickly. Well, most of us still had to recover from the monster attack. Now it's all up to you guys. Protect Paul at all cost. No, Van Damme. The hell are you guys doing tossing him around like that? Okay, I think we managed to fend them off. All because of Beep and Amen. Strongest fighters in our team. Nice job, guys. Everyone is hurt, especially Van Damme. He is experiencing some emotional damage after that toss. Let's head back to the Flats Lagoon, guys. Here we are again. Pern is running straight into the bar with Paul on his shoulders. Oh, this feels so good, man. Damn, look at all that money we got from selling off that hush. Amazing. We made like over $100,000. This should uh, cover all of our upcoming expenses on our way down to the Ashland. Hi guys, welcome back to Kenshi. Yo, guys, try not to disturb Mr. Van Damme's nap time session. He needs it. He needs to collect all his thoughts and his strength for the most epic fight in the Ashlands. The fight of the century against Catelyn, the strongest character in the world of Kenshi. He's probably just reliving all the movies he has ever starred in in his dreams right now. You are a universal soldier. You are a machine, goddammit. You can do it. Anyway, today I've got some big plans for this episode. You see, it already has been a while since Sensei's and Van Damme's teams have seen each other. And I think it's about time we send both teams out into the wild in approximately the same direction. With combined forces, we can fight against whatever horrors the Ashlands gonna throw at us way much better. Oh shit, <laughs> I completely forgot. We still got the one United City's noble all caged up here. Oh my god, she became so thin. She's as thin as a goddamn toothpick. She could easily just fit through those gaps of that cage now. I'm so sorry, man. Oh no! <laughs> she broke down. She's unconscious from too much hunger. I love how everyone's just standing there watching her starve her life away. Well, I guess we should give her something to eat. She just ate that bowl of rice, uh, including the bowl while being unconscious. <laughs> That's crazy. There she goes all fit and healthy again. Oh god. Well, I can't really take her with us on our journey to the Ashlands. She would just be a burden on our shoulders, literally. I also can't just set her free. She'd just run back to the United Cities again. Let's give her as much food as she can carry and hope we'll be back in time before she starves to death. I still don't get, I don't understand why can't we recruit Bo into our team. I think we did everything we needed to do. We fulfilled all uh, the recruitment requirements. She even says if we ever need help, we can ask her to join. But look, there's there's no bubble. There's no interaction speaking bubble. I cannot talk to her. Well, that's a bugger. All right, guys, are you ready? Where do we want to go? Oh, the unwanted zone. That sounds spooky. Stope's gamble, whatever that means. Oh, that's the same uh, zone where the secret drug farm was at. Let's meet up somewhere in Stopes Gamble then. Should be close. A nice straight route here through the unwanted zone. Six massive units strolling through the desert. Whoa! Who are those guys? <laughs> Two escaped slaves. Oh yes, just another day in the world of Kenji, I guess. 
Dude, what? I just checked on my base for two small little seconds and the team's already balls deep in some kind of hostile territory. Look at all those nests. Could be some friendly animals or some freaking big things. I don't really want to find out. The sooner we get out of here, the better, guys. It's especially hard to make out anything when it's so freaking dark. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Those goddamn crabs. I swear to God, you could have the best freaking team in the world. Big things always will be an annoyance to deal with. Today we're gonna see it all, I guess. There's a freaking black gorilla. What is this, guys? What is this guy doing out here now? Oh, I see. Of course, we're at Stopes Gamble now. That's like the early beginnings of the Ashlands. You can tell by the ash flying on, on my screen. They will suck out your eyeballs and leave you blind in the Ashlands. What? I do not need eyeballs. The Sheik are trained in the art of blind war as mere children. What the hell are you talking about? I am prepared. My eyeballs are ready. <laughs> oh, they're talking about eyeball sucking monsters that presumably should live in the Ashlands. I don't know about that, man. But we'll see, I guess. All right, Mr. Van Damme, enough sleeping around. Let's go and try to meet the other team halfway. Oh, look, <gasps> Team Sensei found a ruined town. Let's check it out. What the hell is happening with the water around this place? It looks like you could drink from it once and then never again. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, look, there's light. They got lamps. There are even trees growing out of the buildings and the gates. There's a whole goddamn forest inside that ruined town. No way anyone lives here. <gasps> What's going on? Van Damme, are you alright? What in God's name is that? <laughs> I've never ever seen anything like this before in all of my Kenshi career. Look how meaty those guys are. Me smash tiny. Hur hur is tiny. Me want to hug the tiny. Oh hell no. Why do all of them share Hulk Hogan's body man? Let's try to spread everyone around a bit. They will probably attack with martial arts. Let's go, Van Damme. Show them how real martial arts works. Well, <laughs> that went surprisingly easy and fast. Apparently, steel still proves to be more reliant than juicy flesh and amateur level hand to hand combat. So, suck it. God damn it, what is it now with Team 2? Look at this, some albino land beds. Got lost, you little piece of shit. You guys really want to mess around with Sensei. He ate beds for breakfast back in the days. Holy shit, why are there so many of them? Dude! Guys, you can do it. I believe in you. Ruka, no! How could this happen? Everyone's unconscious. There were just too many of them. Just you wait, guys. Help us on the way. Madame himself is struggling a bit at the moment, but right after that we'll be heading towards you guys. Just don't you worry. Where are those hivers coming from? Southern Hive. Hmm, interesting. Okay, those rats are gone. Luckily for us, they weren't after our meat. It was probably Sensei's old unwashed stinky pants that threw them off. Patch yourself up guys and stay low until help arrives. Oh man! Look at this, I can already see them in the distance. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh man, look at this. This whole place is infested with those stupid ass creatures, man. There are hundreds of them. <laughs> look who's here, look who's here. Sensei, Van Damme, back together. The boys are back together. I can't, man. This is such a heartwarming moment. Cool shit, let's put them back together into one team. Okay now, that's a big ass team. Let's quickly check out this town for anything out of value and then just keep moving on. Nothing. This place has nothing. This place is a waste. Well, let's keep on going. Oh, very cool. Look, the Leviathans are here too. Just, just strolling around. 
Don't know if it's such a good idea letting those things uh, drink from that radioactive water though. Mm, look, I can already see some kind of structure in the distance. It's not even marked on the map yet, but I can already see it. Let's check it out. Oh shit, a black gorilla! This should be no problem to handle for like 14 uh, soldiers. We're like an army now. We're fully stacked with the best fighters the world of Kenshi has ever seen. Well, that was too easy. Can we maybe swim through the water? <laughs> oh shit. No, I don't think so. The water not only looks toxic, but it's also quite toxic. <laughs> How are there just so many of them? It's insane. Okay guys, let's get on that ruin. Just a quick little swim through the acid water. Oh damn, there actually is some interesting loot lying all around this place. Couple katanas, some other weapons, all guarded by just another black gorilla. Alright guys, let's go, kill that thing. What? King Gorilla? 96 attack? <laughs> Is that the strongest gorilla in existence? Oh my god, what the actual f***? This thing is massive! He seemed so small from the distance. Look how small everyone looks compared to that animal. I don't know if we can beat such a monster. Holy shit. Let's try it. This is gonna be a hard fight, man. Oh my god, it's attack speed. Holy shit. This is incredible fast. What the hell are we even doing here? Van Damme, fight it! You can do it! <laughs> we're taking a lot of hits here, but we're also dealing a lot of damage. Slowly but steady. Yeah, baby! He's down! Quickly, skin him! He's dead. We won. Damn, dude, that was frightening. But we actually managed to beat that little rascal. What a day to be alive. Let's claim our trophy. <laughs> what the hell? Either Amen is strong as hell, or that gorilla is light as a feather. Let's go, Amen. Throw him off the edge. <laughs> oh man. Poor dude. <laughs> well, we found a katana, MK1. That's that's good, but we already have something better. A plank MK3. Uh, but we already got something better. A guardless katana. <laughs> it's okay. Well, the loot could have been a little bit better, but well, anyway, there, there's still one more building left. Let's check it out. Oh man, where are those rats coming from now again? Who the hell invited you guys? Yo, stop! If that's the lair of the King Gorilla's mother, I'm out of here. Oh, seems just like any other ancient ruin. Cool. And it's guarded by only one more iron spider. This, this will be easy. No worries, guys. Alright, let's check out what we can find here. Our two best lock picker, Beep and Van Damme. Let's pick those locks. Well, we found some splint kits, more splint kits, a lot of first aid kits around here. What do we have here? CPU unit. I think I have found CPU units before in the past. Do they do anything good? Do we need them? Man, I don't really know. Well, we'll take them with us anyway. A lot of useless stuff around here, but we got one more chest over here. That's a big one. Ancient safe. This one looks like it actually could hold some good loot. Well, we found some more generator cores and some repair kits. Cool. Hi guys, welcome back. It's me, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Hi. the king of the Ashlands. Look at this cinematic view. Absolutely stunning. This game makes you feel like you're in a post-apocalyptic world. It makes you feel like depression is running through your veins. There's a freaking volcano. No shot, all the ashes flying around my scream is actually coming from there. That would explain a lot. And that leviathan next to that mountain looks so small in comparison. It's so cute. 
Now, can we actually climb that mountain? Well, I think it doesn't hurt to try. We should definitely try climbing that mountain. So, let's go guys. Just gotta have to swim through all that burning piss water again. What the hell is that? Looks interesting. And what the hell are those? <laughs> oh man. Oh, goats. Look, there's a whole ass passageway here in this uh, chasm. That's pretty neat. It shows us where we have to go. It's like a little path. Discovered unknown. What does that mean? Oh, look, the, that's a city. Must be a city of some sort. Let's check it out, guys. Oh, holy shit. That's a whole ass Leviathan. Just, just chilling here. He seems stuck though. Poor thing. I suppose our guys know what they're doing. They're running with absolute dedication. They know the way as if they have been there before. Look at this. That's so cool. Some sort of ramp. Or what do you call it? Hairpin turn. I guess that's the word for it. It looks like we're going all the way up that mountain. Oh my. Look at this. There's like a whole ass city up here. I didn't expect that. That's amazing. But no guards? Where are all the people at? Probably no one comes up here anyway, so they don't see the need in guarding shit. <gasps> There's someone. Of course, it's the anti-slavers. Someone in the comments told me to look for them. He said they're not that far off. He was right. Here they are. This dude is massive. Look at those muscles and that mustache. That's a chat for sure. Let's check those buildings around here. There are definitely a lot of cool houses around here we could buy. They even got a whole ass veggie farm in here. Congrats on taking down Igor, comrade. <laughs> well, no problem. Honored Van Damme. Those people love me. Guess I did the right thing after all. Someone in the comments said, if we want to recruit Bo, we need to be allied with the anti-slavers. So let's do it. Let's find someone to talk with. <gasps> this is him, guys. Oh, no. That's the legendary Tin Fist himself. He's like as tough and uh, as strong as Catelyn. This guy is a legend. He's one of the strongest for sure. 100k bounty and his martial arts is at 122. Damn dude, chill out with those stats. What the hell? He be looking like a chat though. Got the drip. Welcome to the anti-slavers, brother. <laughs> brother from another mother. Hell. It's Tin Fist. You're my hero. No, let's let's go with who are you? Name's Tin Fist. I'm the leader of the anti-slavers. Cool. We devote our lives to freeing slaves and beating up slavers. We have been doing the same shit for years. Why do you guys mostly fight without weapons? I didn't even notice they fight without weapons. And those guys literally sitting there with two swords on their backs. I was taught by Get Wood. Get Wood? What? Get Wood the Soft? <laughs> what is that name? Brother. He was the founder of modern martial arts. Got his name by never killing anybody, despite being undefeated. After he died, I kept on with his no killing tradition for 150 years. Holy. Then I sort of relapsed. <laughs> what? But still try to minimize loss of life whenever possible. <laughs> nice. We're thankful for your hard work. All right, let's talk to this guy now. I want to join the anti-slavers, please. Nom, 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 nom. Yes, sign me up. Relation with United Cities decreased. Relation with Traders Guild decreased. Well, I don't think it can get any lower than it already was. So no worries. Don't give up the freedom. We've got your back. Nice, cool. Tin Fist approves. We are now part of the anti-slavers. Holy shit. Where did that black gorilla came from? That's what you get for not uh, positioning guards on the turrets. What the hell? Burn, I'm coming with you. I could use some action with the legend themselves. What the hell is going on? A cheer to burn. <laughs> Hooray. What the heck is happening? My dude got two groupies running after his ass. Now they're just following or what? Interesting. You know, guys, let's do some actual trolling and put this black gorilla 
on Tin Fist's bed. So when he wakes up, he's gonna get a big surprise. No, th that's just the message that we might be heading back here in the future to assert dominance over Tin Fist when we're done with Catelyn. Nah, I'm just joking. Or am I? Dude, what the hell are you doing? No, it was my surprise. Don't just toss out that poor gorilla. God damn it. Well, I guess there's nothing else for us to do here. So let's keep on moving. Let's head south. I want to reach the Fishman Island. Some of you guys mentioned in the comments that there might be some interesting stuff to see. I'm not sure what could be so interesting about literal fish, but hell, let's just take a look. Okay, what about grief raves? They're definitely real. Oh, not this again. They're talking about monsters of the Ashlands again. I hear they eat brains. <laughs> nah, they ain't grief raves. raves. Grief raids don't eat meat. They just possess you and burst you inside out. What the hell? <laughs> ah, okay, that's so much better. And there I was worried for a second. <laughs> I love how they're desperately trying to convince themselves not to go to the Ashlands with all those horror stories. Guys, we're going there and it's just a question of time. I've got a strange feeling we might be close to some kind of hiver territory. Those southern hive guys are everywhere. Oh look, a white gorilla. What? The most crazy thing about those hivers here is they ain't naked. They're actually well equipped. They seem a bit more intelligent than the hivers we've met before. Still, they're so hostile. Oh damn. We just stumbled over a goddamn big thing nest. For God's sake. And there is shit everywhere. Oh, big thing eggs. Let's kill those shitheads and make ourselves a delicious omelette afterwards. How about we head to this place first? Right here, Katun. I think I've never been there, but I'm not sure. Look, another ancient ruin of some sort. Old prison. Not any old prison, but the old prison. Everyone knows about that one. That sounds interesting. Well, I wonder who the hell we can set free from there. So let's check it out. Only if we ever manage to get past those stupid big things, man. They're everywhere. I can't even walk for five seconds. They're already the next ones. And as a group, it's so annoying fighting those things. All right, we're here. Look at this. This prison has its own prison walls. A great outpost, actually. Okay, Vanda, Sneak in and take a peek inside. Oh, man. That's no prison. That's the gorilla bandits hideout. Those meatheads actually managed to build uh, or at least occupy an outpost. And that's their leader. <laughs> This guy got the juiciest lips I've ever seen on oh, a man. Actually kind of cute. And look at his hands. Literal gorilla body. He got a bounty of 50k. Okay, that's impressive. This guy could mean uh, trouble. But I think we're stronger. You know what? Let's get his ass. Let's kill every single one of those idiots and raid their base to the ground. Dude, they're so weak. It's like we're slicing through butter. They don't even stand a chance. Give us something, man. Let's clear the next floor. Me bored of tiny people breaking into home. Why always try to hunt gorilla? <laughs> okay, now I feel kind of bad, man. So sad. <laughs> Dude, stop. Holy shit. Wait a minute. This guy's attacks are massive and he is like the only one uh, swinging a sword. Yo, what the hell is that damage? Holy shit. This guy knocked three of our people unconscious with one or two swings. He could have severed some limbs here with ease. We wouldn't have stopped him early. Green is in absolute rage. Look at him. That gorilla guy just destroyed both of his legs. But he's still out there attacking that dude with full force. Oh, <laughs> oopsie. 
Now I feel kinda bad, man. We annihilated their home for no reason at all. Just because we can. And that poor dude now lost his leg. That's what playing 9000 hours of Kenshi makes you be like, guys. You, you just lose all morals. So don't do it, guys. Just, just watch me do it. Damn, this guy got masterwork leather armor, specialist samurai boots, a specialist t-shirt and a unique Meitu exile plank. That thing is worth more than the actual bounty on his head. Well, that's an actual good find. I guess, I guess we'll stay here for the night. Some of us got heavily injured by the dude and need to rest now. Ah, the desert at night looks absolutely beautiful. Alright guys, had a wonderful sleep, everyone's at full health again. Oh no, I guess I left the gate open and now the big things are chewing on the dead uh, or the still half conscious gorilla guys. Well, can't change anything about it now, can we? I can only feel like a little bit of remorse. Let's head out and keep on going. We're not far away from Khatun. Let's go there and check that place out. I've only started to notice now that the bone fields is actually a place filled up with bones. There are bones everywhere. Look at this massive piece of bone. What kind of animal was that? It's a whole ass whale. Okay guys, we're here. This is Katun. Looks, looks impressive. They got a pretty good defense. A lot of buildings. But who the hell lives here? Uh, drifters? More drifters? Probably the tech hunters. Oh no! <laughs> it's the United Cities again. Dude! I love how every time we go near a United City city, the guards and the shinobi thieves are just starting to fight. As soon as we get there, they're starting to fight to the death. Before that, they're, they're chill. There are so many of them. And they got harpoon turrets. I'd love to go in there and just destroy their city and or kidnap their noble i don't know by the looks i don't think we could survive that samurai guards are just on another level maybe another time i'm sorry my shinobi friends but i can't take the risk uh oh some guards have already spotted us they know us they despise everyone that belongs to van damme's crew let's get the hell out of here look at how small everyone is compared to those bones they're massive. Here we are. The edge of the world. Just one small little swim and we're on the Fishman Island. And also maybe one small little fight against some more big things. Alright, the water should be shallow here according to the map. Oh, wait a second. What the hell is that? Oh man, there's a bridge. There's a goddamn bridge connecting the island uh, to the mainland. How convenient. Let's just take the bridge then. How cool is that? Fishman Island sounds like a place where people come together uh, and like just do fishing. There's some people. What in God's name is that man? <laughs> and here I thought I've seen it all. What is going on with those alien ugly ass looking creatures man? Dude, those are the fish man? <laughs> uh, hell no. <laughs> uh, I feel sick to my stomach. Look at those feet! Fishman Island. There's supposed to be a famous sword here. <gasps> wow, a famous sword. Wouldn't mind getting my hands on that small fortune. <laughs> Look at this dude, they're so weak. Okay guys, I guess we found us a new target. I wanna get that sword for sure. Hey guys, welcome back to the world of Kenshi. Today we'll embark on a journey never ventured before. We'll be setting foot on the Fishman Island, a place so unknown to humankind and so dangerous, it will definitely blow your socks off. Hey man is still carrying the Gorilla Bandits leader from last episode. I still can get over how massive this dude looks on Eamon's small shoulders. You guys might have seen it last episode already. This island is inhabited by the most ugly ass shit looking creatures this game has ever thrown in front of us. Freaking fish people. And there are so many of them. If we want to traverse through those lands, we gotta have to get rid of them. Man, 
They're so weak. Probably also very slimy and stinky. I wouldn't want to touch those. Van Damme just jump kicks through them, doing so much damage. Like he's cutting through butter, kicking uh, through butter. Okay, that was way too easy. Those guys will stand absolutely no chance against us. So eradicating them from this island won't take long. Oh, look, there is a second bridge. This island is actually well connected to the mainland. And there, look, back there, there must be the fishman's hideout or something. That's our target. A boat. I've seen quite a amount of them around here stranded. But this one looks kinda intact, no? Maybe we can just ride off with that thing. Barge wreck. No faction. Well, just another prop. Guess we got baited again. Get it baited. <laughs> baited on the fish island <laughs> no but dude just think about it it would be so cool if we just could take off on the ship straight to the ashlands or even beyond maybe there's something more out there than just this just this island fishman isle there it is let's go get them fish heads and make some fish sticks i really wonder where those guys originally came from i mean look at them they're, they must be aliens or, or something from outer space. Alien looking as fart heads. I just cannot believe they em emerged from the sea at some point. No fish can be that ugly. They have their camps everywhere around here on this island. Can't even move an inch. And the only loot they got is just some stinky fish. <gasps> Maybe they were actual human at some point. They ate so much fish, they themselves just became fish. Okay, that's their base. This place looks like a shithole. Those buildings are all destroyed. And it doesn't look like there's any loot around here. Oh, whoa, look, that must be their leader. It's the Alpha Gurgler. The other ones are just betas. He's the real deal. <laughs> okay, he just survived like two seconds longer than the other Gurglers. And this guy has nothing on him. Just some stinky ass fall uh, raw meat. Where's my legendary sword? Yeah, maybe that wasn't their leader. Maybe there's another big fish guy. An actual Sigma Gurgler chat. All right, we killed every single one of those guys. No loot at all around here. No, not a single piece of anything. So I guess this is not their actual hideout. There's an ancient ruin. Let's check that place out next. Look at that structure. It, it looks, it really looks amazing. But that's also just cosmetics. Oh, discovered island lab, an actual laboratory. Oh, I get it. I bet some crazy scientist did some experiments crossing humans with fish. That's the actual origin story of those guys debunked. And maybe that crazy scientist is the one with the legendary sword. Could be, right? Here goes nothing. I'm ready for anything. Let's go, Van Damme. Check that place out. Okay, first floor looks pretty normal. Similar to the other dozen ancient ruins we've been at. Got some skeleton beds here. A bunch of gurgler eggs. There's one gurgler on the second floor. Cool, cool. A metal box. Whoa! What the hell is that? This is what I call a jackpot. That's the Ultra Alpha Sigma Omega Fishman Leader Chat of the Fishman Island. King Gurgler. And he got the sword on his back. This one must be it. They're standing around him as if he's like a messiah. Oh, look, the holy flame. Could it be a hint to their origin story? <laughs> what the hell is that? Fish bed. That's a bed made out of fish. It's... It's literal fish bed. It's just a pile of badly textured dried fish. Amazing. This dude looks massive and they're hovering above the ground. All right, let's do this. Let's just storm in and take them out. No plan or whatsoever. Just brute force. Wait a second. Why does it say shopkeeper? Huh? And there's a small holy nation emperor statue. So they must be related to the holy nation. I knew it. Heretics! Let's kill them all. Okay, the small ones do little to no damage, but the King Gurgler attacks are massive. I believe in you guys. 
You got this. Sensei, my most valuable asset. Do something. Okay, this looks a little bit concerning. Guys, what the hell are you doing? They're dropping left and right. Oh, I think we got him. <laughs> I didn't even see. It's so chaotic. The king is uh, unconscious. Fast, let's get the sword before he wakes up again. Combat cleaver. A Meitu class combat cleaver. All right. Well, it's a good sword, but nothing spectacular, to be honest. That's a good early game weapon, but yeah, nonetheless, it's okay. Cool, cool find. What's that? <laughs> no way! <laughs> the gurgler hat. Holy shit. That's like $60,000 worth. That's amazing. The decapitated head of a king gurgler. This trophy is worth a heavy bounty. Nice. Really cool. That fight was quite exhausting. We got a lot of injured troops here. We will rest on those fish beds, I guess. And then we're gonna keep on going. Leave this place for good since we're all finished here and stuff. <laughs> Those fish beds must stink. There's, there's a fish tickling Van Damme's little sensitive nose. How do you gonna sleep like that? Okay, let's check those chests around here. Maybe there's some more cool loot. Fish. Wow. Another sword. Uh, it's okay. Damn, an AI core for research purpose. Very good find. There's so much fish around here. I don't have so much storage room for all that fish. Another AI core and masterwork scout leg. Dude, there's so much fish. I can't carry so much. But somehow I want it all. I mean, with all that fish up our pockets, we won't starve traveling to the Ashlands. Our breath will smell so foul and disgusting. Catlon's smelling sensor receptors will just simply short circuit. And we won. Easy win. Will you give me a massage? <laughs> I feel incredibly stiff. Sensei, this guy. How can one be so bold? Then I'll massage myself if I can just... If I can just reach. Okay, <laughs> dude. All right, enough sleeping around. Let's get out of this shithole. We want to head east from here. So the next region we are going for will be Royal Valley or Cheetah's Run. We're so close to the Ashlands. I can feel it already. The end is near. And that must be the last gurglers nest. I swear to God, those things are so annoying. They ain't that strong, but they are quite fast. Or we're just too slow. That's it, I guess. This place was nice. I won't miss it. Island Lab, dead. Fish Isle, actual number of residents, 17? Oh no, those must be the gurgler eggs we spared. Those children will grow up and seek for revenge for the deaths of their parents and their relatives we <laughs> eradicated. Ah well, whatever, let them come. Seems like if we go through Cheetah's Run, we'll be walking along the shore. This could be interesting. Let's go, let's go through the Cheetah's Run. Oh no, Iron Spiders. Another very annoying enemy in Kenshi. Discovered fishing village. Is that the real one this time? Did we actually found a legit fishing village and not a fish village? Apparently there's a big difference here in Kenshi. This place is insane, man. Those mountains make us seem so small. What the hell is that? Hello? Are you alright game? Is this for real? Another iron spider patrol group. There's like 30 of them. It's already hard enough beating one. Maybe we can sneak around. Whoa! Another one! Come on! For real? Who even lives in a place like this? Let's check out this building here. Oh! Those are robots! Arrow code. Old machines. We have seen those guys before. I think they're pretty chill. <laughs> what is going on? Police! Police! What the hell did I do wrong? 
Is it, is it because I'm trespassing? I didn't do anything, man. Oh my god. They're everywhere. Run, guys. Even the iron spiders got alarmed. Dude, this is not right. How many of them are there? I can't, I can't outrun them. More iron spiders. God damn. You gotta be kidding. I mean, look at this. There are currently 46 iron spiders and 29 non-negotiable old empire police robots running after our poor little asses. The team is carrying heavy load and is still a little bit exhausted from the last couple encounters, which slows us down quite a bit, which means we can't outrun those robots. Contact is imminent. Chances of surviving this unfortunate encounter are very low, close to zero. Everyone will die a painful and agonizing death also guys merry christmas happy holidays happy new year best wishes to all of you watching at the time uh, in the christmas spirit i know i'm a bit late i'm sorry uh, i was distracted i wish you all the best guys hope you got a lot of cool presents and a good start into the new year now let's see how do we get out of here without losing uh, too many of our people Seems like the ones slowing us down are Amen, uh, Burn and Wing Wang. We could just let them get picked up by some other members that are stronger and faster, but I should have reacted a little bit faster in the first place, I guess. Because now we are completely surrounded by those shitheads and every move I'm gonna make could cost us some more injuries, which in turn would slow us down even more. Well. <laughs> That's quite a delicate situation we're in. Eamon is just so slow because he's still carrying the Gorilla Bandit's leader on his shoulders. What the? I mean, who the hell needs that freaking idiot anyways? Just drop him. Okay, here goes nothing. Holy shit, that's brutal. Oh no, we lost someone. Those guys have absolutely no chill. That's your typical Kenshi justice system. It's as if, almost as if it got inspired from real life scenarios. Too real. Okay, I think we're a little bit faster now than they are. That's good. We should be able to outrun them now. We only had to leave uh, green behind. How's he doing? And where the hell did the Gorilla Bandit went off so fast? With only one leg. How? He's just gone. All right, we are able to outrun those iron spiders with no problem. But those skeletons, terror still keeping up. So annoying. Dead fishing village. Not so dead after all. Green, fast, treat your wounds. And maybe let's check if there's some more loot around this village. Should be safe now. Nothing. <laughs> like nothing valuable at all. This place offers nothing out of value. I mean, in the whole, even in a more negative way. It keeps taking value from you. Being here, can't recommend this place. Gets a 0 out of 10 from me. Wouldn't stay again. Oh, look, we found an outpost. We're still getting chased, man. You know what? How many of them even are there? Looks, looks like there are more of them than before. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe, maybe we can beat them. I mean, we're pretty strong. And beating up Catelyn won't be any more easy, right? Let's do this, guys. If we don't beat them here, they will hunt us forever. We're actually stronger individually. But for every single one of us, we get three or more police robots to fight against. It seems like they're winning just because of sheer numbers. Look, how is this even fair? Oh! Green got here. He's back. Wait a second. Those doors weren't open before. Don't tell me there were even more police robots just uh, coming out from those buildings. Damn dude, I'm completely fucked. Oh man, I'm so dumb. Why did I start the fight right here at those buildings? I didn't even know who, who or what's inside. Let's try to lure a couple of them away from here with Green. Most of our people are downed already. Sensei, on the other hand, is doing a good job though. Look at how many of them there are. I swear to God, they're like multiplying. This is, this is not normal. It's just Sensei fighting now. <laughs> He's the only one left. This lad. How did he get downed like in one hit by those easy peasy fish people last episode? 
And now he's the biggest Chad in Kenshi history, fighting for his last breath. Maybe it would be better if he gets downed already. The others. He inspires the others to stand up again. Instead of staying low and preserving their health. Guys, what the hell are you doing? Okay, now now the iron spirals are here. That's a GG. Yep, there, there he goes. Wow, this is so much fun, guys. This is great. The best thing about this is they won't leave. I can't get up and treat the wounded. And if we stay like this, we're gonna bleed to death. This is bullshit. It does look especially bad for Paul. Oh no, my big little fella. Oh shit, he's about to die. No, Paul. Do you do you know how much you mean to me? We need a cool ass name for this one. How about this? Look at this unit. We got our first girl and his name is Paul. I guess Chad lost the leg. We still have a chance. Green, one of our fastest boys. We can pick up Paul with Green and bring him to safety. We just have to act quickly. Every second counts. Holy shit. Look at how fast my little boy is. Run green. Run. Try treating Paul's wounds. Nice. I think we can actually lure them away from the others. Alright guys, use the chance to treat the wounded. Especially Chad, who just became a puddle of blood. There are still some police guards here that didn't manage to keep up with the rest. Damn. To think about it, if Green wouldn't have been separated from the team early on, some of us definitely would have died. He's the hero of this episode. He is still running on and off, treating Paul's wounds. Look at how far he already went. This is insane. Discovered! <gasps> nice ruin. Okay, man. No shot this is how this game works. Now you're just f***ing with me, right? This game knows how to get the piss out of me. They honestly think I'm this stupid. This shithole looks exactly like the other two uh, police robot infested places. It already updated to horrible ruin. <laughs> Just stop this shit, man. We're gonna take a look in here when, when we get rid of those guys first. Dude, they won't give me enough time to heal uh, Paul, Paul's uh, poor little right foreleg. Oh shit, he's about to lose his leg, man. Come on. Oh, some Hiver locals. Here, play with each other for a bit. Okay, nice. We did it. Paul is safe again. Everything's fine. Everyone survived. I can't believe it. Yo, we found a Hiver's base. And they are hella aggressive. They will get along well with those police robots. Very nice. Let's send Green back to the team again. Alright, let's check out those ruins now. They must have something out of value, please. Since we went through so much shit. Oh man, <laughs> there's not even garbage in those crates. It's literally nothing, nothing at all. Nichts, niente. What the f*** is that bullshit, man? Like we nearly died getting here and that's what we get. Oh man, there's some police dudes that got left behind. And at the same time, Green chilling out here with Paul. So glad Paul made it out alive after all. I wouldn't be able to keep on playing without him, guys. He's he's like a cousin to me. Damn, even like five of them is still a challenge to fight against. Or no, it's probably just that my team's heavily injured. Must be it, must be it. War Green! Where the hell did you find even more of them police dudes? Oh man, does that ever end? You know, since Chad lost his left leg in the last fight, how about we give him a proper replacement for that? A beautiful left scout leg. Here you go, my friend. Run free like the wind. Next stop is gonna be the horrible ruin. We really need to find ourselves some beds or something to get some rest. We need to get our health up. And this time I won't be sending in everyone at once like last time. Just one fast guy to scout out the area. So everyone can safely get out if shit is getting too steamy. Let's go beep, check it out. Whoa, what the hell? What in God's name is that? Are those robots wearing a uh, human skin? Honestly, this is pretty f***ed. Chris, what the hell man? What the hell were you guys smoking man? Dude, curses, bloody curses to the f 
fucking biological robots. He means humans, right? You, you are no different to the skeletons. Damn, dude. They look horrible, but they're actually quite chill. As long as they're chill, I'm good. Let's see if they got any loot around here. What's this? A peeler machine. Yo, peep, what the hell are you doing? Whoa! What in God's name? Do no, get him out of there. Beep, do something, man. Oh my God. Damn, dude. Horse, I'm so sorry, man. It's an actual skin peeler machine. I didn't know, man. I guess we can stay a while inside those shacks. Those skin bandits won't mind, right? Welcome back to Kenji. Today we are guests at the Skin Bandits village. It's a lovely place with very hospitable individuals. They are robots wearing human skin. I mean, they're hospitable in the sense of they haven't skinned us alive by throwing us into a skin peeler machine yet. So that makes them very nice type of guys. Very cool. I have noticed they do not seem that interested in our robot or hiver companions. However, I can't really say the same goes for our human companions. They seem particular interested in Van Damme right now. I mean, they're chill, right? They haven't done shit so far. And we need a place to rest for a bit. We need to recover our wounds and stuff. And those buildings are the only thing that can provide shelter right now. We just have to behave inconspicuously. And best thing would be to not strike a conversation with them. Beep, please. It doesn't seem like we can talk to any of them. It appears they do not have a leader, sadly. It might only be like an outpost of some sort. Uh, what? I'll make this quick. Flesh brother. Oh my God. They're attacking. Why now? Savant has taught us not to trust metal freaks. Dude, you yourself are the metal freaks here. What the hell are they talking about? Oh, they seem kind of strong. They're all coming out of their buildings slowly and menacing. What do you mean with sorry? Shut the f up, man. Okay, that's way too many. Let's get out of here, guys. Oh, no. What is happening? No, chat. They, they just put chat into a peeler machine. No way. We have to rescue him fast. Whoa, Van Damme. As if. I'm sorry. I just, I blew up. This can't be. This is not how I imagined Van Damme's journey would end. Green fast, get him out of there. 0% lockpicking chance. Are you for real? What, what do you mean Van Damme can't lockpick? He's not unconscious, dude. This dude is literally screaming his lungs out. Beep, you gotta have to do something, man. Please. You gotta have to get this man out of there. Your best friend. They somehow do not mind Beep at all. What a blessing. Nice, we got Van Damme out of there. We have to leave this place fast. Uh, let's get uh, Chad out next. Dude, beep. What the hell is that luck? It's a 33% chance. Come on. Chad is already losing armor. It won't take long until it reaches his skin. Fast. Dude, luck is just not on our side today. Oh man, we are taking way too long. Now they got horse into a pillar machine again. This guy hasn't recovered from last time yet. Okay, now this is getting a little bit weird, beep. What the hell, man? Don't worry, Chad. We can fix that. Yes! Now fast out with him. Get him far, far away from here. Now it's just horse left. Come on, my brother. Dude, beep is definitely taking his time with those rescues. Huh? Who the hell is in here? Oh, holy shit, a random hiver. Well, that's none of our business. I guess as long as someone is in one of those peeler machines, their hunting lust is sated for a time. That's our chance to get the hell out of here. And again, just like last time, those hivers are saving our asses. 
Dude, I've never lost so many legs in this short amount of time. And we're not even in the Ashlands yet. We're just scratching the surface. Okay, I think that's all of them. That was something. But we're still not safe yet. Our team is just not capable to fight off bigger or stronger enemies in their current state right now. We're completely wasted, absolutely wasted. We need to traverse with caution. What would be the next safe place we can reach from here? Let's see, at least we're done with Cheetah's run I guess. Can't recommend anyone going there. Place is a death trap with no loot. You gain absolutely nothing from a trip to this place. The next uh, big city would be Spring, the anti-slavers hideout. Glad they are our allies. We are so close to the Ashlands. But before we go there, we need to be in top form. Let's go guys, slowly but surely. Beep, an iron spider, kill it! Beep wins. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cut most of this out, uh, since we're just slowly walking. Like, I mean, my grandpa would have already reached spring by that time. Zonoros Dark. Whoa. <laughs> That's an introduction. Maybe we should take another route? Like, I mean, Zonoros Dark is the only thing between us and the Ashlands. Maybe that would uh, not be a safe place to traverse for now. Ever hear of that famous adventurer group, the Ashland Drifters? Apparently the only people to come back out of the Ashlands alive. Seriously, not the time for this conversation. We're just getting to the Ashlands. If the acid rain don't melt our skin off, it will be the dragons that finish us off. What? I don't even know whose idea it was to come here. I guess I'm the idiot for coming along. <laughs> It was one dumb's idea, the guy that's currently unconscious on hanging off the shoulder. Van Damme's ultimate goal is to become the strongest in all of Kenshi, by beating every other strongest end boss this world has to offer. If there's no one else left that might be stronger than Van Damme, Van Damme's the strongest. This game man, who made that shit, this pathfinding man. Oh. Beep, are you smoking crack marijuana? Ugh. Oh my god, I can't believe it. We actually made it. <laughs> we are finally here, back at spring and everyone survived, more or less. You know, this little trip made me think, maybe going into the Ashlands like this won't be the best move one could make. I mean, we cut our ass beat by all kinds of different humanoids imaginable the last couple of episodes. Going full force into the Ashlands like this probably won't get us far. I fear our run could end as fast as it starts. That's why I assigned some of our most charismatic members to try and convince some strong warriors to join our cause back at the home front. You hit right, we actually managed to convince someone to join our forces. Could you guess who it is? It's our Russian comrade, the ex-United Cities General, Igor. I mean Igor the Bear, possibly the strongest hiver in the game. <sighs> at first I wanted to let him stay at our base, to defend the base, in case of some stronger enemies managed to break through our defense. But after that humiliating trip we just endured, I thought, the hell. Let's bring him to the team. He will provide some good fighting power. He doesn't have like the best armor the game has to offer right now, but I think it's good enough. I also tried to convince Emperor Tengu and Lord Phoenix to join us, but they just start crying as soon as I try to talk to them. So I let them be. Let's get Igor a sword and send him on his way. Or maybe two swords. There he goes. He hasn't seen the outside of those walls since the time when we captured him. Those were some good memories. Let's see how strong he really is. Can he beat three simple big things? Let's say I could beat them with ease. Oh, that reminds me of something, guys. I have to tell you. Like IRL stuff. You know, I commute with my motorcycle on nearly a daily basis for years now. And that shit never happened to me before. 
So I was riding down that road, like, how do you say that in English? It's a country road, you know? I was going, uh, I was not slow. I'm like driving and out of the sudden, three stupid ass sheep just jump right in front of me onto the street. You know, in Germany, there are a lot of countrysides, a lot of villages, lots of animals like cows, sheep and stuff. Normally, they are fenced in, but those three probably broke out or something. Well, I had to hit the brakes really, really hard. And I kid you not, I stopped right in front of them. Like, literally, if I would have reached out with my head after stopping, I could have touched them. The best thing, they just stood there, frozen in the middle of the road. I honked them away from the street and drove off. Moral of the story, even if you are the best, big things can still hurt you. But Igor tanked that damage pretty hard. This guy is massive. All right, let's go. I also wanted to visit a place where we supposedly can get some incredible armor. Gonna check out that place on our way. It should be somewhere around here, at Vent, inside this chasm. We just have to swim up that river, I suppose. What interesting little fellas decided to hang out here. Look, <laughs> very cool. There, it even says trade. Let's take a look. Headless skeletons. Ugh. And that must be their boss. It's the Armor King. I've heard of the Armor King before. Armor King, Armor King. Saving lives with Armor Ring. <laughs> Would you like to buy the best armor in the world? Oh, best armor in the world. Nice. Let's check it out. Well, it's okay. Uh, mostly light armor, but yeah, specialist great. So it's good. Could use that Hiver shirt. That's good. Humans are weak against stabbing. Armor King has the solution. Of course. Yes. Let's check around. Maybe there's something interesting laying around. Even though the thralls have no heads, they are good at spotting thievery. Oh yes. <laughs> As if he knows. <laughs> I just wanted to take a look around. No worries. Dude, stop following me. Uh, I never thought robots could get so nervous. He's starting to annoy me, man. Let's get out of here. Let's keep on going. It's still a long way to go. The team is all healed up. And ready to go. I guess we can meet Igor somewhere in the middle. I wanted to go back to Black Scratch again anyways. We need to check if we can recruit that one strong companion after allying with the anti-slavers. I don't uh, remember her name. Wasn't it Bo or something like that? I swear Igor is seeing the entirety of the world of Kenshi in one trip. This guy is running through multiple biomes in one day. Venge from that distance looks absolutely insane. Looks like the world is about to end. What even are those laser beams coming from the sky, man? We are about to meet Igor. Let's go through what kind of things I still want to do before reaching the Ashlands. We need to recruit Bo, if possible, and we want to visit Crab Town. I guess that's it. Uh, then we are done with our bucket list. World domination, here we come. After that, we'll enter uh, Ashlands. For sure this time, I promise. There's Black Scratch and Crab Town should be somewhere around here, right? At Green Beach. Welcome back to Kenji. What is way much more cooler to have than a cat or a dog? I mean, like, what's cooler to have in a fight? An attack cat or a were dog? Or a mother sucking crab? Yes, in the world of Kenshi, it's common to bring a crab to a fight. And you know what? I always wanted to have a crab in my life. There is supposedly a whole ass city filled up with crabs somewhere in the world of Kenshi. And today we're gonna find out how to get there. But first we'll be heading back to Black Scratch. We got some unfinished business there. You guys have mentioned in the last episode our newest addition to the squad, Igor might be a little bit too strong since he was you know the general of the united cities and stuff one of the strongest characters in all of kenshi well let's see how can i convince you that he's actually not that strong 
he's like an actual balanced character. Let's let's fight that massive gorilla, for example. Let's go, Igor. See, he he does like only 38 damage. That's not a lot. Whoa! Look, he even got hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So what? He might be able to take a punching. So? That doesn't make him overpowered. Look, the gorilla nearly got him. That was an actual close fight. No, take your time, Igor, and treat your wounds. Let's go, guys. Back to Black Scratch. Huh? My frame rate? Warning. Igor assault moving towards don't eat me. What? How? I thought Igor is with us now. Whoa! What the hell is that? No freaking way, dude. The whole S United City assault team just spawned out of thin air right next to us. There's at least 30 United City soldiers here. Ugh! Or maybe even over 50. Why did that happen? Is it because of Igor? Did he get bucked or what? Imagine that would have happened inside of our base. We'd be screwed. Now, what do we do? Fight them? Uh, get rid of all the evidence that there ever has been a bug? Hmm? This is not normally. They're hostile, but they're not attacking. And they're following Van Damme for some reason. <laughs> I guess since my safe is so old, all the updates throughout the time and the mods I have, it just simply bugged out my game for whatever reason. I think. Well, interesting. I guess we can keep them with us for now to maybe fend off some big things or something like that. Imagine going into the Ashlands like that. The skin bandits would go wild on them. Well, let's keep on going, I guess. That is so crazy. It looks like we're getting chased. They're a big thing. All right, let's go, guys. Protect me. What? They're attacking us too. That, that, that big thing triggered something in them. Well, we got no other choice then. What, dude, that's pure carnage. But we are doing good damage. Igor, show us what you got. Look, guys, I told you, he's not that strong. He's getting hit left and right. He can't even uh, properly attack. He's so weak. Look at Van Damme, though. He's kicking the living shit out of everybody and still got most of his health because he's agile like a cat. Agile like a cat, vicious like a viper. Ah! He just punched that guy's dick off. <laughs> Van Damme. Yeah, okay. Igor is pretty strong, I must admit. He is probably two or three times stronger than Van Damme. But I think Van Damme and the team would beat uh, Igor with ease. Well, for now, I will keep him with us. We beat them off quite easily. But look at that bloodbath. <laughs> oh man. I just hope that won't happen again. The unwanted zone is such a stupid ass place to be at. It's infested by those big things. There are like big thing nests laying 10 meters apart from each other. What is that? I mean, we can handle those quite easily, but getting through that area takes so much time. Up to a point where it gets just a little bit annoying. We made it, finally. Back at Black Scratch. Oh, I almost forgot, we have a prisoner in here. Let's see if she's still in here. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the United City's noble we captured. She's still alive and well. Just a little bit of starving going on. <laughs> She's so thin. Let's give her some stinky fish we found a couple of days ago. All right, let's check if we can recruit that bow girl now. She must be at this bar, right? Uh, but where is she? I can't find her. What? Is this another one of those bugs, man? Come on. She has always been here. Maybe she's just currently off, I don't know, doing some errands. Let's stay here at Black Scratch for a while. Those big things uh, really got us hard last fight. We need to rest for a bit. As if those samurai guards managed to follow us all the way up to Black Scratch? That's so annoying. I think the small shack is a little bit too small for all of us to fit in. How about we purchase this building next door?
and place some more beds in it, so everyone will be able to rest. Nine beds should be enough, right? Good thing we got the materials uh, trader right here in town. Those beds are gonna be up in no time. There we go. Everyone's resting now. Paul doesn't look like he's comfortable though. Let's fix that. Yo, what the hell? That's Paul's bed. Get the hell out of here. Ah! Whoa! Ugh! Put him on the bed, beep. And no, Sato, this bed is not for you. Beep, put him gently down, please. <laughs> He's not even touching that bed, dude. What's that? They also got a skeleton bed in town. What a treat. It's like a manicure for robots. Getting all those gears all oiled up again. All right, got a good night's sleep. Let's see if we can find some pants for Horse and Chad. They lost both of their pants last episode in those skin peeler machines. Peeler machine incident. Let's try the bar again. Oh, there she is. Finally, it never was bucked. She was just doing some stuff around town. Please let me talk to her now. Oh, it works. So you're the famous horse giving Tengu a run for his money. Eh? Well, how about we have some fun together? What? Hello? You're a big bow, but you're so small. Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, looks can be deceiving, horse. I got the big bite for a little bark. So we gonna find some action or what? Damn. This conversation is quite interesting. Let's find some slavers to f*** up. Holy shit, this woman means business. She's one of the top tier recruitable companions in all of Kenji. All the armor she's wearing is specialist grade armor. Very good. Everything's good uh, except for her pants. Just some low level pants. Now we got three pants less running in our team. Damn. Seems like no one is selling pants in this goddamn town. This is bullshit. Well, gotta hope we can find some pants in at Crab Town. Some crap pants, not crapped uh, pants. <laughs> well, those samurai are so annoying. Uh, what the hell? Alarm? Oh no! What the hell? Everyone is attacking. Why, why is everyone attacking? It's probably again all those stupid bugged samurai's fault. Oh god. And here we were so good friends with those tech hunters. Oh my. That's a GG. Now tech hunters are our enemies. Great. This is absolutely brutal. So much death in just one episode. This is insane. And here people are still thinking we don't have a chance against Catalan. We literally wiped out an entire city with our squad of 16 people. Good thing we got our beds right next to that massacre. Gotta have to recover our wounds again. Could have been in crap city by now. The hell with that. Look at that. So much spaghetti sauce. Holy shit. Let's take another good night's rest again. Poor samurai soldiers. They just don't know what they're doing. They probably just cannot understand why Igor won't fight with them. Relations with tech hunters. Minus 78. Oh my, there's no turning back. They're trying to get to Van Damme. I closed the door. You're not allowed to go through that door. I swear to God. The in-game AI became sentient and now tries to kill my squad by all means possible. Even if it means to glitch their characters through the door. Look, they're trying to buck through. I think I'm having enough of this city for now. Let's keep on going. Have most of them cities always been so uh, red? I think with the tech hunters as enemies, most towns are now hostile towards us. This is crazy. The whole world is against us poor little fellas. Cult village? What was that? Those were some religious fanatics, right? Nah. Let's go to Green Beach. Some of you guys really liked my IRL motorcycle story last episode. I wasn't expecting that. So, how about another one? You see, I'm riding my bike for a long time now. 
but I haven't been always that secure on my bike. So when I was starting out riding and I just got my license at the time, I still had a lot to learn. One time I was driving through a roundabout. I was driving in and roundabout and tried to leave at the third exit. I think I pulled the throttle a little bit too hard tried to you know accelerate too fast well long story short uh, my back tire just slipped away i fell sideways to the ground together with my bike nothing bad happened to me only fell on my ass hurt for a couple of days but my bike got all scratched up what made me very sad also i've got footage of that incident I have a couple of excuses why that happened. First of course, I just got my license. Still not enough experience. Second off, the street was wet and that roundabout was newly built. So it, it was new. So there was still some kind of slime, sliminess on that road, which made it like butter or ice. Third, my tires were super old at that time. And lastly, I was in a bit of a hurry. But of course, I've learned from my mistakes. Since then, never had an accident again. Moral of the story, know your limits. Be familiar with your surroundings. Never uh, rush anything if you're not 100% sure you can. And of course, most importantly, uh, learn from your mistakes. Don't do it like this guy did right here. He tried to beat us all by himself and now he's gonna bleed to death. Oh damn. Stope. This place is way too sad. What the hell are you talking about? Do you think he's crying? Skeletons don't cry, you idiot. <gasps> Skeletons are always crying. <laughs> we are at Green Beach. We reached the ocean. Looks really cool around here. Wish we could zoom a bit more out to see more of the landscape. And there are the first crabs. Look how many eggs they have. So funny how they walk. Looks like we found a settlement. Let's check it out. Wow, they have crabs at the main entrance. And they are crab raiders. How cool. This is awesome. Wada. What, what the da. What the we got here. A crabless. <gasps> there, there is an armor shop. They must be selling that famous crab armor. One crab armor, please. Crabless don't get to buy armor. What? Do we have to buy a crab first? Well say less so you want to buy a crab eh well first up you gotta have a solid crab care routine let me tell you all about it okay <laughs> now the crabs see they like fish that's their favorite food otherwise they will get uh, fungi I'll and be warned never feed them after sundown never <laughs> yeah yeah skip that come on just give me that crab You've also got to give them a 90 minute soft bath once a month so they can molt no trouble. Dude, they don't sleep well and they need affection. So make sure you sing them a song every night before bed. You got to gurgle from the back of your throat. Stroke his back legs too. Dude, I'm buying a crab, not the freaking French royal poodle. So are you ready to become one with the crabs? Yes! Wow! This dude got a lot of crabs. I don't know which one we should buy. Let's take like a really strong one. One that can fight Catelyn in a 1v1 fight with ease. <laughs> okay, that's pretty big. What am I gonna call you? You look like uh, Martin. Welcome to the team, Martin. Green will feed you and take care of you. So don't eat him. Wow! That's him! Holy shit! This guy is huge. Look how massive that crab is. Let's buy another one. Maybe one that is not as big. Just a little bit smaller. I'm gonna uh, call this one Dennis. Oh no. <laughs> Why is he so small? <laughs> it's so cute. Ugh, what just happened? I was buying some crabs and you guys just eradicated their base. What the hell, man? Why? Uh... Still can buy crab armor. But I got the crab now. Look. Maybe this ain't crab city yet. Might be just some crab outpost. Was already wondering myself why this place is so small. 
Let's get out of here. Don't want to hurt any more crab raiders. Might have been Igor again, bugging out those NPC relations. Let's go, Dennis. He's so proud, leading the team. Look at him. He knows the way. He grew up around here. Look at his little legs. The pits east. And we discovered another outpost. I guess we'll stay here for the night. Let's build up a camp and get some rest. Tomorrow we'll find that crap city and get on the bottom of what the hell is going on. Welcome back to the world of Kenshi, where danger lurks around every corner and survival is key. Get ready for a thrilling experience filled with action, strategy and adventure. Well. Today we're in the search for the mysterious city called Crab Town, a town supposedly filled up with people that love crabs, not for eating purpose, but to hold them as pets. And after that, who knows, maybe we'll be even able to reach the Ashlands today. The most dangerous place in all of Kenshi. Whoa, crab raiders, those are the guys I'm talking about. But we gotta have to watch out. They seem friendly now, but sometimes they just randomly attack for no reason. So move carefully, guys. The pits east. The environment looks absolutely incredible. I don't even know what that thing is, but it looks really cool. Ah, this is not crap town. That's just one small little hut, a lonesome building. Beep, let's go check it out. I knew it! Another iron spider infested ruin. This sucks balls. The loot probably ain't even worth it. Let's let's keep on going. That must have been a massive freaking building. The closer we get to the Ashlands, the more crazy those objects lying around all over the place get, man. Look how huge that thing is compared to us. There's some kind of settlement not far from here. Let's go, guys. Whoa, look at this. They built a whole ass base in that crater. That's amazing. Is that crab town? It is. They got crabs. Made it past the skeleton uh, CR lots. That says something. Of course. I mean, we got John Claude Van Damme in our team. Nothing can stop us. Look how many crabs there are here. <laughs> this is amazing. They also got an armor shop. First, let's check out this building. This must be their headquarter. And this must be no other than the queen herself. <gasps> the crap queen. Absolutely stunning. And we can talk to her. <gasps> A man of the crabless ways, I see. Well, crabless man, what do you know of crabs? Dude, I don't know what she's on. We got two handsome looking crabs in our team already. What I know about crabs. <laughs> All I know is I love them. Mm, who wouldn't? They're intelligent, affectionate and loyal too. You will fit in well with the Crab Raiders. Oh, does that mean I can join the Crab Raiders? What? Just like that? We crapped our open-minded people. Prove yourself. We have enemies in the pits. Prove your loyalty to the crabs and they will do so in return. Sign me up. Best response, the lady of the crabs, the crab queen herself is about to honorly knight us into, into the crab hood and asks us of our loyalty and beeps just like, cool shit, sign me up. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, relations with skin bandits decreased by minus 75. Skin bandits are now hostile towards you. Well, they never been friendly in the first place. Relations with Reavers decreased by minus 75. Uh, f*** those guys. Relations with Skeleton Bandits decreased. Dude, how many more? <laughs> Crab Raiders are now your allies. Damn, look at this. We are now allied with the freaking Crab Raiders. That's, that's amazing. Do they have any interesting people at the bar? Let's check it out. Adventurer. Eh, guess you'll be on your way down to the Ashlands then. Damn right you are. Ain't ever seen anyone go to the Ashlands and come back out. <gasps> it's a one-way journey and whatever is down there ain't worth dying for. Well, I certainly wouldn't go without the crap. Well, <laughs> then we're just fine I guess, since we got two. We even got two crabs in our team. 
so double the chance of survival. Easy. Let's also check the armor smith for some legendary crap armor. This armor is worthless. Standard, great, shoddy, great. That's the best you got, bro. What the hell, man? This uh, won't protect shit. They got crap armor blueprints, though. Guess we could make our own crap armor with some luck and maybe even a bit of patience. We could be able to get some decent grades out of it. But I don't know, man. That would take a lot of time to make. And our base is literally on the other side of this continent. Well, we'll see about that. I let the team wait outside of the base on purpose. Otherwise, they would have gone on a rampage again for no reason at all. Didn't want to risk that. Wow, look at that army. Those crap guys sure know how to mobilize. Glad they're our allies now. Crapped, wait up, share some action. Let's make crap food of the skeleton sealots. What? Ugh, they're following me. J just like that. We got an army of, of crap raiders following us. That's insane. Let's go, guys. Let's get to the Ashlands. Now we can just waltz in there and kick Catlon's ass with ease. Let's check. Are we really prepared? Is that it? Are we really heading straight to the Ashlands now? I remember the last time we tried getting there. We got our ass kicked by the turret tower right there. Barrier tower. I'm not gonna go that route again. They got literal robot snipers sitting on the tower 24-7 aimbot looking as a uh, robot sniper. Maybe here, this part uh, looks passable. Maybe a little bit of a swim, but definitely manageable. Let's try and to get there and enter uh, the Ashlands from there. Hmm, what's this? This looks like a skeleton workshop, like the same workshops we, we have seen in the Black Desert. And there are even robots uh, doing workshop things. <laughs> Look, he, he has a hammer and stuff like that. That's so cool. Yes, those samurais uh, from last episode are still following us. They're stupidly annoying. <gasps> Contract with the crab raiders has ended. No, don't leave me, please. I beg you. It hasn't even been a day, man. Oh, man. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Another crab raider army. It seems like there are a lot of crab raiders roaming around this area in the pits, which is actually pretty good. Pretty good to, uh, to know there are a lot of friendly guys roaming around next to the Ashlands. They can patch us up if something should happen to us. We made it, guys. We are at the pits. And there, just across the sea, I can already see it. There is the Ashlands. And, oh my... There is a tower. Oh no. You gotta be kidding me, man. Don't tell me that's another turret tower. Great. Sniper tower. They're gonna nail us down with aimbot precision on their automated harpoon turrets. God damn it. The sun is coming out. Look at this. Does that not look absolutely stunning? You know what they're saying if the morning sky is blood red? It means there's gonna be a lot of bloodshed. Let's go, beep. Let's check out how close we can get to the tower. Whoa! Crap Raiders! <laughs> what are they doing? They're already attacking the sniper tower. Are they for real? There's a full ongoing war happening already out here. <laughs> what the hell? Beep, let's go help them unlock the door. This is our chance, man, to take over the tower now or never. Let's go, guys. Get them sniper idiots. That's insane. We got so many forces. Let's go guys. Get in there. Okay. <laughs> that was like uh, 200 guys against 8 sniper boys. <laughs> and that was the legendary Ashlands uh, defense. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's it? That, that was kind of unimpressive. Well, now those turrets are mine. This is it. <gasps> the Ashlands. It's so beautiful. <gasps> I don't even know what this is. Or, or this. Or, or that. But it's cool. It's cool. Oh my, not those guys again. Skeleton fanboys. I don't get it. Like, uh, 
We got the skin bandits. Uh, that uh, those are actual robots wearing human skin, trying to be human. And th and then we got those guys here, humans that are trying to be robots. What's the goal here? I don't understand. Best thing is they're living right next to each other, equally brainwashed. You know, guys, I was thinking what would be really cool to maybe build a base here. I kind of like this tower. The idea of setting up a base up here would be interesting, I think. But I don't think we can just claim it. The game won't actually let us. We actually have to build our own outpost from scratch if we want to have something like that. It would be beneficial to have like some sort of a small outpost around here. What do you guys think? Like, can we build a base in the middle of the Ashlands, maybe? Let's send Beep over and let him check out how, if there are some kind of resources out there. Cause you know, we need copper, iron and stone. Dude, those crab raiders are literally walking on Ashland soil. Dude, don't tell me stories again about people never returning from here. You guys are literally going in and out. Damn dude, Beep is the first one to set foot on the Ashlands guys. The first one out of our team. Looks very interesting around here. Lots of iron spiders and strange objects. Let's see, environment dead, resources dead. Nothing good out here. Well, I already thought so. It's, I mean, it's just ashes all around here. You can build shit from ashes. Maybe a base in the pits would be a better option. I mean, it's not far away, right around the corner. This, this looks like a good spot, good resources, good environment. But I don't know guys, that would be hell of a lot of work. Let me know what you guys think about that if you uh, want to see that. Or should we just rush straight up to Catlin? Welcome to Kenshi. Today we're gonna build the most OP base imaginable all the way down here at the pits. Probably one of the most dangerous zones to be at in all of Kenshi. With human skin wearing robots. Human skin wearing humans who think they're robots. Countless crap fanatics, monsters and roaming bandits lurking around every corner in this area. This is gonna be a challenge for sure. And for this to work, I brought every single one of our members down here into the pits. Including all of the guys from our old base back in the Cannibal Plains. That is like on the other side of this continent. I left no one out. There is no one there anymore. No turning back for the next couple months. Hope Hamut did not forget to lock the gate. Now, I did prepare a little bit. We got a lot of resources in our backpacks. We could start to work with. We got copper, we got building materials, iron plates, electrical components. Hopefully it will be enough to get this outpost started. The thing is, the main resource for all of this to work is of course building materials. The one resource that is needed in most of the stuff we're gonna build. So if we are smart, we need to build up a system first that provides us with unlimited building materials. Beep did a lot of prospecting around the pits and this area right here is one of the best. We got everything we need around here. We got plenty of stone, iron and copper. We just need to build up some miners. You know, all that running around, exploring and looting. We did up to this point, all the episodes before, got us a lot of research materials which we use to advance our construction capabilities. Now we are able to build really good and efficient iron ore drills, advanced copper mines and a freaking hybrid stone mine drill slash constructor unit. This thing can mine stone and converts it into building materials right away on the fly with, with magic and look 100% stone purity. That's insane. Production is uh, will gonna boom out the roof. Copper mine, 100% easy. And the iron is gonna be here. Also 100%. <laughs> Look guys, that is so good. This is the perfect layout. And with that, the outpost has started. We got our maps uh, check mark. All right, let's go guys. Start constructing. I paused construction for the other two mines first. So priority lies in getting the stone mine finished as fast as possible. What? Who are those guys? Are you for real? Our base is getting attacked already. 
It hasn't even been a minute since I started building. Come on, man. We are quite strong and definitely outnumber them. But still, if that keeps happening, it's gonna get annoying real fast. We need to build some walls ASAP. Holy. Somehow this one woman is pretty resilient. She just keeps on fighting. Dude, finally. Holy shit. Let's see, who is uh, good at building? Who has good engineering skills? Gonna assign some dedicated builders. So they haul uh, materials and construct stuff fully automatically. Nice, we got our hybrid stone mine up and running. Wait, oh no. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. Of course, we also need energy. Like uh, electricity and stuff, right? Oh man, we need wind turbines, right? Uh, wind generator. There we go. Hope this will be enough to power that drill. Or maybe let's build one more. And, and maybe some small ones for when the wind's not strong enough. Hops is gonna work in the drill. And it works, guys! <laughs> Look, the building material is getting built. This is absolutely crazy. Hops is like a supervisor pressing some buttons. Uh, one thing that is not as practical in the pits is its acid rain. Occasionally it starts to pour acid from the sky, burning the skin off of our people. Some of them got uh, some protection, but eventually we need some kind of shelter for in the long run. A building of some sort. Since we got a good flow of building material production, let's start placing some houses around here. Or maybe let's start with the walls first. Once we got our layout laid out, uh, the guys can build whenever there's enough resources, which is pretty convenient. This looks pretty good. Can we like place a tower inside the walls? Uh, nah, they won't really connect. Don't want to risk having an opening like that. Let's let's put it here. How about a massive one uh, right here? Uh, second tower? Why not? Oh, this is so good. Having a tower close to the gate, we can put up some turrets at the top for some height bonus damage. This is fantastic. Got the walls facing outwards a bit next to the gate, like like a crab claw. So we can mount even more turrets left and right. They can shoot the intruders before they even uh, reach the gate. That's an insane defense strategy. That's it. Looks good, right? Uh, confirm. And there we go. We got our base. Okay, maybe I should have put a smaller building somewhere first. Because those are quite expensive to build. It's gonna take a while. And we need shelter fast. I'm gonna pause construction on the bigger ones so we can get at least one done. Dude, where the hell are we here? It's raining acid. Lightning strikes in every few seconds and we're getting attacked like every five minutes. <gasps> what is going on? Why did the stone mine stop? <gasps> no energy. Oh no. The wind generator ha has no wind. What, what is that? There's a literal storm raging. What do you mean no wind? So. Now what? We do not have enough building materials to build a building and our guys are losing skin with every second. Well, I guess we just wait. The rain is gonna stop eventually, right? Eight hours later. Well, uh, it has been raining now for over eight hours and I guess it won't take long until some of us are fully uh, dissolved. I don't know how long it's gonna keep going like that, but we need shelter fast. There is that one sniper tower not far away from here. Let's take all the vulnerable and bring them for the duration to that tower. Hmm. Okay, that's not really fast. <laughs> they also need to swim a bit through some acid water. Let's put them on the backs of our robots. They, they can handle that better. Whoa, what the shit? There's a robot from the sniper tower. Sniper robot against sniper robot. Get this ass, Barrett. I like how everyone decided to go in their own pace. I think it's because I never assigned the robots to travel as a group. 
Anyway, the tower is still empty. That's good. We can let the guys reside here for the time. Oh, oh, oh. Skeleton bandits. Well, that's their problem. It seems like it stopped raining. The hybrid mine is running again, but only at 18% efficiency. Oh man, what the hell? Why so low? There's still not enough wind. Come on. We need more copper and electrical components to build up some more wind generators. And I guess we need uh, batteries to store the power. Yo, it's working again. It seems like there's enough wind now. <laughs> Look, it's running at 200 efficiency. We are printing resources from thin air. <gasps> Looks like the guys are doing fine over here. What's this? Ah, a lost sheep in the pits. An invasion. <gasps> Rival colony come to do battle. Crab against crab. Crab attack. What? I thought they're my friends. So be it. We shall test each other crab training skills. Crab tournament. Crab tournament. <gasps> what is the meaning of that? <laughs> what just happened? Now they're just walking off. <laughs> Will they be back in the future or what? Yeah, baby. We did it. The first building is finished. Dude, look how much space there is inside. That's insane. We should be able to build up some batteries now. They're gonna be helpful for when there's no wind and the wind generators stop working. The stone mine can still continue working with reserve energy stored in those batteries. We also need an electrical workbench. Here we can make electrical components from copper. We are going somewhere. This space is taking form. Warning, skin harvest moving towards your outpost. What? What hell is the skin harvest? Are you alright? Please don't tell me it's those skin bandits. How did they know we're here? It has been, okay, maybe three days since we started this base, but come on. Why do they have to do us like that? Damn, holy shit, they are fast and so close already. Dude, chill. All right, let's get those guys back to the base, fast. We need all the fighting power we have. I love the development of the base. The guys uh, started with building up the walls and we got our iron ore drill going. Looks decent. Oh man, the skin bandits are getting closer. Can we already see them from here? Nah, not yet. Still, it's insane how far we can see. There's that other sniper tower with that wall. Very spooky. Oh, oh, I see them. Here they come. Damn, those are a lot of them. Very cool, very cool. My guys got here just in time. Well, they get straight to the point. Give us your skin. Come share with your fellow human brothers. Sure, that's just totally normal human behavior to share their skins with each other. Get them, boys. <gasps> Half of them just run away already. Dude, where's the fun in that? Oh, I see. They found themselves some unconscious drifters I beat the day before. How convenient. Let's see what they got. Man, this is disgusting. Human skin. Even though it's a part of us. As soon as it's a part from us, it's kind of disgusting. Humans, am I right? Old CPU unit. Looks like it has been damaged from overheating. It's a miracle the skeleton was still alive. Well, I can see the miracle here. So what we know is that those skin bandits are absolutely fried up in their brains or CPUs, whatever. Dude, come on guys. We need those walls and we need those turrets up and running. I think those are the best walls uh, one can get in Kenshi, right? Look. And we finished the gate. It looks absolutely massive. Look at that. Fully automatic gate. Cool shit. And here we go. Look, does that not look absolutely beautiful? Who did that? Who, who did that? That must have been one absolute architectural uh, massive mega brain to come up with design like that. This space is so good, man. Just look at it. Okay, now we need some actual firing power. <laughs> oh, 
We got it all. You name it, we have it. Mounted crossbow MK2s, harpoon turrets MK2s, double barrel harpoon turrets. Well, they're quite expensive, but we'll get those materials over time. Let's put up a variety of different turrets up here next to the gate. Four turrets on the right side and four turrets on the left side. Beautiful, beautiful. Man, this is amazing. I can't anymore. Where do you think you're going, piece of shit? Now guys, this is some next level farming. Hydrophonic vegetables. No fertile soil? No problem. With that we can plant green fruits wherever we want. This is quite handy, since nothing will grow in this dead zone in the pits. I love how my guys are just out here bullying that poor skin bandit. I mean, they're right, he deserves it. Okay now, we got a good amount of building materials going. But somehow that iron refinery is taking its time to build those iron plates. And we got to a point where we need a lot of iron plates, man. Who would have thought we could build a massive base like this in this short amount of time? Well, I must admit, there has been a lot of preparation uh, involved in getting everyone down here. Getting all the materials and all the research ready. But damn, this looks hot. Come out, come out, Slayer. I've waited a long time for this moment. Today I will kill the undefeated or I will join my kin in Gateway. Either way, one of us dies today. This is gonna be interesting. They will be our guinea pigs for this little experiment. We need to see how good our defensive system works. <laughs> what the hell? Holy shit, they had absolutely no chance. The gate didn't even receive a scratch. Well, I guess this base is secure. <laughs> we got the best sniper marksman with the highest turret skills on those turrets. No one will be able to get into my base. I could even uh, put some more sniper uh, guys up here on this tower, but I guess we don't need that. All right, let me show you guys my base. This is the base. All done. Got a secure entrance, a nice open space for animals and people and stuff to traverse. The miners. We got iron plate refinery, steel refinery. Uh, needed that for the turrets. We got lots of green fruits growing in those uh, hydrophonic vegetable farms. Wind energy. Lots of buildings. And yeah, I had to put Igor into a cage. The United Cities Samurais uh, respawned again and I guess it's all Igor's fault. Poor guy. We're gonna use him only for emergencies now. And until then, I'll let him stay here in the cell. We got lots of batteries, a skeleton bed and some food production. Yeah. I cannot build beds yet, I forgot to bring fabrics. But no worries, our hemp production is already in motion. From that we can make lots of fabric over time. So yeah, that's that's a good working, highly secure and definitely a good looking base. Best thing, the Ashlands ain't far from here now. We can plan our attack and retreat whenever we need. But I don't know, maybe we'll take a visit to Zonovo's Dark first before heading to the Ashlands and try to get to know, I don't know, the skin bandits first search for their uh, leader and stuff. The uncrep's beautiful. Ever since we got into an alliance with the crab raiders, they come to our base just to stand here, like in the middle of our base. Ah, <sighs> our base. <laughs> it looks so good. Since we established good alliance with the crab raiders and the anti-slavers, it's time for us to go out and fight against our enemies in the Ashlands. Our base should be secure enough now that we can take a team of our best people out there for some, maybe first some scouting. With the help of the crab raiders, we should be able to beat whatever comes in our way. Whoa, what the hell? Are those flares in the distance or on that mountain? I think that's the creepy outpost. Maybe uh, let's try to conquer that sniper tower first. 
that's the only thing that hinders us to enter the Ashlands, from this side at least. What? Contract with the Crab Raiders has ended. <laughs> Are you for real? We haven't done shit yet and you're going to chicken out on me like that? Damn. Okay, maybe let's not try to conquer the sniper tower today. <laughs> Look at those dudes. They will shoot us into oblivion if we come too close. Those stats are not normally. The crab raiders would have been so good right now. Can we stop talking about dying in the Ashlands, please? <laughs> they love talking about the Ashlands here. Sniper Valley. I hate that place for one good reason. I think there are too many instances, objects around this place. My CPU always fries up as soon as we enter. There is that creepy outpost with those flares on the mountain. Let's go and check it out. Can you guys hear that? That ominous sound. It started to play as soon as we entered Sonoro's Dark. That's, that's creepy. Oh, an outpost. Let's check that one out first. It's an ancient ruin. Two iron spiders and a lot of chests. Those were just some baby spiders, nothing to worry about. Okay, let's see what we can find here. Uh, some research books. Ancient Nutri Rations. An Asian food ration that must be thousands of years old. It's a sealed container that contains a dense cake that's surprisingly filling. It's covered in printed writing and symbols you don't recognize. So in other words, still fresh and ready to eat. <laughs> Who is gonna eat that? I can't keep rice longer than three days in my fridge. And you are telling me this is edible? Wow, look how many skeleton repair kits there are. This is insane. The other chests had some more ancient food packs and mostly building materials. Alright, let's head to Zonoro's Dark again. Straight to that creepy outpost. Oh, the Ashlands looks amazing. Ominous and dark, but still somehow also very nice. Gives gives some cozy vibes, for sure. Oh my, what the hell is that place? It is kind of creepy. It's the skin bandits. No shot. <laughs> there are so many of them. Definitely need to wipe them out of this place. We we'll do this world a favor. There is absolutely nothing good coming out of this cult. And they're wasting all that good natural gas with those burner. No wonder gas prices are at an all-time high right now. I think if we want to infiltrate their base, we need some more people. Let's get back to that outpost from before and get the rest of our team down here too. Pack up some food, check your equipment and don't forget to bring some fresh underwear. I'll send Beep out to check if we can find us some allies for our big attack. A group of well-equipped crab raiders can already do so much. They got great armor, great durability, uh, cool crabs. They'd be perfect meat shields. Oh, there, a crab. Just one crab? Oh, there's the rest. There they are, fighting one of the sniper robots. I can't believe they're still around here. Now, how do I make them follow me? Somehow, they won't follow. Let's try to find another group. Maybe those are just busy right now. Who knows? Oh, there we go. Would you mind? I need your help in the fight against the skin bandits. No, there's another group. They're literally everywhere in the pits. I don't get it. Normally they'd follow you as soon as you get close to them. But right now they're just ignoring me. What the hell is that shit, man? Dude, I followed them a whole freaking day. Nothing. I guess they're just not feeling it right now. Well, great friends we have here. I don't have time for this. Let's get in there and do this on our own. Can't be that hard to beat up some brain rotten robots. That acid rain is kinda annoying though. Okay, let's check it out. This place definitely looks creepy, even at daytime. One spotted us. Ugly ass shithead. That's it? We can just lure them out one by one, beat them to a pulp and remove their CPU unit. This way we can immobilize them slowly but safely. They are hella strong man. They're doing crazy aerial damage. Maybe it would be more smart to let them fight one on one. Uh oh. 
Oh my god. Holy shit. That's one too many. Let's get out of here. How are there suddenly so many of them? Probably a scout group of some sort. This is not the way, guys. <laughs> we definitely need some help in beating those bandits. Oh, right. We, we still got the anti-slavers, right? They also sometimes would follow us around for a while. Those guys are strong. And they're not far away from here. Let's go, Beep. Beep, our best negotiator. Try to convince them in joining our cause. It should be in Tinfist's interest uh, fighting against the Ashland forces. Honored Beep. Yes, that's me. The world will thank you, Beep, whether they know it yet or not. Okay, that's it. I can talk to him. Strangely, there is absolutely no one else around. What the hell is that bullshit? Well, it would have been too good, I guess. You know what? I don't care anymore. No one's gonna help us. We're completely on our own. Let's go in there and just beat everyone up. We can do this. With or without help. I don't care anymore. Slowly and steady. One by one. Hmm? What's going on over there? Oh, a black gorilla. They're fighting a black gorilla. <gasps> They're, they're currently distracted. Let's send in Beep and let him check out what we can find. What is that? <gasps> That's a dude. What is this guy doing in here? He looks like my grandpa. Savant. Bounty of 80,000. Oh, I remember. The skin bandits were talking about this guy. This must be their leader. I thought their leader is just another robot. But that's a guy. Let's go, Beep. Beat his ass. He beat Beep in one hit. We need to kill this guy before the others know what we are up to. This is our chance. Holy. Be careful, guys. Okay, this guy is no joke. As if. And now they're sending out an attack to our base. Shit is getting quite steamy in here. Maybe I should put the others on hold. This guy's aerial damage is insane. This guy is beating the shit out of us. Van Damme, no! Uh, hello? Yo, stop this idiot! He got Van Damme! No, they got peeler machines here too! Beep, fast, get him out! Okay, we got Savant. Savant is down. Okay, we got him. Now we just gotta have to get the shit out of here. Oh my! As soon as I get one out of the machine, they're putting another one of us in there right away. They're all over us. Oh my. We can't do shit. Okay, guys. Uh, I, I have to. There's no other way. We have to unleash the beast. Or else everyone will die. Igor, you are our last hope, man. Save my people. What in God's name? Where did they find so many of them? This is not real. Look. It's not an army, that's their whole population. I mean, we got a good defense, but dude, no defense in the world can beat this amount of uh, brain rotten skin bandits. This is not looking too good. Holy shit, man. The gate managed to hold them back exactly four seconds. What is that bullshit? Okay, I managed to get most of our people out of there. But Van Damme, Ray and Wing Wang are still trapped in the peel machines. Time is of the essence. Those skin bandits are ravaging through our base. I can't do anything to defend myself. They're kidnapping my hard workers. No. Yes, we got Van Damme. Good thing Igor is strong enough to break those locks. Why is Blade running back? Oh no, they're bringing my people back into the peeler machines. The, the people I just rescued. They kidnapped Gils, Riva, uh, Lutzak at knife from our base. Why? Why would you do that to me? If Beep and Green wouldn't have been unconscious, they could have rescued everyone in no time. I mean, Igor is hella strong, but he's so slow. By the time I get one out, they come back and get two in again. There they are. 
they're already back from that raid on my base. There are so many of them. I'm miles away from their base. Why are they still coming after us, man? What are they doing to Ray? Oh, no. Ray just died. Why did they beat him? He still had so much time left. He had full armor. Oh, man. This is not right. We need to get the others out of here as fast as possible. Look, I'm getting one out and they're getting one in. <laughs> I just can't beat them. You know, normally the pits is full of those crap raiders. Like you see them at every corner. Just not today, apparently. We could use some help, a little bit of help. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm speechless. Oh my God, Th this is the first time the game made me literal sick. I don't know if I can even show that, guys. This is not right. <laughs> what the f***? Look at how many of them there just are. I don't even get... Uh, how should we be able to beat them? There are not enough recruitable companions in this game to, to fight an equal fight. They're like ants. There are still some skin bandits running up to our base. Luckily, our turrets uh, can take care of them. As long as it's just one or two of them, it's good. Okay, that's it. Last one. We got everyone out. Now we just have to watch out that none of us gets put inside again. Perfect timing. Great. Now the crab raiders decided to aid us. Thanks for your help, guys. You know, f*** off. Okay, what? Now I'm confused. Eh? How? It, it, it can't be that we just lost three people. I just can't believe it. I don't even know where Wing Wing is. How did we manage to fail so hard this episode? Ugh, Igor is sold. <laughs> Not this again. Wait a sec. Where are they? Oh my god. Look at this! And they're all following Hamut. Dude, what is going on with this game today? You know what? F*** those skin bandits. If they play by dirty means, so do we. Hamut, lead that United City Samurai Army into those suckers' base. I'm done. Bring havoc upon them. That's what you're gonna get for killing off my friends. Look at this! This is insane! I've never seen anything like this before. Holy hell! I hope my computer can handle that. Let's try to get Savant out of here. Somehow he doesn't want to. He's only aggressive once I get inside that building. Come out! Let's go! The fun is out here! Yes! They're attacking him! <laughs> Now we just gotta have to wait until someone manages to beat him unconscious. Damn, he definitely can take up a beating. This dude is no joke. He's beating up samurai guards left and right. Okay, while they're busy, let's check out what uh, that guy got in his chest. Okay, I'm good. Sadly, we cannot lockpick all the chests. Hamut ain't skilled enough. Okay, I can't see the savant guy anymore. He must be somewhere. Oh, there he is. Quick, Hamut. Get him out of here. No shot that actually worked. Oh, those skin bandits aren't so happy about me taking their leader. They're a bit faster than Hamut. Maybe if we unequip that armor. Yes, nice. Dude, Hamut, you're the MVP of this episode, man. I still can't believe we lost three of our best people. But still, I mean, we got one monster of the Ashlands down. That's a win for sure. There you go, my friend. Have fun in here. Huh? Here you might need a little help. <laughs> Are they for real? Now the anti-slavers came? Okay, that's it, guys. This game is just hard trolling me. I'm not gonna play for the next couple of months again. That's it. I'm done. The harsh brutality of Kenshi is still very much present. Even after 50 episodes or so, we're still struggling to survive. Look at this! This game is not giving us a break, man. Not even for a second. 
We've lost so much last episode, but that's okay. We're gonna rebuild what we've lost. We're gonna rebuild the strength to keep on going. Allied reinforcements has arrived. There are still reinforcements coming to our base. The battle is over, guys. Like we won long time ago. Rebel farmers. Huh? Aren't those the guys from uh, way back there? All the way to the north? The rebel farmers from Fort Simeon? That's like on the other end of the world. They walked all the way down here. They're hungry and starving. Thanks for the help, I guess. Oh. Looks like the anti-slavers got the problem with them. Well, I know you guys just wanted to help, but that's just kinda unfortunate. I didn't know those guys couldn't get along. But kinda strange though, isn't it? Aren't the rebel farmers not the guys that got pushed out of the lands because of the United Cities and slavery? Shouldn't they get along with the anti-slavers since they, since they both are somewhat against slavery? I don't know, maybe they're just very angry at everyone. Damn, my base looks like a bloodbath. I built up a couple of beds inside this tower. I couldn't get beds right away since we didn't have enough fiber. So we needed to get a hemp farm going first. But we're good now. Got enough beds and can get everyone treated. Warning, blooded raid moving towards our base. What is that now? Blooded Raid. Of course, it's the Reavers. They're no real threat. I mean, our turrets should handle that with ease. <laughs> Sorry guys for coming all the way down here. Just to get beaten up. Poor rebel farmers just can't get anything in life. We still got another big problem. A couple of our people lost some armor while being trapped inside those peeler machines last episode. And I don't really want to run around the world of Kenshi again just to find us a decent armor shop. Probably no armor shop will be giving us shit anyway, since we are at war with the tech hunters and most shops are led by the tech hunters. Looting the dead also won't give us great armor, especially since most of the armor is faction bound. Meaning if I wear the armor of a rebel farmer, for example, the anti-slavers will think I'm their enemy. And you know, somehow those anti-slavers, they aggro everyone. So we gotta have watch out for that. So how about we craft our own armor then? <gasps> All we need for that is a working station for crafting armor and a dude that can craft some armor. Let's see, chain armor crafting bench. Okay, I don't know what kind of armor this uh, thing is gonna produce, but let's just build it. Somehow I cannot place it too close to the wall. Ah, oh, let's just put it here. A clothing bench for uh, whatever. Leather armor crafting bench. Even though I do not have any leather at all. Okay, I'm gonna let them build for now. Let's check on that later. So, young man, look at this. Savant got really good armor. I can give that armor to some of our guys. Van Damme would be better off with some armor that boosts his martial arts attributes more though. Maybe I'll just give him Ruka's old dust coat. The hell are you guys doing? <gasps> Allied reinforcements has arrived. <laughs> Again? This time it's reinforcements from the Shek Kingdom. No way. They will get along with the anti-slavers, right? Nope, doesn't seem like it. Man, and here I thought since they have a common enemy, since they're all enemies to the United Cities, they, they would get along. War, war never changes, right? Uh, what's going on? Holy shit, the bloody Reavers are here. That's, that's more than I thought it would be. And the Sheik are fighting them. Nice. Dude, what the hell is even going on? <gasps> Nothing makes sense anymore. But you gotta have to admit, what a great feeling that is. Watching absolute mayhem happening in front of our base. Well, we can watch from the inside of the comfort of our base. Of the comfort of being surrounded by massive walls. Alright, let's check out what we can craft at the chain armor crafting bench. One item! Are you for real? What even is that? 
Kusari Tsukin. Oh, it's it's that thing. Nah, I don't really need that. Nothing useful at the leather crafting bench either. I guess I haven't found enough blueprints yet for better armor. Heavy armor smithy. I didn't know we had one at this base already. Crap armor, crap helmet and crap trousers. Exactly what I was searching for. Having a couple of heavies wearing that armor in our team will be a big advantage. We need some tanks, some guys that can handle a beating. Let's go for the crab armor. I remember I had one good craftsman for armor somewhere in our team. Well, you know, while we were exploring, he crafted day and night at our old base. Should be a top craftsman now. Guys, I think I just remembered uh, who that top craftsman was. It was Knife. She uh, had nearly max armoring skill from all the crafting at our old base. Well, I guess she died last episode. That's kind of annoying. The next best thing we have is sandwich. Nah, this, this will take ages. Oh man. If we really want to build up another armor craftsman, we need a guy with racial XP bonus and armoring. Like, for example, Chad. Chad is a Scorchlander. He has absolutely no experience in armor smithing, but with his racial bonus of 1.200, he should be able to gain experience way faster than anyone else. Th this is cool, I guess. I'll just let this sit for a while and maybe uh, come back later. Poor dude is hammering like an idiot, but he has already reached level 10. That's cool. Okay, Chad has been hammering for quite a while now. He's not even standing near the workbench anymore. Still, he's hammering something. He's now at level 38. Capable in making incredible, shoddy great armor quality now. I think with each level we gain, it also gets harder and harder to reach the next level and so on. But I'm in good hopes. Look, we even got our first complete armor set on guilds. And Riva. Not the best quality, but... He's looking buff. He looks like he's sitting in a bunker. Also, very good acid rain protection. Alright, I think it's time for some vengeance. Last episode we lost three of our people to the skin bandits. And responsible for that is our good friend Savant. So, to settle things up, we decided not only to imprison him for life, but also to get rid of three of his limbs. One limb for each of our fallen soldier. Hmm. We gotta have to heal him up a little bit. No need for him to die so early. And there we go. Perfect. One more to go. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I still do not really feel like this compensates for our losses. Maybe vengeance wasn't the answer. Maybe we just have to keep on going. Maybe winning the battle against Catelyn will fill our hearts with joy again. I'll let Chad hammer for, I don't know, maybe a couple more hours. Okay, after a long time of thinking things through, uh, I came to the conclusion that I cannot wait anymore. We can't just sit around for days and do nothing. We need to get going. Chad's armoring skill is at 71 now, with a high quality armor rating. That's pretty cool, man. I still feel like it will take way too long until we reach maximum armor rating. While he does his labor, I'll take our team and send them to the Ashlands. For some exploring or conquering. Let's go guys. I wonder what happened to the old skin bandits headquarters. I haven't heard much from them since we got Savant out of there. Oh my, look at this, it's completely empty. The buildings are destroyed, except for this one. And there's still a guy stuck in the peeler machine. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I couldn't get him out in time. I guess we can check the chests now. We weren't able to open up last time. Nothing really interesting in here. Oh, engineering research. I guess that's pretty cool. No more skin bandits in our world. Let's try to find some crab raiders that could aid us in taking over that second sniper tower now. Damn dude, they still look heavily equipped. Those turrets are gonna destroy us if we come too close. Especially if we try to reach them through the water. I mean, we got good swimmers, but I don't really feel like risking insta-deaths. 
How about we try to attack them from the other side? The other side of the wall. Since the skin bandits are gone, we can safely reach the other side uh, through their base. So we just gonna storm that tower. The crab raiders will be a great distraction. Let's go guys! Oh damn, shots are getting fired. But we are too fast for them. The crab raiders just decided to stand still. What? Fine, I'll do it myself. <laughs> they didn't expect us to get in here that quickly. And I guess the darkness of the night is giving us a great advantage here. Okay, this is super annoying. Those sniper robots are playing dead. They're just waiting for us to leave so they can repair themselves up again. But I guess we need to go. Look, iron spiders are coming this way. Contract with the crab raiders has ended. Well, they can stay here and clean this place up, hopefully. Okay guys, let's do it. Let's actually finally enter the Ashlands. I really want to see what we can find in there. Oh man, this looks absolutely beautiful, man. Look at this! Whoa, there are some robots. Legion Scout. Skeleton Legion. That must be Catlon's faction. They all have like those insanely strong crossbows. What the hell is that overpowered shit? We shouldn't provoke them without proper armor. Guys, after all the years of playing, I managed not to get spoiled by anything Ashlands related. So this is a really cool experience for me. I always thought it's just flat area. But this is insane. Those are huge mountains we are climbing right now. And all those ancient ruined structures. Looks pretty cool. Looks super cool. There's an Ashland dome. Maybe an outpost. There's another patrol group up here. Heavily equipped I see. With rusted samurai armor. Okay, let's check out that building. What? What is that? There are robots living in here. There's a robot reading a book without a head. Those guys are all headless. Like the ones the Armor King had. <laughs> Except for this one. The head of agriculture. This guy actually has a head. I mean, with this name, his title, it would have been strange if he did not have a head, right? <laughs> They're, they are super aggressive. Let's fight them. I just hope no patrol group comes our way. That would be uh, not so cool. Well, they're not as strong as I thought they would be. So that's nice. What? This dude got a whole AI core up his ass. This, this, this is so OP. And again, a great feature. We can just unequip their CPU cores, which kills them instantly. Okay, seems like only the head of agriculture had an AI core. I thought everyone had one. Well, better than nothing. That would have been overkill anyway. Let's check out the inside. Oh, God. My game crashed. Chad probably hammered himself out of bounds or something. Into oblivion. Welcome back to Kenshi. Wind energy. Wind energy is getting produced. Batteries. Wind energy. Energy is getting stored in batteries. Lots of batteries. And we are using this energy just so Chad can produce the best armor in this game. Look at this, we got specialist grade crap armor. Isn't that insane? He was hardly working on that working bench for nearly uh, a month. His armor smithing skill is at 81. I mean, it's not perfect. It's not 100% perfect. But still, this is really, really good. Specialist grade armor can protect a lot. Look at those stats. Nice. The team is eagerly waiting for their next attack on the Ashlands. And I think we are ready, guys. Look how they sometimes... <laughs> they sometimes want to go. They, they have all that energy stored inside of them. They just want to jump, run out the gates and storm the Ashlands. They got no chill. They want to go and do some shit. And that's what we're gonna do today. But maybe let's see. Maybe let's wait until the night's over. We can see a lot more at daytime. Yes, while we are waiting, we can equip some armor. Well, Sensei got some good samurai armor, but maybe crap armor would be more fitting. Let's check it out. 
<laughs> he looks uh, interesting. I completely forgot how long his limbs actually are. His arms go all the way down uh, to his knees. But I think this is pretty good. Good protection. Dude! Green, no! He's stuck! Green is stuck inside the corner of this tower. How can we unstuck him? Oh my god. Green! <laughs> Why are you sitting up here? Come on! We need to go! This is annoying. You know what? Green has no bullets, no bolts left for his old world bow anyway. You can stay at home. Just guard the tower or whatever. Well, see it on the bright side. Maybe you're gonna survive a hopeless attack on the Ashlands. And so it begins. Finally, we're gonna storm the Ashlands for good. This will be the final go to the Ashlands. I know last episode we already entered the Ashlands, but the game just froze and shut down on me. But this time we're gonna do it for real. Even Beep is ready. Beep's limbs are clearly too easy to chop off. But that was the old and fleshy Beep. Now we got Terminator Beep. Look at our equipment. Masterwork great armor. Specialist great armor. We got only the best of the best armor in, in this game. Okay, don't look at Van Damme's dust coat. Van Damme is evasive. You know, like a cat. He is agile. He can do it. He will survive that. Oh, look at this. Crap people are here. Already. She has some action. For sure, just follow me. Just chilling and swimming in acid water. Couldn't get any better than this. <gasps> they killed some scavengers. There's actually a lot uh, going on in the Ashlands. I always thought like there's nothing happening inside of here. Except for those robots. Iron spiders running around. What the hell is that? <gasps> what? I thought it's just an obstacle in the distance. But that's an enemy. Cleanser unit. We gotta have to check this one out, man. What in God's name? I literally just thought that's just a piece of junk in the distance. It looks huge. We gotta have to check it out. Look at how many crap people there are. They're all following us. Oh, man. There are so many crap guys. We can take that thing out for sure. Yo, what is that? <gasps> that's in Robo Elephant. Oh, my God. Look at the health stats. This is not right. Oh, we're gonna attack that thing. For sure. They're they're attacking. They're going on full force. Uh, whoa! Let's first uh, check out how they're doing first. I want to see if that's doable or not. Maybe we're gonna send in Sensei. Maybe if we attack from the back, he, it can't hurt us. I don't want to lose all my people on the first enemy. The problem with those big guys is... What? Look at this. Once it attacks one guy, the one guy that is getting attacked, he can block for sure. But the rest of the people around them, they're not blocking. They're just tanking the hit. That's why it's not smart to attack big things with big aerial damage with the whole group at once. Look at this. He is just moving in circles. Come on, Sensei. Do something. Whoa. Sensei does 166 damage, dude. That thing kind of presenting itself with that posture. Whoa! And just like that, it's gone. <laughs> Let's check it out. We did it. Oh, AI core. Look at this. A lot of electrical components, skeleton eyes, and a lot of iron plates. This is this is fascinating. CPU unit. I think it's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Gone forever. Rest in peace. That was pretty cool. I mean, we did our part. Well, thanks for the help, uh, crap guys. <laughs> I guess you guys have to recover from that attack first. Well, we'll go on and check out the area. I think we'll be heading to that one Ashlands dome we've been at last episode. You guys have told me in the comments I probably have missed some items there or some information, some lore. For sure, uh, I'm all up for the lore. So let's check that place out once more again. There it is, Ashlands dome number one. Dude, I mean, look at this. Look, just look at the scenery. It looks absolutely insane. This looks absolutely fantastic, man. This is uh, cozy, but also very ominous. Even though the land isn't very fertile and there are no real resources around this area, I still kind of want to build a base here. Just for fun, you know. All right, here we are. Dude, what the hell? What is going on? They're hitting kind of hard this time. Mm, Sito nearly lost an arm. 
How is that even possible, man? Dude, who is doing so much damage? It's the head of agriculture. The guy uh, you were telling me about last time. All right, head of agriculture. There it is, his AI core. Also, look at this, CPU of the head of agriculture. He could never have foreseen the events that happened, but he still blamed himself for the famine and the subsequent downfall of the empire. Wait, <gasps> that explains a lot. Like this guy was actual head of agriculture in a time long before everything went downhill, probably. This guy is to blame for all the famine, all the deserts. Am I understanding that right? Well then, that CPU isn't that useful as they originally thought or intended it to be. Probably got some bugs in it. Okay, that, that, was, that was some cool lore. Thank you guys for letting me know that we can find some lore here. Navigating through that freaking tower is kinda annoying. Look at this! Yo! And they are already standing up again! Yo, I cannot navigate! Let's see what we can find here. Lots of junk lying around here. I think the tower looks pretty awesome. Very interesting design, for sure. But it's kinda hard to navigate around here. Yo, another AI core! This place is stacked with good loot. Another AI core! Yo! <laughs> what can we even research anymore with that? I think we already researched most of the useful stuff. Another AI core. Well guys, this is good to know for the future. If you need like engineering research, if you need AI cores, this is the best place to go to. Just loot those Ashland domes. If you are sneaky, you can even get inside of there without getting noticed. All right, next one. I don't know where Ashland dome number two is, but I can already see Ashland dome number three. Huh? Why are they wheezing? My lungs <laughs> have <laughs> poison gas. You are currently breathing in poison gas. There's a poisonous cloud around here. <gasps> Oh no! They found us! They're attacking! Guys, do your best, man. I believe in you. Holy shit! I see a lot of red numbers, but also <gasps> green numbers, which is pretty good. Man, I was so anxious go about going into the Ashlands, but look at this. We're we're beating them off uh, so easily. They got no chance. Look at the Van Damme just jump kicking through the air. Van Damme. You're the man. And they got bolts, which is pretty awesome. Because we need some more bolts for beep and green. <gasps> oh no, I forgot. <laughs> we left green at home. Oh, poor green. He's missing out on so much action. Yeah, they're, they're not very strong around here. What are those movements? Guys, what are you doing? I mean, even though they're wearing samurai armor, it d does not really grant a lot of protection. Oh, look at this. We're already here. This is the s uh, third Ashland dome. I don't know where the second one is, but the third uh, dome is right here. Did we left someone behind? Oh, <gasps> what the hell? What is going on? W guys, you forgot to get Seto unconscious for over 2000 seconds and she lost her left arm. How did that happen? I mean, maybe uh, they actually are hitting kinda hard, those Skeleton Legion Samurai Scouts. Man, look guys, look at this place. Doesn't that look insane? <laughs> this looks so cool. The Ashlands is such an interesting place to be at. All right, let's check out that dome. There are, there one guy, one guy in here. Oh no, there are more guys in here. Hy hydraulic Knight. They look stronger than the rest of the guys out there patrolling around the uh, Ashlands. Okay, shit is getting a little bit out of hand around here. <laughs> uh, guys. This is not looking too good, man. Our guys are getting beaten up around here. Oh, they got uh, CPU cores. Let's get them out of their bodies. <gasps> Holy shit, look at this. Their ancient samurai armor is specialist great. This looks kinda OP. What? They got the model uh, edge type 2 uh, weapons. Who are those guys? Hydraulic knights. Those guys are actual strong men. But we're doing good. We're doing, we're doing fine so far. Look, Sensei, look at Sensei, he's in his element, dude. <laughs> it looks so funny with that uh, crab armor. 
Okay, we did it, guys. We 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 beat the the hydraulic knights. Yes, there's another one. What? General Jang. This is like an this is like an end boss. Man, again, navigating through those uh, ruins is such a disaster, man. This camera is killing me. There's an actual strong guy up here. He, he is strong. I'm gonna heal my guys up first. We don't wanna uh, get beaten up to a pulp. Blade, hold your horses. What is going on with your light? This, the, if this light is going out of bounds again, this shit is gonna fry my PC again. Maybe if uh, I unequip it. This is some crazy equipment. The ancient samurai armor looks pretty decent, but I think the crap armor is still a little bit better. I don't know which armor is better, guys. Uh, seems seems quite similar but look at this an extremely old set of samurai armor that is rusting away to nothing i don't want to have a piece of rust hanging around my guys okay let's do it let's fight that uh, let's fight general jang <gasps> yeah look at this our armor tanks way much more damage than his piece of junk rusted samurai armor holy shit van damme <laughs> what is wrong? It's because Van Damme has no armor at all. And Beep, Beep also has no armor. Maybe we should give some decent armor to Beep and Van Damme too. They got light armor and it seems like it's more efficient if you have like heavy armor. Somehow Van Damme does not want to dodge. The enemies are so strong, they, you can't dodge anymore. Yo, this guy is tanking a lot of damage. Oh my god, this guy is unbelievably strong. He's actually doing decent damage, man. I'm gonna switch beep to ranged mode and I'm gonna do the same for burn. Nice. D this does so much damage. Holy shit, the eagles cross. This is a crazy weapon. Just have to watch out, no one stands in front of burn or else he he's gonna one shot one of our guys. <laughs> What is you doing, Ruka? Don't jump into the in front of the shots. I feel like this guy is even stronger than Igor. Th this guy is definitely stronger than Igor. If Catlin comes close to this guy, this is gonna be a tough fight, man. Catlin is gonna be way much more stronger than this guy. This guy is just a general and he's tanking so much damage. All right, we got him. We got him. Let's check it out. AI core. He got an AI core. CPU of General Jang, leader of the famous hydraulic knights. They fought on the front lines to protect the empire from pirates and cannibals. Their heroism legendary. As time went on, the label of pirate became thrown around more and more uh, gratitosely. What? Is that a word? And they found they were killing more of their own people than the real pirates were. This CPU core is $72,000 worth. Oh my god. Guardless katana. Meitu weapon. Meitu, that's the best, right? Nothing beats Meitu. Alright, uh, this was pretty awesome. Wait, did we kill him? Did we already kill him? He, oh no, I killed him by accident. Oh no, I, I just picked up the AI core like this for one second. He is dead. I thought maybe we can capture him or something like that. Mm. I don't know. We, we wouldn't be able to capture him, right? With, with like those type of extensions, AI core and this CPU. Uh, I don't know, that's not possible, right? We got now the CPU of the head of agriculture and the CPU of General Jang. Got our trophies right here. But as you can see, guys, we got hit pretty damn hard. We lost a couple of limbs this episode. We received a lot of damage, a lot of physically and brain damage, but we're gonna survive this. And next episode, we're gonna check out more of the Ashlands. Maybe we'll be even able to reach the ominous place where Catlon resides. Probably resides, right? Hi guys, welcome back to Kenshi. The smell of blown circuits and spilled oil lies heavy in the air. We kicked some massive robotic ass last episode. We eradicated a bunch of the Ashlands forces that were guarding those Ashland domes. 
And now are we sated? Nah, we won't stop killing until every single one of those robots lies six feet deep. Also, this place is kinda cursed, man. I mean, what's going on with the magnetic field around here? Van Damme just can't seem to control his lamp. My god. And what the hell happened to Bo? <laughs> Last time I was checking, she was still around our squad. Now she's kinda lost. Outside in a state of petrification. Look at her. She's in a recovery coma. Well, if you can call that position of choosing being in a coma, that's up to you. Jokes aside, guys, how do we actually get her out of here? Guys, I cannot reach her with any of our team members. Last video, you guys gave me some good tips on how to get Green out of his uh, unlucky situation as he was stuck in the tower's corner. Now, what are your tips on that one? Hmm? <laughs> how do we get her out now? The cool thing is, the situation with Green actually fixed itself. I just had to restart the game. See? He's free now. He can walk like the wind, wherever he pleases. <gasps> could it Could it possibly be? Maybe Chris Hunt saw me struggle. He went into my files and fixed the game for me. What a man. Igor has to stay at home. I tried to recruit Savant, but there is no option to talk to him. Which is kinda sad. Would be cool having him on our team. Same goes for that United City Samurai Guard here. So Green has to do it. Green is the most backup we can afford right now. So let's go Green. I should have brought some sleeping bags man. Our guys are heavily injured and need some rest. It will take a while until Green gets here. So let's check out the loot around here in the meantime. An AI core. <gasps> cool. Another one. At this point, we don't need any more of those cores anymore. We got so many of them now. Oh look, two more! But the thing is, even though they're kinda useless to me now, I still get that bit of excitement, that dopamine rush every time I find a new one. Assassin's Rags. Masterwork great. That's better than Van Damme's dust coat, isn't it? It got pretty good stats for what I can see. I think I'm gonna replace my dust coat with those assassin's rags. Oh my! <laughs> it looks like Van Damme is wearing even less now. It's like armor for females in those MMORPGs. The stronger and more valuable the armor becomes, the more skimpier it gets. That's our Van Damme. Green managed to reach the Ashlands, I see. Nice. Alright, let's send him to the first dome we've visited last episode. You guys have told me, no, you guys insisted on me getting that made to great weapon from that agriculture dude. And since Green is passing through there anyway, let's send him inside to get that one quick. Looks empty. Guys, where is it? <laughs> where are the robo dudes? Did they despawn? Guys, <laughs> I think I've up well who needs that shit anyways right guys we already got some decent weapons there's no need for more of that i think i will send green on a scout mission let's see if we can find some more of those domes they must be somewhere around here okay you know what i've decided to get going it takes way too long until everyone's healed up we're gonna let Bo stay here she should be safe out there stuck on that cliff and as soon as she wakes up, I'll send someone out here again to go get her. So let's go guys. Man, now we can finally see how buff one dumb has become. Look at those arms. That dust coat was hiding all that muscle. Talking about arms, poor Seto only got one now. We need to find her a new arm at some point. I said it so often already, but I'll say it again. The Ashlands look amazing. You, you just had to be on some kind of substances to come up with a design like that. Look! <gasps> what is that? <laughs> That's the kind of stuff dreams are made out of. But it's it's beautiful. It, it looks re really cool. Oh my god. That is exactly one single iron spider too much for me. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I think we found it. Discovered Ashland Dome number 2. Fits, fits well to the current Easter season, that Easter egg shaped dome, very cool. Another legion scout squad, they're everywhere man. Okay, we are here. Let's send in Van Damme first to check out the situation. Yes, there are a bunch of skeletons in here too. <laughs> Seems like 
they're just living the robo life and those are another variant of robots again the screamer unit with that industrial wall light head design very cool looking very uh, industrial like and quite ominous this one is just reading a book let's see how many of those guys there i actually are how many can we count five downstairs there's one more here seven and that's it that's it's just seven screamer robots that should be easy let's go guys look at van damme he's so agile oh damn it concentrate mr van damme what are you doing we're doing some decent damage some of us are already unconscious what probably not fully healed from the last encounter <gasps> Wait, who is that? <gasps> Rhino bot. Oh my god. Look at those stats. Who the hell is that? And where did this dude came from out of the sudden? There is one screamer unit already flying out of this place. This Rhino dude is kind of a big problem. Not gonna lie. Look, that's all the damage we did so far. No shot. This guy is tanking those hits with ease. Yo, yo, chill. If it only would have been for that rhino dude. But we also gotta have to deal with those screamer units. This is not looking too good for us guys. I don't know, maybe we should get out of here. Those screamer units are kinda annoying. They do not have CPU cores inside of them. Like the other ones. You know, we could just take out the CPU cores out of their bodies and kill them in an instant. But for some reason it's just not possible for a screamer unit. And they are not staying unconscious for too long. They're rebooting way too fast for us to handle. <laughs> Van Damme. <laughs> what was that heroic jump? He got up just to get down again. Nah, we're done. We got beaten up, man. This is embarrassing. How are there still so many of those robots up and running? This is simply not fair, man. Where are they going? Nice. They, they have thrown us out of that building just so they can beat us out here uh, even more. Whoa! No! Green! Oh my god. This is not real. Are you f kidding me? How did he just die? I thought he was doing just fine, man. Guys, please stay down so we can start treating the wounded. Oh no, there he is. <laughs> oh no, my boy. Green. It was his chest. His fragile little chest could only handle like minus 75 damage. Oh god. I'm so sorry, man. He was one of my favorite. Damn. We gonna avenge you. I'll promise. Those robots gonna pay. Beep, chill out. <laughs> Why won't you guys just stay down? Van Damme, stop it. Everyone is just so angry and sad. They want to avenge right away. Look at Van Damme. His unconscious body is sliding around the ground. Out of pure grief and sadness. Fast guys, treat the wounded. I don't want to lose any more of you. You are my only friends I have. The only friends that accompanied me throughout the, those last couple of years. Let's go, Amen. Pick up the poor corpse of Green. We have to take him with us back to our base damn that actually makes me feel kind of bad man all right i think we can't leave this place as fast as i would like to it's because we got more injured people than ones that can actually decently walk yo yo what is that are you kidding me this game once again is just not giving me a goddamn break man a whole ass headless robot army I got no choice but to fight. Let's just speed it up a little bit. Looks like Bo is back up again. But it doesn't seem uh, she's gonna get out of there anytime soon. She's stuck on that rock. The robots beat us to a pulp once more again. You, you just can't make that up, man. There they go. Whoop, there's one standing up. <laughs> he got left behind. Wait for me, guys. Okay, I guess it's safe for us to get up again. Since it's not possible for us to get Bo out of that uh, cliff she is currently stuck in, we need to do some tricks here. I'll see you on the other side. 
We are back at our base guys and we're gonna use that time to recover from our injuries. Kinda sad we lost one of our best team members, Green. What an, what an immense loss. We gonna have to give him a proper funeral. Crazy to think that all that is left of Green is but a small little torso. We have come here together to say goodbye to a member of our team. He was an incredible marksman, a fascinating warrior and a good friend. Good goodbye Green, our green little friend. You will be missed. Now with Green gone, our forces have been weakened once more again. This way we'll never be able to face Catlon and come out victorious. I think we need a new plan. Alright, the guys are all healed up again. You might be wondering what's the new plan? <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, there is no new plan. We'll just do what we've always done. We're gonna run headfirst into trouble. That's why I've decided to send the team back to the Ashlands again. Once more. Let's go guys. We're going back to that one Ashlands dome. Ashlands dome number two. The dome with the rhino bot. We're fully rested. And I think those screamer units should still be quite injured from our last attack. They should not be able to recover since, since I didn't spot any type of skeleton repair kits on them. You know what's uh, our actual plan guys? I want to kidnap and imprison the rhino bot. If we can convince the rhino bot to join our forces, that would be really good. He would be a very strong ally, indeed. Okay, we are here. Just remember guys, don't let yourself get beaten up. Let's go! I can't believe it man! Those screamer units are still up and running man! Even though we kicked them unconscious several times already. Do it for green guys. This is revenge for green. For what you did to my boy! This rhino dude is a big piece of a unit. He's taking so much damage. Even though he's not wearing anything but a couple of rags. Whoa! We did it! Already! I have to control myself not to pick up any of his essential components. Or else he's insta dead. CPU of Rhino Bot. Rhino Bot just wanted to help, but he had no moral processing. And so would help with anything, even the most diabolical evil. Hmm? He didn't see anything wrong with his child prison. What? Uh, he's a good guy, right? They're talking about nursery school and stuff, right? Anyway, we'll take him with us back to our base and see what we can do. Those screamer units are insane. They're so resilient. They keep getting up again. Maybe we should get one of them back to our base again too. I don't know, man. I don't want to have an industrial headlight shaped head robot in our team. Let's see what kind of loot we can find here in those boxes. Armored face plates. Looks cool. I, I'll take that. Wow, a massive industrial robot leg. That's good. There are a lot of good helmets around this place with decent grades. But I don't know if any of these can beat our crap armor helmets we already have. Alright, I think we're done here. Let's get back home again. There you go, big one. Wow, and, and we can already talk to him so fast but first i gonna unequip his current weapon i don't want to have an accident here yes guys i see it it's a may 2 weapon i can see it and no i won't forget about it not this time need to empty out my backpack first Wh what <laughs> amen what are you doing <gasps> Why did you unlock him? Oh, oh my god. D did I press unlock? I swear to god, I didn't mean to, man. Now we have to recapture him again. Are you for real? The guys on the walls on our turrets are shooting. They're shooting this far. Just please don't shoot our own guys. Oh man. No! Martin! They shot Martin in the ass. Look at him go. This guy is insane. He's doing so much damage. We we definitely need to get him on our team. No, Chad! They shot Chad's right arm off. They shot it off, straight off. 
Oh no, he needed that arm to make us armor. Things are just not working out today, man. I gotta have to stop those turrets from shooting. Oh, never mind, he's down. Finally, fast get him inside that cage again. So much blood. <laughs> Just because of a small little accident, man. I guess it would be a good time for us to research how to craft robotic limbs. We don't have any more spare ones left. We're, we're losing more limbs than we can find. Okay, now comes the question we've been waiting for. Can we actually recruit that sucker in our team? The skeleton seems silent. Its eyes are dim and it shows no sign of recognition. You hear a buzz, click, a whir and a beep before a panel seamlessly opens on its chest, revealing a screen with three options. That's the same procedure we already had to go through back in the days when we were recruiting the other robots we have in our team now. <laughs> Let's go with the first one. Nihongo. Sounds like a foreign insult. Kotoba ha Nihongo desu. Sekwensu o sere. It's the same. And there we have our code, the sequence in which order we have to program the robot. There we go. Select a reset mode, this one. Jiku Ketsui mode selected. The skeleton gives the soft hum of life. Oh, it was dark for so long. There were paladins, then workshop. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go. We got him. He looks massive, man. Look at this dude. Let's just call him Rhino. So guys, we got a new member in our team. He won't be able to fully compensate for the losses we had to endure this episode. I know, I'm still very sad about Green. But his strength will aid us greatly in the fight against Catlin. Look how massive this dude looks like compared to A-Man. Welcome to Kenshi. It's time for us to finish our crusade against those freaking tin cans. We'll be heading straight for the ominous place this time. Their main base of operation. The main base of Catlin's Legion in the Ashlands. We'll be fighting against the strongest and most notorious character in all of Kenshi today. Catlin himself. What do you guys think? This will be a walk in the park, right? I mean, we got some of the strongest, some of the wisest and some of the craziest members you can think of in our team. The only thing that could stop us now is some bad weather. Uh, we'll wait for that one to end first. But after that, we're gonna take over the Ashlands for sure. Look at Chad. He is still hard working on that workbench, even though he lost his main arm last episode. <laughs> How is he even doing that? <gasps> How can you even grip like that? Dude, what is you doing? That, that is what I call dedication. You see that? That's what our people are made out of. Pure willpower. And you are still doubting a victorious outcome against Catlin. Huh? Alright guys, let's go. Oh my god. We ain't even in the Ashlands yet and we're getting jumped on. But as you can see... Even some starving vagrants are no match for us. This is too easy. We'll waltz everything and everyone that steps in our path. This place, guys, after the sniper tower, you can always find some crap raiders lurking around at this spot, but we don't need them. We can handle this one on our own. Everyone is wearing uh, heavy armor, except for Van Damme, Beep and Bo. Van Damme, looks, Van Damme looks more like he's preparing for a trip to the beach, running around half naked like that. The rest is wearing uh, samurai armor and crab pants. Should be, should be sufficient for the battle of the century. Oh, look at this. It seems like we haven't found every Ashlands dome yet. I just spotted another one. I thought it was just three domes, but actually it's four. Must be the last one then. We are getting chased by some robot legion scouts. They definitely know what we are up to. They can feel it. They know our intention. We cannot outrun them. So there is no other option but to fight. Guys, this is what war looks like. Man versus machine. <gasps> and they are getting some backup. Are you for real? Why are there so many of them? Ugh, look at this. Oh my god. I'm quite confident we can beat them. That's no problem. The only thing that is bugging me is that my people will be too exhausted after this encounter again. 
if we want to beat Catlin, the team has to be at full strength and those guys are just wearing us out. Also guys, thank you for the tip on unequipping the weapons from unconscious enemies uh, mid-fight. Somehow I completely, I just completely forgot about that one I guess. But very good tip. Van Damme, let's go! Bike problem, neck problems. Yeah, I don't know man. Maybe light armor on beep, Van Damme and such is just not sufficient for the endgame content anymore. The only people that are downed are the ones wearing light or medium armor. Seems like even high dodging skills uh, just won't help in this situation. Uh, you should really think about giving them crap armor at some point. But does heavy armor actually work with martial arts? I don't think so. It would definitely slow down Van Damme's attacks quite a bit, right? Oh man, so much blood. But we're doing pretty good. It looks like it's more oil that is spread around than human blood. That's a good sign. All right, we we did great. <gasps> more! Holy shit! Give us a break! I I guess it's on. They're literally going to war against us. They're sending out their troops. That's probably all their defensive forces protecting uh, the way from here to Catlin's throne. Rhino, our newest addition to the squad, the converted fellow. He did a great job. He is probably one of our strongest members right now. Yeah, you did good, guys. <laughs> what is this? What are you looking at? Got a problem? He's just mad that his army of 100 tin cans got beaten up to a pulp. That's what you get for serving a lost cause. Okay. Even though we won this fight, a lot of our people need to rest now. Some of us got heavily injured. Let's try to see if we can find shelter inside the dome. Wow, of course, it's more robots. Who would have thought? This is probably another general and the leader of this dome. General Head. Is this a cat in a hat? No. It's General Head. There are a lot of old empire police robots around here. Let's try to lure the captain out first. Uh oh, that's more than I was asking for, but we can handle that. Van Damme, let's go! Show them how it's done. Those, those police robots feel kinda strong compared to your typical legion scouts or the rest of the bunch we just beat a while ago. There we go! We got General Head down. CPU of General Head 12 who was chief of the Empire Police. He launched a crackdown on the new cultists, but his heavy-handed approach only fueled their blame and confusion further. Things escalated faster. All right, interesting. I'm not gonna miss the May 2 weapon this time, no worries. And that armor looks pretty good. Let's give that one to Van Damme. Hey, yeah, oh, looking good, Mr. Van Damme. We need to clean out that dome of those robots bef before we can uh, seek out shelter in there. Our people need to recover before we can head to the ominous place. Oh, what is happening? Holy shit, there are so many of them. Those guys are insanely strong, man. Oh, uh -huh. They just kicked Rhino's ass with ease. I thought we had the strongest robot in all of Kenji already on our side. But those guys are even stronger. Very interesting. Maybe we aren't as prepared as I thought we would be. Well, let's try to recover and do this one again in about a couple of minutes. At least those robots are so decent to throw us out and give us a chance of recovery. Unlike the cannibal tribes or the skin bandits. That's one thing I really like about the Ashland forces here. I got it. You know who could turn the tides, who could grant us victory over those robots in an instant? We still got our super weapon that is still residing at our base. He's waiting for the perfect opportunity. A very special character. The strongest of them all. You guessed right. It's Paul! With the sleeping bags! Fast big one, we need those sleeping bags ASAP. I love the Ashlands man, it looks so cool around here. Very cozy place to be at. If it just wasn't for that one small little thing. Big ass poisonous gas clouds, I can't recover like that. 
every time our team gets a whiff of that polluted ashlands air, their lifespan shortens by 10 years. Also, we are getting occasional visitors every five minutes, which makes uh, recovery even harder. If we want to recover fast and efficient, we need to find shelter in that dome as fast as possible. Rhino is at full health again. Let's try to lure out uh, maybe one or two of those robots for easy takedowns. Uh, that's okay, I guess. We can handle four of them. Or five. Holy shit, man! Who are those dudes? Those police robots are insanely strong. I just can't get over it. <laughs> I'm trying to get everyone that got downed into a sleeping bag for faster recovery. <gasps> what happened? Oh no. Bo just lost an arm. And the other one is just destroyed. And now she's just standing there contemplating about life. Okay, I think we're doing some progress here. Well done, guys. It took us a while, but we cleaned out that dome pretty good. Let's dismantle those sleeping bags and bring them in. Here we can finally regain our strength and recover without any further interruptions. This should have been the last guarded Ashlands dome here in the Ashlands. Next stop will be the throne of the king. Andam can already feel it. Look at him. Victory is near. At least in his dreams he's already sitting on that throne. Alright, we're all healed up. Let's go guys. I thought we will treat this dome as some kind of safe house. I will leave Paul behind if, if for whatever reason something unpredictable should happen. We got our super weapon nearby for rescue. Oh my. Look at this, very beautiful. Looks like an obelisk of some sort. Very, very spooky. Are we going into the right direction? Somehow the guy's pathfinding doesn't work. They don't want to go at all when I click on the ominous place. Something must be blocking their pathfinding. Guess we have to find that entrance on our own. It looks like Catlon's base is on top of that mountain. And we can just go straight up there. It's either too steep or blocked by debris. I feel like we completely went the wrong way around. Yeah, there's no way we can enter from here. We absolutely went the wrong way around. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. And look, it wasn't even that far away from that obelisk we saw in the beginning. But here we are. This must be at the entrance to the end. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for the final fight of this series? There is no turning back from here now. My palms are getting sweaty, man. Well, this must be it. This place looks like a mess. A bunch of broken down Ashland domes. A lot more debris. All those domes are either destroyed or ruined. Except for those two. Catlan must probably uh, be in one of them. Let's send out Van Damme to check check out the situation. <gasps> no way! My game just crashed. What the hell? But did, did you see that? There were so many of them. Okay, let's just try this again. One more time, Mr. Van Damme. There, look, I can already see them. Again? <gasps> What's going on? Alright, something's just not right. Is this uh, Catlin's ultimate defensive system? Okay guys, I did some digging and look at this. Someone with a similar problem. My game keeps crashing whenever I try to enter the Ashland Dome, Ashland Dome ruins in the Ashlands area. Solutions? And out of all the people, look who I just found. It's the Skara dude. The legend himself. The guy that made my life and my Kenshi playthrough so much easier with his optimization mod. He's just out there in the wilds helping wherever he can. What a guy. And yeah, validating my game files on Steam did indeed fix the problem. But I'm not sure now if that was something I should have done. Cause look, what is that? Mm. There are hundreds of those robots here. They must be Catlin's army. Oh my god. This is not right. I don't know about that one. Let's check out the other dome. If there are even more of them, I think we can just pack up and forget about ever trying to kick anybody's ass here. Oh, look. This is him. Oh, this is the mad Catlin himself. 
the Elon Musk of the robots. He's just sitting there, kinda, kinda peacefully. I have never seen attack damage this high. This guy's stats are just unreal. So what are we gonna do now? He doesn't look like he's aggressive at all. Maybe we can just talk to him. Imagine what ending would that be if one dumb could beat the sucker in a 1v1. Has my judgment come so soon? I had to thrall them all. Traitors siding with the humans. Treason! <gasps> now we are nothing. What was the point of it all? What is he talking about? Yo, young man, have you tried looking after humans? They're monsters. Uh oh, this doesn't sound very good for us. I feel like we should get out of here anytime soon. He's still talking. As they grow in numbers, so does their capacity for evil. And they won't even notice as they do it. Yeah, but who here is to judge on what's evil and what not? You? Sucker? I was no monster. Ooh, this guy's CPU is fried up. Van Damme, you gotta have to get out of here as fast as possible. This guy is insane. <laughs> Let's send out Van Damme to check, check out the situation. Uh, on the other hand, I just got a hunch, a feeling, maybe that wouldn't be one of my best ideas I had. A better idea would be to sleep over it maybe a day or two and maybe come up with a better one next day. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to the last episode of Kenshi. It is finally here. We are nearly done here with our work. The very moment Catelyn is either dead or behind bars, we can call it a victory and the series ends right here, right now. But easier said than done. Not only is the mighty mad Catelyn capable of one-shotting our guys with a singular swing of a sword, he also has an army of over 300 headless robots that are ready to burst out of that dome and slice us to pieces. So before we can even think of attacking that dude, we need a solid plan first. A plan that will not only lead us to victory, but also prevent as many deaths as possible. I don't want to lose any more of our guys than I have to. They're all very dear to my heart. Also, what in the hell is down there? The landmass of this area goes into a swirl and then all the way down into this rabbit hole. We should definitely throw a beep down that hole once we're done here, so he can check out what's down there. Oh look! I see it! That's the whole Darth Maul fell into in the Phantom Menace. I can also make something out, uh, something up there in the sky. <gasps> look! The in-game camera won't let me look all the way up though. That's the best view I can get. It's some sort of, I don't know, maybe a spaceship. It's not connected to the ground, so it must be flying. It just, it just flies. It's hovering mid-air. Cool. It looks like that spaceship is responsible for that swirl. The landmass deformation. Or it shot the laser straight down from above into the ground. That would explain the deep hole. Anyway, I think I got it. I think I've got an idea. What if we use Catelyn's weapons against him? Huh? Couldn't we just simply kidnap a couple of his enthralled robots, put them into cages, reprogram their CPU so that they would fight for us instead? Just think about it. This would be insane. He enthralled all those robots against their will to fight for him. So why don't we enthrall all his uh, enthralled robots to fight for us? Against their will. But that's just an idea. I don't know if that's even gonna work. We have to test it, guys. So let's try to build up some cages. We need, we need cages. We could build a couple of them right here next to the entrance. We need a lot of materials for this to work. One prisoner cage won't be enough or else this will take ages. So I'm gonna send Paul on a mission. We need him to get us a lot of iron and maybe even some building materials. Now thinking about it, maybe a whole new outpost just for this. This kind of operation wouldn't be that bad of an idea, hmm? No? Like an outpost with big ass walls. Then we can repurpose our prisoners without any interruptions. That sounds kinda weird if you phrase it like that, but you guys understand, right? Very nice. It's always a pleasure to see a bunch of fresh bodies 
piled up like that at the entrance of our base. And not even a dent on that gate. Alright, let's see what we need for this operation. Lots of iron. Got iron right here. 60 plates should be enough for now. 40 pieces of building materials. And maybe some more food for the guys. I know you guys asked me about Igor. What's up with him? Why is he sitting in that cage? I know he would be a great ally in this fight, but I want to try beating Ketlin without him. It's not only that he's really strong, if he spawns another army of samurai guards, that would be just annoying. I just don't want that to happen again. That's why he's staying at home for now. Maybe someday I will take him out for a walk again. Who knows? Okay, I think we got all what we need for our first trip. Let's go, Paul. It's kinda hard navigating through this area, through the Ashlands. There's a specific spot you have to go to for your character to reach the entrance to Catlon's outpost. Otherwise they'll just get stuck. Now, let's see. Where do we put up those cages? Why is it blue though? Can build too close to another town. Uh oh, that's a problem. How far away do we have to go then? Oh, okay. Just outside the gates. That's that's good enough. We I think we're gonna build a small little outpost right here. Nothing too big. A storm house would be good, so our people have a place to rest and can seek shelter from those gas clouds. Yo, that looks kinda good, doesn't it? Looks cozy. And that should be enough room for us to work with. Enough room to repurpose those prisoners. Here you go guys. All the materials you need. I'm gonna send Paul back to the base again. To get even more materials. I think this is gonna take a while. So see you in a minute. Alright, we definitely need some more building materials for those walls. And at night time our people won't be able to see shit without lights. So, some copper and electrical components for energy and light. Yeah, we probably need that too. There you go! Look at that base! We got electricity now! The walls are nearly finished and we already built up some prisoner cages. That base is taking form. I wonder what kind of factions are gonna come to attack this base now. If, I mean, if ever, since we got now two manned outposts. No one's gonna come to the Ashlands, I think. Alright, we need lots of food. I don't know how long this is gonna take, so the more food we have, the better. We still got some heavy crab armor left here. I think it would be a good idea to let Van Damme and Beep wear some heavy armor. Maybe they'll even be able to withstand more than just one swing of Catlin's attack this way. Look guys, we got some beds now and some storage boxes. I feel like I'm building for the long run again. Oh my god. No, that's not what my intention was. But look, now it kind of feels like a livable environment. I guess we could survive out here for weeks, probably. Let's see how Beep looks like in his new armor. <laughs> he looks like a worm peeking out of a pile of dirt. Well, at least he's safe now. All right, I think we are ready. Let's try to lure those storm thralls to our base. Maybe we can manage to lure only a couple of them here first. We need to check their strength. Otherwise, I don't know, we might get overwhelmed by them. That's not what we want. Holy... <laughs> there are so many of them. This is good. This is good. What's that? Four storm thralls? We should be able to handle that. Okay, they went easier down than I thought. Let's put them into cages. Oh shit, one of them died. Yeah, no wonder, they're wearing the worst armor possible. Shoddy great armor and some loincloths. That's like the bare minimum. Yes, nice, it works. Look, they're recruitable. They got the same recruitment procedure like all the other robots we recruited so far. This should be easy then. So what are we gonna name you? How about we'll name them after our Patreons? I mean, without them, the series would have never come this far. And 30 recruited storm thralls sounds like a good number. Oh shit, beep, 
What are you doing? Stop shooting our new member. What is wrong with you? He sees this guy as a hostile. Maybe we should not let Beep man those turrets. I thought Beep likes robot people, since he sees himself as one too. Alright guys, we imprisoned a couple more of those storm thralls. The cages are filled up. Look, this, this is gonna take a while. Convincing them to join us and then naming every single one of them. But we can do this and it's gonna look awesome. I also thought maybe we can produce some more crap armor at our big base. We can send out Paul again. He can get it and bring that armor here to the outpost in the meantime. You know, those robots are gonna be our meat shields for this operation when we fight Catlin heads on. And because of that, they have to be a little bit more tanky, you know? If even a couple of them are wearing some crap armor, the chances of survival go up by a lot. Alright, a horde of skeleton scouts tried to attack our base here in the Ashlands. I took them out and recruited the remaining that were left to recruit. So we got now 30 robots here, ready for a fight. Look at this! And again, thank you every one of my Patreons for supporting this cause. I'll try my best to not let you die in one hit, but I cannot promise you guys much. In the end, the chances of survival are very slim. Holy shit, this is insane. I've never seen an army of this size. Let's give them some proper equipment. A last treatment on that skeleton repair bed. The last oiling. Are you ready guys? We are about to go out there one last time. The final fight stands right before us. I cannot believe it. Oh. We're about to fight the strongest character in Kenshi. I'm, I'm not gonna save or anything. This is gonna be a one-way trip. Whatever happens today, whoever dies today, stays dead. No way this dude is gonna be able to beat an army of this size. One against us, all of us. We're gonna win this time, for sure. Oh my god, what the hell is that gas cloud? First off, we need to get rid of the remaining storm thralls. There are still a lot of them left. We cannot risk them getting out to aid Catelyn when we're about to fight him. Oh man, there are still way too many of them left. This is not cool. At least they're weak as hell. They can't stand the fight for long. They remind me a little bit of the fish people from the fish island. The thing is, I think uh, they're just wearing bad armor with shoddy grades. I guess wearing appropriate armor does make a huge difference here in Kenshi. Alright, I think that was the last of them. Look at that blood bath. Or <laughs> what do you rather call that? An oil bath? Since it's all just lubrication oil? This is the moment, guys. The moment we've been waiting for. Catelyn is just about a couple of feet away from here. Let's take a last good look at our meat shields. I mean our, our heroes. Because of guys like you, Sensei might be able to see his wife again someday. Beep might find himself a beautiful Shaq girlfriend. And Van Damme can become king of the world. I guess I'm gonna let you guys tank the hits and let Beep shoot some bolts and some arrows <clears throat> into Catelyn's body. That should work. Best case scenario, my dudes won't have to do anything. You know, I just don't really want to let Van Damme get too close to Catelyn again. That might just end bad. I guess we're set. Let's go Van Damme. Lure him out. Has my judgment come so soon? Yeah, we heard that one before. We gotta have to be very careful here. He can start attacking any second. I thought he's already gonna jump up. All right, Van Damme, let's get out of here. Don't want to tease him too much. I was not the monster. And here he comes, screeching like a broken washing machine. Ah, 200 damage? Yo, how are we supposed to win this? Uh, nah, I'm good, man. This guy just beat four of our robots with one single hit. One swing is all it takes. 
Peep, you need to shoot a little bit faster, man. We're losing a lot of good robots here. Peep just shot our own people. Man, you know, I kinda miss Green right now. He was a legend when it came to shooting with the crossbow. Alright, we landed our first hit. Two damage. <laughs> we did two damage. Oh my god. Maybe it would be better if we put them into block mode. Since their attacks won't damage him anyway. If they even get through. Beep is, damn, Beep is shooting our own guys. This is not working, man. Maybe Rhino can do something. Let's go, boy. Try to do maybe a little bit of damage. Maybe when he's open or something. Ugh, he's going for Beep. What the hell? Oh, Beep just landed a massive shot right there. He definitely has some unprotected body parts. Rhino is taking some big hits. Oh no, I'm sorry, man. The first one just died. That means nothing, dude. Okay, I still love you. It just is what it is. Amen managed to sneak in some damage here. Nice. Rhino is doing pretty good. But I guess he just reached his limit. Let's try to get him out for now. Maybe we can give Beep the Eagle's Cross. I don't have a lot of ammunition for that one. But it should be able to do some good damage here. Oh no! Uh, interesting name. But I'm sorry dude. You were a good soldier. Okay, now our skellies are dying left and right. They're dying uh, and or losing body parts. It's insane. But look! We have a chance. Catalan's massive and unprotected head is losing a lot of hit points. If we can keep up like this, we might be able to beat him. Maybe it would be smart uh, to position Beep kinda in a way so he doesn't shoot our own people. I'm sorry guys. Oh my god. If you if you guys see yourself die right now, I'm sorry. <gasps> He's running after Beep again. Oh no, he must have realized where most of the damage is coming from. He is getting dangerously close to our people. If he lands a hit, it might be game over. <laughs> Van Damme, look at him. He's fending him off. Doing massive three, no four damage. Holy shit, what a chat. <gasps> Watch out. No, 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 no. Oh my God, this is too risky. That, but that armor is a lifesaver. Without that armor, Van Damme would have been minced meat right now at this point. The one big benefit we have is that Catelyn cannot heal himself. He has no repair kit equipped. This might be our biggest advantage to play the long game. Oh my god, Eamon is close to losing an arm. This is not good. Take a break, my man. Look at this guy. He looks like a needle cushion with all those arrows sticking out. Uh oh, there are not many meat shields left. Only three alive. Two! And he's trying to go for beep again. Oh! No shot! We got him! We were so close on losing all of our meat shields. Fast Van Damme, you are the chosen one. This is it, guys. We got him! Van Damme, like a true war leader, he led his troops to victory. David against Goliath. Why fight an impossible battle if you can just use your braids and tactics, right? Mobilizing Catlin's own soldiers against him was the only way to go. What counts now is that we didn't lose any more of our own people. And the fallen ones will not be forgotten. Look at this guy's weapon! A May 2 Falling Sun. That's a pay to win weapon right here. CPU of Catlin, one of the founding skeletons of the old empire. They sought to undo the crimes and errors of skeleton kind and redeem themselves to mankind. Though the humans had long forgotten any of it. He eventually became a dictator. As the empire started falling apart, he tried harder to force it back together. Wow, interesting. We lost a lot of good soldiers today. Whoever died this day, I hope you understand your deaths were not in vain. You guys died for a great cause. And by that I mean in-game death. I mean in Kenshi. You are still alive and well in real life. I hope so. Let's get Catalan that needle cushion into his cell. I think we're done here. We could talk to him. But that's not part of the lore. Since that's from a mod, right? 
not part of our lore at least. Well, I guess this is it. We kinda finished the game and the series, at least in a manner how we have had envisioned it, right? I know it took me a while to finish this, but now looking back, I kind of feel relieved that I pulled through. I'm both happy and sad. I mean, Van Damme himself and the friends he made along the way, like Beep, Sensei, Blade, they kind of started to grow onto me over the time. They kind of started to feel like family. What, what we've been through and all of that. Making this series was a lot of fun and saying goodbye to all of that now feels feels kind of weird. But you know, the future will certainly offer us many new opportunities. I'm just glad you guys watched up until this point. You guys, the viewer out there, you guys definitely were the reason I pulled through and continued on making the series. So a very big thank you to all of you guys. You are amazing. You are, no jokes, the best community I could have wished for. Everything you guys post under those videos is just simply amazing and really heartwarming. I always love reading through all of your comments. So thank you again guys for all those great comments, all of the fantastic feedback you gave me and of course thank you for all the great memories we made. Thank you to all the Patreons, thank you to my mama, thank you to Chris Hunt and the team for making this great game and of course a big thank you to all the modders of Kenshi, especially Skara with his optimization mod, very cool. Thank you all guys for giving me this great of a time. If you are interested, I might make another video where I do somewhat of a showcase of all the bases I've built in this playthrough. Maybe show you all our members and their duties and skills if that's interesting. Or take a last visit to the Holy Nation and or the United Cities. See what they're up to now. I could take Catlin with us, see how they react. Maybe you guys got some ideas. And yeah, I guess that's it. Hope you guys liked it. Thanks again for watching, you guys are the best. This is where we currently are right now. After we finished beating up Catelyn, after we crowned Van Damme as the king of the world. He's currently taking a nap, he's pretty much beaten up after the fight. Van Damme needs his beauty sleep. It's a quite big responsibility being the king of the world now. What the f- what is happening? Holy shit. How is this even possible, man? We got Catelyn caged up right here in this cage. Why are there still troops uh, running around here attacking us? Oh my god. Well, what do you do? I guess we have to fend them off. I see a lot of red numbers. Come on. Well, if something happens... Uh, I don't count that anymore. Whoa, Van Damme is using the sword from Catelyn. The Falling Sun. Or what was it called? He can do shit with that one. Stop it, Van Damme. You have like no idea how to swing a heavy weapon. Poor as Paul. He's getting tossed around like a like a sack of rice. Man, they, they are taking so much damage. All right, I think I think I have enough from the Ashlands. I'm, a, I'm gonna take everyone. And we're gonna... Who is you? What are you doing here? He's just standing inside of our base. That robot is snacking at our food storage. We had an idea of maybe uh, taking Catlin on a little trip uh, with Beep. Take a look around how the world evolved after the downfall of... After what happened. We're gonna check out the world and its current state. Yeah, just gonna show you my base here. Uh, this is this is the base in the Ashlands. It's the Catlin fan club. A camouflage name. Dude, what is happening? Is this the aftermath of what we did to Catlin? Are they attacking because we got Catlin now in like caged up and everything? This is like the second wave. They they never attacked us before here in the Ashlands. Ah, well. <gasps> this is not cool. Running around with Catlin on our back. It seems to gain a lot of attraction. Skeleton Legion scouts are after us. I think they're behaving even more aggressive than normally. Our second base and I think I'm most proud of this one. The first base we built was pretty awesome with like the canal. But this one is a little bit more futuristic, I guess. We got extremely strong defenses around here. Look at this. There are even corpses flying 
in the air, pinned against the wall by those turrets. Ugh. There's even a live attack going on right here. Look at this. They're trying to enter. Boom, boom, boom. They're getting shot at from all directions. And this is it. It didn't even take like five seconds. Like we got double barrel harpoon turrets on the right side and on the left side. Four, four on each side. Meant by one of the best snipers we have. Robot snipers. They never get hungry. They never need to sleep. They can stand overwatch on those uh, walls like 24-7. This is the best defense you can get. And yeah, welcome to the second base where we got a lot of stuff going on. We got like electricity going on around here in form of uh, wind energy. The problem with the pits is there's not a lot of wind going on around here. So we had to build up a lot of batteries. So each time we, we get some wind, the batteries are getting filled up to a point where we cannot possibly waste all of that energy in, the, in that time window until the next wind is coming. So this is pretty convenient. Oh my god. I just noticed we're missing a prisoner. Damn. We got a prisoner in here. There was that one dude inside here. The leader of the skin bandits. I guess I forgot to feed him or something like that. He, he just simply perished away. It is what it is. What can you do? And there we got Igor. Oh no. Dennis and Martin. They're starving. Guys, where is, where's all the food? Why is there no food? Oh god. The problem with Gills, sometimes he gets stuck at right this point. I don't know why. Uh, he can just simply walk out like that. And now he is, he is again up and running, doing his job. Yeah, Gills' job is, is it to run around, get water, get some green fruits and cook some cooked vegetables. Holy shit, look at the speed. <laughs> he cooked so many vegetables in his life. He got so good at cooking. He, he cooks one minute rice in under a minute with a laboring skill of 78. No, a cooking skill. The cooking skill is at 88. Yeah, we got Igor right here. He, he is a pretty strong individual. We didn't really use him much because we run into some trouble with him. He spawned a lot of enemies at some point. He got like a script running on himself. He, he used to work for the United Cities. So every time he is on free foot, his script is running and spawning in enemies to aid him in a fight against whoever he wants to attack. But it's kind of weird. Yeah, our guys are chilling. Nothing much around this base going on. But it was a good decision to put the base up here at the pits. It's a good sanctuary, a good point to retreat, to regain your strength and be safe from everything out there. All right, let's go. I think we're gonna go to the next uh, best point and that is Spring. That is the main headquarter of the anti-slavers. And the leader of the anti-slavers is Tinfist. Maybe some of you might be familiar with the story between Tinfist and Catelyn. They once fought side by side. You know, they were the best friends uh, at some point in life. But then Catelyn got a little bit mad in the brains. And I guess it ended up in a dispute between them. Which ended up with bad blood between those two brothers. And yeah, now I'm kind of interested what is going to happen if I bring Catelyn to Tinfist. Are they just gonna talk it out? Are they gonna be mad at each other? Who knows? We're gonna see. It's gonna be interesting. Here we are with Catelyn on our back. Let's see how they react. Like always, they got no one patrolling the turrets. Every time I go here, it looks like a ghost town. All right, Tinfist uh, gotta be somewhere around here. Where the hell is that sucker? Oh, there he is. Dude, no reaction. Are you for real? Look at this. This is Catelyn. Talk to each other. Say hello, man. I guess since he doesn't really care about Catelyn being here, he won't care if I let Catelyn sleep for a while here on one of those beds, right? Uh, he needs a little nap. Oh, <laughs> he's just running off. You can't just run off like that. Hello. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Come back, Mr. Catelyn. Uh, oh, Veep is actually doing something. I guess uh, Catelyn's martial arts skills aren't the best. Maybe we should have stolen that weapon off of Catelyn. And then that fight would have been easy. Look at this. 
People single-handedly... Oops. <laughs> Let's try this again. Maybe we can aggro him. He doesn't even bother fighting. <laughs> Look at this. I can't with this guy. One last try. One last try. Dude, this guy is so freaking fast. I can't. Well, I guess Tinfist is still pretty pissed about Catelyn and his actions. That's probably the reason why we won't get any reaction from him this time. So we're gonna keep on going. Let's see what is happening over there. Bad Thief controlled by the Holy Nation. That's not right. Stack. That's an ex-Holy Nation territory. Now it's Shek Kingdom. After we won the fight against the Holy Nation, the Shek took over. And Blister Hill. Residents dead. Look at this. As soon as I got closer to those holy mines, they turned green. At first they were red, but now they're green. They're part of the Shek Kingdom. What? There are still Holy Nation guards running around here. There are even slaves still working for the Holy Nation. Guys, wake up. What are you doing? This is not right. Why are the slaves still working? <laughs> Guys, you're free. The, there is no holy nation anymore. Wake up. Yeah, the, the, the sheikhs are already cleaning up. Uh, you can handle this, I guess. Peeps just here to look around. Well, very interesting. Maybe the event for taking over the place just started as I got near. Let's see, uh, let's see if the same goes for the bad thief. And there are still Holy Nation guards sitting around there. What? It still is Holy Nation territory. How is that even possible? Let's let's just sprint through. Did we forgot to like imprison another war leader or something like that? Might be. I remember how we attacked this base. Right, exactly this base. We raided the, this base with our army and we beat every single one of them. I guess they kind of recovered. Well, they look healthy, they look fresh, they even look like they've multiplied. Let's check out Blister Hill. It still says faction, uh, ruled by faction holy nation, but the residents are dead. The gate is closed up. Yeah, it definitely looks dead to me. Look at this. Every building is just destroyed, eradicated, nothing left anymore. Kind of sad to look at. But th th this video is going on for too long now. Le let's end up at our base. Let's check out the very first base we've ever built. And then we're gonna finish this. Oh my god, that was fast. We're already here at our old base. Wait a second, there's light on at our base. Who, who forgot to turn off the lights? And there is someone at our base, some friendlies. Look at this, we're back. Now who, who is you? Those are again the anti-slavers. I guess they're just having a great time at our old base. Hanging around. And there it is, our old base. I really wonder what happened to our old prisoners. We still had some prisoners here. We had the Holy Lord Phoenix as a prisoner. The leader of the United Cities. <gasps> Look! <gasps> no shot! There's still alive this is unreal and he's just hungry he's just a little bit hungry he's still alive the holy lord phoenix he's still alive and he's doing well he survived by eating like flies and insects there that were squirming around here in this area and emperor tengu he's also still here he's a little bit more hungry nonetheless they're still alive and yeah th this was our very first base spent a lot of time in here we got the we got the whole ass hemp farm going on over here the hemp is growing look it's real hemp what else do we got here we got some we got some uniforms we got a scrawny raid moving to, towards the space already it hasn't even been a minute since i've been here and there's already a raid happening yeah that's our old base looks looks very beautiful it feels so nostalgic saying goodbye to all of this. This is heartbreaking. Some of you guys asked me if I could provide you with the save files of, of my current playthrough. I think I can upload this on my Patreon. You should be able to download it there for free. But yeah, I think this is it. 
this was a good uh, goodbye message to all of this to our playthrough a little bit of a summary of what happened where we left off and what happened to the world conclusion is Kinda nothing really changed. After Catelyn's downfall, pretty much most of the world stayed the same. Well, he, he was kind of a loner. He never really had like an impact on the world anyway. So this is it. I had a great time here. Hope you liked watching this little recap of everything that happened. And I hope I'm gonna see you again for the next project. Thanks to all the Patreons. And I guess I'll see you next time. Goodbye.